Everyone has their own work, Trong Lap, Yuyang prepare to return to their hometown for a trip, then if there is still time, they will return to the unit to visit, Lama Lama will return to Sak Lap Pagoda, and Ba Tang will return track Mob Kong Ba's family met her brother, Huang Man wanted to go to Andrea's mental hospital to visit her brother. So track Mob Kong Ba also adjusted his itinerary a bit, first bringing Huang Man back to America, then home, and finally to Kongbo village. Professor Fung Tan wants to stay in Lhasa to continue his treatment. Track Mok Kong Ba knew about it and asked him, Why don't you go to Canada to visit your son? Professor Fung Tan replied, My son is an adult, he also has his own story, what is there to visit? Wouldn't it just make him worry more about me? Everyone just go do your work, here I have a lot of documents to revise, and I have to keep in touch with experts from other countries. The situation here is also good, don't worry about me. That evening, everyone held a small party, inviting both Captain Ho Duong and the doctors in charge of treatment in the hospital. The next day everyone went to work, and Ho Duong stayed with the professor. Sitting on a plane for a day, finally arrived in Pennsylvania, USA. Near the hospital, Duong Man suddenly felt uneasy. How she hoped to see her brother get healthy again, but was afraid to see that his illness had not improved, sitting on the plane and was still dumbfounded, talking about his brother made her water again. His eyes were cold and anxious, like a trembling baby rabbit. Track Mok Kwong Ba hugged Wang Man's shoulder tightly, calmly saying, Don't worry, I also know that the hospital's patient care methods are extremely advanced, my brother there must have been there. I've recovered a bit, maybe I'm still completely recovered. Sorry, miss, your brother was picked up from this hospital half a year ago. Unexpectedly, the hospital's reply dealt him a preemptive blow. What, what did she say? Definitely wrong. Please check it again. My brother's name is Tuangdo, Tang, Tao. The transliteration is written like this. Can you see it clearly? Besides me, my brother doesn't have any direct relatives. Tang Min was so worried that she was about to cry. The consulting nurse confirmed, It's not wrong, it's Tang Shou, Chinese, 27 years old, 7 feet tall, 86 pounds. This is a picture of him, isn't it? Let me see, was picked up 7 months ago. Huang Man's color changed, his whole body was soft and had no strength left, and was about to fall to the ground when Track Mok Kwong Ba quickly helped him up. He asked sternly, according to the regulations of your hospital, every time a patient who is entrusted with care is discharged from the hospital, or his condition changes, it is necessary to send his relatives directly. Why haven't we received any notifications? The consulting nurse frowned and said, here, please don't worry, let me check for you too. Road, though, ah, here, please see. The consultant nurse pointed to the data in the computer and said, at that time, people submitted a direct dispatch from the procuracy, taking the role of guardian. The only law of Tang Shou that took him away, our hospital had no right to interfere. As for the notification to the immediate relatives of the patient, since the other party is the guardian designated by the law, the notification to other relatives of the patient is no longer within the scope of responsibility of the patient, our hospital too. A legal document appeared on the computer screen, clearly stating the rights and obligations of the guardian, and finally a signature like a dragon flying and dancing, a very strange writing style. Track Mok Kwong Ba studied for a long time before he had a reaction. That is the Chinese transliteration of the word, Kwong Ba, not English. He was dumbfounded for a while, not knowing who played the cruel joke. Tang Min tried to save him and asked, So do you remember who took my brother away? The consultant nurse was a little confused, then apologetically replied, Sorry, it seems that it was not my shift that day, I can't remember. I can help you double check the hospital's signature list. Oh, it's Dr. Owen's signature. Tang Min nodded and said, I know, thank you, by the way, is Dr. Owen going to work today? The nurse checked in the computer, then nodded and replied, yes, he is here. 
Dr. Owen is the managing doctor of Duongdo, in charge of psychotherapy. In the office, Trak Mok Kwong Ba and Duong Man met a middle-aged doctor with gray hair before this age. After hearing them say the purpose, Dr. Owen thought back thoughtfully, then suddenly exclaimed, Ah, I remember, your brother is Chinese and still hasn't changed at all. Yes, according to my observations, his morale has not improved at all. When he was discharged from the hospital and when she left here, the condition was basically the same. Maybe that's why you're thinking of changing to another hospital. But we really did our best. I have a feeling that your brother's illness seems to be one of the most serious. Every time we conducted hypnosis to open the subconscious, he was extremely closed, basically unable to guess what he had inside. The usual treatments were ineffective, the side effects of the drugs did not occur on his body, it was an unbelievable case. What? You want to know who took him away? Are you saying that you didn't know he left the hospital? How is this thing? That day, the other person even gave the procuracy's paper, how could you not know about this? Let me think about it again, that person is about as tall as me, about six feet tall, has a very large head, there are a few other people accompanying him, it seems to be soldiers, they are all wearing military uniforms. Answers of intellectuals listening to Dr. Owen's description, Trak Mok Kwong Ba and Duong Man were both cold. If the person Dr. Owen was talking about was not their opponent, who else could come in here? After asking a few more times, Trak Mok Kwong Ba confirmed that it was Ben. Around that time was also when Ben disappeared in China, and they went to South America to train, the situation was very bad. The guys are really negligent, our side has investigated Ben so they must have investigated the people on his side as well. He must have known about Tang Min's brother from some source. They've already taken the crazy people in Mong Ha, so there's no reason to ignore Duong though, why didn't he think of this and that? Although Tang Shou's spirit was troubled, it was unlikely that he couldn't get something out of his mouth. Tang Min was like a bird afraid of bent branches, trembling all over, wanted to cry but couldn't get any tears. Track Mok Kwong Ba only knows how to gently comfort. At that moment, how was Tang Man so weak and fragile? She leaned into Track Mok Kwong Ba's arms and sobbed, what to do now? What should we do now? Track Mok Kwong Ba sternly straightened up and said, don't worry, I will definitely find your brother back. Now let's call the police first, ask them to help investigate if there are any clues here. Nothing will happen. Tang Min leaned close to her strong shoulders, her eyes showing fear and insecurity, only worried that she would lose this only loved one again. The investigation and questioning took two days, the time off was over half, but Track Mok Kwong Ba still could not come home. Tang Min went to the police department to provide various leads, and he was not able to help. On Tuesday, the paperwork was completed, all the details were handed over to the police, and Trak Mok Kwong Ba asked, if they have any information about my brother, they will report it, come back immediately, or shall we go home first? Tang Min became thinner and thinner than before, looking very weak and fragile, but between her delicate eyebrows that gradually condensed a strong look, she shook her head and replied, no, I want to stay for a while or two, another day, to go back to the hospital to see if there are any other clues, maybe there are more. Or you go first, I want to be alone. Don't worry, I'll take good care of myself. After saying that, Tang Man looked directly into Track Mok Kwong Ba's eyes. His eyes were clear and bright, like a little daughter begging her father to do something. That's it. Track Mok Kwong Ba sighed and said to himself, It's time for Man Man to face some things independently. What I've done before, isn't it to make her more resilient and independent, or what? Thinking about it, the guy nodded and said, Okay, then I'll go back first. Remember to call, take good care of yourself, if you discover the whereabouts of Ben and the others, don't take the risk. He added a lot of comforting advice, then attached himself to Duong Man, returned home alone in Datingo a Nodo village. Being kindly asked by Mai Do's mother, Trak Mok Kwong Ba returned with a warm family feeling, 
The whole family harmoniously and happily sat down to eat a hearty dinner together. After that, Track Mok Kwongba went to the old man Ju Kenan's room, expressing the question in his heart, Abba, I came home this time to ask one thing, in our family, is there anyone who has relatives? Is that the role of a holy apostle or something? Saints, what do you do? Hugh Kennan, the wise and knowledgeable old man, also looked at his son suspiciously. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba replied, a very special identity, related to an ancient religion that has disappeared from our land of Tibet. Then, he briefly told his father about the stories he had encountered during the past time, with special emphasis on the door of life in Kongbo village and the stories about the other mysterious religion in the mysterious Xuen Kong Island. After that, it was already late at night. The old man said, the religion you are talking about seems to be related to both the Tibetan Tantric and the ancient Tantric Buddhism. From the palace architecture and other meditation halls, it can be seen that this is a very formidable religion, why is there no record in history? Son, you seem very skeptical about this identity, but I can assure you of one thing for sure, that my family and that mystical religion have no connection whatsoever. Since having genealogy until now, our family has only settled in the southwestern part of Tibet, apart from Buddhism, they have never been in contact with any other religion. Track Mok Kwong Ba knew that his family tree began to be copied 200 years ago, and the period before that could not be verified. The old man Duke Ennan said, Remember, you have to continue to investigate, you have to be more careful. I originally thought that Bak Bala Temple was just a place to bury Buddhist scriptures from the Tu Fung Temple, but unexpectedly, it was also related to other sects. Perhaps at that time of Buddha's destruction, in order to preserve the supreme Buddhist scriptures, the monks could not help but condescend to perfection and cooperate with another religion. Listen well, Although that religion used to be very strong, its teachings are definitely contrary to Buddhism, it is an evil religion, from Buddha's statues and their organs can be seen, these people do not promote rebirth, but aspire to eternal life and immortality, comparing themselves to Buddha, this religion is darkness, darkness. Later, when you come into contact with the truth of this religion, you must be very careful, don't touch it, let alone try to find out what they do, maybe even harm you. They suddenly disappeared, probably because of their evil nature. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, but, ah, that religion has disappeared for thousands of years, what they have left behind is just a historical test, why only rely on those things to give them permission? That they are evil. Duke and an old man said, um, Although I was forced to memorize the ancient Nyingma scriptures from a young age, I am a child who has no interest in Buddhist studies, naturally I do not know a lot of things related to religion, teacher. For example, those Buddha statues that I and everyone else see, I also know, it is the three-eyed Buddha, but do you know, in the teachings of Buddhism, what the three eyes represent? Representing the fallen, those evil Buddhas, usually only appear in hell to suppress the demons, so they can also be called the Buddha's wisdom, the Buddha's word is never genuine. It's shaped like that now. Moreover, those Buddha statues in the mandala of Tantra are also symbols of bloodthirsty and killing of living beings, ghost mother, joyful heaven, black earth mother god, they are all evil spirits possessed by Buddha, the ancestors, but the statues you see are all their own deities, what does this mean? Track Mok Kwong Ba shook his head and said nothing, listening to his father translate, he knew the names of the Buddha statues in the door of life are familiar names in Buddhism, it's just that the statues are too much, terror horror, it's really impossible to relate to those names. Hugh Ken an old man sighed and said, if you want to know, I don't mind telling you. In the Buddhist scriptures, Ghost Mother is a ferocious child-eating deity, she herself has 500 children, every day eats 3,000 children in the human world. In order to tame the mother ghost, the Buddha used boundless Buddha Dharma to hide one of her children. Ghost 2 mother was very worried, and immediately went to the Buddha to help her find her son. The Buddha then said, Today you have lost a child, you are so worried, 
What about the children eaten by you? What will their mother be like? So, ghost mother immediately awakened and took refuge in the Buddha Dharma, becoming a bodhisattva to protect children. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, Then, this Buddha isn't that bad either. The old man Duke Enon shook his head, it is recorded in the Buddhist scriptures and after the Buddha's transformation, but the deity ghost mother is not like that at all. She, she is a demon that eats children to increase her power, in the teachings of other religions, because she wants to possess invincible power, even her own children eat meat. The devil's mother represents, cut off feelings, even if they're like mothers, they can kill and eat each other. Here, this is the true meaning of the statue of ghost mother that you see, her Sanskrit name is Karloi de Mao. Speaking of Hon Hai Thien, the statue of Hon Hai Thien that I saw symbolizes letting go of lust, they get the same power as angels from lust, using that power to destroy others, creating calamity for mankind. They are constantly free and loose, and then they are constantly destructive. Before Buddhism appeared in ancient India, this is the god and god of disaster in folk legends, the Sanskrit name is Tnadagia. The statue of a human head with a snake body is a deity that existed before Brahmanism was born in ancient India. Nagia has the head of a snake, symbolizing the union with animals. In ancient times, animals had greater strength than humans, lived longer, were stronger, acted more quickly, and could even go up to the sky and into the sea, so the ancients always wanted to have intercourse with animals, different animals, producing a healthier next generation, the heads of a snake, the head of a fish, and the head of a horse are all symbols of the god's desire for successful hybridization. Finally, Black Earth Mother Goddess Jia Loi, this is another name for the Supreme Goddess, Devi, the wife of the destructive god Shiva, one of the three great gods of Hinduism, manifesting the most terrifying part of the story. The personality of the goddess Devi, is one of the main gods worshipped by Hinduism, also known as the goddess Kali. According to the Buddhist scriptures, the appearance of the black earth mother goddess is extremely cruel, all of her body is pure black, four heads and four arms, a third eye on her forehead, holding different weapons in her hand, and wearing a chain on her chest, skull, back with human arm. This god specializes in drinking fresh blood, symbolizing, cannibalistic. After hearing all the true symbolic meanings of the four Buddha statues in the Door of Life, Track Mop Kwong Ba's face changed completely. If what his father said was true, then the word, evil, absolutely could not represent the core ideology of this religion. The old man Duke Enon continued, Amazing love, indulgent desires, mixed with animals, cannibals, this is the meaning that the statues you see in the Golden Hall represent. They worship the deities of the fierce Buddhas, proving that they do not realize the great compassion of the Buddha Dharma, but still act according to their ferocious nature. Those who practice according to the demon path, no matter how high their cultivation is, are just a demon god, and cannot fully comprehend the great enlightenment. They still have greed, hatred, and sex, from here it can be seen that this religion is a religion that can defy tricks to achieve its goals. The old man Duke Enon's eyes suddenly flashed a cold look, and raised his voice, but what is their purpose, is to escape from human tragedy, pray for eternal life and immortality, reach the realm of the world. Supreme and unsurpassed, Buddha is equal to sentient beings, I am Buddha. Buddha means me, scary, this religion is too scary. Track Mok Kwong Ba recognized a moment of fear in his father's anger, and comforted him, I know, I will be careful in the future. You don't have to worry too much, they've already brought their own destruction. He said that with his mouth, but in his heart he felt uncomfortable, is Kong Bu village really that evil? The old man gradually regained his composure. He looked at his son and said, besides, I've never heard of that army of light. But don't you feel that they and that religion have a very close relationship? Track Mok Kwong Ba felt confused again, so he said, according to the words of Master Arla, at that time Lang Datma destroyed Buddha, the Kwe Ba tribe guarding the Tu Fung shrine was probably the army of light. 
they themselves are not convenient to directly transport the treasures in the Four Methods Temple, so they cooperate with the other mysterious religion, because this religion has both tantric-like beliefs and the element of nature, the inner teachings, so in that phase of the extinction of the Buddha it was not given much attention. Is their relationship supposed to be like that? The elder Duke Enon shook his head slightly. The way to find information of the Ailala Lama, one is from religious dictionaries, the other is from elders who are older than him, such information is not certain, he is correct in its entirety, you should think more holistically. I think that Yuyang Gai's analysis is quite reasonable, there is probably a much more direct connection between the army of light and that mystical religion. Track Mok Kwong Ba understood somewhat, but did not dare to believe it was true, what you mean is. The army of light and that mysterious religion, they, they were originally. No way, that religion is so evil and scary, and the army of light has been called the army of light, perhaps the incarnation of justice. Furthermore, between the military and religion, can there be such a close relationship? Hugh Ken an old man explained, as far as I know, during the reign of the Fon dynasty, the army mostly believed in Buddhism, and when they fought and fought, they were led by a wizard of the Bantau. The role of a magician is like that of a military advisor or a psychologist in the army today, so having an army that follows a mysterious religion is not a strange thing. However, the beliefs of the rulers are constantly changing, so what about the Trump army under them, what should the beliefs of this army be? Of course, it is necessary to adjust to one's ruler, as a result of this behavior, it is very likely to develop into a fusion that has both the teachings of Theravada and also worships Buddhism. As for that righteous symbol, what is the righteous? The winner is justice. The battlefield is a place where people can legally kill people, but for anyone, I think the emotional shock of seeing the bodies of one's own people piled up on the ground can be quite overwhelming. An army whose every battle sacrifices the blood flag, if you don't believe in the brutal and bloodthirsty teachings, I'm afraid you won't be able to fight a few battles, then the spirit will completely collapse on its own. Moreover, a combat unit whose number does not exceed 20,000 people, and divided into groups of five people, do you think they could be a regular army? Aside from the battle with the Hung Kings, did the Ailala Lama mention any of their famous campaigns? Track Mok Kwong Ba shook his head and replied, No. Lama said, Because each battle they sacrificed the blood flag, so there are not many detailed historical records, in history there is only one name called incarnation. The old man Duke Enon said, That's right, think about it, an army with basic staff is a group of five people, possessing many special skills and also having a coordinated battle, but never let according to any historical documents, is such a mysterious army likely to be a regular army in battle? I'm afraid the fight with the Hun kings is the only time they've made that sort of attack. If you put all these facts together, this army of light should, in fact, be an army of assassins working in the dark. If Merkin were here, he would surely have admired this analysis of the old man of Duke Enon to the ground, because what he said was both beautiful and very consistent with the meaning of the other battle emblem. The bravery to directly see the essence of this thing, then can only sigh and lament himself. Seeing track Mok Kwong Ba dumbfounded, the old man Duke Enon continued, You think about it, if it is true as Lama Lama said, this army of light is invincible, then they still have to borrow human strength, another way to transport treasures in the temples. Not to mention, they are the guardians of those shrines. Track Mok Kwong Ba pondered, it also means that there is no mystical religion at all, that religion is the army of light. Yui Yang was right. Hu Ken an old man looked up at track Mob Kwong Ba, worriedly said, Kwong Ba, this time you have returned, you have changed a lot, I discovered, your memory, analytical ability as well as logical thinking. They all seem to have decreased a lot. Before, I always had my own judgment, had the ability to analyze the whole world, but I never heard anything like that. Is your mind already placed somewhere else? Track Mok Kwong Ba was slightly shaken in his heart, no. Hugh Kennan sighed, I know, 
your story caused me a great wound, later I was able to free myself from the pain and focus, wholeheartedly into the work, I also think that is correct. But I don't understand why you are suddenly so enthusiastic about Bobala Temple, you have never shown such interest in religion before. Tell me, what exactly are you looking for? Track Mok Kwong Ba was slightly depressed, although he had never told his father about his intention to search for war clams, but now that old man Dukenan asked, he did not dare to hide it, had to tell his true thoughts, me. Duke an old man pondered, um, see Kilan Ha, does that mean, it's in the same place as the Silver Bala Shrine? Track Mok Kwong Ba quickly said, yes, father, I think maybe it's the divine beast that protects the Silver Bala Shrine, life after life. Not seeing his father burning with anger, in Track Mok Kwong Ba's heart a glimpse of hope flashed. Duke Enan an old man pondered for a long time, then asked, Kwong Ba, tell me, if you find Tu Kai Lan, what will you do? Track Mok Kwong Ba raised his body again, yes, if he found Zi Kilan, what should he do next? Track Mok Kwong Ba has never thought about this problem before. In his subconscious mind, it is natural to anesthetize, box, train and nurture and then become a mastiff in his theme master dog training facility. If there is any more noble thought, then it is definitely to hold a press conference, announce to the whole world about the existence of a super classic creature, the purple unicorn, and then go around the world to exhibit, organize a dog fair. But after a period of special training, almost every day he struggled with death, causing his view of life to change in nature. It was after all the last link in the chain of creatures that, how would he deal with it himself, would treat it like the Wolf King. That's right, treat it like the Wolf King. Track Mok Kwong Ba thoughtfully replied, I will keep friendship with it, so that all mankind knows its existence, and at the same time let it integrate into human society. I think we'll be friends for life and death. He thought that this answer would probably satisfy his father. Unexpectedly, the old man Duke Enon showed a sarcastic smile, then turned to pity, integrating with human society. Thinking is still very shallow. Well, this is my thinking as a human right, I'm sure you think it's good to be able to do that, isn't it? So have you ever thought, if you told you to fit into the society of flies, how would you feel? I frowned, because I was disgusted. Yes, I have that thought, because in my heart I think that human society is the best, the best. But have you ever thought, what is the best, most preeminent society in Z. Killen's mind? The sky is high, the birds are flying, the sea is wide and the fish are waving, directly face to face, so that the consensus of different animals can be obtained. Human society, in fact, the society in which mankind lived in ancient times, was a harmonious society of many different species coexisting, man was just a member of it. In your opinion, how is the Kwai Ba people living with wolves? Only when you truly understand what it means to live with wolves can you truly understand the implications of what I am saying today. Track Mok Kwong Ba really couldn't understand it, he thought to himself, give up thinking that I'm a human being. If I'm not a person, then what am I? Duke Enan an old man said, don't be in a hurry, if you don't understand, think slowly. I thought this was just a vague fantasy, for thousands of years there have been countless people searching for Bobala, but no one has succeeded, it is surprising that you will find such important clues as so. All right, if you're going to have to go to the Quaybar territory in search of the purple unicorn, then there are some things I can't help but tell you, come with me. Duke Enan an old man got up and walked into the house, Track Mob Kwongbar also followed, this is his father's bedroom. Old man Duke Enan stopped in front of a walnut chest of drawers. Track Mob Kwongbar was briefly moved, this cabinet was extremely familiar to him. When he was a child, he treated it like a treasure chest, whenever a distinguished guest came to visit, his father would take out glittering jewels from it, after putting it on, he immediately exuded an impossible majesty, Violet. His sister liked this cabinet even more. 
the pink lotus in full bloom on the cabinet is still as vivid as ever, but childhood memories have become a thing of the past. Now, Track Mop Kwong Ba understands very well, the things inside this cabinet are extremely precious, for example, the ancient book of Ning Ma that he used to look at when he wanted to sleep is now China's national treasure. He really couldn't understand, the treasure was left in such a prominent place, why didn't those thieves come and steal but steal it, they kept playing those lowly tricks, thinking about this, he suddenly I felt like a knife was stabbed in my heart. When the cabinet opened, the first thing that caught the eye of track mob Kwong Ba was the upper right corner, where there was a small square box painted black and gold, inside the golden auspicious eight treasures, which was the gift that his wife gave. He dedicated it to his father when he came home for the first time after getting married. The other thing was that people had gone to different places. The middle compartment was originally for her Ning Ma scriptures, the casket containing the scriptures was given to him by his father, and the scriptures were given to the government, when he was a child, every time his father opened that compartment, he would return, headache felt all over. In the front left corner, Track Mok Kwong Ba glanced instinctively, the red cloth was still there, inside it was a piece of jade, an offering from Master Dan and Diamond, which was accidentally broken by his sister, eight pieces, and then begged him to confess instead, I'm afraid that until now I still think that he broke that piece of jade. Many objects in his house carry memories of the past, each time they see them, they are reminiscent, even if they're apart for a long time, they can't get rid of them. This is also a reason why Track Mok Kwong Ba doesn't come home very often. While Track Mok Kwong Ba was immersed in memories, the old man Dukenan took out from the closet a stack of rugs that looked like seating cushions. He spread them flat, unexpectedly they were different thankus, drawings were made on floral silk, first using thick buffalo parchment to stick tightly to flower silk, then wrapping the outside with a layer of golden silk, the black silk had turned slightly yellow revealing its long history. These thankus seem to have been specially treated, the silk lining is all black, the content is also very quaint. The first shows a group of people and a pack of wolves standing side by side, all around a pillar-like object, looking up at the moon. The second picture depicts those tall and powerful men cutting their wrists with knives. Fresh blood drips into the bowl. It looks quite similar to the scene of blood cutting and swearing. The third picture is starting to get weird. They bring blood just cut it up for the wolf to drink, as if doing something else. The fourth depicts a man and a wolf happily dancing under the moon. Beside each painting were many ancient symbols, some of which were quite similar to those in ancient Tibetan, but most of them were strange symbols that Track Mop Kwong Ba had never seen. Track Mop Kwong Ba looked at those black thankus, then looked at the very sharp and delicate embroidery, then looked up at his father as if questioningly. Duke N. An old man explained, This is a ritual a very ancient rite, perhaps it is related to living with wolves of the Kwe Ba people. This is one of the three most precious antiques of our family, it took a lot of time for the family members to read all these ancient Tibetan characters, now they understand the meaning and method of implementation, our NAFI ritual already. Although I cannot confirm the authenticity of this covenant ceremony, but if you want to go to that dangerous place, I will tell you about it, this is a contract between the old days and the wolves, take blood swear. That night, Track Mop Kwong Ba was told a strange ritual by his father, and at the same time heard a lot of opinions that he had never heard of, never even thought of. He really understood why his father was hailed as a wise man. The father and son had not talked to each other for many years, suddenly it was not good in the morning, Track Mop Kwong Ba was preparing to go on vacation when he received a phone call urging him to return, about the base. We are about to begin our final recovery training. Lu Kan Nam on the other end of the line just said such a sentence and made Track Mop Kwong Ba's heart soar back to the base. Not long ago, Professor Fung Tan had reminded him, unless there was a breakthrough in cartographic research, he would not begin rehabilitation training in a short time. He couldn't help but feel a little excited in his heart. Track Mok Kwong Ba did not have time to rest, hurriedly packed his things, 
called Ba Tang and prepared to leave. Before leaving, the old man Du Kenan told Track Mok Kwong Ba, Hong Hong's birthday is still three months away, although you and An have broken up, she is still my daughter and grandchild anyway, at least make a congratulatory phone call. By the way, ask him for an hour, no matter what, you have to act like a macho. Track Mok Kwong Ba nodded and hummed, on the way back to the base he was forever immersed in vague thoughts, sometimes thinking about the situation when facing Z Kilin, sometimes thinking about the glorious scene, at the temple of Bo Bala, sometimes thinking that his daughter is 18 years old. Although his relationship with his ex-wife is rather bland, but the daughter is still the pearl in the family anyway, after the two divorced, she followed her mother to immigrate to Canada, perhaps because she was afraid of her stepfather. Therefore, the two sides did not communicate much, but in the past one or two years, most of the time Track Mok Kwong Ba has been in an area with no phone signal, even if he wanted to call, he could not call. On the way through Thien Su Clan Cultivation Facility, Track Mok Kwong Ba introduced his company to Ba Tang, looked at the pyramid-shaped signboard with that fiery atmosphere through the car door, he did not understand the public situation. How is the company these days? Believe that under the management of Dong Feng Xin, the company will definitely overcome this difficult hurdle. Summary. When he returned to the training base, Trong Lap and Yu Yang were one step ahead, everyone's eyes were full of joy and happiness, one thing that made Track Mok Kwong Ba even more surprised was, the captain. Ho Duong was also present. Ho Duong said, I don't have any scientific research projects in the near future anyway, so my superiors immediately sent me to join the group with everyone instead of I Luke Kak's role. This time you all have to go to the Great Snow Mountain, I have quite a bit of experience in this regard. Finally, he smiled meaningfully. Track Mok Kwong Ba was both surprised and joyfully exclaiming, Who is Dai Tuye son? Have you decided already? Hu Yang pretended to be mysterious and said, The plan of heaven cannot be revealed. Then he said again, The danger level is very high, this snowy mountain cannot be compared with other places, the ice plain in Ka Ka Te Lai is almost heaven compared to it. Not to mention anything else, just the thin air environment at an altitude of over 7,000 meters above sea level is enough to make it difficult for people to endure. In that cold highland area, the temperature is so low that cooking food cannot be cooked, because the boiling point of water is much lower than 100 degrees Celsius. The wind blows in the face like a saw blade cuts through. Listening to Trong Lap tell, after everyone left the hospital, Lu Kan Nam and Professor Fung Tan talked with Captain Ho Duong for a long time, then the teacher sent a report requesting that Captain Ho Duong be sent as an advisor, expertise for the group. At first, Captain Ho Duong felt very surprised to see that even people like Duong Man could join the team, but not knowing what Professor Fung Tan said, in the end, Ho Duong still accepted this fact, very reluctantly. As for Yu Yang, mysteriously told everyone, it seems that the official Lu Kan Nam has invited a few new teachers, but he has not been seen yet. Behind the training base has been renovated a lot, I don't know what I want to train any more. Lama Ala also assisted, of course he did not break his word, bringing a whole bag of Thien Chow to give each person one to carry with him to avoid traps. Yu Yang insisted on asking where the great master got so many Thien Chow beads, but Lama Ala avoided answering, only stating that these Thien Chow pearls are borrowed, and must be used after they are used, returned to the owner, must not be lost. To distinguish, the Thien Chow la 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 brought different numbers of eyes, the one of Yue Duong has only one eye, and the one of Trong Lap has three eyes. The guy was angry and disgruntled for half a day because of this, until Professor Fung Tan exchanged for the five-eyed Thien Chow. That afternoon, Duong Man also returned from the US, her eyes were red, it was clear that she had been crying ever since. Track Mok Kwong Ba had to comfort him for a while. After learning about the incident, Yu Yang calmly analyzed, your brother probably won't have any problems. If Ben had asked him anything, he wouldn't have risked his life to come to Hyan Kong Island to fight for the map with us, 
he would have gone to back Bala Temple already. As long as your brother's spirits haven't recovered, they won't be able to ask anything, and as long as the map is in our hands, they won't do anything to your brother. Listening to Yu Yang's analysis, Huang Man's mood calmed down a bit, but he stopped crying. In the base, everyone gathered in a circle, even Lu Kan Nam could not hide his joy. She stated, this time asking everyone to return to the base, especially to conduct recovery training even if some members are still not fully recovered, that's because, maybe this is orientation training. It's our last. Everyone smiled and listened, everyone understood the meaning of this sentence. Trong Lap excitedly exclaimed, the official, in other words, it's not very lucky to say it like that. Liu Kan Nam neither protested nor got angry, just smiled and said, okay, then I will put it another way, after this special training, we will go straight to the final destination of the last mission, hey, open the door of Silver Bala, the temple that has been covered with dust for thousands of years. Trong Lap, Yu Yang immediately clapped their hands and howled, even the elders like Professor Fung Tan and Lama Allah could not control the feeling of emotion that welled up in their hearts, their happy expressions showed on their faces. How much repression and pain had to be endured in Shuangkong Island itself, all melted away in this exhilarating atmosphere. Liu Kan Nam smiled and told everyone to stop making noise, but saying it two or three times still didn't work, all emotions flared up in a moment, the effort has been paid, just this point alone got everyone excited. Finally, when everyone's emotions were released, the room was quiet again. Liu Kan Nam tried to look serious and continued, but our mission this time can be said to be a mission as well. The most difficult mission ever, the level of danger of which far exceeded any previous action. To be able to successfully complete this mission, we need to prepare well, so I couldn't help but summon everyone earlier than expected, conduct specially oriented training. Remember, we only have three months. Everyone was overjoyed, because after three months they were able to depart for Bak Bala Temple. Although still glimmering, but the light of hope was lit, it was almost as if the door to success was right in front of them. Liu Kan Nam said, First, I will summarize what I know, so that people can understand the situation we are facing more clearly. The silver Bala Temple that we are looking for, was roughly built between 840 and 940 AD, because at that time there was a massacre that killed the Buddha, so there were many monks who had to go into exile. A number of temples and shrines were destroyed, and a large number of valuable artifacts were lost. At that time, the most famous was the Four Directions Temples, these four temples almost concentrated more than 90% of the Buddhist texts of Tibet before the Tang Dynasty, during the massacre to destroy the Buddha, in order to protect the material. This place was not burned, the high monks thought of every possible way, asking for help from the forces of all directions, and finally brought most of the precious documents to a secret place before the destruction of Tu Fung Temple. After that, under Lang Dat Ma's policy of suppressing Buddhism, they were forced to leave Tibet, but the distance was far away, and if they brought a large amount of documents, it was easy to detect, and they nor do they want to let those precious treasures stray outside of Tibet. By an unexpected discovery, they found a place far away from the world, the scriptures record it as this, a place where neither the sun rises in the east nor the sunset in the west, around the world. Every year bathed in the bright sunlight. Believers with eternally loyal souls are guarding that place. They built the back Bala temple there, and at the same time divided the hidden treasures and transported them in batches to the temple. In the door of life and Haiyan Kong Island, we have come into contact with a completely different religion. Since this religion contains the teachings of both ancient Buddhism and Theravada Buddhism, in the absence of other options, the Buddhist monks entrusted the responsibility of transporting the treasures to the shrine to the closest religion, this relatively safe part. But unfortunately, this mystical religion suddenly disappeared in history for a reason that we do not know, moreover, it completely disappeared, leaving the next life without any thought, whether to investigate. Thus, 
the temple of Bakbala as well as this mystical religion were forever buried in history. Hearing this, Trak Mokkwong Ba leaned forward slightly, as if he wanted to say something, but in the end he still shook his head and didn't say it. Lu Kan Nam took a deep breath, then continued, although that religion and Bakbala temple have disappeared, thanks to the troubadours, information about them is still circulated to this day in the temples. While history and stories, epics, the Min Chao of that plateau will surely shine again one day. It was not until 1944 that English explorer Stanley heard a legend that had been buried for a thousand years from troubadours, and began the most glorious and glorious journey of his life. But that splendor was built on the basis of destroying our Tibetan culture. As an explorer, Stanley's footprints traveled all over the places that were not yet human footprints in Tibet, there were countless ancient relics discovered by him, countless artifacts were also brought by him, go, but luckily, even this adventurer in his life could not find the most brilliant pearl in Tibet, Silver Bala Temple. Later, countless other explorers came to Tibet, based on the records and clues he found, they greedily plundered all the remaining treasures, but only the search for Bobala in the temple, there is no one who does not return disappointed. In fact, in China, since the Qing dynasty, the authorities have been very interested in the Bobala temple, and also sent high officials in charge of stationing in Tibet. After that, the situation was chaotic and chaotic, fades away and fades into oblivion. Now, our mission is to find back Bala temple before other forces. Finally, I want to talk about that mystical religion. Speak here, Lu Kan Nam couldn't help but look at Lama Lama, receiving his encouraging gaze, she continued, we know very little about that mysterious religion. Her face could not hide the blush, but people did not notice, from what we know so far, this religion has participated or independently completed the task of building back Bala, shrines and transport of treasures. When the temple was built, they used to send messengers, preparing to deliver three items that could lead to the temple to three false locations in Tibet, but for some reason we don't know, in the end they just handed over one token, while the other two were kept by King County Catch. Among the artifacts, the first is a map, which is said to have been taken away by Stanley, and in the maps that we are keeping, there is probably a similar one to the one he took away, because at that time Stanley for fear of agency traps that leave. In addition, in the bibliography, there is a record of an object called the citadel that is illuminated by light, we have also obtained a map, but it is not clear whether this map and the citadel are illuminated by light, related to each other. We only rely on records in ancient books to speculate that the citadel that was illuminated by the light was originally brought abroad by messengers, most likely to present-day South America, and was buried in a pyramid. Ahist Palace in White City has many similarities with Tibetan culture, but we have only reason to believe that it is the place where the citadel is hidden by light, not evidence, accuracy. As for the third item, so far we have absolutely no information. Because of our sources, most of them are based on the records of the ancient royal palace, which were brought back to England by Stanley, and only returned to China in the last one or two years. In addition, there are some other important information that will not be known until after we return from the Americas. That mysterious religion played an extremely important role in the process of building back Bala Temple and burying treasures, but so far we only know that the people of Kongbo village are likely descendants of this religion, that mystical cult, they are in charge of the relationship between that religion and the outside world. Stanley must have been to the door of life, but was stopped by the agency from the outside, so he didn't discover the lead to Shuangkong Island. It is this Haiyan Kong Island that provides us with the most important clue about that mystical religion. Lu Kan Nam took a sip of water, then said again, with the information we have now, it can be said that that mystical religion was once extremely powerful, I think, after experiencing the organs of Haiyan Kong Island itself, Everyone probably won't object to me saying that, right? Their mechanical achievements can be used as, top-notch, to describe, as far as we know, they have made perfect use of irrigation to provide eternal impetus. 
they also have very in-depth research with optical phenomena, aerodynamically, they are also absolutely top-notch at that time, even more frightening is that their knowledge of biology and microbiology has even reached a high level that is hard to keep up, in this respect not even modern science and technology can match today's religion, religion from thousands of years ago. They have an independent belief system of their own, between Buddhism and Buddhism, they are more inclined towards Theravada Buddhism, but they are not against Buddhism, this is probably the reason why the monks at that time choose to cooperate with this religion. Right now, what we're about to face is something like the following, first, the agency is at its peak of development. The door of life and the Haiyan Kong island that we came to were all built in front of the back Bala temple, so the organ in the temple is probably even more powerful than what we have encountered, right before. In this respect, we can use modern testing tools, trying to reduce the level of danger to the lowest level. Second, is the population of mysterious ancient creatures. The information brought by Track Mok Kwong Ba helps us to know that the mysterious religion has many ancient creatures that we have never seen or are still in the research stage, regardless of animals, and plants, we have no understanding of them at all. However, it seems that they all have the ability to attack, so just using strong firepower to suppress them will probably avoid their threat. Third, is the corporation that cooperates with the mercenaries. Last time we had a taste of their power, their weapons and scientific equipment were not lower than us, even much higher than us. To deal with them, it is necessary to rely on a strong body and flexible tactics and maneuvering skills. Liu Kan Nam suddenly stopped, swept a stern look at each member sitting below, and said in a meaningful voice, as long as everyone works together, we still have a chance to win. Fourth, also the most dangerous problem that we face in this journey, that is the ancient sorcery of Theravada Buddhism. It can be said that this is a completely unfamiliar field for us, and involves a series of complex and highly difficult sciences such as microbiology and biochemistry. The ancients did not have a solid scientific basis, all based on countless experiments to give them satisfactory results, so solving the secret of ancient magic from a scientific perspective is or it is absolutely impossible to complete in a short period of time. In this regard, my request to everyone is to be absolutely careful where there are agencies, encountering an agency that cannot be fully explained, do your best not to touch it. Once accidentally hit by ancient witchcraft, you should immediately isolate and observe, if you really can't stand it anymore, or if you lose your mind because of the pain. Then, must be eliminated, even me is no exception, by that time no one will soften their hearts, get it. Yue Yang was surprised and said, even though we encountered the ancient poison at the door of life, on Shuangkong Island, we didn't meet such a scary thing, will we really encounter it? Quote, Liu Kan Nam nodded affirmatively, yes, when we were on Haiyan Kong Island, we can only say that we were lucky. In fact, the acid-spitting worms that track Mok Kong Ba encountered in the cave can also be counted as a kind of ancient poison, taking advantage of certain biochemical properties of the organism. Moreover, the key point is that in the Western Hall of Thien Fat Temple, Professor Fung Tan accidentally filmed some documents, which made us confirm that on this trip we will encounter ancient poisons. Trong Lap asked loudly, what is it? Why can't we see it? They watched the documentary footage over and over again, but found no content related to ancient witchcraft. Liu Kan Nam said in a low voice, Remember we saw a lot of black thankus in the hall on the west side. Ah, ah, at the same time, there were two screams of astonishment. Trong Lap suddenly remembered those black thankus. At that time the scene was dark, they did not pay attention to what the contents of those thankers were, and track Mok Kong Ba, because he had just heard from his own father that his family had nothing to do with that mystical religion. So, what is that black thanker like? The more he investigates, the more he feels that the relationship between his family and the mysterious religion doesn't seem to be simple, where is the answer? Is there a temple in Bak Bala? Lu Kan Nam could not guess the minds of the two, she said, the images of those black thankers have been processed by the computer, 
reverting back to the original version, on which are painted extremely worthy ancient witchcraft. Now, experts are still analyzing and editing those drawings. But because the date is so far away, plus we still can't fully explain the content of the drawings, perhaps it is still not very realistic to clarify how the ancient people made the ancient poison. Lu Kan Nam recalled the content of those black thankers, couldn't help but tremble, because they were really cruel and bloody, she really didn't want to reveal it to everyone, so she hid one of them, part. There are also written explanations on the edges of the thankers, but the symbols are not in the ancient Tibetan language they know, apparently to conceal the content, so they intentionally changed the spelling, experts say. That kind of symbolic script can be said to be the code of the ancient Tibetan language. The people sitting below did not dare to breathe heavily, only now they understand, Lu Kan Nam said they will face unprecedented difficulties, that is absolutely not a yes, after the excitement that was about to leave for the temple passed, a moment of fear rose in everyone's mind. Lu Kan Nam again comforted everyone, but don't worry too much, we will soon deploy special training to target those four situations. After completing this special training, everyone's ability to face difficulties will be greatly enhanced, we need to have absolute confidence that we can overcome any difficulty to achieve this goal, fully targeted. Everyone cheered and cheered again. Lu Kan Nam let everyone quiet down again, then continued, Now, I will tell everyone the specific plan of this training. This training is divided into three phases. The first phase, since most people have just recovered from their health, will conduct half therapeutic half recovery training, trying after the end of the period. With this, everyone's stamina will recover back to the state it was in before reaching the door of life. I give this stage 10 days. The second phase, is to target the shortcomings in people's performance when facing the authorities in Shuangkong Temple, so I will introduce everyone to the new officials, they will conduct remote control via the internet. Remember, even though their identity has been verified, there is no problem, but people still have to pay special attention, what should not be said should not be said. Then, she turned on the laser light, on the screen immediately appeared three new faces, one Chinese, two foreigners, these three all have the common feature of a toned, muscular body, both exude beauty and at the same time have elasticity. Lu Kan Nam introduced, this is Vong and Hat Dan, he is the mainstay of the Chinese variety art troupe, do you know how the vaudeville actors climb the pole? Saying that, Lu Kan Nam pressed the button on the remote control, and the scene immediately appeared on the screen of a variety actor climbing a pole, as flexible as a monkey, extremely fast, and even jumping between two bamboo poles. I ask everyone to do the same, Lu Kan Nam said. In addition, Mr. Vong and Hat Dan also taught people some special skills of vaudeville such as swinging overhead, balancing techniques, bone shrinking techniques. The tip of Lu Kan Nam's whip pointed to the side of the second person. This foreign man's muscles were the most powerful. The age was about the same as track mob Kwong Ba. The bridge of his nose was very high. This is Dai Veri, Russian, used to be an all-round gymnast. After retiring from competition and training several more champions, he will guide everyone in terms of technique and form. As soon as she finished speaking, the screen changed to the scene where the man was practicing the pull-up bar, only to hear Lu Kan Nam's voice say again, these acrobatic tricks have a great effect when dealing with the muscles, ancient pitfalls. I don't ask everyone's movements to be as standard as a sports athlete, but it's best to be able to simultaneously aim and shoot while rolling, right eye to look in all directions, ear in eight directions, trong lap, Yuyang heard that their eyes widened as if they wanted to fall out. Then the screen changes again. I only saw a young foreigner dressed very fashionably running fast on the roof of a high-rise building, then leaping over a few meters wide gap to the roof of another building, then clung to the edge of the wall and jumped straight, down. The two guys Trong Lap and Yuyang looked cold all over. Lu Kan Nam changed the scene again, pointed to the third person and said, This is Frank a Frenchman, who is a lover of extreme running. This sport requires a lot of strength and balance of the body, I hope, 
everyone can run fast on all terrain like them. After saying that, the screen switched back to the scene in the city. A group of people were running zigzag between the stairs and the wall, quickly overcoming obstacles, jumping on the spot that had reached the height of a person's head, pedaling. With your feet on the wall, you can directly cling to the wall and climb up to the second floor. Watching them run is different from watching a kung fu movie by Jackie Chan or Jet Li. Zhang Lap asked in a low voice, "Can we do it?" Liu Kanam said, "I don't ask people to do as well as they do. Variety, gymnastics, all-terrain running—these three types of exercise can all be considered as a challenge and extension to the body's flexibility. They have things in common." And at the same time, have different characteristics, unique, and will elevate everyone's physical limits to a new level. I'm not asking to be the best, but asking for better. This is my claim for everyone. At the same time, in this second stage, everyone had to complete a computer simulation training course, which is a computer software designed like a counterterrorism game that domestic software experts have developed. Compiled based on the data provided by Ba Tang and Trong Lap, hopefully everyone can learn the enemy's combat methods through this simulation software. Also, about your witchcraft, everyone has to undergo special training. Liu Kan Nam asked team members to be able to put on and take off isolation clothing, completing two first responders to isolate one person, including removing all foreign matter. Spraying disinfectant and setting up a simple isolation observation area with the fastest speed in the situation of still wearing thick and heavy climbing gear. The final stage is snow climbing training. Everyone is required to have a brief grasp of the skills of geographical analysis of the situation, how to explore areas with snow-covered rifts, how to resist strong winds of ten between halfway up the mountain, use rivets and ropes to advance. Under Liu Kan Nam's high-pitched lance and voice, the arduous training was carried out like that. Not only that, when a tiring day of training ended, everyone had to start another training category. Each one couldn't help but put in their efforts to learn about the religion in ancient Tibet. In Liu Kan Nam's words, this had a decisive support effect when they faced the authorities later. Apart from Lama Lama. Professors Fung Tan and Trak Mok Kong Ba know a few Buddhist scriptures. Other people's knowledge of Buddhism is very little, let alone Tibetan Tantra or Tantric Buddhism. What did the ancients do? Even more difficult is that the ununified Tibetan area of Buddhism has innumerable different sects, whose teachings are unspeakable, and they can only rely entirely on memorization. Learning until can recognize all the different types of Buddha statues in the Great Mandala. The three noble truths of the mandala, the Dharma mandala, the Kiyatma mandala, things like the wheel of the seven jewels, the Lugno instruments, the seven dye tract, Kakla also understood in general, even the concepts of the original religions such as the God of Life, Tanden, Uy Ma, Ma Ma, etc. Da Exa, De Lung, Don, Dat, Tui Thong Ma, Quan Ba. Also within the scope of their forced memorization. Liu Kan Nam also, through many different sources, found the type of mines that Ben's guys used. According to the data she found, this type of mine has an electronic clock design. The two ends are super adhesive glue that can be peeled off and pasted, which can stick the mine on the surface of any object, even in the water, also unaffected. The central part, as large as a button, is the main part of the bomb, in which explosives only make up two thirds of the volume of the button. The remaining third is a very sophisticated electronic component. The raw material for this powerful explosive contains uranium nitrodioxide and many other elements. In recent years, the U.S. military has only put this type into use and is known as a new generation of explosives. The explosive power is second only to nuclear weapons. The destructive ability of the button—that's the equivalent of 15 pounds of TNT. As for the outer shell. One can be timed, used as a regular timed bomb. The other is remotely controlled to detonate, effective within 500 meters. The third is above this shell. There is a pressure sensor device. Can choose whether to use it or not. Once started, this device, the bomb will automatically sense the pressure on it. If someone wants to remove it, the bomb will automatically explode. That is to say, 
This is a bomb that cannot be defused. The U.S. military has not yet made public information about this type of bomb. Only the relationship of the new name Ben can be obtained. It can be said that it is the most powerful weapon of the enemy. Finally, Liu Kan Nam said, "Although we have known about them having a ticking time bomb, we still don't know much about its power. Also, whether Sauls is a talisman in the enemy ranks or not, what is his identity? We are also investigating these matters further." Professor Feng Tan said, "I know a little about this person. Maybe people can't find much information about him." Before becoming famous, he was like other researchers, all day buried in the laboratory. No one knew who he was, until I remember, maybe eight years ago, his thesis report sent shockwaves through the Pacific Health Forum. At that time, respected academics commented that Sauls had dropped the atomic bomb on biology. That thesis, indeed, led to a revolutionary breakthrough in the world of biology. Eight years ago. Lama Arla thought quietly, as if thinking of something. Chapter Thirty-One: The Serve of the Slide Mounts One. Confided by Track Mok Kwong Ba, time passed very quickly. Professor Fung Tan's leg wound has completely recovered. Now in the group there is Captain Ho Duong. The two are very compatible, even talking all day, bored. In fact, Captain Ho Duong is easier to talk to than I Luke Kak before. He can talk to everyone. Even Ba Tang is ready to call him brother. Captain Ho Duong has a loud voice, a rough but delicate mind, a bit vulgar but very humorous and charming. Don't mistake his appearance as a vicious god of murder. In fact, this man Ho Duong is very easy to get along with. Within three months, he soon integrated into one with the whole group of Track Mok Kong Ba. Although he has not been systematically trained. The title of Captain Ho Duong does not come naturally. Apart from two aspects of mechanics and melee combat, he is slightly inferior to everyone. His physical ability is perfect, no less than Professor Feng Tan, and at the same time, he is also a long-time gun player. Knowledge of guns and explosives is almost comparable to the Special Forces soldiers. Moreover, his understanding of the polar climate and environment also helps the rest a lot. Suggest. As time went by, the end of the special training was getting closer and closer, and everyone's mood was getting more and more excited. Only Yue Yang still felt a bit unsettled because he discovered that, except for a few days when he announced the start of special training, the teacher showed excitement. Then his face remained gloomy. Gradually, the closer the departure date, the more worried she seemed. After all, what could cause their officials to become so worried? Yu Yang really couldn't understand, so he told this very small change of Liu Kan Nam to Trong Lap and Ho Duong. Finally, with just one more day left until the special training was officially over, the group would then leave the barracks for the vicinity of the snowy mountain they had to climb to conduct adaptive training. At night, although sitting in the dim light, but thinking about the departure tomorrow, everyone is a little excited. On the spacious training ground where Track Mok Kwong Ba used to linger the first day he entered this barracks, Captain Ho Duong smoked one cigarette after another. Trong Lap could hold a tree branch and draw circles on his face. The ground, both of their faces full of doubt and worry. Trong Lap said, "These days, the officials seem to be getting more and more anxious, or something. Even the time to go to the snow mountain has been pushed forward. I have never seen her like that before." Is it possible that the government has intent to put an end to this action? Hu Duong shook his head. Impossible. The last station has been reached. Everything is working very well. There is no reason to give up halfway. Could there be another reason this group is about to disband? Or is her health abnormal? Can't hold it any longer. No, said Trong Lap as if cutting a nail. The body of the teacher is like steel. The name Tiat Niang is not called indiscriminately, or is it because Lama Lama's age is too old? Ha,、huh? Ho Duong said. In my opinion, no. Although the age of Master Arla and Professor Feng Tan is higher than ours, they are both top class among the seniors. With their health, living a good life, another twenty or thirty years is not a problem. Moreover, even if there are unusual situations among our team members, by that time. 
it's best to change people or temporarily lack people. If someone's health is in trouble, it must be a key player in this journey. Trong Lap said suspiciously, then who can it be? Ho Duong said, yes, that's right. If someone's health is not good, other than Lu Can Nam, I really can't think of anyone else. A moment later, Yu Yang hurriedly ran over with small steps, shouting as he ran, investigate, investigate. Chang Li quickly asked, what's wrong? Yu Yang replied, almost like what we think, the superiors have given a deadline, if we still can't find the temple of Bo Bala this time, the team will have to be disbanded. It seems that this time the magistrate has finished playing the card and can't prolong it any longer. After all, we are just a test group, trying for more than two years and can't find anything more valuable, it's no wonder the officials are so worried. Trong Lap said, but don't we already have a map this time? Captain Ho Duong shook his head, no, you guys don't know, that map can only be compared to a mountain with a similar shape based on the drawing, it doesn't specify the route to the mountain, said honestly, Lu Can Nam and I have already discussed, our success rate of catching back Bar the temple on this trip won't exceed 50%, frankly, we're still taking risks. Information about that mountain, you will know tomorrow, not very optimistic. Yui Yang snorted, that means, if we don't find wood on that snowy mountain, we will all have to go back to our respective places. Captain Ho Duong let out a puff of smoke and nodded silently. Trong Lap said, well, what I'm most worried about now is the young master Kuang Ba, with his hot temper, this time I'm just afraid. I see that he seems to be confiding in these days, half surely he already knows. Speaking of me, Track Mop Kuang Ba walked from the light of the lamp to the three of them. Young Master Kuang, Zhang Lap and Yu Yang each leaned forward a little. Track Mop Kuang Ba immediately crouched down between the two, waiting for Yu Yang to say the picture this time. Trong Lap said, actually, Young Master Kuang Ba doesn't need to worry too much, our group is now like cast steel, this action must be will succeed. Yu Yang mumbled, but we've never climbed a snowy mountain. Trong Lap raised his hand and patted the guy once, saying, don't say you're dead. Ho Duong said, the mountain is important. All in all, very annoying. Track Mok Kuang Ba said, I know, there is a conspiracy in human life, success in heaven, I believe that heaven has arranged so many challenges but we have already overcome them all, this challenge compared to a life and death choice, it's B. Captain Ho Duong friendly patted Track Mop Kuang Ba's shoulder, you think that's good enough? Track Mop Kuang Ba smiled and replied, honestly, I have never believed in gods before, nor have I believed in God, I just know that I've put in effort, so there's nothing wrong with me, can do. But after going through all of this, I discovered that everything seems to be arranged by God's will, there are many things that happen so suddenly, step by step, step by step, as if someone was guiding us. The more I know about Bagbala Temple, the stronger that feeling in me. Going there, like a return that fate has arranged for me, there are many doubts, it seems that only there is the answer. Before, I just wanted to be able to find out the whereabouts of the unicorn in the vicinity of the temple, but now it seems that it is impossible not to go to the temple. Trong Lap exclaimed in surprise, does young master Kuang Ba really think like that? And yet I thought you knew this would be discouraging. Track Mok Kuang Ba smiled gratefully at Trong Lap. You mean I'm not in a good mood these days, right? It's not about this, there are some personal issues. He paused for a moment, then continued, It's my daughter's 18th birthday in a few days, and I sent her an email congratulating her. These days, I suddenly miss her mother and daughter. Yu Yang said, where is your daughter? I've never heard you mention it before. Trong Lap said, email, why don't you make a phone call? Track Mok Kuang Ba replied, in Canada, calling that phone, to be honest, I was a little hesitant. One is I don't know if my daughter will forgive this unworthy father, the other is worried about the husband of the previous wife misunderstanding me, letting the two of them have a bad marriage. 
maybe my traditional beliefs are doing the wrong thing, divorced, try your best not to disturb other people's new life. They've come all the way to Canada, probably because they didn't want me to bother them. Ho Duan shook his head, so that's not right, how can I say it, it's your daughter and your wife anyway, what's the point of making a phone call? There is no such thing as a married couple who have never spoken to each other. If they really love each other, I don't think the other man is that incompetent. You are forcing yourself, do you still feel sorry for your ex-wife, still feel guilty and choose to run away? It's not good to be a deserter, Yue Yang asked. Actually, young master Kuang Ba is also very good, why does his wife want a divorce? Trong Lap glared up at the guy. Captain Ho Duan burst into laughter and said, even if you're a scout, you don't need to talk about it, you have to ask for clarity. Track Mok Kuang Ba bowed his head and replied, no, there is nothing. In fact, women's requirements are very simple, they just need a husband who can be by their side often, a harmonious family, so they are satisfied. Unfortunately I can't do that. Humans are social animals, always have a lot of thoughts that need someone to devote their hearts to. Loneliness for humans can be said to be a torment. Speaking of this, Trak Mok Kwong Ba laughed bitterly to himself, shook his head and said, Look at me, I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Trong Lap probably knows a little bit, but only my teacher, Professor Fung Tan understands the person I used to be. At that time I was a workaholic, often out for a long time, rarely coming home. My daughter was seven years old when she knew her father's face. Moreover, even when I got home, I didn't say a word. When Trong Lap first met me, I was still the same person. I remember Trong Lap once said, with my physique, if I don't open my mouth, I can put pressure on people so that people can't breathe. Looking back now, the days when my ex-wife lived with me, must have been heavy and suffocating. She tried her best to fulfill her duties as a good wife, and I, I did not fulfill the responsibilities of a husband, not even a lover. Well, maybe my marriage to my ex-wife was a mistake in itself. That marriage wasn't as romantic and emotional as you thought it would be. At that time, my parents hoped that I would think about the big things in life, but among many employees of our company, her performance is quite excellent, eating a few meals together, so that's it, had a relationship, half a year later we got married. Ha, Yu Yang was disappointed, the guy who thought that a man who had experienced things like in this legend, Marriage also had to be engraved in his heart and heart, now listening to young master Kwong Ba tell, of course it's downright bland. Track Mok Kwong Ba continued, we got married for less than a year, our daughter was born, then she stayed at home to take care of the children, I went to work outside. Perhaps people have heard some of my previous stories, like those experiences make people admire. Actually, I feel very sorry for my wife. I usually don't stay home for a whole year, when I get home less than 10 days, I'll leave again. At that time, it was also very open outside, I really did not think about An's feelings, name of Kwong Ba's wife. Trong Lap whispered, sister-in-law, so pitiful. Track Mok Kwong Ba smiled bitterly, perhaps a punishment for me. When she meets a man who can open her inner door, I know what true love is, so it's not. When I found out, it was all over. It is true that a marriage is as quiet as water, even divorce is bland and tasteless. We didn't argue, she didn't need an estate, an agreement, so the ten-year marriage was over. Daughter wants to follow her, I hope our daughter follows her too, if staying with me, well. I can't imagine what it's going to be like. Yue Yang understood, it turns out that a third person stepped in. Captain Ho Duong said, You are still suffering a lot, you are not as ignorant as you claim to be. Track Mok Kwong Ba said sadly, Yes, it is true that as Mr. Ho Duong said, I am very heartbroken. Deep feelings can also arise for animals, let alone a human who has lived with her for more than ten years. As a saying has said, Man is a strange animal, when he can feel normal, 
it's not until he's gone to regret it. In other words, the night my previous wife left, I went to a bar in Shanghai and got drunk without knowing the moon, and got into a fight with a bunch of people at that bar, and later was beaten up. I was hospitalized for more than a month, and I didn't understand what was wrong with me. After that busy time, I put all my heart into the work as before, but before and after, I still felt disappointed as if I had lost something. If it weren't for the story of the unicorn death, I don't know how long I would have remained like this. Seeing that Track Mok Kwong Ba's expression became more and more gloomy, Trong Lap said, What is this? We leave tomorrow, let's talk about fun. Yue Yang also continued, Ah, that's right, young master Kwong Ba, or tell your romantic story with Miss Kwong Man. Seeing how happy the two of you are, I admire you so much. Zhang Li deliberately patted Yue Yang on the back and said, This kid, he's inquiring about other people's private matters again. Track Mok Kwong Ba said outside his mouth, There is no such thing as a romantic relationship, just consider it. It's just fate, but his heart, went back to the time in America more than a year ago. When Duong Man took off his duck-billed hat, the stream of jet black hair that was as shiny as a floating cloud broke out, Track Mok Kwong Ba really heard the sound of his heart beating, the blood in his body seemed to rush to his head, the inside of the bones is hot and hot. Although Duong Man's posture is small and cute, like the little girl next door, it seems that he can't help but sympathize, but Track Mok Kwong Ba is an experienced man, has met countless people, girls like so he met a lot. He didn't understand, why this time there was such a strong heart pounding feeling. That feeling prompted him to just want to hold her in his arms, hug her tightly and protect her well, not letting that girl leave him even for a moment. Even he found it difficult to control his impulse, the fingers resting on his side trembled slightly. It was this strange feeling that appeared at the first meeting that made him say to this girl much younger than him when he left the hospital, Miss Tang Min, I don't know if I can invite you to lunch. Can you tell me this is too sudden, but I would love to know more about your brother. In a small Chinese restaurant, the girl rests her hand on her chin, leaning against the window she looked very pretty, but not very pretty. But like a white elang elang, very soft and fresh, it seems that even a slight touch will cause the flower to wither. However, in her eyes, there was a deepness that was not suitable for her age, or like an immense sadness. It seems that she has to shoulder too much, her parents are gone, her brother has gone crazy, how can she cope? The light through the window shone on that delicate face, long eyelashes, high nose bridge, cherry lips. Especially her face, Tang Min's face is very white, under that soft natural light, her quiet posture is like a statue carved from white jade. Track Mok Kwong Ba secretly thought, this girl is very similar to a person, that person must have occupied an extremely important position in his heart, that feeling is unexpectedly even more important than the position of his ex-wife in his life, my heart, who is this? Daughter, no, she and his daughter had nothing in common, ah, younger sister. The door of memory that had been dusted for a long time cracked a small crack, the strong defenses were broken in an instant, and all the sorrows mixed with suffering surged up. Memories that once made him burn his bones, never dared to recall, only appearing in dreams, now suddenly appear before his eyes. That innocent young face is always smiling, the two teeth look like pearls like porcelain, the eyes under the eyebrows are both big and bright, without the slightest uncleanness of the world, pure as snow, white on the top of Kwong Enon Ba Ti Mountain. The little girl who followed him all day long, calling, brother, brother, the oldest but also the closest, her face was slowly merging onto the girl sitting in front of him. Track Mok Kwong Ba knows very well that the girl sitting across from him is absolutely not his sister. If his sister was still in this world, she would probably be married, perhaps have a son about seven or eight years old, and a daughter as well, her husband is a herder, there is a large herd of goats and cows in the house, the big tent is located on the green step, facing the deep green mountains, the back is facing the sky. For a portion, 
I really like Shanghain's food. Mr. Track Mob Kwong Ba, do you order? Hey, Mr. Juo Mob Kwong Ba. Huang Man finished choosing the dish, discovered that Track Mob Kwong Ba was staring intently, not knowing why, but his heart couldn't help but be a little nervous. She quickly realized, he was just looking at the moon, but that eye was definitely not staring at him, but seemed to be a bit ecstatic, I don't know what he was thinking. Tang Min was a little disappointed, and called Track Mob Kwong Ba for a few more hours, but her voice was very low, as if afraid of interrupting his memory. She herself also felt that she did not understand why she was like this. And Track Mob Kwong Ba was recalling the scene around the Green Mountains, on a small mountain slope, his sister sat on his shoulder looking away. Brother, is Shanghai big? Um, very big. How big? Is it as big as our village? Um, much bigger than our village. It's bigger than our village too, that's really big. Hey darling. Yes. Shanghai is on the other side of the mountain, isn't it? Um, on the other side of the mountain. I'll take you to Shanghai, do you like it? That Shanghai, lots of delicious food, thinking for a long time, the corners of Track Mob Kwong Ba's eyes were slightly wet. Track, Mr. Juo Mob Kwong Ba, me, did I say something wrong? For some reason, seeing that gaze of Track Mob Kwong Ba, Huang Man suddenly panicked. Sorry, Track Mob Kwong Ba was startled awake, smiled and said, no, it has nothing to do with you. I have a sister, maybe a little older than you, but somehow, as soon as I see her, I remember her. Ah, you seem to be very good to my sister, where is she now? I don't know, he was taken away by the witches when he was very young. Die, please, sorry sir, I don't know, I. It's okay, it's not your fault. That little sister of mine, she always makes mistakes, every time she does something wrong, she only knows how to find me to take the blame for her, in fact, she really wants to do it well, but this time it's all clumsy. At that time I used to think, if one day, I'm not around her anymore, then she knows what to do, I never realized that the idea brings such bad luck. Track Mop Kong Ba forced a bitter smile, his face full of sadness. Tang Min was also touched and said softly, Don't be like that, it's so good to have an older brother, from small to large, even if it's anything, he has a brother to help. If someone bullies you, you can shout out loud that I will tell my brother. But, my brother, he, saying this, Tang Min's tears suddenly welled up. At first, Track Mok Kwong Ba did not pay much attention, consoling a sentence or two. But the more Tang Min's tears cried, the more they fell, falling like a broken string, only then did he realize the seriousness of the problem. What's happened? Everyone is not going to sleep but gathering here to talk, are you still excited about tomorrow? This is not a quality that members of our special training team should have. Professor Fung Tan also joined the group. Yu Yang hurriedly moved to make room for him, and at the same time said, Ah, young master Kuang Ba just told a story of the past. After speaking, he briefly told what Track Mob Kuang Ba had just said. Yu Yang understands well, Whatever the young master Kuang Ba said, the professor knows it all. It is true that Professor Fung Tan knew about this, but he never thought that the man on the outside could not let go. He patted the back of Track Mob Kuang Ba's neck and said, The past will become a memory in your life, don't carry so many burdens that you can't let go of. You have to think like this, she is definitely happier now than before, she has chosen her own path, you need to respect her choice but you too, you have own choice. In a person's whole life, in general, he will have to go through a lot of things, learn to appreciate, and also learn to let go. He can't just hold everything and blame himself, having lost it once, so he has to cherish the people who are by his side now. Tang Min is a good girl, although her age is a bit different from yours, but I can see that she is sincere with you. I think you know this too, at first I didn't like her very much. But, do you know why? Chapter 31, Fucking Me.
servant of the snow mountain to snow mountain. Sure enough, as soon as he heard about Guang Man, Track Mob Kwong Ba immediately got rid of his self-reproaching mood, looked up at Professor Fung Tan, couldn't help but panic, embarrassed, stammering, no. Don't know, Trong Lap also knows this. Exactly, from the moment he met Tang Min for the first time, the professor was not happy. About this, he also thought for a long time but could not understand. Trong Lap himself saw that Duang Man, besides the age difference with Track Mob Kwong Ba, was not a problem. Professor Fung Tan said calmly, because when I first met her, I didn't like her. Then he turned to Nyak Puang and Trong Lap continued, perhaps she is the kind of girl that you young people like, pretty and lovely, both smart and weird at the same time, but when I look at that girl, there is a very natural evil in her eyes, that is a pair of eyes that do not need makeup to attract men. With my experience as a person, it is very difficult for a girl like that to be faithful to a man, plus the age gap between the two is so obvious, so at that time I thought, Miss this little lord who's used to being pampered won't be able to stay with you for long. Track Mok Kwong Ba was surprised, didn't expect that the first time he met Wang Man, Professor Fung Tan would have such an impression, no wonder he kept his face heavy and gentle with Wang Man forever. Professor Fung Tan slightly lowered his head and said, the facts prove that I was wrong, by the way, I also officially apologize to you. Track Mok Kwong Ba panically stood up and said, Teacher, please don't say that, every single thing you do is my wife, how could I not know? Actually, then I, I thought, Professor Fung Tan said with a smile, do you know when that little girl touched me? Not because she could endure all the hardships of training, nor when she risked her life to save him in Ahist's dungeon, not even the despairing eyes in Shuangkong Island could not, it was the time in that hospital. In the hospital, is it the time when the two of us went to the hospital together? No, of course not when the two of you clasped hands on the operating table, but after the surgery. His personality was always casual and negligent, never paying attention to what Min Min did in the hospital. Her wound just got better, she asked to take care of me herself, Ayla Lalama, then these two boys and Ba Tang too, that thoughtful mother's care, she gave my love for you, poured into every person beside you, that feeling is absolutely impossible to fake. If you really look closely, you will find out, she carefully folds each bed sheet, and then her gaze at the speed of the infusion, every time she washes our faces, that the dried towel needed to stop in the air for a few seconds, her every move was very thoughtful, exuding a deep love for him. Moreover, she is not only good to him, but also to each person next to him, it can be seen that it is no longer an ordinary love, in a person's life can meet a red face. It's very satisfying like that. Of course, for an inattentive person like you, it's definitely not felt. Track Mok Kwong Ba embarrassedly lowered his head, sighing in his heart, well, still the best teacher. Yu Yang looked at Track Mok Kwong Ba's embarrassed expression, couldn't help but silently say in his heart, I'm just afraid of not being like man man. The magistrate, and the nurses who come by often, I feel the same way, even the cat that occasionally runs out the window. Um, you really are a female assassin. The guy glanced at Trong Lap, both of them nodded silently, seeming to understand each other very well. Professor Fung Tan seemed to understand what was going on, and asked, that's right, Kwong Ba, what was your tone of voice that wanted to say and then stopped? He said he thought, what do you think? Are you thinking then, the old man is about to come down this hole and hit your girlfriend, isn't it? Ah, oh, track Mok Kwong Ba quickly stood up, hastily waved his hand as if someone could see through his heart, I, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, did I? Trong Lap suddenly said, I think I heard it, at that time the young examiner Kwong Ba muttered that word, you also heard it, right, Yuyang. These two guys, food can be eaten indiscriminately, but speech cannot be haphazardly. Yes, I heard it, I heard it, I hear it very well. Music Duang also accompanies. Captain Ho Duang smiled, 
The dark cloud in track Mob Kwong Ba's heart finally faded a bit. That night, the wind blew softly, the insects hummed softly in the grass. Early the next morning, the mist was still in the air, the group of people with their backpacks on their backs, standing on the high hill looking back at the lowlands behind, where the barracks they had trained for nearly two years, now, no matter what whether they succeed or fail, they don't come back. Everyone's mood is very complicated, both yearning for success, mixed with a bit of impatience, stress, excitement, insecurity, so many emotions mixed together, only the heart beats faster and stronger than at any other time before. The helicopter slowly landed on the platform on the high hill, the members of the group lined up one by one to enter, the propeller rotated slowly and then quickly, slowly ascending high, carrying a group of people hugging. The dream sky flies straight to the deep blue sky. The snow-covered mountains are gradually shrinking, and Track Mob Kwong Ba suddenly has a strange feeling. The place where they were going, two years ago, Uncle Le Ba had mentioned to him, was the land cursed by the gods, where the unforgiving dark clouds had brought the haze to cover it forever, and the night was filled with evil breaths. Only those who have lost their conscience will be thrown into that eternal hell of no return. Now, two years have passed, going around a big circle, finally they come to the great snow mountain, fate seems to be playing with him, a joke neither big nor small, round and round, finally return to the starting point. The only difference is, now their purpose is much clearer than before, and the group has also changed from the two people then to the ten people now. Before departing, Lu Kannam told everyone that the destination this time was a snow mountain that man had never conquered, although the international name had been officially known, but the Tibetan people around that area called it, is the goddess Tutatki at Mak. It is located in the middle of the Himalayan mountain range, compared to the surrounding snowy mountains, it is not very high, but it is the most dangerous mountain. In fact, in the past, the whole area from Lak Trat to the west, along the Himalayan spine straight to Falan, was considered a forbidden land for mankind, known locally as, to the western tropics. Especially the snow mountain to Tatki at Mak that they will come this time, according to Ba La's uncle once said, 7,000 meters above sea level, the average wind speed is 18, the average temperature is about 30 degrees below zero, the average oxygen saturation is only 10%. This mountain mainly has six slopes, the northwest, southeast slopes located on the back of the Himalayan mountain circuit, in addition, there are north slopes, west slopes, northwest slopes, and southwest slopes. There are still traces of avalanches on the steep slopes of the mountain. Halfway up the mountain is an ice slope that gradually rises from north to south, with a relatively large area. The north face looks like it was cut by a knife, the average slope reaches over 75 degrees. The secondary peak on the northern mountainside is called Le Mac Quang Kai, 6,816 meters above sea level. The secondary peak on the western slope is named Tan Quoc Ha Ingoa New Enan, 6,640 meters above sea level. The secondary peak on the southeastern side of the mountain is Da Ket Nok Trong Ma, which is relatively high, 7,010 meters. These peaks are covered with a thick layer of snow and ice. In the ravines there are giant glaciers. Above the glaciers there are many steep cliffs and deep serrations. Very often avalanches occur. Looking at the satellite map, you can faintly see the wolf-tooth-shaped secondary peaks, several intersecting sub-peaks, like a devil gnashing his teeth, steep ice cliffs, extremely dangerous mountain positions. The mountain is covered with fog and snow all year round, hazy like a mirage. Even the Ha Enaba ethnic people, who have long been called scouts in the snowy mountains, are not willing to go there, a place that seems to be a land of only going and no return. However, the place they wanted to find was roughly a gap between two mountain peaks, surrounded by mountains, forming the windbreak of the Taifong Strip. If you want to find that place, you must first climb up to the top of the snowy mountain all year round without revealing this true appearance. Actually, everyone is familiar with the name of this goddess to Tatki at Mak, which literally translates as, death. 
this god's eyes emit lightning, his nose breathes out a gust of wind, his ears ring with thunder, his hair stands up and rotates like a cloud, and his face is adorned with red and black corpses, the image is extremely scary. The helicopter flew to the southwest, following the giant mountain valley and advancing, the two sides of the rugged mountains, the snow-covered peaks stood out against the deep blue sky, as if they were flying on the DA Nang flight route. That's Fong. Track Mok Kwong Ba vaguely felt these mountain ranges as if they were getting more and more familiar. That feeling became more and more obvious, finally, he suddenly remembered, if this flight route is not wrong, they is moving towards Datmar district. If it was Datmar district, then Track Mok Kwong Ba he knew very well. This district is located in the middle of the Himalayan mountain range, is the contact area between the three countries of China, India, and Nepal. The mountain is covered with snow on three sides, the terrain is high and dangerous, and the climate is affected by the hot and humid air currents from the region. The Indian Ocean blows in, rain is abundant. In the mountain valley, the trees are green and dense, there are very large primeval forests, the roads to the mountain are similar to the road to Makthot, they are carved on the steep cliffs. The small road looked like a rope wound into the flesh of the mountain, forming deep marks. Currently, among the people who love to travel, there are many people who know about Makthot, but those who know Dat Martyh are still it, but the footprints of Track Mop Kwong Ba and Professor Fung Tan Thi are almost imprinted, everywhere in this Dat Ma district. The reason they are familiar with this place is no different because in the ancient documents recorded, Datmar district is the birthplace of the most aggressive clan breed, and also the most loyal to protect the owner. Today, in the south of Datmar district, it still retains the script of the ancient people carved on the cliff, carved by the Han people in the form of Kai script, dating from a long time ago, almost faded, only dimly recognized out a few words, Thien Truck, Ao Chao. According to the results of the examination, some historical diary documents briefly mentioned that, going to Thien Truck, one must go through Datmar, the Han people call this Ao Chao, the gateway to the pharynx. The land that the military family is determined to fight for, and so on. The dates of these historical documents can be traced back to the Tang dynasty. However, when Track Mok Kwong Ba went to Dat Ma district and studied, the old Ao Chao had declined, he and Professor Fung Tan had made great efforts, but still could not get anything positive. There is another thing that makes them doubtful, that is, Ao Chao is too far from Party Xiang, nor is it the place where the last great battle with the Tuing Hung dynasty took place, but it is the birthplace of the clan breed, the most fierce, the most loyal to protect the owner, the feeling of hearing is not very good. Estimated to have reached the boundary of Datmar district, the helicopter took them to an altitude of more than 4,000 meters and nearly 5,000 meters above sea level. According to Lu Kan Nam, here is the village closest to the mountain god, Na Le village, which is also their outpost on this climb. Track Mok Kwong Ba searched in his memory, seemingly not impressed with this place, his eyebrows could not help but be together. Enela is a ravine located between snowy peaks. The topography is equivalent to Nwetluong Ravine in the desert. The snow mountains surrounding this one air higher than the other, overlapping each other, the snow line on the undulating mountainside stretches, forming a stretch of the Great Wall from natural ice and snow, both inside and outside the wall, are spread over a vast expanse. The wind cuts through the mountains and blows through the mountainside, a year with four seasons, forever without a moment of rest. But thanks to the high mountains on both sides to prevent the cold, in the ravine it was warm and raining, the grass was green, and many cows and goats lived, so looking down from above, halfway up the snow mountain seemed to spread out. The green fluffy carpet looks like a crescent moon. The ice and snow melt into clear streams that gather on the green carpet, forming large and small lakes, the lake surface reflects the snow-covered mountain peaks, the lake water is all shining with a milky white color, looking far away, like countless pearls big and small. A river like a string connects these pearl lakes, then flows around the grassland, through the residential area. 
because this place is a residential area at the highest position above sea level of China, even of the whole world, the climate is extremely cold, so the houses here are low, from the sky. Looking down, it looked exactly like scanned thin matchboxes. Quite a few stone houses are built according to typical Tibetan architecture, there are also small wooden houses. People here all build houses where there is water, in front of the door there is a river flowing through, outside the window is a lake, the scene easily reminds people of a residential area in the Jiangnan River region. The cows and goats were all laid waste on the pasture, relaxed and comfortable, looking very leisurely. Yuyang sat on the helicopter and admired it, saying, it seems that the people here don't have to do anything, the goats and goats crawl out by themselves in the morning, return to the barn at night and open the window. Seeing the ancient copper lake, there are also snowy mountains and blue sky with white clouds. It's okay to stay indoors every day drinking tea, playing chess, or riding a horse for a walk, oh my, that's what life is like, tsk tsk, I want to live here for a long time. Captain Ho Duong laughed and scolded, this kid, if he really lived here, I'm afraid that in less than two months, he would have shouted for him to return to the city. Yuyang heard that, only, ha, a sound, did not pay attention. When they got off the helicopter, they discovered that the climate in this place was even drier and colder than they had imagined. Yue Yang couldn't bear to have to put his hand up to cover his nose and shiver a few times. The noise of the helicopter startled the people living nearby, the villagers inside their houses rushed out to see what was wrong. When they realized that there was a guest coming, Everyone was very enthusiastic, and a bright smile appeared on their faces in turn. Yuyang again lamented, this place compared to Kongbo village is really different from heaven and earth. It's been a long time since our place has had this many guests, it's windy outside, please let everyone in my house to rest. The other pilot also came in and drank some hot wine to warm up. In the midst of the crowd stepped out a fairly old man, probably the head of the village, smiling cheerfully and said to the group of people, Track Mob Kong Ba, the army comrades told us already. My name is Ma Bao, I will help everyone with accommodation. A few lamas Ala, Professor Fung Tan, Track Mob Kong Ba, and Ba Tang did not see anything strange, but Yuyang and Trong Lap group listened and widened their eyes. They didn't understand at all what the village chief in his fifties was talking about. Yuyang slightly pulled the Lama 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 Lama's lap, whispered, Master, what language does he speak? It's Tibetan. Lama Ala was stunned for a moment, then immediately smiled and said, They speak Tibetan, only the pronunciation is a bit different, belonging to the dialect, if you listen carefully, you will understand. Quote, the Yuyang group also thought it was Tibetan at first. As soon as they heard something different, they followed the old Tibetan way of thinking to receive information, but they didn't understand it at all. Now being reminded by Lama Lama, I know it's a dialect, pondering and guessing for a long time, finally able to guess a little bit, it sounds like Shanghain's or Cantonese speak Mandarin, it's true that they speak Tibetan, it's just that the pronunciation is completely different. Lu Kan Nam glanced at his watch, then said to track Mop Kwong Ba and the others, We will stay here to rest for a few days, first to adapt to the high mountain situation, second to wait for the announcement of the Department of Forestry. See when the weather is suitable for climbing. The time of departure to the mountain could be four or five days from now, or it could also be tomorrow. We need to see and understand the mountainous terrain around here, determine the route that can reach the top of the mountain. It is 11 o'clock, before noon is the time when the fog on the mountain is most likely to dissipate. Now I will arrange, the group of track Mok Kwong Ba, Ho Duong, and Yu A Duong will go east, Lama Ayla, Ba Tang, Trong Lap will go south, Professor Fung Tan, me and Man Man will follow. North direction, have you heard? Ma Bao, we need three guides. Ma Bao nodded, called out from among the villagers two strong, healthy middle-aged men, then asked, can't you go home and rest for a while? Do you need to leave your backpack at home? 
Liu Kan Nam shook his head. It's not necessary. We have to quickly adapt to the heavy lifting activities in this new environment. If we can't even carry these machines and necessities at the foot of the mountain at the same time, action, so how can we get to the snowy mountain? Ma Bao sighed and said, going up the snowy mountain. It is difficult. The Tibetan Code 5 author, Hippo the servant of the snowy mountains, 3, Track Mok Kwong Ba's team is in charge of surveying whether the ravine is located in the middle of the southeast sub-mountain Nok Trong Ma and the correct peak to climb or not, this way was both far and difficult to go, so Ma Bao led him alone. Along the way, after chatting with Track Mok Kwong Ba, I learned that Ma Bao is not actually the head of the village, this nominal village is actually a spontaneously formed residential area of nomads, in the village, there are 40 or 50 households, everyone is as close as in a house. Anyone in trouble just need to say a word, everyone in the village will help. Moreover, for many years now, in this village, there have been no big things happening, the biggest things are nothing but filial mourning and filial piety. The people in the village are all Dat Ma people. According to Track Mok Kwong Ba, the Datma people in this Datma district mostly migrated from Nepal to the middle of the Himalayas around the end of the Qing dynasty, but they still insist that they are descendants of the people. Tibetans, some say they are descendants of the Kakla de clan. They did not have a written language, before liberation, they also lived in a very primitive way, burning their fields for farming, tying forest ropes to remember the incident. Because this place is the border of China and Nepal, even if they also often go back and forth between the two countries, the close relatives of many Dagma people still live in Nepal, but they can still persevere, residing in Chinese territory, and thinking that China is gradually growing, the future days will be better and better. At present, the life of the people in Ma Bao village is basically not different from that of the Tibetans, who also speak Tibetan and eat Than Koa's flower cake, only that religious activities are relatively low. There are only activities of transferring paints, asterisk, moreover, they also go in the anti-clockwise direction of the Taoism. Blank. Asterisk, converting the mountain sutra, one of the most devout rites of Tibetan Buddhism, Hinduism and Buddhism. Devotees worshipped while walking around the mountain of the god Kwong Enon Ba T, Jang Riponch. Tibetan Buddhism and Hinduism move the paint clockwise and the catechism goes in the opposite direction. Blank. As for going up to the snowy mountain, Ma Bao shook his head and told them that year after year, the state survey team had also arrived, a group of 13 people had entered the mountain, but less than half of them survived, go out, another year, the British expedition also arrived, but in the end no one returned, later, there were Americans, Germans, even more modern and advanced equipment than they are now, but every time it was ten people, only one or two at most. The deadly west wind strip is not just a name, Chomalungma Peak, i.e. Everest, the highest on earth, 8,848 meters, can be climbed, because it is a benevolent goddess, and two Tatkiat Mak is a woman. God has the most fiery temper, no one can bear the fire of his anger. When they reached the monitoring point, the top of the mountain was covered with clouds, and could only be seen from halfway down the mountain. Captain Ho Duong only glanced at it once, and immediately guessed, this road cannot be taken. Then he carried out geodetic measurements very skillfully, and at the same time showed Track Mok Kwong Ba and Nyak Duong the dangerous places. He thinks that there are three reasons why this road cannot be navigated, one is that the climate is too harsh, the second is that the terrain is too complicated, and the third is that the slope is too steep. With their manpower and equipment at the moment, going up the mountain is literally rushing to the death. Ma Bao smiled and said to them, what they saw was already quite good, because in the legend of D.A. Ketnok Trong Ma is a goddess with quite good character compared to other gods. In normal times, she is an extremely beautiful white goddess, her face is always radiant with a friendly smile, on her neck is a garland of jewels, gold, silver, jewels and fresh flowers, often riding an animal. Turkish turquoise lion. But when she is angry, she will turn into a black-faced goddess, fierce and cruel, 
with a bloody mouth, burning eyes, a misty nose, and her clothes also turn into human skin, exam, holding a bowl of skulls full of human blood. Track Mok Kwong Ba felt that the story was so familiar, as if he had heard it somewhere before, it was definitely not a story he had heard when he was young, but he couldn't remember it at the moment. Just listen to Captain Ho Duong ask, so what do you mean, the monitoring results of the other two groups are worse than ours? Ma Bao nodded, probably so. After listening to Yu Yang, he had to think for a while before he could roughly guess what Ma Bao meant, muttering and grumbling, it's already so difficult to go halfway up the mountain, I don't know after the clouds have cleared, it's peaking. What will that mountain look like eh? Ma Bao Bao heard and understood what Yu Yang said, quickly waved his hands, it's impossible, the fog on the top of the mountain is always there, four seasons a year, I've lived here since I was a kid and I haven't seen the Jew disappear, any time. In the past, I heard the old people say, because the goddess was very beautiful anyway, she did not want to be seen by humans, so she hid her face. This mountain peak has been like this for tens of thousands of years, and the fog will never go away. Captain Ho Duong's face showed a worried expression, he caressed his shaggy beard and said, this time it's ruined, if the fog on the top of the mountain does not clear all year round, we must proceed to climb the mountain in the morning, blind area, this situation is called suicide climbing. Moreover, even if the fog disappears, with this type of terrain, it is much more difficult to climb Chomalungma Peak, I am afraid it will be more difficult than climbing Nam Si A Baringoa, this place can absolutely be classified as difficult to climb, hang level 5.12 in that YDS asterisk system. Blank asterisk YDS Yosemite decimal system system used to describe the difficulty levels of climbing activities. Level 5.12 is the hardest level and no one has really climbed it yet. Blank. For a moment, the three of them fell silent. They all know that level 5.12 is the hardest climbing level, and Captain Ho Duong must absolutely not brag. At this time, Ma Bao spoke again, even if everyone can climb to the side of the mountain, the next part of the road cannot be crossed. We met a lot of people in the past who could climb into the fog, but none of them came back. Seeing that the faces of Track Mok Kwong Ba and the others were even more unsightly, Ma Bao continued, unless Kwong and Hat Fa back guides you. Gang and Hat Fa Silver, Track Mok Kwong Ba and Captain Ho Duong were both stunned for a moment, both of them had a slight impression of this name in their memories. Its meaning is the servant of the snow mountain. Track Mok Kwong Ba still vaguely remembers, not only has he heard this name, but also has been in contact with that person. But thinking about it more closely, it doesn't feel that way, as if some key connection is missing. Yes, Ma Bao nodded, I heard he is the only one who knows the way up the mountain. Captain Ho Duong said, how does he know the way up the mountain? Ma Bao shook his head again, I don't know. However, many years ago, a state scientific survey team came here once. At that time, it was Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's wife who led the way for them, but that time failed, it is heard that no one in the group could return. Later, some other groups came to find Kwong and Hat Fa Bak to lead the way, but he never responded. I remember now, said Captain Hu Yang, fisting his fist on his other hand, when I was on the Tibet Glacier Survey, I heard about this man. At that time, the government wanted to survey a snowy mountain, but Kwong and Hat Fa Bak refused to lead the way, so it was still unable to leave. At that time, this name was often mentioned, oh my, I said why does this name sound so familiar? I heard that the glacier here is very special, it can be compared with the glacier in Namumani Mountain, asterisk. At this point, Captain Ho Duong was fascinated by the huge white glacier rising down from the middle of the misty mist. It was like a young girl showing half of her snow white arm beckoning, exuding a strange magic power. Blank, underscore, 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 asterisk. Gurla Mandata, the highest mountain in the Nalakanka Himal range, a branch of the Himalayas. Blank, that's right, Ma Bao, 
Then how did people know that Kuang and Hat Fubak could find his way up the mountain? Is he also a Dat Ma? Track Mok Kuang Ba asked. Ma Bao shook his head, no. In the past, I heard the elders in the village say, before our ancestors came here, the ancestors of Kuang and Hat Fubak had already settled around here. So I think, that's why they know more than we do. He pointed his finger in the direction, then said, they have always lived in the south, and still have to go up. The environment there is not as good as ours, very few people live. In the past, there were only one or two households there, now there is only one village of Kuang and Hat far back left. Track Mok Kuang Ba looked at Nyak Tuang, both of them think of the people living in Kongbo village, the person named Kuang and Hat far back, do they have the same mission? Captain Ho Duong said, take us to meet that person. Ma Bao thought for a moment, then said, it's no use, it's not that no one came to him before, but since his wife died, he refuses to take anyone up the mountain. Captain Ho Duong said, you just help us find him first, as to whether he is willing to take us to the mountain or not, we have to talk to him to find out, right? Quote. Ma Bao frowned and said, okay, but I have to remind everyone, getting close to his house is a very dangerous thing. Kuang and Hat Far Back has a very large and fierce dog, and besides its owner, that dog does not accept anyone else. Maybe it didn't bite me, but you guys. Big dog ha, huh? track mock Kuang Ba suddenly remembered, exclaiming, Kuang Le, Kuang Le my de, I remember it, ha. Huh? Ma Bao looked surprised and said, how do you know its name? Track Mok Kuang Ba laughed and said, I told you why that name sounds so familiar. Kuang Le Mai De, Kuang and Hat Fa Back, why can't I know him? I've been at that house for half of my life. Five. He pulled Ma Bao's hand and said, you don't need to worry about our safety. Many years ago, he and Professor Fung Tan went to Dat Ma District to look for mastiffs, and suddenly discovered that at Kuang and Hat Far Back's house there was an extremely rare breed of clam, high lamb beast, that was Kuang Le Mai De. In Tibetan, Kuang Le Mai De means snow lotus. In order to convince Kuang and Hat Far Back to agree to let him take Kuang Le Mai De out and introduce the god high lamb beast to the whole world, he stayed at Kuang Nok's house for half a year, but from beginning to end he still called Kuang and Hat a fruit, meaning big brother, now suddenly heard his full name so I couldn't remember it in time to react. Captain Ho Duong and Yu Yang both turned to look at Track Mok Kong Ba, only to see him excited and said to the two of them, Hi Blue Beast. Kuang and Hat has an extremely rare sea blue beast, its name is Kuang Le Mai Doa, a beautiful snow lotus flower that captivates people. Is it still there? His last question was for Ma Bao. Ma Bao shrugged and replied, Still. He seemed to have to make a great deal of determination before he said, follow me. Yue Yang curiously asked, what is a sea blue beast? Track Mok Kuang Ba smiled and replied, a breed of Tibetan Mastiff. The only harvest during my trip to Datma district eight years ago with Professor Fung Tan was to find this sea blue beast. I stayed at home for half a year, but he couldn't be without Kuang Lap, not even a single day. Currently, those who know the Tibetan Mastiff, most of them know the Metal Cannon, Tuye Clam, Red Clam, Black Clam, but like the Golden Lion, Lang Than, and Leopard Statues, they are now rare, but if they are Golden Eye, High Lamb Beast, there are only a few people who even hear the names. Track Mok Kuang Ba couldn't help but recall the beautiful blue color, the pale blue shimmering with silver, which is a color that any painter can't mix. Track Mok Kuang Ba himself doesn't know how to describe it, he can only praise the blessings of the great nature. For ten years, the golden eye is rare, and there is no sea blue beast in a hundred years. Track Mok Kuang Ba can't help but recall the clam gods and clams handed down in the stories of nomadic old people in the wilderness where human footprints rarely come. The golden eye and the sea blue beast are both variations of the common Tibetan mastiff. Yellow gold is the name of the fake eyes of the metal cannon breed. Above the eyes of a clam like the metal cannon, there are two gold spots. At first glance, it looks very much like having one more pair of eyes, 
known as the four-eyed iron cannon. Iron cannon's fake eyes are usually light yellow or chestnut, and even reddish brown, but there is a mutant breed, those fake eyes turn golden, it is said that this type of clam after growing up. The body is one level bigger than a normal mastiff, extremely strong, claws like a tiger's claws, and roars like a lion. Especially the striking golden eyes that seem to represent a noble identity, the common mastiff saw them all retracting their claws and lowering their heads to hide, their eyes showing humility. The sea blue beast is a variant of Tuye clam. Snow clams are usually white all over, and the fine feathers still have a silvery color, called, snowy silver. The normal sea blue beast is no different from the snow clam, the strange thing is that when it runs and jumps under the blue sky and white clouds, over a period of time, its fur color will gradually turn into a light blue color, not a deep blue color. The deep blue of the sea, but the strange pale blue of the lakes on the Tibetan plateau under the blue sky, is like the light blue that shines when the ice and snow accumulate too deep, too thick, and at the same time shiny, silver luster, very pale, but utterly beautiful. That's why it's called High Lamb Beast. Legend has it that this clam is psychic, can read and understand people's thoughts, has a light body like a swallow's feather, runs as fast as the wind, leaving no footprints on the snow, and is not afraid of the cold and snow, can find the correct way out in the misty snowy mountains, can break the ice into the water to find food, often serve as the coordinates of the mother goddess and bodhisattva. The body shape of the sea blue beast is a bit smaller than that of its kind, usually the strange ones are female clams, their position in the nomad's hearts is almost comparable to that of the two unicorn, other points. The only difference is that the unicorn Z only appears in legends, while the random high lamb beast also appears in reality. Track Mok Kwong Ba still remembers, the first time he saw Kwong Le Mai Doa, he was agitated and trembled and said to Professor Fung Tan, High Blue Beast. It's the Sea Blue Beast. Teacher, you see, that's the Sea of Blue Beasts, they don't just appear in myths. If there is a Sea Blue Beast, there will also be a Purple Unicorn. Track Mok Kwong Ba just pulled from memory back to reality, hurriedly contacted Professor Fung Tan, he looks like a child asking questions to an adult. Teacher, Guess who we're going to find? Looking for who? Professor Fung Tan was momentarily stunned, then immediately replied, Kwong Le Mai Du. I told you this place is so familiar, but you guys are going to find the high blue beast right. Lu Kan Nam in the walkie talkie asked, What's the matter? Have you finished your exploration? Captain Ho Duong replied, Yes, this road is impassable. Now we're going to find someone who knows the way up the mountain, hopefully he can help us there. Okay, take care, report back to me. On the way, Ma Bao mentioned Kwong and Hat Fa back. Although the province is a bit weird, he is a good person. He has helped us many times to find stray cows and goats, and also told us which areas are dangerous, do not bring goats there to graze. Sometimes people in the village see that when no outsiders enter the mountain, he will quietly go deep into the mountain alone. This time, Yue Yang faintly understood half of it, and asked, You mean, he lives alone in the mountains? Ma Bao nodded. Yue Yang exclaimed in surprise, How can a single person live? Ma Bao said, Why can't I live alone? He raised a large herd of goats, had a big cellar, and went out from the mountains about twice a year, using goats to exchange for necessities. Every year when the army comrades stationed here come to visit us, we also prepare a part of the necessary supplies for him. We villagers all live like that. Yue Yang secretly glanced at the giant snow mountain, thinking to himself, how can I live alone in this horribly cold area? Not even the person to talk to any more, how lonely and cold it is. While going to Ma Bao, he told some rumors about Kwong and Hat Fa back again. After about half an hour, the green grass at his feet gradually thinned out, the large pebbles began to increase, and the cold hit people's faces. The smooth cobblestones are very wet, not easy to walk. Captain Ho Duong looked up at the snow mountain again, pointed at the rocks, and said, See, 
these rocks prove that, a long, long time ago, glaciers covered the whole area where we are living. Stand here, now it has withdrawn to the upper part. At this point, he recalled, I remember that year, the results of our glacial survey were that, soon, there will be no more glaciers in the Himalayas. Along with the sigh of Captain Ho Duong, the air was getting colder and colder. Young Master Kuang Ba, look at that. Yue Yang pointed at a mountain in the distance. The black peak is like a wall erected in the middle of the mountain. Below there are some natural caves. The place where Yue Yang's hand points to are those natural caves. Track Mok Kuang Ba said, Um, I saw it. I remember the last time I came here. The teacher said, it must be the place where the ancient people of the Two Dynasty used to live, but this type of open air cave is easy to vandalize, so there must be no wood inside. That Mar district has a lot of Paleolithic sites, this is also an ancient settlement. Captain Ho Duong also said, not only here, but on the banks of the Kim Sa River extending from the west to the east of the Ali area, an entire arc created by the Himalayan mountain circuit has lava caves like this one. According to early speculations, at the beginning of human civilization, the Himalayas experienced a very long period of people living in caves. Oh, Yue Yang said a little disappointedly, I thought it was left by the Kwe Ba people. Track Mok Kwong Ba was secretly shaken in his heart, it seems that he is not the only one who thinks like that. But Yue Yang's opinion made him think of an idea, whether the Kwe Ba people and the ancient people of the Paleolithic period on the Tibetan plateau are the same line of lineage, handed down the original civilization from 10,000 years ago, years ago to the present day. In his mind, suddenly appeared the scene of primitive people wrapped in animal skins, holding wooden sticks in their hands, carrying hunting objects back, behind a herd. And so on, how could such an image appear? Track Mok Kwong Ba's eyes returned to those black natural lava caves, this image was like a movie replay, he saw very clearly, behind the people living in that cave was. A pack of wolves. Ma Bao knew very little about primitive people, still leading the way, and said, pass the valley gate in front of you, go another half an hour and you can see the house of Kwong and Hat far back. The wind at the mouth of the valley was so strong that it burned to the face, the mountains on both sides were like two giants with their legs crossed, and now they had to go through those two overlapping legs. Suddenly, the wind seemed to be stronger, in the whistling sound of the wind, there was a chilling chill, that feeling of seeing, not being able to touch made all four people stop. The dry grass trembled in the wild wind, as if it also wanted to hide from the invisible divine force. Track Mok Kwong Ba closed his eyes and said intuitively, there's something coming towards us, very fast. He had just finished speaking when he heard Yu Yang exclaim, young master Kwong Ba. Careful. Track Mok Kwong Ba opened his eyes wide and saw a flash of blue lightning in the wind. The Tibetan code of the five gang Le Mai duo. No one saw where it came from, how it came, as if it suddenly appeared out of nowhere, all they could see was a blue light only in the lightning bolt straight towards track. Mok Kwong Ba, Yu Yang's open mouth just closed, Captain Hu Yang put one foot in front and one foot behind, preparing to take a defensive position, Ma Bao Bao did not have time to react, in front of that strange blue light, everything became slow to the point of stupidity. When everyone recovered from that slow state of slumber, that faint blue light had already shot up on track Mok Kwong Ba. Right at the moment that blue light touched his body, suddenly a change occurred, it suddenly became soft and gentle, and at the same time did not knock track Mok Kwong Ba to the ground, but just touched his body, was immediately reversed. When that blue light turned around, Yu Yang realized it was a giant beast, at the same time the feeling of insecurity and fear in his heart surged beyond the fear of any danger. What dangers have you experienced? Because he suddenly discovered, if the person standing there was me, no matter how he reacted, he couldn't avoid the last pounce of that blue beast. The big beast ran away ten meters with amazing speed, then immediately ran back, rushed at Trakmok Kwong Ba again, just touched the man, it immediately turned around, 
just like that, three or four times, finally stopped, put his front legs on track Mok Kong Ba's shoulders, stuck out his long tongue, his throat let out heavy gasps. Yu Yang and the others now clearly saw it, it was a very large snow clam, when he stood up almost as tall as track Mok Kong Ba, his long, pure white hair glittered with silver, but why did they notice just now? See it blue, why is it an illusion? Yu Yang thought about it over and over again, it was almost not blue, but a color he had never seen before. Seeing that track Mok Kong Ba put his arms around Tu Ye Clam tightly, stroking his new shaggy neck hair, he laughed loudly and said, Kong Le, Kong Le, good baby, good baby. Do you remember me? The snow clam constantly used its nose to make short but harsh squeals, seemingly responding to track Mok Kong Ba. Seeing this scene, both Yu Yang and Captain Ho Duong were dumbfounded, just like when Trong Lap first saw Track Mok Kong Ba talking to the wolves. The whole person of Track Mok Kong Ba now radiates a strange intimacy, that is the intimacy of close friends. Those eyes, that smile, it seems that they're siblings who have been separated for decades, like an old couple who have walked hand in hand for the rest of their lives, or can be said to be an old couple. The life and death pair surviving on the battlefield is not an exaggeration. When Track Mok Kong Ba and that snow clam hugged each other tightly, the intimacy that radiated even made the wind become warmer, it is true that no matter how you imagine it, it is not too much. Captain Ho Duong was not only surprised by that change of Track Mok Kong Ba, but the other clam Tuye also shocked him. Have you ever met a mastiff? In my image, those big heads are always gloomy, sometimes they're always glaring at people, look very brave if not, they are also a set, arrogant but wild, but he has never seen mastiffs at times so gentle and affectionate. At this moment, the snow clam that was resting its foot on the shoulder of the other track mob Kong Ba not only let out a howl in his nose, but also its huge head was constantly rubbing and rubbing on his shoulder, like a young girl full of one my regrets are telling my nostalgia and self-pity with the lover that I have been away from for so many years, waiting for so many years. One person and one dog kept hugging each other tightly and whispering in the cold wind for a long time, the three people next to them froze. Not knowing how long it took, Track Mop Kwong Ba let go of Kwong Lap and stroked its forehead. Kwong La stretched his neck and closed his eyes in pleasure. Track Mop Kwong Ba said, Let me introduce you to some friends, Kwong Lap. They're all my friends. Next. In front of Yu Yang's strange and confusing eyes, Track Mok Kwong Ba very solemnly introduced each of them to Kwong Lap. At this point, Captain Hu Duong finally met the posture of a Tibetan mastiff he had always seen. When he heard the names, Kwong Lap only opened his eyes slightly and glanced indifferently, like a general manager enjoying a massage service, next to someone introducing new employees to see if they can. Utilizing it or not, it just half closed its eyes, then nodded slightly. Yu Yang disgruntled and said, Wow, look at his gesture, ooh ooh. Kwong Lap suddenly rolled his eyes and bared his fangs towards Yu Yang. Nyak Duong was startled when he saw that. Ma Bao standing next to him was even more terrified, couldn't help but take two steps back. If it weren't for Captain Ho Duong reaching out to help him, he would have almost fallen over there. Captain Hu Duong smiled and said, Most of the Tibetan mastiffs I've met are like that. Adult Tibetan clans are very large, strong and healthy, moreover, they usually keep a hostile and wary attitude towards strangers. In their eyes, normal people are not opponents at all, so they have the right to be arrogant. Except for their owners, if you want to be respected by them, unless you also have to respect them, if you look at them with the eyes of a pet, the proud Tibetan will also look at you with eyes like a dog, just pets. Looking at his posture and attitude now, it proves that he has accepted you. Of course, this is due to the respect of young master Kwong Ba. Kwong Lap, Kwong Lap. Yu Yang didn't believe it, tried calling two or three times. Kwong Lap looked away and didn't even look at Yu Yang once. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba saw Ma Bao's face pale and worriedly asked, Are you okay? An awkward expression appeared on Ma Bao's face, come here, 
Can you find your way? Track Mok Kwong Ba looked around, then said, Of course, this place is very close to Kwong Not Small House. If you have something to do, you don't need to send us away, we can find our way home. Seeing Ma Bao's face, Track Mok Kwong Ba immediately comforted him with a few sentences. Ma Bao carefully glanced at Kwong Le, hesitated for a moment, then finally said, Then, I will bring everyone here, please be careful. Track Mok Kwong Ba and Captain Ho Duong shook hands and said goodbye to Ma Bao, expressing the gratitude. After Ma Bao left, Kwong Lap suddenly opened his eyes, got out of Track Mok Kwong Ba's arms, ran a few steps, then looked back, then ran two more steps, then turned his head again, then looked away, immediately threw up all four legs and ran like the wind. Track Mok Kwong Ba watched the back of Kwong Lap gradually turn into a blue cloud in the mountain wind, smiled and said, let's go, it couldn't wait but brought the news that we came here to tell Kwong and Hat far back. Quote. Yue Yang looked at Ma Bao's shadow and asked curiously, what's wrong with him? Captain Ho Duong shook his head, I don't know. Yue Yang and Captain Ho Duong also thought that Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's house was right in front, who expected the mountain to be far away, they would have to go a few more miles to go all the way to the ravine. At this point, the scene in front suddenly spreads, blue clouds stretch to the horizon, the green wormwood meadow looks like a lawn on the stadium, the stone house built from cobblestone and CA dat land lies on the other side of the green meadow, behind the house there are dozens of fallen trees surrounded in a large circle. However, Yue Yang discovered that there was no wood in the fence, and there were no cows or goats in the lawn. Blank, underscore, blank, asterisk, China mile, equal to 0.5 kilometers. Blank, arriving in front of the house, only saw the moon and sun painted on the wooden door and the sign of solemnity, the sill was very low. Inside, the sound of a dog barking was heard, not a, wow, but a, um um um, and then someone in the house said, Kong Ba, you're here again. Powerful, deep, full-bodied voice. Yue Yang and the others were surprised, didn't expect that the people in the house knew that it was track mob Kong Ba, could it be that the other snow clan named Kwong Le could talk to humans already? Otherwise people in the house how do you know that the person coming is Track Mok Kwong Ba? Track Mok Kwong Ba also asked, Ah, how do you know it's me? A smiling face appeared at the door, this person's face was white but hidden pink, a few messy locks of hair sticking out from under the fox fur hat, the wrinkles on his face were very deep, but the eyes were god, the hair black and smooth, can't see how old it is. This person is wearing a green Faho cloth shirt with tight leopard skin trim, the left sleeve is tied at the hip, the right tube is slung over the shoulder, and then uses a braid to tighten the young goatskin blazer inside. On his belt he carried a long sword. This is Kwong and Hat far back, that outfit and the long sword made the red-faced man over six feet tall look more like a martial artist. Kwong and Hat far back said, if you can make Kwong Le so happy, no one else can come here besides you. Only saw Kwong Lap sticking his head out next to Kwong and Hat Far Back's trousers, his big eyes wide open looking at the crowd as if to investigate, a moment later he pulled his head back, then squeezed out on the other side, looking just like she is a smart girl, but she is also shy. Although they could not borrow Kwong Lap last time, but living together for half a year, Track Mok Kwong Ba and Kwong and Hat Far Back became close friends, and half of this stone house was built by him. Kwong and Hat Far Back stood aside to give way, saying, Come on, hurry in and sit down. This stone house is very strange, there are no windows, it is dark in the house, in the daytime it is also necessary to light a butter lamp, the door was very low, even Yu Yang had to stoop to get in, Track Mok Kwong Ba almost had to squat to get in. The house is suddenly wide open, in the middle is a fireplace, above is a pot of hot water, in the pot is a jar, it is not clear what is inside. Under the yellow light of the oil lamp, the farm implements and tools were scattered in a mess in the house, on the top hung chunks of dried meat drenched in fat, the four walls were glossy black, black from oil smoke, hung. In addition, 
The owner also used ropes to string a lot of pieces that looked like a piece of tea and cake hanging on the wall, a long board that was both a bed and a chair, a blanket indiscriminately ragged, as if it had been bitten by a dog, beside the bed there was a bed, a round rug is quite clean and neat, but that is Kwong Lap's sleeping place. As soon as Kwong Lap entered the room, he immediately crawled up on it, opened his big eyes and stared at track mob Kwong Ba without blinking. Seeing the pile of clothes piled up in a house, Yu Yang didn't know where to sit down anymore, turned to look at young master Kwong Ba, only to see him put his clothes aside in a pile and arbitrarily sit on the bed. Seeing that, he also picked up his clothes and chose a stool to sit down on. Kwong and Hat grabbed a bunch of miscellaneous things and threw them all on the bed, pulled out a stool, then opened the lid of the jar that was placed in the water basin, the delicious smell of wine immediately hit his nose, it turned out that he was warming up. Captain Ho Duong told Yu Yang, here is a cold highland, visitors often have to go through cold winds, so the way to treat guests is to take wine instead of tea, drink both to warm the heart and warm the stomach. Kwong and Hat took out four large tea cups, filled them with four cups of wine, gave them to Juo Mok Kwong Ba and Yu Yang, while giving the wine and mumbling these words, as if chanting a spell, but also like singing softly. Yu Yang remembers that this wine for guests must drink three sips first, but can't drink it all, turning his head to see that young master Kwong Ba did not drink it all in one breath, but his sip of wine is clearly large, so was the guy who also imitated taking a big sip. As soon as he took a sip of wine, Yue Yang immediately felt like there was an ember in his throat, his stomach was like a burning fire, but he couldn't spit it out, his face was immediately reddened. Unexpectedly, this is not an ordinary rice wine, but as strong as Thiu Dao Tu or Ni Wa Tu. As soon as he saw Yue Yang's expression of constantly breathing and waving his hands, it was funny, a few people in the house laughed, even Kwong Le narrowed his eyes, his lower chin nodded, like a cat smiling, laugh like that. Captain Ho Duong said, this is not Than Koa wine, this place is a cold highland, people like to drink strong alcohol, it is said that the concentration is up to 70%, almost alcohol. You think you drink as good as Kwong Ba? Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's face revealed a proud expression, this is the A2 cat wine mentioned in that history, out there, People still say that the brewing method was transmitted from Arabia to Tibet, in fact the ancestors first of all, we already know the winemaking industry before the Tang dynasty. In ancient Tibetan, a minor means tree sap, this wine is originally made with resin and honey mixed together, but here there is no honey, I used something else instead, so it's slightly stronger than other wines. Yue Yang did not dare to drink any more, his body was now enveloped in hot fire. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak also did not let it be silent, turned to talk to track mob Kwong Ba in the past, and then moved on to the main topic, tell me, what is the purpose of your coming here this time? Track mob Kwong Ba replied, unicorn death. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak widened his eyes, smiled with all his teeth exposed, looked at Kwong Lap, then turned to look at track mob Kwong Ba, do you still believe that? If there is a sea blue beast, there must be a purple unicorn. Track Mop Kwong Ba said with an affirmative voice, I will definitely find it this time. Kwong and Hat Pu Bo said, Can I help you? Surely you don't want to bring my Kwong Le. It's past that age, isn't it? Track Mop Kwong Ba froze, then burst out laughing right after. He knew that Kwong Lap must be more than 15 years old, judging by the Mastiff's lifespan, it was already a middle-aged man, Obviously Kwong and Hat thought that he wanted to let Kwong Lap mate with two unicorn, but Kwong Lap is too old to give birth. Track Mop Kwong Ba said, This story is very complicated, I can only tell you in this simple way, we want to go to the mountain. Kwong and Hat Pu Bak's smile immediately disappeared, impossible, the unicorn can't live in the snowy mountains. Track Mop Kwong Ba nodded, I know that, where we need to go, Maybe not on the snowy mountain top, we guess it's probably a locality similar to the Datmar residence area, where there is a suitable environment for the death unicorn to survive. But we couldn't find the way up the mountain, 
I heard you're the only one who knows that way. Kwong and Hat Poo Bak's face darkened and said, I won't take you to the mountain. Track Mok Kwong Ba raised his head, Why is that, ah? Kwong and Hat Fa Bak said, You know that, Lap Chan Righteous led others to the snowy mountain, that's why the mountain god collected her soul, that was my punishment. From then on I swore that, no matter who and whatever the cause, I would never take anyone up the snowy mountains again. Track Mok Kwong Ba frowned, secretly calculating how to untie this knot in Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's heart. At this time, Captain Ho Duong suddenly spoke, Actually, we are not only looking for the unicorn too, we are also representing the state to search for a temple that has disappeared in history, it is very possibly the largest museum in Tibet. Captain Ho Duong originally intended to use Bo Bala, the god temple, to alarm Kwong and Hat Fa Bak. Unexpectedly, he just said that, Kwong and Hat laughed coldly and said, Bak Bala. So even more impossible, Bo Bala should only exist where N is existing, cannot be disturbed by others. Kwong Ba, this time, no matter what reason you have, I will absolutely not take you to the mountain. Yu Yang said to himself, It's broken, Captain Ho Duong is too negligent, Kwong and Hat Fa Bak is the only one who knows the way to the mountain, maybe the people who came to see him in the past have at least revealed many things related to him. Go to Bak Bala Temple, this is really too clever to become clumsy, maybe even the young master Kwong Ba is considered a fraud. An idea flashed in his mind, he immediately used the killer move. Uncle Kwong and Hat, young master Kwong Ba is a holy envoy, we didn't know it before, that's a saint. He solemnly emphasized once more. Unexpectedly, Kwong and Hat far back replied very emphatically, I wear his body as porcelain, even though he is a ministerial envoy, I said I can't mean no. Yu Yang was dumbfounded, didn't expect that the name of the holy envoy would have no use here. Kwong Lap seemed to sense something, kept looking back and forth at its owner and then at track Mok Kwong Ba, both of them brooding, not smiling, making it not know what to do. Suddenly, it got up, rubbed against Kwong Not's leg, butted it with its head, and then groaned as if it was a pity. Kwong and Hat far back stroked the dog's head, sighed and said to track Mok Kwong Ba, I believe you are looking for the unicorn Z. He turned to look at captains Hu Yang and Yu Yang again, they're looking for Bo Bala. Kwong and Hat paused for a moment, then continued, there is one thing I still have to remind you of, Bo Bala in the legend. There's a reason why it was hidden by the army of the light. Although the Temple of God and the Holy Land of Perfume represent a force that can satisfy all of humanity's desires, don't forget, behind the endless fortune lies the curse of destroying all that, the more you gain, the more you will lose. In this world, there is no money falling from the sky, and it is impossible to satisfy only by fantasizing. Track Mok Kwong Ba's eyes lit up, and quickly asked, I also know Bo Bala and the Army of Light. What do you know? Kwong and Hat far back sneered, The things I know, I'm afraid there are more than the ones you think. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, Can you tell me some stories about Bo Bala that you know? Kwong and Hat far back pondered, Track Mok Kwong Ba sneaked a glance at Kwong Lap, Kwong Lap rubbed his lips against Kwong Not's thighs to flatter him, groaning, Aha, uh -huh, then raised his head, eyes fixed on Sin, as if begging, Tell him, tell him. Yu Yang and Captain Ho Duong looked at him, wide-eyed, in shock, only track Mok Kwong Ba knew what a psychic mastiff was, what it means to be able to read people's minds, this is the spirit clam high lamb beast. Kwong and Hat far back lightly tapped Kwong Lap's head, then said, this kid, don't think that you're there and I can't see your eyes and eyes, can't I just make you don't know your mind. Kwong Lap cried out twice again, ah, who, lying on the ground, his front legs holding his head, showing a lot of injustice, his black eyes rolled around. Kwong and Hat far back raised his hand to make it play again, Kwong Lap quickly took advantage of his unpreparedness, jumped on the bed and hid next to track mob Kwong Ba, then stuck out his tongue, making a ghost face to the owner. Kwong and Hat far back didn't know what to do, so he laughed and scolded, traitor. 
Kwong Lap said, ah, again, he always put his head on track Mob Kwong Ba's lap, stretched out his neck, narrowed his eyes as if to say, you can't fuck me, and then just lay there and let track Mob Kwong Ba stay, stroke for me. Kwong and Hat far back seemed to have to make a great determination, and finally said, okay, there are some things, which I intended to bring to the grave, now. Kwong Ba, I ask you, eight years ago you came here, was it I Kwong La? As soon as Kwong Lap heard the mention of me, he quickly opened his eyes and raised his ears to listen. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba was half angry and half angry, what do you mean by that? Eight years ago, even Bo Ba La was something I didn't even know. Gang and Hat Pu Bo nodded, do you know what the Army of Light is? The Tibetan Code 5 author, the Hippocratic Faith of the Kwe Ba. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba nodded, Kwong and Hat smiled bitterly and said, the strongest army of the Thofen dynasty, unexpectedly did not leave a note in any historical documents, chuckles, it is really impressive. Unbelievable isn't it? At this point, he asked again, do you know anything about the Army of Light? Track Mok Kwong Ba glanced at Captain Ho Duong, then briefly told about everything he knew about the Army of Light. Kwong and Hat far back nodded incessantly, then said, it seems that you have spent a lot of effort, never expected to unearth so many documents. What about the Kwe Ba tribe? How far have you guys found out? Track Mok Kwong Ba rearranged his thoughts, and starting from the 18 states residing in the caves of Tuing Hung, told Kwong and Hat far back what he knew about the Kwe Ba tribes. Kwong and Hat listened quietly, sometimes smiling appreciatively, waiting for Track Mok Kwong Ba to finish speaking, he said, it is possible to collect so much useful information in myths and fragments of history, you must have paid a great price. But I have a question, you guys know quite a lot about the background of the Kwe Ba tribe, the history of transitioning into the Army of Light and also their way of life, but still their beliefs, it seems not referring to the right. Track Mok Kwong Ba hesitated, although he heard his father speculate about the religion of the Army of Light, but he did not dare to confirm it, so he did not say it. Following adoration, Yue Yang asked suspiciously, shouldn't soldiers just obey orders? Kwong and Hat far back said, don't forget that soldiers are also human beings first. In ancient times, on this plateau, it could be said that everyone had faith. Not only that, their beliefs are also extremely steadfast, deeply engraved in their souls and bones, no one can change them, even soldiers are no exception. In the Turkish army, there is a specialized function called the new recruit, who is the priest of Ban Tao in the army. Fortune telling, predicting evil, gathering souls after the battle, chanting to stabilize the army, this is the job of the recruits. Yue Yang nodded and said, so, the religion of the army of light at that time was the Ban Spear, right? Kwong and Hat far back said, exactly. Most of the army at that time believed in Buddhism, but the army of light was. One can say yes, but one can also say no. Can you say yes, but also say no? Yue Yang was shocked and shocked, exclaiming in surprise, could it be that the army of light both believes in worshipping the original religion and also believes in Buddhism? Do they follow a fusion of faith between these two religions? This is the first time that Kwong and Hat far back has paid close attention to this carefree looking guy. Kwong Lap also glanced up at Yue Yang, but his attitude clearly showed contempt. Kwong and Hat continued, the reaction was very quick, it seems that you guys have learned a few things in this respect, but that is not entirely true. That Kwe Ba tribe, they have their own religion, it's a kind of religion we call primordial witchcraft. Primary Martial Arts. Captain Ho Duong and Track Mob Kwong Ba's faces became attentive. This was the first time they had heard such a name. Kwong and Hat far back nodded. That's right, religion arose when human civilization was just beginning to develop. Mountains, rivers, thunder, rain and wind, even trees, flowers, birds, and animals. Running is also respected as a god. Some things are also worshipped, some things are also reverent. This religion can also be considered as a rudimentary form of Buddhism. 
It was not until later that the Tan Nu Patriarch appeared in the world that he unified and arranged the position of the gods and the system. To normalize and normalize the original religion, the Taoism was later established. Of course, there are also people who say that the Taoism was transmitted from Persia to the Great Food 1, and then from the Mahayana to the Tibetan Plateau, but this hypothesis lacks solid evidence, say that the two thresholds are similar. But from my point of view, most primitive people worship natural mountains and rivers, of course, they must be similar. Yuyang said, so, isn't the history of the Kuei Ba tribe extremely ancient? That can be natural, said Kuang and had far back. Eighteen states resided in the lava cave at Tuing Hung, that was after the Kuei Ba tribe fell. From the time before the Hung king established the country, the Kuei Ba tribe existed, and at the same time still had a degree of splendor. Of course, in historical documents we cannot find such ancient documents, but in myths there are still countless silhouettes of that tribe. The Kuei Ba tribe they have their own special gods, besides there are religious leaders too, something to be clear, first of all, start with their background. Before they became the 18 states that lived in the lava caves of the Xiangsheng dynasty, going back in history to ancient times, the origin of the Tibetan people could be traced back. He glanced at Trak Mok Kwong Ba, continued, ever since the witch and the monkey gave birth to the next life. Period of the four tribes, Kwong Ba, you know. Track Mok Kwong Ba seemed to be thinking about that, nodded, and Kwong and Hat far back empathically continued, I think, perhaps that was also the most glorious period of the Kwe Ba tribe. Yuyang did not understand the two, what they were talking about, immediately asked, what is the period of the four tribes? Chuo Mok Kwong Ba replied, Everybody knows that we in Tibet have a very famous story about the beginnings of mankind. The story tells that in the mountains there was a witch and a monkey who aspired to attain true enlightenment. Together, they gave birth to six cubs. These six monkeys are the oldest ancestors of mankind. Later on, their descendants kept multiplying and multiplying more and more, eventually forming four great tribes, which are also the four great bloodlines of the Tibetan people. That period, also known as the period of the four tribes, is, in short, how many generations of us are unknown, lest it is even older than the period of the three emperors and five emperors that everyone knows. I used to think it was just a myth, but now that I think about it, the truth of that story, I'm afraid it's similar to the legend of the three emperors and five emperors. Yue Yang understood and nodded, it also means, that period really did exist, it's just that some people and events have been mythologized and exaggerated. Captain Ho Duong said, no, I remember in the previous documents I read that these six monkeys later became six ethnic groups, and even the names of those ethnic groups are not the same, copper. I only remember one clan, I don't know if it's the ancestor of the Tang people. Track Mok Kwong Ba shook his head, I know, what you just said is the content written in the canon of Buddhism, and what I said is the content mentioned in the old scripture at my house. Kwong and Hat far back again said, according to the records in ancient books, the four races of people in Tibet are two clan, Muk tribe, Dong ethnic group and Dong ethnic group respectively. From that time, they began to believe in the original Vu Dao, calling the supreme commander of the tribe Ban Ba. Ban Ba means the great magician, the spiritual leader of the ancient people. This way of addressing is still retained until the time before new kingdoms such as Tuing Hung and Tho Fan established their countries. Yue Yang did not understand and asked, Where have you heard of the name of the Kuei Ba tribe? What does this matter have to do with them? Kuang and Hat far back replied, after the end of the Four Tribes period, according to myths and legends, the Ma Tang Nine Tribes appeared, then divided into 25 states, and later into 12 states, 40 states, perhaps it was a time of war, appeared countless small tribes conquering each other. These states are all independent peoples and tribes, and within them have begun to appear kings and gods, but with the change of history, the names of those races have all disappeared, gone, it is impossible to trace back to the root cause. We can only speculate, 
The Kwe Ba Xing tribe is a descendant of one of the four early tribes, perhaps a state that remained after the decline and dissolution of certain tribes, belonging to the group of twenty, five states. Yuyang asked, Why do you say that? Kuang and Hat said, Because of their beliefs, the Kwe Ba tribe worships the four greatest Vu kings in the history of the four tribes, the names of these four people are Ban Ba Party, Tri Ban Ba, Dong Dong, respectively. Ban 3 and Mac Ban 3. This belief, along with the Kwe Ba tribe's habit of living with wolves, probably dates back to the time of the tribe's birth or even before that and persists to this day. Legend has it that in the past, Tang King Tung Tan Kambo changed the name of the four Tran Bian Mu buildings to the Four Directions Cat, which was chosen according to the beliefs of the Army of Light. Later, many Kwe Ba people joined the Army of Light to meet the requirements of the war. They chose from many different religions a god with the most powerful destructive power to be the god of war, Sanskrit called Mahi Tula. In fact, it is the great self Athene in Buddhism. In Hinduism, Mahi Tula is the god of destruction Shiva. He possesses the power that can destroy everything, can purify this entire universe, even if later absorbed by Buddhism, he also possesses a power not inferior to Shakyamuni, an independent force, with other Buddha deities. There is also another strange point, before possessing the war clan, totem or god beast that they worship was not a wolf, but a creature almost like a snake, which is said to have a shape like a snake that can fly. This belief also exists in Theravada Buddhism, which is why, when the dragon in the central plains was introduced to Tibet, it was quickly accepted by the Tibetans. At this point, Kuang and Hat far back paused for a moment, then continued, What I know about the beliefs and history of the Kwe Ba tribe is roughly that, after all, the existence of the Army of Light, and the Kwe Ba tribe has always been a very magical thing. The three looked at each other blankly, it took a long time to digest, before Yuyang spoke up, sorry, sorry, I am a bit confused, why is the name of the other four kings of Wu King different from their tribe? So, also, isn't the religion of the Kwe Ba tribe a fusion of Buddhism and Buddhism? Why become a completely different religion from the other two? Kuang and Hat far back said, first of all, the other four names are not the names of Wu King at all, they are simply a symbolic title, the meaning of these ancient sounds is that no one knows, but in my opinion it is roughly equivalent to the heavenly kings of wisdom, and of the heavenly kings that we still talk about today. However, it is said that the descendants of those four Vu kings later directly changed their family names to Party, Tri, Dong and Mac, whether this is true or not is unknown. As for the issue of the Kwe Ba tribe's beliefs, so we have to start from another story, it's also very long to say. Kuang and Hat far back rose to his feet, poured another cup of wine, raised his mouth and drank it all, about this kind of religious belief between Buddhism and this Buddhism, it must be said from King Tung Khan Bo. You know, before Buddhism spread to Tibet, almost all the tribes on this plateau believed in the original Buddhism. Of course, when the Bantau has undergone more than a thousand years of development, it has been systematized in a very large way. But the Taoism has a characteristic that is polytheism, inheriting the characteristics of the original Wu Dao, everything in this world has a god, moreover those gods are independent and separate, each of them has their own nature, has his own domain, each ruler of his own category, if there is a conflict between two gods, then there will be a battle, win or lose, neither one reigns, nor there exists one position that is higher or lower than the other. Not only that, the shamans of the Taoist religion rely entirely on prophecy to decide the great affairs of the country. Today we all know that those fortune-telling prophecies lacked science and practical effect, so when King Tung Kanbo succeeded him, he decided to change all that. Do you know the king of Tang Song Kanbo, who was also a follower of the Japanese religion? Ah, Yue Yang let out a low voice of surprise. Who does not know that Tibetan King Tung Kanbo is the incarnation of Bodhisattva Kwan M, has an extremely noble position in the Tibetan tradition of Buddhism, now he did not expect that Kwang and Hat far back would say that he was a Buddhist believer, indeed, causing Yue Yang to be surprised. However, 
with the reaction of Captain Ho Duong and young Master Kwong Ba, this is clearly the truth. Kwong and Hat Far Back continued, Religion was born, it has always been to comfort people's spirituality, but once religion is linked with politics, its primary function is to become a tool of the people, ruling class. Regardless of religion, in the eyes of the ruler, as long as it makes it easier for them to accept his domination, it is a good religion, on the contrary, it is the stone that stands in the way of the ruler. Polytheism and the mechanism of bringing national affairs to the heavens are obviously detrimental to the ruling system, so the first half of the life of King Tung Tan Kanbo was a carpenter, which is not wrong, but he quickly discovered that those shamans who kept bringing the country's affairs to God for a decision had seriously affected his rule. What he needs is the central authority, the country's affairs are decided by him, not relying on the blue sky to do anything so reform is in a position to be forced to proceed. When the Buddha of Buddhism was born, he uttered a sentence, heaven on earth and earth, eight deserts and six fusions, ancient times and futures, only one self, this sixteen-word mantra is clearly very suitable for those dominate. In fact, before Tung Kanbo developed Buddhism, Buddhism had been spread to Tibet for a long time. Because of the strong criticism of the teachings, there was basically no foothold. It must be known that, in order to make people change their beliefs for more than a thousand years in order to believe in another religion, it is an extremely arduous process, except for the king of Tang Tung Kanbo, there is really no ruler. Who dares to use this trick, to carry out that intention, Tibetan King Tung Kangbo did many things, through marriage to promote Buddhism, promulgated a series of ordinances and regulations that opened the door for monks to operate, determine and issue preferential policies for Buddhist followers. Yuyang frowned, these things seem to have nothing to do with the Kwe Ba tribe. Just listen to Kwong and Hat Far Back continue to say, but at that time, the pressure that Tang King Tung Kanbo had to face was much greater than we could imagine. In order for the people to accept a new religion, they must first start from themselves, from the officials and ministers next to them, but the situation at that time, from the upper aristocratic officials, the lower to the serfs who were the people. All of them were very loyal carpenterists, and there were voices of opposition in the court and abroad. However, this did not worry the king of Tibet, what really worried him was that the army, at that time, the soldiers in the army were also completely carnivores, if the soldiers rebelled, deserted, protest, assassination, the consequences are unimaginable. So, long before that, the king of Tibet had to prepare. At this time, the three words, three tribes, have appeared in the minds of Trak Mob Kwong Ba. Sure enough, Kwong and Hat Far Back said, Now then, you understand why the king of Tang Tung Kanbo did not choose other ethnic people but agreed to train the Kwe Ba people to become the army of light. Their religious beliefs are different from all other ethnic groups in Tibet. As long as they don't offend their religious beliefs, it is also the status of the four great Wu kings, the rest, regardless of Nine, Tan, Ma of the Japanese religion or Shakyamuni of Buddhism or Dianhat Tathagata of Tantra, they can all believe in without any conflict with their original beliefs. So from then on, the army of light has always served as the royal bodyguard, their strength is the strongest, and the tolerance in their religion is also the strongest. Yuyang did not understand and asked, then why did they follow both Buddhism and Buddhism in the future? Kwong and Hat Far Back replied, it is impossible not to mention the war between Buddhism and Buddhism in this conversation. As you all know, Buddhism and Jainism have been fighting for hundreds of years on the plateau. It can be said that since Tibetan King Tung Kanbo officially brought Buddhism into Tibet, until the end of the Tuban dynasty, collapsed, the struggle between these two great religions has never stopped. Why is that? Because the Theravada Buddhism is not only different from Buddhism in terms of religion, but more importantly, the interests of countless nobles and ministers are closely related to the Buddhism, through the form of divination and rituals, of the Theravada Buddhism, they were able to gain the right to speak on some major national affairs, but since Buddhism entered the palace, these great ministers have lost the dominant position in the royal courts, 
important decision-making and even distribution of benefits. Tang King Tung Kan Bo was such a talented man, when he was in office, of course, no one dared to object, but not long after his death, the great ministers benefited from the other, began to support the Catholic Church again. On the surface, the Thou Han Dynasty period was a time when Buddhism and Jainism competed for influence, but in reality, this was a power struggle between the royal family and the officials holding power in the kingdom, and only. Several hundred years later, under the influence of the great ministers, some monarchs worshipped the original religion, others persisted in Buddhism, and so on repeatedly, in history, it happened. There are countless times where Buddhism has been respected, repressed Buddhism and vice versa, there have even been countless times where bloody conflicts have occurred. Only the last Tibetan king, Lang Dat Ma, was the most radical, the consequences were also the most serious, directly causing the dynasty to collapse, so it was best known. In that period, the Army of Light, formed by the Kwe Ba tribe, was the bodyguard of the Tibetan king, that is, the army closest to the king of Tibet, and their beliefs could not help but change depending on the name, threshold of the Tibetan kings they served. Therefore, later on, their belief became an extremely bizarre pattern, which could contain the fusion of two completely foreign religions, namely Buddhism and Buddhism, into one. Only in this way can the person in charge of the highest authority rest assured that they will be in charge of protecting their own safety. And that army of light has never once let the Tibetan kings down. Yuyang said, No, there are many assassination events in the history of Chufan. Kuang and Hat far back said, The army of light is only in charge of the outer perimeter, preventing assassins from assassins when the king of Tibet is out on patrol, but not for the plots of struggle within the palace, can do wood. The cause of death of the owner of the Tung Tan Kanbo Plateau is still very thrilling and dangerous, he cannot say that the army of light has not exhausted its responsibilities. In fact, if you look closely at the history of the land, you will see that only Tibetan King Lang Datma died and was assassinated by a guest in public, while other sudden deaths of Tibetan kings all died unknowingly, struggles in the palace. Yuyang mumbled and said quietly, So the Kwe Ba tribe and the king of Tibet don't seem to have a big conflict, so why did they suddenly leave, and at the same time bring all the treasures with them, hidden in the temple of the four directions? Kuang and Hat Fa Bak's face showed sadness, sighed, and said, I don't know, this is the biggest puzzle that the army of light left for the next generation. No one expected that the strongest light army of the Turkic dynasty would disappear like the shadow of a fish toothpick in just one night, they must have completed the plan a long time ago. But in the end, there was an event that made them do so, no one knows. I only know there are rumors that it is because the king of Tibet destroyed the Buddha so thoroughly that even the army of light could not stand it anymore. There is also another theory that says this is a struggle between two great clans, Nuongthi and Vi, after all, the people of both of these great families once held the highest command of the Light Army, Bright. But these opinions are all lacking in real evidence, not enough, not enough, saying this, he showed a tired and bored expression, his eyes exuding loneliness. The information provided by Kuang and Hat far back made Yue Yang sink deeply into his thoughts, he was trying hard to find a way to connect Shuangkong Island and the Lost Army of Light, and at the same time faintly felt everything. All independent events are like puzzle pieces messed up, just finding their order of occurrence will put together a complete picture. But trying forever, finally had to give up because there were not enough clues, the puzzle was still missing some important pieces, he could only shake his head helplessly. At this time, Kwong and Hat far back again turned to track Mok Kwong Ba, yes, there is one more clue that will probably help you guys a lot. Kwong Ba, do you remember the first time you came here, you told me the story of choosing a dog. It's about digging a hole and throwing the newborn clams in there. Track Mok Kwong Ba nodded. This is what Professor Fung Tan explained in the first lesson he taught him, and also the story he often heard from his childhood. He used to tell this story to his friends too, but that time. Kwong and Hat Fa Bo continued, I laughed at you that time, remember. Of course, 
Track Mop Kwong Ba did not forget that time when he told this story to Kwong and Hat. His face was as if he was smiling but not laughing, as if he was mocking Track Mop Kwong Ba. The guy beat the drum through the door of the Thunder House. Later he asked Kwong and Hat Ku back why he was smiling. He just replied, nothing, the story is very good, very true, I have heard it before. But Track Mop Kwong Ba still feels like Kwong and Hat has something that hasn't been said yet. At this time, Kwong and Hat far back said, because at that time, you only knew there was such a thing, but you did not know the reason for it. Now, I'm sure you know where that method of training a single mastiff comes from. Track Mok Kwong Ba was startled and exclaimed, Army of Light. Or Clam, that's the method of fighting clams. Only now did he understand, why that time Kwong and Hat far back wanted to say it and then stopped, at that time he didn't know what the Army of Light was, just afraid that even if he said it, he wouldn't know. I'm sure you believe it, just stay there and brag about it, in the eyes of Kwong and Hat far back, he is afraid that it is like a frog at the bottom of a well. First, Georgian, Arab Empire, 632-1258, a feudal dynasty founded by Muslims on the Arabian Peninsula. In the Chinese history textbooks from the Tang dynasty such as Jingjing, Old Tang Shu, New Tang Shu, Song history, Liao history, etc. Are called the Great Food Country, according to Tazi or Tazix in Persian. Chapter 32 Specifications about the CILLION University 1. Speculating about the death unicorn Kwong and Hat far back nodded slightly again. Yes, the army of light in the Chufan era is already a puzzle, no one knows how they have undergone training, come here. Even the nobles, even the king of Tibet, could only see the qualified soldiers of that army. At the same time, no one knows that they used the Gi method to tame the war clam, all can only be guessed. However, the assumption just now was not at all a sudden flash in an unfounded thought or imagination, but a conclusion that the ancients had drawn through countless speculations and many times of deliberation, could explain the extraordinary in some of the rare clans we see today. Yu Yang was also shocked in his heart. Up until now they had been studying the army of light and fighting clans, but they had never connected the story of choosing a dog with a clam. Maybe it's because in their subconscious, it's just a story. The guy on the one hand silently scolded him for his narrow childish thinking, on the other hand said, so it's true that digging a big hole, putting ten baby clams in it, only to let one come out alive, is it true? Is there a way to tame like that? Or clam? I didn't expect the elimination process from when I was still suckling milk, it's so cruel. Dyer, Kwong and Hat far back smiled coldly, war is cruel. The army of light and the war clam are nothing but sacrifices of war. Did you know that the Kwe Ba people not only chose to fight in that way, but also for myself? Believe that you have all heard of the story of a tribe in the snowy mountains, when their children were born, if it was a boy, they would wrap the baby in an ordinary goatskin, wrap it, and throw it, out in the middle of the sky and snow for one night, you have to endure that night to be recognized as a qualified clan. Yu Yang jumped up in horror from his seat, uncle, you mean. Kwong and Hat far back said coldly, that, that's the Kwe Ba tribe, it's the army of light. His voice couldn't help but tingle with pity, if you say other armies are staffs, Iron clubs in the hands of the rulers, then the army of light is the swords in the hands of rulers. In the beginning, that sword was both thick and heavy, but then with the demands of war, it became thinner and thinner, but at the same time more and more pointed, more and more sharp, the blade only no matter where you go, no one can compete. But who knows, behind that title of champion hides so much cruelty and bitterness. Seeing that everyone's faces changed, Kwong and Hat far back's tone also softened a bit, although saying that may be a bit exaggerated, but as far as I know, at the time before the fall of Tho Fon. Fall, through the three clans chose people to join the army of light right when their children were still red. As for how specifically, I don't know, but the title of this champion army is not arbitrarily assigned. 
Track Mok Kwong Ba was so fascinated by the mind that he forgot to scratch Kwong Lap's neck. The dog opened its mouth to yawn loudly, then let out a short purr. Track Mok Kwong Ba stroked it a few times before it closed its eyes in satisfaction. Kwong and Hat Fa back glanced at Kwong Lap, and then said to Track Mok Kwong Ba, Um, there is another point of view about two unicorn. Remember the last time I told you, the death unicorns are born with genetic inheritance. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba nodded, remember. Kwong and Hat Fa both said, actually, on this point, I was also told another point of view, but at that time, I honestly didn't know how to tell you. Track Mok Kwong Ba slightly raised his body, ha, huh, also related to the army of light. Kwong and Hat nodded and said, that view is that the unicorn too is likely the result of artificial inbreeding of soldiers in the army of light. Track Mok Kwong Ba was so surprised that he couldn't say a word. Kwong and Hat continued, you know, except in myths and legends, two unicorn has only appeared once in history, it was the time when Tibetan King Lang Dat Ma was trained to hunt. That kitsch, you probably remember, Track Mok Kwong Ba nodded. Kwong and Hat Poo Bak continued, However, according to what I know, Lang Dat Ma was not on patrol that time to hunt animals, but he received news that he had discovered the whereabouts of the Light Army, Bright. Track Mok Kwong Ba hesitantly asked, What do you mean? Kwong and Hat Far Back said, That unicorn too is probably released by the Army of Light to threaten the pursuers. Think about it, as the highest leader of the Turkic dynasty, there is always a group of bodyguards formed by soldiers in the army of light by his side to protect him, how could he not know the religion? How scary is that army? An entire army like that suddenly disappeared, could Lang Datmar not be worried? If that army one day turned the tip of the spear against the land, I am afraid that any Tibetan king who understands the matter will have to eat and sleep. Just ask, other than the army of light, what other force can make a Tibetan king lying in bed unable to get up? Yang exclaimed, How can that be? Was the army of light a rebel then? Aren't they only loyal to the supreme ruler? Kwong and Hat Fabo laughed and said, Who told them to be loyal to the supreme ruler? Although their beliefs fit the requirements of the highest ruler, they are not loyal to the ruler. According to legend, this agreement is a promise made by King Tung Tan Kanbo when conquering the Kwe Ba tribe. They obeyed the orders of their highest commander, but still kept their beliefs and spiritual leaders. But the highest commander of the Army of Light, with the two great families from Tuing Hung, also known as Nuong Thi and Vai Thi, only the spiritual leader is the only person they are truly loyal to. This spiritual leader is Dai Ban Ba in the clan, according to legend, he is the direct descendant of the four great kings of the past. The incident of the Light Army that year must have been related to that great ban, because, except for him, no one was able to cause the entire Light Army to suddenly disappear without a trace, like that. However, if it is said that it is a rebellion, it is not, anyway, they did not take any action that would be detrimental to the Tibetan king or the Turkish army at that time. They just disappeared, completely disappeared from this world. Yang asked again, I am really confused this time, an army that is not loyal to the highest ruler, who dares to use it? Kwong and Hat Far Back said, This matter is very complicated to explain, involving the balance of power of the ruler, I can only say, the situation at that time was a bit similar to when the king army entered the army. The bureaucracy divides the ordination for the three sessions, asterisk. If you want to let other clans sell their lives for you, if that family is good at fighting, you have to give them armies and some autonomy, and at the same time make them they do not rebel. This requires the ruler not only to have enough confidence and attractiveness, but also to have relatively sophisticated tricks. Think about it, the Nuong and Vai family listen to the orders of the king of Tibet, the Light Army listens to the orders of Nuong and Vai, and the highest commander of the Light Army is made by people from those two families. Alternately in charge, it also means that the Tibetan king can change the supremacy of these two families over the Army of Light at any time. If you want to rebel, I'm sorry, 
the only object to which the Army of Light is truly loyal is only one of the Dai Ban Three, but this Dai Ba Ba has no real power, no directly lead the soldiers. Therefore, the relationship between the King of Tibet, the Supreme Commander of the Army of Light, and their spiritual leader is extremely complicated, forming an extremely subtle balance of power, ending the end result was that the latter two had to show their allegiance to the King of Tibet. As for the loss of the Army of Light, it is clear that the problem is also in the middle of these three triangles of power, the only thing we can know is that, at that time, something happened, that event, affects every single member of the Army of Light, pay attention, every single member. Because if one of them went to report, the Army of Light could not have disappeared so quietly, but also brought along all the treasures stored in the four temples. As far as I know, Tibetan King Lang Datmar was absolutely unaware of this, for the entire Army of Light guarding the gates of his palace had completely disappeared in just one night. This incident shocked Lang Datmar more than anyone else, otherwise he would not have ordered that even if he had to dig three meters deep, he would have to find the whereabouts of the Army of Light, and he would not have led it himself. Go look for clues about them like that. Even before his death, he still doubted whether he had destroyed the Buddha so thoroughly that the Army of Light would leave, and even intended to review his behavior, rethinking his role. The role of Buddhism in the country. As for the relationship between the two families of Vi and Nuong with the Army of Light, there have been rumors since the Thofon dynasty. One is to say that Nuong Thi had a secret agreement with the Kuei Three clans, after all, they themselves made the proposal to recruit that tribe into the Army of Light. There is also another theory, saying that Vi Thi took advantage of medicinal herbs to control the Army of Light and the Patriarch, Dai Ban Ba of the Kuei Ba tribes. These rumors automatically dissipated after the night the Army of Light disappeared. But there is a strange thing, that these two families seem to know the story behind the escape of the Army of Light. After all, after those people left, they did not rush to search for swords like King Tang, but after Lang Datma died, both of these families directly participated in the new power struggle, they don't seem to be worried that the army will become a threat to me, I wonder if they finally got hold of the secret. Yuyang said, so, do Vi and Nuong have descendants? No, replied Kuang and Hat Pubo in a low voice, those who indulge in power will eventually be destroyed by power. As far as I know, the two great great families of the past have finally been reduced to ashes in the fire and smoke of war, and a bit of the content that they know about, has also been carried to the grave. No one knows the whereabouts of the army of light and the reason why they disappeared, from then on, anyone who wants to learn about the temple of Bakbala and the army of light, comes to the end, get the punishment they deserve. His voice suddenly became stern and cold, Track Mob Kwong Ba and others were dumbfounded, even Kwong Lap lifted up from Track Mob Kwong Ba's lap. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak knew he had made a mistake and softened his voice again. I've gone too far, I was originally going to talk about that unicorn too, you see, I've dragged it as far as I don't know. Then he poured me another bowl of wine, but it was clear that he could not recover, his mouth was full of coughing, his face was red. Kwong Lap softly groaned and walked over, his front legs resting on Kwong and Hat Fubak's back, pounding, just like a princess was punching the old man's back. Captain Hu Yang and Yu Yang were so surprised that they were all out of their minds. Yu Yang couldn't help but think, is that Kwong Lap really a mastiff? If I had a child like that, that would be great. Kwong and Hat Fubak waved his hand to signal that there was no need, after a while the cough stopped, he continued, you all know it, the tradition of living with wolves of the Quaybar tribe for thousands of years, now has not changed, even if the war geese joined later, the status of the wolves has not changed a bit, it is just that the mastiffs have the same status as the wolves. Well then, that will lead to a new problem, when mastiffs and wolves are together, how will they live, how will they behave? In addition, since the demands of war, the common mastiff in terms of physical strength or strength and speed could not be fully qualified, the soldiers in the army of light in need of their battle could take action, bigger, faster speed, sharper claws, 
more agile reaction, how to do that. So, on this basis, we have a hypothesis, perhaps in the beginning, this was just a coincidence, unfortunately, mastiffs and wolves that live with them, have produced generations. Later, when the soldiers of the Army of Light discovered that the animal had stronger fighting power, they began to artificially breed. Track Mok Kwong Ba was so surprised that he forgot to strip the fur of Kwong the lying inside, heart, dumbfounded exclaim, I mean, two unicorn. Kwong and Hat far back nodded, said, based on this hypothesis, two unicorn, maybe not only two unicorn, but also some other holy beasts and spirits, perhaps they're a type of wolf clam, or you can call it clam, lang, like the lion and beast of this day. Yue Yang asked, why is it called a hypothesis? This is just your speculation, isn't there any proof? Kuang and Hat far back nodded again, yes, the army of light in the Tufan era is already a puzzle, no one knows how they have been trained, not even the noble ministers. Even the king of Tibet could see only those soldiers who had met the standards of that army. At the same time, no one knows that they used the Gi method to tame the war clan, all can only be guessed. However, the hypothesis just now was not at all a sudden flash in an unfounded thought or imagination, but a conclusion that the ancients had gone through countless speculations and many times of consideration to draw, indeed, is that it might explain the extraordinary in some of the rare clams we see today. He paused for a moment and then continued, for example, Kwong La. Kwong Lap heard his name mentioned, stuck out his tongue and looked up at Kwong and Hat far back. Kwong and Hat Poo back raised the dog's face and said, My Kwong Lap, its ancestor is probably a clam or a clam. Boo clam. Captain Ho Duong felt that such expression was very strange. Kwong and Hat far back pointed at track mock Kwong Ba and said, Kwong Ba knows, he can explain it to you. Track Mok Kwong Ba has also thought about it, compared to the genetic hypothesis of his way of life, this hypothesis is much more reliable. Exactly, if it is the old man Track Mok Kwong Ba is extremely happy, this is a completely new way of thinking, before Kwong and Hat far back did not tell him, obviously, he still had problems related to it, to the army of light. He suddenly discovered that the Army of Light and the unsuspecting War Clan had a very close relationship. Yue Yang saw Track Mok Kwong Ba bowing his head without saying a word. His face was sometimes happy, sometimes surprised, couldn't contain his curiosity and exclaimed, Young Master Kwong Ba, don't be happy to steal one more time, okay? Tell me, what do you look like in the end? Track Mok Kwong Ba said, Bay, is a variant of a wolf, some people say it is a completely different species from a wolf, but the fact that they live with wolves can't be doubted anymore, just that to this day no one is left, just see it again. In ancient records, the cub, whose whole body was as white as snow, his two front limbs were disabled, needed another wolf to carry him to walk, but he possessed very high intelligence, taking on the role of a strategist in wolves. If a pack of wolves has one cub, the hunting ability of the pack will increase many times, even if our ancients have advanced to the farming age, they are not their opponents, only can only be scolded as, smuggler's life, asterisk, this idiom is exactly that word that came out. If we say that high lamb is a real beast, then we can explain why they are so smart. Exactly, this is a very likely hypothesis. Yue Yang looked at Kwong and asked, is Kwong Le very smart? Unexpectedly, as soon as he finished speaking, Kwong Lap arrogantly raised his head, and suddenly let out a, wow. Yue Yang was startled again. Kwong and Hat far back again filled everyone's wine glasses, saying, there are only so many things I can tell you, other clues, you can find in other sources. Of course, if you find the descendants of the Kwe Ba tribe, maybe they can tell you more. Yue Yang was surprised and said, the descendant of the Kwe Ba tribe. Haven't they all been to Hong Ba Le already? Kwong and Hat Poo back shook his head, who told you that? Young man, you must distinguish clearly the relationship between the Army of Light and the Kwe Ba tribe. The Army of Light is a member of the Kwe Ba tribe that organizes the city, 
but that does not mean that the Army of Light is the entire person of the Kuei Ba tribe. In the past, when the Kuei Ba tribe joined the Thofon dynasty, it was divided into three branches, the strongest soldiers were selected to join the Army of Light, ordinary soldiers were often mixed in the armies, otherwise, the rest of the tribe was still ordinary people. These, the treasure bearer in the Four Directions Temple disappeared in just one night, later built the Silver Bala Temple, with only the Army of Light. As for the Kuei Ba tribe, they still live on the plateau, but they can't help but hide their whereabouts and live the lives of those who hide. Speaking of this, Kwong and Hat Fubak's face flashed a sad smile, even before the liberation, there were still people who saw the Kuei Ba people as well as those Datmar people, Kia, living in the Himalayas, living primitively, burning fields for farming, shifting cultivation. Why don't they go with the army of Lighty? Yue Yang exclaimed in surprise, could it be that even they don't know where the army of light is going? Gang and Hat Pu back nodded and said, yes, the army of light disappeared so suddenly. After they left, the fate of the remaining Kuei Ba people was truly tragic. They identified themselves as exiled people, the soldiers who were protecting them, protecting the Kuei Ba tribe, and the strongest pillar of the Thofen dynasty, had suddenly disappeared. When the dynasty collapsed, the Kuei Ba tribe also suffered great persecution, being able to prolong that ruined life to this day is also considered a miracle. Yu Yang's heart was still full of doubts, suddenly heard Trak Mok Kwong Ba say, Thank you, for us, this news is really important. Hold on, Yu Yang suddenly interrupted, a look of doubt appeared on his face, he looked at Kwong and Hat far back and asked sternly, What kind of person are you? Track Mok Kwong Ba and Captain Ho Duong were both stunned, wide-eyed, and looked at Yu Yang. Yu Yang said again, Young Master Kwong Ba, there is a problem here. Think about it, why does he know so many things? Things like this, we've been studying for a long time, but never heard of it. In the documents that the predecessors studied, there was no mention of it. Speaking of which, he turned to Kwong and Hat far back again, where did you get this information? Why do you live on our mountain road? After all, who are you? Uncle. Track Mok Kwong Ba stopped Yu Yang and said, Enough, Yu Yang, stop guessing, you. You are so disrespectful. He also doesn't know how to criticize this guy who likes to ask until the end. What's worse is that, in his heart, he also has the same doubts as Yu Yang. Kwong Lap saw that this guy was not very old and he was not familiar with the old man, but dared to question Kwong and Hat far back, he suddenly stood up in front of his owner, this time his eyes flashed with murderous horror, people, obviously standing still, but still giving people the feeling that they can rush at any moment. For some reason, Yui Yang suddenly felt a little scared. Kwong and Hat far back lifted his hand and pressed Kwong lap down, laughed and said, young man, how many years have you been doing research on Bo Bala and the Army of Light? Yui Yang was temporarily stuck. Kwong and Hat far back continued, I heard that the person who inquired about Bak Bala Temple that year only heard the legend from the mouth of a folk singer, if it was true. Going back, there was less than 200 years of history, but when our people knew about Bo Bala, it was the end of the Qing Dynasty, the beginning of the nation's life, only a hundred years. Did you know that the time when our family and the army of light got tangled together, it has been more than a thousand years already. More than a thousand years. Since the day they disappeared from this world, Yu Yang suddenly remembered something, suddenly showed respect, uncle. I'm the descendant of the Kuei Ba tribe. Kwong and Hat Fubo smiled and shook his head, young man, don't be so confident, this time you are wrong. I am not a descendant of the Kuei Ba tribe. He could hardly hide the mournful expression on his face, sighed and said, but our family, burdened with the same fate as its descendants, so I can feel it, plight of the descendants of the Kuei Ba tribe abandoned on that plateau. All the things they've been through, are probably very similar to the ones we've encountered before. Yu Yang asked again, who are you anyway? Kwong and Hat far back revealed a sad and painful expression. Kwong lap groaned, ah, 
pressed his head into the owner's chest, gently rubbing. Captain Ho Duan saw this and immediately said, Enough Yuyang, everyone has their own secret. Yuyang stopped questioning, suddenly remembered Lu Kan Nam's words once told, Music Duang, remember it well, everyone has their own secret. When interrogating people, it is necessary to clearly distinguish when to interrogate the enemy and when to chat with friends. Asking requires a lot of skill. Track Mop Kwong Ba was not knowing how to apologize to Kwong and Hat Fa back, then Kwong Lap suddenly stood up from his lap, cautiously looking at the door, ears standing up, moving slightly, as if searching that information was in the air, then suddenly it turned its head and barked at Kwong and Hat Fa back, the bark was so loud that even Track Mop Kwong Ba was startled. Kwong and Hat Fa back jerked awake from his grief and asked Kwong Lap, has it begun? Kwong Le answered two more times. Kwong and Hat immediately jumped off the bed and told Track Mop Kwong Ba, Now, I won't talk about these things anymore, I'll take you guys to see a good show, I'm sure you've lived this age and haven't seen it before, where now? Let me get some things, Kwong Lap, open the door. Asterisk, three sessions. Former generals of the Ming dynasty surrendered to the Jurchens, helped them to invade the Central Highlands, later was crowned by the Qing dynasty and taken over in several southern provinces, Bin Taivong Ngo Tam Q in Yunnan, Guizhou, Bin Nam King Thuong Ka Hai in Guangdong, southern province King Kan Trong Min in Fukien. Later treason, through the War of the Three Circuits, 1673-1681, in turn was destroyed by Emperor Kangxi and abolished the land. Asterisk, fraudsters, colluding with each other to do bad things. Chapter 32, Specifications about the CILLION-KILLION-2 Lin Clam Hai Blue Beast Yue Duong was closest to the door, was about to step out to open the door, but unexpectedly Kwong Lap rushed in to push him out, dived forward, stood up, kicked the latch and opened the door, rushed towards the vast grasslands. Kwong Lap excitedly ran a few steps, then turned his head, only to see its snow-white body gently gliding in the bone-chilling wind, as if dissolving into one with the blue sky, white clouds, and green meadows. A phrase suddenly flashed in Yue Yang's mind, Majestic Majesty, proudly resplendent. That's right, it's a strange majesty. Kwong Lap now looks very proud, its silver-white fur is shiny like silk, tightly wrapped around its elongated body bathed in the bright sunlight, like a cloud gently gliding down on this meadow in the sky. That gentle step was like a noble horse dancing and dancing, even more like a Tibetan girl lifting a harder scarf dancing on the vast step. Such a beautiful Tibetan clam, Yue Yang looked at it and was completely stunned. Track Mok Kwong Ba lightly patted Yue Yang's shoulder and asked, Isn't it beautiful? Yue Yang sighed and said, I really can't believe that there is such a beautiful dog in this world, it is a creature of heaven. Kwong Lap rushed over, ran around track Mok Kwong Ba's feet twice. Yue Duong saw it, it immediately turned its head away, not looking directly at the guy. Yue Yang grumbled and wondered, it seems like he doesn't like me. Track Mok Kwong Ba laughed, who said you just met said people are grumpy. Kwong Le remembers what you said. It's not, Yue Yang widened his eyes and exclaimed, can he understand such abstract words as well? Track Mok Kwong Ba said, don't you read the analytical reports of scientists? A common pet dog has an intelligence index equal to that of a three or four year old child, and large canine animals such as mastiffs and wolves can be as intelligent as a seven year old child, if trained. With more practice, they can reach the IQ level of an 11 or 12 year old child. An 11 or 12 year old child, do you think he can't understand any more? Especially the high lamb beast like Kwong Lap here, its intelligence is only much higher than you imagine, if you come into contact with it a lot, you will know that this animal can bring such unexpected joy, any. As he spoke, Track Mok Kwong Ba grinned, as if reminiscing about the past. Kwong Lap squatted next to him, looked up into the distance, once in a while turned his head back into the house to cry out different long and short, you, you, sounds. 
Yue Yang saw that Kuang Lap's appearance seemed to be urging Kuang and Hat far back, thought for a moment, then said, I remember that I spoke in Mandarin, could it still understand some things? Different languages. Track Mok Kuang Ba smiled and replied, If it's a simple command, even with a few more languages, Kuang Lap can still remember it. However, when talking normally, it is unlikely that it has only used its ears to hear, it can observe your movements, facial expressions, listen to your intonation, speaking speed, in addition, it can also smell the information radiating from his body when talking, capture his heart rate and sweat on his skin, can imagine it like a lie detector. Kuang Lap can observe his true mood when talking, whether he is looking down on it or praising it, liking it or hating it. In myths and legends, the sea clam is a psychic animal that can probe the inner world of people, even if you haven't opened your mouth, it already knows what you want to say. Yue Yang couldn't help but glance at Kuang Lap again. Kuang Lap has since changed his sitting direction, turned his back to Yue Yang, arrogantly directed his eyes to a distant place. Track Mok Kuang Ba said, you sincerely apologize to him, Kuang Le will forgive you. Isn't that right, Kuang Le? Yu Yang was surprised again, but before the cheering eyes of young master Kuang Ba, he still tried to say, that thing. Lady Kuang Le, this matter, I'm not right, I, 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 what I said just now was so disrespectful. Miss, can you forgive me? Before he finished speaking, Kuang Lap stood up and barked twice at the stone house. Yak Tuang looked at Track Mok Kuang Ba and said, This. Track Mok Kuang Ba smiled and nodded, Okay, he has already forgiven you. Kuang Le is not narrow-minded, is he, Kuang Le? Kuang Lap looked at Track Mok Kuang Ba with a sullen expression, a long, um, um, in his nose, clearly meant, This guy, why are you going to help outsiders like that? Kuang and Hat far back carried a small bag and rushed out, muttering, If you urge me to hurry, I have to bring enough things with me, right? Captain Ho Duang followed closely behind him, very sincere, can you think again? Kuang and Hat far back didn't seem to hear, reaching out his hand to shake Kuang Lap, let's go. Kuang Lap led the group and continued to go south. Where are we going? E? Yu Yang asked. Kuang and Hat far back showed a godly smile and said, When you get there, you will know. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. After saying that, he winked at Track Mok Kuang Ba once. Yu Yang did not expect this uncle to still play the trick, bored and didn't bother to ask any more. Captain Hu Yang still seemed to be annoyed that Kuang and Hat far back refused his invitation, didn't say no, didn't immediately calm down. The four people followed Kuang Le quietly. Kuang Lap's speed is very fast, as if it doesn't want to stop and slow down, it just keeps rushing, running for a while, and then running back so everyone can keep up. Seeing its glittering shadow rushing back and forth, Yu Yang suddenly had a feeling, he also wanted to be like the Kuang Lap, freely running under the blue sky and white clouds, breathing freely in the air of freedom, duh, and then lie down again, both body and soul expand, with the step merging into a single being. Not long after, the color of Kuang Lap's fur began to change, tinged with a color that made people's hearts broken, like a dream, like a fantasy, that proud figure that was free to run and jump seemed like it could kick the clouds at any time and fly up to the top of the sky. At that moment, it was truly a divine beast in the heavenly realm and carelessly wandered down to the human realm. Yu Yang praised, the colors are so beautiful. Here, is this wood color after all? The guy rummaged through his brain but couldn't find a suitable adjective to describe it, only immersing himself in that wonderful color. Captain Ho Duang also exclaimed, I've never seen a mastiff that can change color, how can it do that? Track Mok Kuang Ba said, teacher said, this is probably the effect of physiological function similar to that of hand blood treasure horse, just like when people get angry, their faces turn red, every time they get angry. The sea blue beast begins to run at speed, the blood vessels under the fur will be filled with tension, causing the skin color to change, affecting the silver color, plus the general effect of other factors, like the weather, 
the reflection, the refraction of light will bring out the colors we are seeing here. See Blue Beast is a very good runner, they like to run and jump out of all the canine animals, besides the unicorn, they are the fastest runner, moreover they can maintain this fast speed for a long time, the endurance can be compared to the steed. Legend has it that the goddess Tuye's son gave them three good omens, bestowed them with brilliant blue-green hair, which was even more attractive and enchanting than blue gems, grant them bodies as light as clouds so that they can freely roam and jump, becoming spirits chasing the wind, give them wisdom hearts, so that they can read and understand all the languages of the world. Yue Yang stuck out his tongue and said, I also want to raise this sea blue beast. Track Mok Kwong Ba smiled and shook his head, you can only meet but can't ask for it. Before the baby clam becomes an adult, no one knows what a clam it will be, it can't even be distinguished from ordinary puppies. Speaking of which, he couldn't help but glance at Kwong Lap sympathetically, recalling that year, Kwong Lap was also a clam abandoned by humans. Going a little further, Yuyang spoke up again, Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, is the place we are going to be very dangerous. Kwong and Hat Pu Bo nodded, it's okay, it's a bit dangerous, but if you're careful, you won't have any problems. Captain Ho Duan said, it's a breeze here, and you can't hear the roar of wild animals, how do you know it's dangerous? Yue Yang said, have you forgotten Captain Hu? When I first came here, Ma Bao said that there are dangerous places. Kwong and Hat far back said, Ha, huh, you guys came here from Ma Bao's village, I thought Kwong Ba directly brought you here. Yue Yang shook his head, No, it was Ma Bao who brought us here, but halfway through, he returned, I don't know why. Track Mok Kwong Ba smiled, I think he's a little afraid of Kwong Lap. Kwong and Hat far back also laughed and said, Yes, a few years ago his family lost a sheep, and before I could check it clearly, he came to question me, at that time there was a lot of controversy. But Kwong Lara couldn't stand other people arguing in front of the house, I couldn't stop shouting for a moment, making Ma Bao panic. Later, I helped him find the sheep again, he also came to apologize, but every time he saw Kwong Lap, he was still a bit. Ha ha. Is Kwong the very powerful? Yak Kwong watched the shadow drifting ahead, somehow unable to contact the big dog that buried its head in the lap of Track Mok Kwong Ba and the two words, beneficial, together. It seems that Kwong Lap heard that, and immediately turned his head towards Kwong and Hat far back and barked two disgruntled, wows. Kwong and Hat far back said, don't look down on our family's Kwong Le. people often say that the tigress is so powerful, but I don't know that Kwong Le is angry at this family. Kwong Lap heard this and panicked, rushed to bite the hem of Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's shirt, constantly twitching, a deep growl sounded in his throat, the threatening attitude was even more obvious, clearly saying, don't talk about it. No more talking. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak laughed, okay, okay, don't talk, don't talk anymore. In fact, when Kwong Le is gentle, no one understands his heart better than him. Only then did Kwong Lap release his snout, gliding away like a puff of smoke. Kwong and Hat far back attentively followed the back of his pet dog, his eyes filled with emotion. Looking at his eyes looking up at Kwong Lap, Yu Yang seemed to understand something, no wonder Kwong Ba young master couldn't borrow Kwong Lap, Kwong Lap was a part of Kwong and Hat far back's life, he, don't say a day, even for a minute, a second he can't leave Kwong Lap. Without Kwong Lap, how could Kwong and Hat far back live alone under this cold, lonely snow mountain for ten years? Continue to go south for another ten minutes, the road is getting higher and higher, having entered the undulating gully area, I don't know where I am anymore. Yue Yang looked around, identified the direction, and then said, it seems like we've been going south ever since. Captain Ho Duang nodded to confirm, it's not wrong. Yue Yang said, I wonder if you've met some people from the Ala La Lama group. Ha, Kwong and Hat Pu Bo said, do you have other people? Track Mok Kwong Ba immediately recounted how they divided into three groups divided into three directions to explore the way up the mountain. 
After hearing this, Kuang and Hat Far Back said seriously, they are in danger. Track Mok Kuang Ba thought for a moment, Lama Ala, Ba Tang, Trong Lap, these three people walking together can be in danger, right? He replied, they're not in trouble, those three are better friends than I am. Kuang and Hat Far Back shook his head, people are not afraid of danger, the scariest thing is that people do not know it is dangerous. Yue Yang suddenly stood on tiptoe, looked up at him and asked loudly, Oh, isn't that the group of the Lama? Trong Lap, Mr. Ba Tang, Lama Ayla, here, we are here, Kuang and Hat Fabo now breathed a sigh of relief, fortunately. Kuang Lap also turned around and saw four strangers in the distance. The Lama Lama was near. Yue Yang stepped up to meet him and asked, How's it going? Ba Tang shook his head, seeing that they couldn't find the right way to go up the mountain. Right after that, they immediately saw Kuang Lap. The color of the sea blew all over its body was fading and disappearing. At first glance it looked like it was embroidered all over with blue flashing stars. But Kuang Lap looked at some of them not very well. He cautiously stared at Ba Tang, neither angry nor barking. Even his claws were carefully retracted, but the situation was hidden in his eyes. People like Ba Tang also seemed to be unable to bear it. Even Kuang and Hat Fa Back stopped laughing, didn't wait for track mob Kuang Ba to introduce himself, went ahead, aiming straight at Ba Tang. Kuang Lap quietly followed closely behind. Ba Tang was alert, out of an instinct, his hand was already on the dagger hilt. Unexpectedly, Kuang and Hat Fa Back just passed by and calmly threw back a sentence, the killing chi on your body is too heavy, Kuang Lap doesn't like you, be careful. Kuang Lap glanced at him, then also passed. It was then that Ba Tang realized that when this person or dog approached, the pressure on him made him feel short of breath, which even the young master Kuang Ba could not do. Where Kuang and Hat Fa Back and Kuang La stopped, they happened to be right in front of Lama Lama. The corner of Kuang and Hat Fa Back's mouth revealed a cold smile, he lowered his voice, it's been a long time since I saw a real master, right, Kuang Lap, you can't help but want to compete with him once, then right. Kuang Lap was in high spirits, standing firmly on all fours, together with the owner facing the master, two people and a mastiff arranged in the shape of the letter grade pin. Elas Lama still did not understand the matter, doubtfully asked, who are you? Suddenly, he saw the decorative pattern on the hilt of Kuang and Hat Fa Back's blade and loudly exclaimed, You are. Before he finished his words, Kuang and Hat Fa Back's knife had left its sheath, drew a curve in the air, and cut straight in front of Lama Allah. Grandmaster's mind followed his will, not backward but also forward, reaching out at the moment the blade cut, his hand did not grab the weapon, directly grabbed the wrist holding the knife of Kuang and Hat Fa Back. This move was soon in the plan of Kuang and Hat Fa Back, his wrist was slightly tilted, changing into a chopping position, if Lama Allah refused to withdraw his hand, it was like bringing his own hand out to catch the blade, and if you withdraw your hand and continue to hit Kuang and Hat Fa Back's blade, it will immediately change the cutting position into a stabbing attack, and the Ayla -la Lama will completely fall into a passive position. Good for Lama alas, in that moment of a thousand pounds hanging that hair, unexpectedly refused to withdraw his hand, but also took the advantage of flipping his wrist along the blade, and at the same time stretched out his hand and patted the side of the blade. Kuang and Hat Far Back only saw his hands go numb, almost couldn't hold the weapon, waiting for him to grasp the knife to change another move, he was already grabbed by Lama Allah, his five fingers squeeze it like a steel pliers hold it tight. At that crucial moment, Kuang and Hat Far Back shouted softly, Kuang Le. As soon as the command was issued, Kuang Lap immediately took action. The shadow jumped out of the ground compared to the blade light of Kuang and Hat Far Back just now, white teeth aimed directly at the Lama's arm. Ayla bites. If this time he didn't even pull his hand back, I'm afraid it would be difficult to keep it. Lama Ayla without thinking pulled his hand back to avoid Kuang La's sharp teeth, then reached out again to press down on the clam's head, 
withdrew his hand and then stretched it again so quickly that he seemed to have barely ever moved. Unexpectedly, Kwong Lap's body was jumping up in the air like a horse being reined, saying stop is to stop, suddenly turned his head back, still aiming at Lama Lama's arm. At this time, Kwong and Hat far back also gripped the hilt of the knife, stabbing it around the belly of Kwong La. Lama Ayla had no way to dodge, had to withdraw his hand and take a small step back. One of Kwong and Hat far back's knives clearly couldn't hit the Ayla La Lama anymore, but he still didn't hesitate to stab it to the end. Lama Ayla thought that this was a loophole, then an unimaginable thing happened, Kwong Lat's body in the air turned around, stepping on Kwong and Hat Fa's outstretched arm. Silver, using the force to change direction, suddenly dived straight in front of the old Lama. Faced with such an oncoming giant, in just a short time like a flash of sparks when two rocks collided, in his mind the Lama Ala replayed all the tricks he had ever learned, but still can't find the right position to shoot. Silver glints, Kwong and Hat far back sword is like a poisonous snake following closely behind Kwong Lap. Lama Ala La just took a step back, his stance was still not stable, this time was not feasible, had to continue to retreat, this time he had to take three consecutive steps to avoid Kwong Lap's pounce. Kwong and Hat far back and Kwong Lap also did not continue to pursue, just laughed, I don't know what the master's legal name is. Lama Ala replied, Ala catch Guo. Kwong and Hat far back immediately showed a dignified and respectful expression, sure enough, it is a powerful and powerful tantric monk. Lama Ala glanced at track Mok Kwong Ba and others, lowering his voice, unexpectedly, meeting here. Descendant of Silver. Lama Ala fought with Kwong and Hat far back and Kwong Lap. In an instant they were divided and separated. The total time was less than two blinks, and then saw the master striding backwards. Juo Mok Kwong Ba was about to speak out to stop him, but before he had time to shout, everything was over, and Trong Lap was busy talking with Yu Yang, but he couldn't even see her. When Track Mok Kwong Ba ran to the side of the two, he became very comfortable, he introduced a few people to each other, then doubted, ah oh yes, master, just now, two people. Kwong and Hat far back smiled and smiled at Track Mok Kwong Ba, no problem, just now Kwong Lap felt that there was an extremely powerful master here, I immediately wanted to give it a try. Ha ha, I didn't expect that there were even fake tantric monks to help you, so you won't have to face any big problems along the way. Lama Ala smiled bitterly and said, The monk is also human, just now wasn't it that I couldn't compete with you in the snow? Hi, hi blue beast, this is a sea blue beast. At this time, the old monk clearly recognized the god of fortune of Kwong Lap, couldn't help but sigh and lament, no wonder it has such speed and skillful transformation, unexpectedly it is the spirit clam in the legend. He nodded slightly, as if losing just now was not unfair at all. Track Mok Kwong Ba had lived with Kwong La for a long time, but he had never seen Kwong La fight. Just now, Kwong Lap turned the island in the air, a move that was really unique and sophisticated, and still had a mind that was compatible with Kwong and Hat far back, coordinating seamlessly like a fox in the sky without a tear, a sick dog. Normally, it is not possible to do this, I am afraid that only the legendary battle clam has such a command. He complained a little and said to Kwong and Hat far back, Ah oh yes, Kwong Lap is a war clam, but from the beginning to the end, you still refuse to tell me. Kwong and Hat far back rubbed his forehead and smiled coldly, Zan clam. Ha ha, if Kwong Lap was a war clam, I'm afraid this Arla master would have been lying down there. Track Mok Kwong Ba exclaimed, What did you say? At this time, Kwong and Hat far back was observing the people who came with the Lama Lama. The Grandmaster who had just fought me, needless to say, the person next to him looked so cold and cruel that he could play the role of an assassin without a disguise, I don't know how many people he killed, obviously a hand survival on the battlefield, the young man who was talking to Yu Yang looked strong and healthy, and at first glance he knew that he was a well-trained master. He turned to track Mok Kwong Ba and said, Everyone wait for me for a moment. After saying that, 
he walked straight to the Dat Ma guy who led the group of Lama Lama. Chapter 32 Specifications about the CILLION3 Wolf Lama Ala carefully observed Kwongla, then nodded and said, That's right, the war clans don't need human commands, they will judge the strength of our enemies based on the situation on the battlefield by themselves. If in the fight just now, there was a war clan next to it, it will attack the moment my skill ends, the transformation is over, attack when the opponent is defenseless, one hit is instant death. I don't understand why, seeing Kwong Lap fighting, hearing the Lama Ala talking about fighting clans, Track Mok Kwong Ba suddenly remembered the three Grey Wolf brothers they met in Ka Ka Te Lai. It's been almost two years, I don't know how the three brothers are now, his hand reaches for the precious bag, the bone flute is still quietly lying inside. Yui Yang and Trong Lap also ran over and hurriedly asked, What happened just now? Did I see Uncle Kwong and Hat Fa back and Grandmaster fighting? There is no gi. The Ala La Lama calmly shook his head, Brother Kwong. This Kwong and Hat Fa back is a martial artist. We just tried it out just now. He glanced at Kwong and Hat Fa back, only to see him saying those words to a Datma guy named Kian Tang. The young man changed color, shook his head rapidly, then turned to them again, nodding his head non-stop. You, you, Kwong and Hat far back loudly said, Gentlemen, I was going to take Kwong Ba to a place, but that place is a bit dangerous. I see all of them have been trained, I wonder if everyone wants to go together. If you don't like it, then Kian Tang has to go back to the village now, he will bring everyone back. Trong Lap also heard Yu Yang mention this, and raised his voice to ask, Uncle Kwong and Hat Fa Bak, where are we going? Kwong and Hat Fa Bak looked at Yu Yang and Trong Lap, Boys, are you afraid of wolves? Before Yu Yang had time to answer, Track Mob Kwong Ba's eyes were shining brightly, looking like a six-year-old child who suddenly heard that he was going to Disney Park. He quickly asked, Wolf, are there wolves here? Discovered when? Did you hear what you said last time I came? Kwong and Hat Poo Bo smiled, I told you for sure you would be interested. After you went the new wolves came to this area, three waves before and after, especially the last one, I'm sure you've never seen one. They have a big campaign today, how about it, do you want to go see it? Yu Yang asked, how big is the campaign? Kwong and Hat Fa Bak replied, a few days ago, a herd of wild yak cows passed through the territory of the wolves and was surrounded by wolves. Today, they will have a decisive battle. Kwong La has smelled gunpowder, now hurry up so you can see it in time. Wow, wolves and yak cows are determined to fight. Yui Yang was so excited that he lost his voice. Ever since listening to Lama Ala tell the story of the war, they still feel that they were born a thousand years late, and now there is such a beautiful scene in front of their eyes, perhaps compared to the old war, not much different. Kwong and Hat far back looked at everyone, Yui Yang and Trong Lap tried to insist that they go, Lama Ala was done anyway, Captain Ho Duong thought for a moment and then said, it's good, convenient, can survey the terrain. Tang's father seemed to be recalling that incident in the past, the corners of his mouth twitched and he didn't say a word, when he saw Yue Yang look up, he resolutely nodded. Everyone negotiated for a while, everyone agreed to go, Qian Tang returned to the village first, then the rest of the group continued to follow Kwong Lap, climbing up the southern slope. Kwong and Hat far back looked back, Seeing that he had a total of eight members, couldn't help but mutter, eight people, a bit too much, I don't know if it's good or not. He saw the instrument in Yue Yang's hand, suddenly remembered something, and asked Juo Muchangbo, do you have any communication equipment? Track Mok Kwong Ba nodded, Kwong and Hat far back panicked and said, turn it all off, turn it off, it will be discovered. Track Mok Kwong Ba was stunned, not knowing if the electromagnetic waves could be detected by wolves or not, but Kwong and Hat far back was so worried, so he had to report the situation to Liu Kan Nam clearly, then together everyone turns off all communication devices. 
After walking for a while, Trakmok Krongbar asked again, Since when did the wolves come to this area? Yuyang also asked, How many wild yak cows are there in total? Listening to your slang just now, it seems like the wolves have the upper hand, right? Kwong and Hat Fubak looked at the two people on his left and right, then answered Yuyang first, there are about 50 or 60 wild yak cows there. However, wolves are the natural enemies of yak cows, sometimes three or five wolves can make the whole yak herd panic, let alone this time they do not dominate in number. I think the defeat is certain, we'll just have to see how the wolves win. Hearing that the yak herd did not dominate in number, Trakmok Kwongbar unconsciously glanced at Kwong and Hat far back. Kwong and Hat Poo back also knew what he was going to say, and immediately replied, You will know immediately if you go and see, this pack of wolves is definitely different from all the wolves you have ever seen before. Then he looked up ahead, saw Kwong Lap running in the distance, then answered Trakmok Kwongbar's first question, Before, I said it was still old, before and after there were three waves, roughly. Not long after he left when the first wave arrived, Kwong Le discovered them. The leader of the pack I have never seen before, but their leader is now a white wolf, a white wolf. Kwong and Hat far back growled, but lowered his voice to a very low voice. The second pack of wolves came here about four years ago. They and the first group of wolves occupied an area each, so there has been no conflict so far. He, the leader of the herd must be old. Its back is hunched up a bit like the back of a wild yak cow, I call it a humpback. These two packs of wolves are no different from ordinary wolves, a family-style pack, with about 15-16 children. The second herd is a group type, roughly there are about two, seven, two, eight of them, according to my observations. This herd is probably made up of four wolf clans, if not for Kwong Lap, maybe I also don't care about their existence. But the third pack of wolves is a little bit weird. If my statistics are correct, then the total number of them is around 200 or so. Captain Ho Duong widened his eyes. It can't be like that. Yu Yang curiously asked, why can't it? Captain Ho Duong shook his head. You don't understand wolves. Although wolves are herbivorous animals, colonization does not mean insatiable gathering. This is due to many different factors such as environment, consciousness, etc. Eat, family. Combined decisions. An ordinary wolf pack is a family, led by a leading couple of wolves to hunt with their children. The number from 7 to 12 is the best. It is extremely rare to see any pack exceeding 20. Child. Only when the winter comes, the prey dies, it is necessary to surround the large prey so that the wolf clans who are familiar with and have territories close to each other will gather into a large herd, only the largest number only about 30 or 40 children, led by a couple of the best and most experienced wolves. As for the story of 200 wolves gathered in one place, I have never seen it before, only in novels written like that. This is related to the issue of the number of hunted items and the distribution of the spoils. And when the wolves go hunting, each adult wolf must participate in the fight, furthermore ensuring that each adult wolf is allocated enough food for it. It must be known that wolves are omnivores but mainly carnivores. According to biologists, when the number of a pack of wolves exceeds 20, the hunting efficiency not only increases but vice versa, significantly reduced, the survival of the whole pack of wolves will be very difficult to maintain. 200 wolves living together, Unless they learn to reclaim land, plow, eat corn instead of meat, it's still temporary. Yu Yang pondered thoughtfully, looking like he understood but didn't understand. Trong Lap could not hear anywhere, muttering quietly, I still don't understand, how to say, a population is never as large as possible. Kwong and Hat far back immediately spoke up. Captain Ho's theory about the most effective combination when hunting has also been heard, but it must have a prerequisite first. I mean, in the context of a limited number of prey, the difference between one pack of wolves and another is not great, each pack has its own territory and has a limited hunting range, to ensure your pack if they can continue to survive later, they need to limit the number of wolves in the pack. When the number exceeds the limit that the territory of the pack can support, 
the wolves will automatically expel the weak individuals, this principle is like large companies cutting staff when the economy is bad, so difficult. However, this point of view is only proven on paper, those biologists have already underestimated the wolves. You also know, in the winter when food is scarce, the wolf clans will put aside the prejudices and gather in large herds to conduct hunting on a large scale. Did you know that the wolf families rely on the strength of their strength to determine the extent of their territory? Do you know that, between the wolf clans, in addition to the combination, they are also repelling and conquering each other? Do you know that the two wolf clans are side by side conducting negotiations, challenging, and then lead to war or not, and then they also ambush, besiege, perform the act of beheading the enemy clan leader with snakes, or even luring the young wolves of the enemy to abandon the pack, or find lone wolves, to make them a post on your enemy's side, have you heard of these? A few of them, Captain Hu Yang, opened their eyes wide when they heard it. Kuang and Hat far back said such a long breath, had to stand on the mountain slope to think for a bit, then continue to stride after Kuang Lap, turn around and say to Captain Ho Duong, actually, watching the wolves is a very dangerous thing, in addition to the fact that the wolves themselves are not easy to be tracked by others, the number is getting smaller and smaller, not to mention you guys, even I myself keep an eye on the wolves. After all these years, I've only surreptitiously observed it a few times. That's why I said, this time taking people to see wolves will be completely different from what people imagine in their heads. Yue Yang was stunned for a moment, then ran after him and asked, what you just said are all about the third pack of wolves, right? Kuang and Hat far back secretly praised this guy for being a good person, just based on what he said the first two pack of wolves were very normal, but he guessed that what was said later was the behavior of the third pack of wolves, immediately he nodded and replied, that's right. You don't know, the concept of wolf territory is inherently strong. One is their dependence, anyway, that's where they were born and grown up, second, because they don't fight in unfamiliar circumstances, every wolf, it can be said, knows the territory of their family like the back of their hand, for them, this is a must-have skill, steady. However, the territory of wolves is not constant, if there is a natural disaster, such as a drought or a prolonged cold that makes it impossible to maintain a food source, then a situation will arise, rare, which is exactly what we're going to see now. What is that? Yue Yang asked impatiently. Kuang and Hat far back looked at track Mok Kuang Ba and smiled. These stories were all told to me by Kuang Ba. Migratory Wolf. Track Mok Kuang Ba continued, this must have a prerequisite. First, there must be an extremely powerful family. Wolves, like humans, also have natural gifts, sometimes, in a certain family, suddenly appear a leader wolf very strong, or very cunning, under its leadership, that family will surely be stronger than the wolf clans around their territory. When that wolf family grows to the point where they can consider the surrounding clans invisible to the naked eye, they also won't bother to pay attention to the implicit rule about the territory. In the eyes of that family, there will be no territorial borders at all, they will also occupy the territories of other wolf clans. The weaker clans, can only choose to submit or be expelled, then the whole pack of wolves has begun to move from the clan to the large corporation, the dependent clans gathering around the dominant family this gradually more and more. The difference is that they are not simply a cooperative group, but become a strategic corporation with a clear hierarchy according to the ladder relationship. The second condition is the changing living environment. In territories rich in hunting animals, there would be no such fearsome wolf clans, only in places where there was a shortage of hunting animals, the territory could not continue to sustain their livelihood, among the clans there were no when there was no fighting, suddenly a certain clan stood out. When they have gathered into a group, and the whole large territory still does not have enough prey to feed them all, then the whole corporation will undergo a qualitative change, they will change from the domain wolf to migratory wolf. They are forced to move from their umbilical cord vegetable burial place to thousands or tens of thousands of kilometers in search of a survival environment. 
the biggest difference between the territorial wolf and the migratory wolf lies in the number of birds on the long and winding road. It is impossible to count all the unknown difficulties. If there are not enough numbers to maintain the herd, the wolves basically did not dare to move in a wide range. Migration is the method that wolves are forced to use to continue to survive. At that time it was not a few dozen or a few hundred, but there were even cases where thousands of wolves gathered together, together. However, these phenomena only appear in places where no one lives. People cannot read this information. That is because no one has ever seen it. If someone has seen the survival rate of them is also almost zero. Moreover, currently the number of wolves in China is only a few thousand. Coming here can see more than a hundred wolves gathered together. I'm afraid it will be the only time in our lives. Trong Lap exclaimed in surprise. More than a thousand wolves have gathered in a migratory pack. Where did you hear this, young master Kuang Ba? Chuo Mu Chang Ba calmly replied, If you were thirty years older than you are now, and lived in regions like Tibet, Xinjiang, and Inner Mongolia, maybe you would be seen. Yue Yang immediately interjected, Speaking of which, young master Kuang Ba must have seen the wolf migrating with his own eyes. Tell us, what do migrating wolves look like? Track Mok Kuang Ba said, Although I have never seen it with my own eyes, at least I have heard of it, people have been with me for so long, I'm sure they have not forgotten that I studied zoology, specializing in research, about canine animals. If you want to talk about migratory wolves, you have to cover many aspects, first of all, you have to tell people that I basic knowledge about wolves, then it will be easier to understand. Track Mok Kwong Ba whispered, telling his companions the basic knowledge about wolves. Wolves usually live in a family pattern, from a few to ten, most often there are two types, the first is a couple leading the cubs, another situation is a couple of brothers, the wolf sisters and their cubs gathered in a pack. There are times when the wolf proves to be very faithful, monogamy can be maintained until the end of life. Normally, in the family consisting of husband and wife and children, the parents will become the leader. As for the sibling family, there is no division between male and female, the wolf has rich experience, the best catching skill, the whole pack will listen to that wolf. The wolf's caste regime is very strict, most evident when they eat prey, the leaders eat first, wait for them to finish eating, and others dare to approach the food, even if they eat at the same time, they still have to distinguish parts such as head, body, legs, wolves of different classes can eat meat in different parts, only female wolves are raising young children, are occasionally prioritized, but this is very rare. Usually wolves come into sexual maturity in early winter, those living in cold areas can be in April, gestate for four to five months, give birth to six to seven cubs, and sometimes even give birth to as many as ten cubs at a time. Sometimes, only the leader wolf couple has the right to mate at any time, and the other cubs, if they want to, have to become the leader of the pack and get approval to have the right to mate. As for the sibling wolf packs, all the cubs are brought together for one feeding, each female wolf has a chance to be a mother. The domain of wolves is mostly hereditary, built on plains with rich populations are important routes that migratory animals must pass, a pack of wolves seven or eight, calves, usually a territory of more than 50 kilometers in diameter is required to sustain a livelihood, the diameter of the larger wolf packs is even over a hundred kilometers. In addition to hunting and resting, wolves also regularly patrol the border of their territory. Like dogs, they also know how to choose big trees or rocks as landmarks to excrete, those big rocks and trees become border markers between territories. Normally the wolves would not cross this border line. The wolf territories are also not directly adjacent to each other, between the domains there is often a buffer zone, often when prey runs into this public area, it leads to a dispute between two different wolf clans. Wolves are learning phenotypes, unlike animals with genetic memories, it is necessary for a mother wolf to teach her pups how to hunt. When hunting, the leader of the pack will choose a target, the others all have their own route and position, from many different directions to block the way of the hunted object, 
usually this combination goes through several plays. If you practice combat, you will become fluent. Many wolf families have been hunting together since childhood, so the level of tacit understanding is extremely high. When the number of prey is too large, the wolves will chase away the prey, causing chaos in the enemy pack, running a few laps, they will lock the target on the slowest runners, the crippled ones, turns, all the small ones are not protected by adults, then slowly closes the encirclement, concentrating the dominant force against the lone individual, this is the wolf pack strategy later developed into a classic battle. When the prey is only alone, especially the large prey, or the old prey leaves the pack alone, the wolves, on the other hand, will not be impatient, they will track their prey from afar, following them, the footprints left by the other animal, see if his prey is disabled or not, smell the feces, see if the prey has digestive problems, observe the leaves and branches of grass being eaten by prey to see if their teeth and gums are still good. The success rate of wolf hunting is very high, they are the most efficient group of creatures in the world, but when they can save their strength, they absolutely do not attack hard or chase and kill them all. When they can avoid danger, they decide not to risk attacking, if they discover a prey that is waiting to die, but the prey can still threaten them, the wolves will still follow the tail, after that prey. Dozens of wolves form an arc, about 10 meters away from the prey, if the prey counterattacks, the whole pack will disperse, waiting for the prey to continue to move forward, they will come back to encircle, maintain the formation, as long as the wolves are not extremely hungry, they are all very patient. They will wait, wait until the large prey is old, dead, sick, or fake being bitten to death. Talking about his specialty, Trakmok Kwongba rushed like a stream, lowered his pen into writing, although he tried to reduce the content, it was still enough to make the Yuyang and Trong Lap people dumbfounded, all saying if they returned. In the past, teachers could give such good lectures, surely the academic achievements of the two boys were not so bad. Talking about the basic behaviors of wolves, Trakmok Kwongba told everyone about migrating wolves. Due to the lack of hunting animals, the wolves were reluctant to leave the hereditary territory, so it was only in areas where hunger and malnutrition appeared on a large scale that they formed migratory herds. Initially the migratory pack was led by a group of wolves, along the way in the places that passed through new packs joined, because during those years of famine, did not join other wolves, ending up the only thing will be to be eaten by a pack of stronger wolves. They still use the family as the basic combat unit. In the entire migratory pack, the wolves automatically arrange themselves into a pyramidal caste system, the lowest tier being the wolves that joined the last pack, the same native wolves where the whole pack migrated, residents are stopping. During the transition, Wolves that accepted to surrender without fighting were almost non-existent, so the position of the native wolves in the migratory pack was similar to that of prisoners or slaves, either way ahead of the pack, either to lead the way, or to prevent other swarms or large beasts from ambushing, but if prey appears in front, these low-ranking wolves have to stop, for the latter to rush to hunt. Even if they catch their prey, they can't take advantage of it on their own. Wolves join a little earlier in the middle of the pyramid, after a while, or after leaving their territory, they will no longer need to be pioneers, but will switch to guardians, behind the whole herd, in case other beasts attack behind. The top floor of the pyramid, led by the wolf core that initiated this migration, plus the few clans or wolf groups that live around them, they were the first followers of the exodus, and therefore receive higher compensation. The first group of wolves to initiate the migration has the highest position. In this corporation, the most powerful family occupies the top floor of the hierarchical pyramid. The patriarch of this family is the tip of the pyramid. The entire migratory herd is led by it. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, people call the highest leader of a wolf clan the leader, while in a group of several wolf clans combined, the supreme leader is called the wolf leader. Only in migratory wolf packs do true wolf kings appear. Finally, he sighed and exclaims, The migrating wolves, like the long march, are a very tragic journey. Along the way, 
there will be countless fierce battles, so much so that almost every wolf is seriously injured, any resources are not wasted, wolves that fall on the road will immediately become food for their comrades, until there is really no more wood to eat, they have to graze on grass to get through the day. On the long migration path, the female wolf's mating period will be delayed or even gradually lost, the wolves will spontaneously reduce the number of mating times, the low-class wolves will even be banned from mating, distribute. They also can't smile, lack both language and body language, the number of exchanges becomes more and more it, their walking posture is also different from normal wolves, their tails are clamped, their ears are always perverted. Step up, step very carefully and carefully, try to follow the herd with the lightest step, Eyes always roll around and observe all four directions like those foxes with noses even if they smell a single molecule of blood. It was enough to make their eyes turn red. Those who have never seen a wolf migrating will never know. When the words greed and hunger are applied to these wolves, what a terrifying sight it will end up being. Chapter 32 Specification about the C-I-L-L-I-O-N-K-I-L-L-I-O-N-4 Beast War Track Mok Kwong Ba's voice from the beginning to the end is still low and low, but it makes people vibrate, even Kwong Lat slows down, leading the way while raising his ears to listen, turning his head from time to time to look back, 1. Trong Lap was about to ask why only in the migratory herd did the wolf king appear, he heard Yu Yang compete first, that's not right, young master Kwong Ba, you said that in the years of poverty and hardship, the herd appeared first, Wolves migrated but now it's not like years of famine I. Track Mok Kwong Ba nodded and said, This is exactly what I am baffled by. Logically speaking, it is impossible for so many wolves to gather in one place. Besides, the people and animals in the village haven't been in trouble lately. This pack of wolves doesn't seem to have to gather for food. Kwong and Hat far back suddenly said, Everyone, keep your voice down, we're here. He whispered to everyone, whenever he saw Kwong Lap lying down, he had to immediately lie down, if Kwong Lap turned his head, everyone had to shrink and run, as fast as possible. Now we were standing in the middle of the mountain, the front ridge looked like a knife straight through the middle of the high, cloudy mountain, not knowing what the back was. Suddenly seeing Kwong Lap leading the way, he suddenly lowered his back, stepped forward with a very strange posture, Kwong and Hat far back's two hands tried to pat down, telling everyone to kneel, half kneel or kneel, must have been slowly climbing up the mountainside. In the windy place on the mountainside with some thick grass, track mob Kwong Ba noticed a few willow bushes with a few silver branches. Kwong Lap crouched down behind the grass and looked out, Kwong and Hat far back told the group to slowly approach, suddenly reaching out his hand to snatch the roots of an unknown grass, muttering curses, these hemp's, did not expect to grow up here. Yu Yang cautiously poked his head out to see, only to see behind the mountainside were deep trenches that were eroded by ancient glaciers, later the glacier melted, this place immediately became a dry riverbed with white pebbles, now these crevices are already covered with weeds and lichens with streaks of half yellow and half green. The guy saw that and said with a wide mouth, the mountain slope here is really strange, why are there so many broken linizi? This is the type of terrain that has been eroded by glaciers, said Captain Ho Duong, running his hand across the angular ridge, continuing, these fold lines are the marks left by the blades of the reaching glaciers. The area below, surrounded by a U-shaped valley, is the remains of an ancient glacial lake. Just as Captain Ho Duong said, looking down from their position, the gullies left by the ancient glaciers are like stairs, looking out into the distance, it looks like the stands watching the Olympics Olympic, and they were on the top floor of the grandstand. But Yu Yang's eyes widened, let alone a wolf, not even a wild yak cow. The guy suspected that he had a problem with his eyesight, so he rubbed his eyes and looked back, still can't see what's wrong. But in the wind seems to be echoing the howling of wolves and cows. Kwong and Hat far back spread five fingers out from the mountainside, then said, Good, we are at the end of the wind, just a little quieter, it won't be revealed. Yu Yang asked, Where's the wolf? 
Quang and Hap Pu both smiled. Don't be impatient, use this. Saying that, he took out a bird watching binocular that looked like a cannon barrel from his prepared bag. Yue Yang looked at the symbol on it, saw the magnification level was 30 to 80 times, then saw Kwong and Hat far back constantly adjusting the magnification ratio, immediately stunned. If at this exaggerated ratio, the target must be at least 3 kilometers away, the yak cow is not much bigger than the ant, but the owl Kwong and Hat far back still forces them to keep their voices low, and even crawled forward, as if the wolves were right in front of him. Kwong and Hat far back carefully adjusted the focus and direction, his expression was very focused. Yue Yang and others also took out the binoculars one by one, but with their folding binoculars, only a few vague shadows could be seen in the distance. Trong Lap grumbled and complained, You are really, so far away, how can you be detected? The guy who was about to hold the binoculars stood up, but was pressed down by Kwong and Hat far back. Just listen to Kwong and Hat far back raising his voice threateningly. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they can't see you. If you don't want to lose your life, you can obediently lie down for me, talk to me in a low voice. Also, don't let that rubble or wood scratch you, you know, wolves can pick up the scent of blood from over 10 kilometers away. Captain Ho Duong did not look down, but directed his gaze upwards along the mountainside, attentively observing the large gullies left by the glacier, muttering in a single voice, this terrain, and immediately took it, the meter in his backpack, started measuring the road on the mountain, the Lama Lama who was beside him also gave a helping hand, Kwong Lashan approached, curious about these mechanical things he had never seen before. Track Mok Kwong Ba looked through binoculars and saw that the slope below the U-shaped basin was slightly gentle, after being eroded by the glacier's flow for a long time, forming two deep slits, one large and one small. Looks like a gourd from afar. Inside the gourd there is a small black spot like a sesame seed. Every now and then there are signs of movement. It is clear that the yak cows are trapped inside. And where are the wolves? Can't he see his binoculars? Visible. Yue Yang also used binoculars to observe the terrain below. And couldn't help but sigh silently praising the clever wolves. He was told by Track Mok Kwong Ba that wolves are very good at cornering the prey they want to catch in places that are unfavorable to the opponent, such as on the ice or on the shore of a lake. Like this time, for example, from a general perspective, both sides are steep cliffs, difficult to climb, the mouth of the gourd is both narrow and long, I am afraid it is not enough for two yak cows to go together, however, the wolves only need to stop at the knot, so the other yak cows are considered as three in a basket, if you go into more detail, you will see, in that mountain gourd, it is full of mossy pebbles with lichens, with the weight of yak cows, stepping on a pile of pebbles will definitely get your feet stuck. Moreover, the lichens make the ground slippery, yak cows can't run fast, it's like a fish lying on a cutting board, only knowing to let the enemy bite and kill. Kwong and Hat far back had finished adjusting the first birdwatching binoculars, turned to track Mok Kwong Ba, you take a look. Next, he took out a second pair of binoculars from his pocket, knelt on the ground and assembled. Track Mok Kwong Ba closed his eyes, the birdwatching binoculars brought the distant scenery closer to his eyes, even the face of the yak cow could be seen clearly. Only a few dozen wild yak cows were seen encircling an oval circle, the bulls facing the gourd knot, the cows in the rear, surrounded and protected the calves in the middle. This herd of yak cows can also be considered as a powerful herd. All bulls are tall and powerful, their horns are both long and sharp, their eyes are sharp and fierce, highland place. The leader of the bull is a young man, with long hair and strong flesh, a high hump on his back, horns like two sharp sharpened steel spears, Standing in the most important position in the battle of the whole herd, at first glance, he was able to distinguish his head from the heads of other animals. Track Mok Kwong Ba has met a lot of wild yak cows, but such a large body is very rare, the weight of the leading bull is probably close to two tons, not playing. Only now that it was looking forward angrily, at least it appeared to be helpless. The viewing angle of the binoculars is limited, 
I don't know how the wolves this yak herd are facing. Track Mok Kwong Ba tilted his binoculars slightly, headed to the place where the gourd knot was knotted, narrowed his eyes to observe, but then he was disappointed. Only about fifty steps away from the yak herd of cows, there are dozens of wolves scattered on the grass, eyes full of mockery, some can freely swing back and forth, some children squat on the ground to use. The front paw claws brush the hair on the edge, or scratch the head and scratch the ears, some can run and play, completely ignoring the wild yak cows that are ready to risk their lives for the death of God is also dead, anywhere. The wolf in the plateau is already small, and the pack of wolves track Mok Kwong Ba is observing here is even thinner and thinner, only if all these ten wolves combined are not as heavy as the other leading yak cow. The scene of more than a hundred wolves gathered in one place the Kwong and Hat Fubak said, compared to the scene in front of his eyes, could be said to be a heaven and an abyss. These ten wolves, I'm afraid even the knot at the bottom of this gourd will be difficult to hold, the other yak herds only need to concentrate their forces and rush straight to the southwest once to completely break through the encirclement. No, how could the wolves show such obvious loopholes? There must be another move in the back. Track Mok Kwong Ba thought of coming here, and quickly moved the lens to the vacancy, following the gap of the wolves to look out. Sure enough, in the lowland behind the hole was another group of wolves ambush. This group is estimated at about two dozen cows, from the position of the yak herd, they probably can't be seen. However, all of them also seem to be yawning and yawning, languidly as if they were very sleepy, each of them lying on the grass, showing a lazy and drooping posture, making track Mok Kwong Ba feel these wolves, are not hunting, but more like going on a picnic. Track Mok Kwong Ba was surprised to raise his head to look at Kwong and Hat far back, just knew he was smiling at him, as if he wanted to say, told him already, I'm sure they were wolves he had never seen. It's never, ever, absolutely impossible to predict their behavior. Kwong and Hat far back finished installing the second set of birdwatching binoculars, and told Yu Yang, young man, come here, use this. Yu Yang liked to laugh as he took the binoculars, then saw Kwong and Hat far back as if performing a magic trick, and pulled out another tube from his pocket. Yu Yang exclaimed in surprise, Uncle, you live alone in the mountains, why are you preparing so much? Kwong and Hat far back explained, the Bo Kwong Ba was using it a few years ago, he gave it to me, saying that this area has a high mountain of people, many wild animals, unfortunately losing cows and sheep, this is very convenient to use. Later, when the other wolves came, I often used this binocular to observe them, at that time I thought, when Kwong Ba and the professor come back here, I will take them together to observe the wolves, that's okay, got two more sets, never expected to actually use them. You take a look first, don't make any noise. Having said that, he started assembling the third set of binoculars again. Yu Yang also saw the yak herd first and quickly realized that the whole herd contained 23 adult bulls, 17 cows, and 7 calves. Seeing the appearance of those wild yak cows, although the adults still have an tea fat in the belly, the calves are so hungry that their stomachs are growling, the youngest two or three want to come and suck the nipples, mother, but was chased out by aggressive motherfuckers. Looking at this situation, yak cows have been trapped here for not only a day or two. Then he saw the wolves, too, and was so startled that he almost cried out. Yu Yang made many theories, but he could not have expected to see such thin wolves anyway. Could it be the dozens of wild yak cows that look so fierce and strong are surrounded by a group of wolves like this? How can something like that happen? Yu Yang took a look around, saw Trong Lap waiting next to him, so he gave the binoculars to him to see. Track Mok Kwong Ba also let Ba Tang observe, but Ba Tang hesitated a bit, then shook his head to refuse. Captain Ho Duong and Lama Ah La Thi were busy adjusting the measuring instruments, and did not come to observe. Is this a wooden wolf? These wolves also have fighting prowess. As soon as Trong Lap received it, he asked quickly. Yu Yang pushed Trong Lap out, and then accompanied him, yes, that's right. At this time, 
Kwong and Hat far back had finished adjusting the last binoculars, was leaning close to the camera, asking, Where are you talking about wolves? Yang replied, It's the wolves that are facing the yak herd, right where the god knot is. Seen it, seen it, Kwong and Hat far back affirmed, Um, this must be intentionally showing weakness. This is only a few, there must be ambushes in other places. This pack of wolves, we cannot consider them wolves, we must use our eyes when looking at hunters to observe them. Everyone scoured the area around to see where the other wolves were. I see, as soon as Kwong and Hat far back finished speaking, Yuyang discovered, on the side of the mountain opposite us here, there's a lot of herd. Track mock Kwong Ba and Kwong and Hat far back and Kwong and Hat far back pointed the camera in that direction and quickly discovered that there was indeed a pack of wolves on the opposite side of the high street, that there were dozens of female wolves with twenty or thirty wolves with them, child. The purpose of this pack of wolves is obviously the same as those of Trak Mok Kwong Ba, looking down from above, obviously to watch the war. Kwong and Hat far back said, Um, these wolves do not participate in combat, all mother wolves lead cubs to learn experience. Ha. Huh. Yue Yang was surprised. Track Mok Kwong Ba immediately explained, that's exactly what wolves are, learning by observing, practicing in practice, their hunting skills are all trained in this way. Kwong and Hat far back reminded, keep bathing, there's more. However, this mountainous area is so big, they are too far away from the wolves, and they do not see the wolves with large movements, it is not easy to find the wolves scattered among the ravines. Not long after, Yuyang said again, Yes, to the west of the Yak herd, follow the Gord terrain up to about 200 meters, this must be the main army. The guy just discovered, immediately gave the binoculars to Trong Lap to observe. Track Mok Kwong Ba and Kwong and Hat far back both discovered the wolves that Yuyang mentioned. These wolves' fur color is darker, compared to the rest of the wolves, they are indeed stronger, the number is estimated at about 20. Kwong and Hat far back said, This is the group of humpbacks. It's in the middle Kia, see, I'm a little hunched, bluish gray. Track Mok Kwong Ba followed the instructions of Kwong and Hat far back, and indeed discovered in the middle of the herd there was a wolf with a slightly rough back, gray blue fur. The wolf next to him acted a little differently, it bared its fangs and snorted, the other wolf obediently bowed down immediately. Yuyang strangely asked, Uncle, what kind of wolves are we actually observing? Didn't you just say that Humpback is the leader of the second pack of wolves? Kwong and Hat far back patted his forehead and said, Because I didn't make it clear, now there is only one pack of wolves left here, two packs. The wolves led by Humpback and White-Eyed have all joined the third pack. Trong Lap said, those third pack of wolves, are those lazy lazy wolves. Sad laziness, in my own words, is to have a sure victory, to have a plan in mind already. Kwong and Hat far back replied, the two humpback and white-eyed wolves have been arguing in this area for three or four years, neither one will yield to the other, nor will anyone submit to the other, but the third pack just barely when they arrived, they surrendered all of them. Is it so beneficial? Chang Li still had doubts. Yue Yang seemed to be thinking about that, seemed to have somewhat believed in what Kwong and Hat far back said, and suddenly said to Trong Lap, let me see. Just a moment later, he heard the guy sigh and lament, this third pack of wolves is really powerful. Trong Lap quickly asked, have you seen anything? Yue Yang said slowly, there is a group of wolves on both sides of the cliff, in the west of the god knot, another group of hundreds of meters away, and another group of 100 meters away, another, 200 meters further there was a larger group. All of these people combined, probably equal to the number that Uncle Kwong and Hat far back said. Track Mok Kwong Ba, Trong Lap, Kwong and Hat far back all adjusted the binoculars in turn, as expected, just as Yu Yang said, not wrong at all. Trong Lap exclaimed, what is this? These wolves are the ones you say are very powerful, aren't they? Where are they beneficial? How did you discover them? Yu Yang replied, It's not wrong, I discovered them myself, 
so I said they were very powerful. At first, I was going to search for swords in a scrolling fashion from the mountainside, so as soon as I started, I discovered the female wolves coming to watch the war. Later I realized, searching like that is not good, the range is too large and the target is small, so I changed my strategy, I thought, if I were the yak cows being besieged in in the middle, how will I escape the siege, and if I am a wolf, where should I defend? First of all, I noticed the western slope at the bottom of the lake, the slope is not very high. Yak crawling but trying to make sure you can climb it. Once you climb up there, there is a ravine running in the north-south direction, then you can escape the wolves in any direction, with the strength of the yak cows rushing up, the wolves probably wouldn't dare, confrontation won't stop it, but... Yu Yang's voice lowered, but at the intersection between the mountain slope and that deep ravine, I discovered wolves led by humpback, if only they would attack from halfway down the mountain, the yak cows were climbing on it. That slope would not have hit, it would have messed up by itself. After that, I thought again of the principle of, knowing that it is impossible but still determined to do it, the position of the mouth of the god is very narrow, just enough for a cow to rush through, but, if the other cow is the leader. Leading the charge, you only need to pass the mouth of the gourd, the front will be a large area. So at first I searched for traces of wolves outside the mouth of the gourd, but could not find any, then I realized that the cliffs on either side of the gourd mouth are not more than 10 meters high, if ambused, a group there, jump down from above to attack, so don't the cows only know to let them kill themselves. Such a layout can also make the wolves avoid the spearhead attack of the leading yak cow, only targeting the cows and calves in the rear, the other leading cow may be able to escape, but its whole swarm can die for sure. With that in mind, I did notice that on either side of the cliff at the mouth of the gourd there were two other groups of wolves in ambush. Yang's mouth was a little dry, but he said it in one breath, finally, I can't help but think about the problem that the yak herds don't want to face the most, that is, face the wolves. At that time, those wolves who deliberately pretended to be weak became very important, although they looked very thin, although their number was very small, but still wolves, yak cows wanted to rush forward, how much courage is required. On the side of these wolves, there was a hole that was clearly visible to the cows. When attacking the citadel, besieging three sides but opening the net on the fourth side, which is an important principle in tactics, the purpose of this action is to destroy all enemies. Thinking here, I have prepared my mind, outside that gap, there is definitely a wolf ambush. So, I found out about a hundred meters away that there was the first group of wolves, but the number of them was only about twenty, I immediately thought, if the other yak cows got mad, they might not be able to, break through this first line of defense, so I quickly discovered the second blockade line, this group numbered more than 40 animals, to be honest, I didn't dare to think any further, the discovery of a pure third group just because of their number is too much. Just inadvertently caught my eye. Unbelievably, they set up three blockade lines. Think about it, if you were a yak cow in the other herd, when you broke through the first line, you met wolves in the second group, then broke through this second line, met again, third pack of wolves, what do you think? The pack of wolves is getting bigger and bigger, and my strength is getting worse and worse. Yue Yang took a cold breath, lowered his voice and said, a brave drum sound increased, heard the second drum sound, immediately dwindled, by the third drum, the courage was no longer there, in that situation, where did the other yak cows get the courage to fight, one was herded back in the gourd, the other was exposed on the ground, grass. In other words, if it weren't for the wild yak cows down there, but we were surrounded, then all the ways to break through the siege I could think of would have all been locked by those wolves, could not get out. Tell me, are those wolves beneficial or not? After listening to Yu Yang's analysis, Zhang Lap's whole body was covered in cold sweat, it felt like Cao Cao was defeated on Hoa underscore Dung Street, every time he was satisfied, he would laugh and ambush the army prepared by Zhu Zhliang rushed out to chase and kill them, scaring them to the point of scattering farts. 
Trong Lap removed his hand from the binoculars, saw that he was already drenched in sweat, only to hear the guy mutter, this is wooden wolf. Only then did he understand, after all, what Kwong and Hat far back meant when he told them, these were wolves they had absolutely never seen. Chapter 33 Wolves I've never seen, one, wolves never seen only saw the wolves herding the sheep to where the yak oxen could see them, the sheep dispersed and began to graze freely on the ground, the last remaining grassland, the wolves could walk freely among the sheep. The sheep are not only not afraid of the wolves, but on the contrary sometimes lower their heads and rub the wolf's head to show their kindness. This scene, not to mention the yak cows wide-eyed, but also track mob Kwong Ba, has anyone ever seen a wolf playing with a sheep? Yang mumbled, being honest is fighting, justice is vivacious, I'm afraid this herd of yak cows can't stand it. At this time, Kwong and Hat far back raised his head and said to Yue Yang, Not true, the wolves I saw before are not only this much, but the wolves are arranged in other positions. You said I, Yue Yang almost cried out. The two sides fight like two people playing chess against each other, must know the intentions and tactics of the opponent to figure out a trick to break the solution. If even the opponent's intentions can't be recognized, it is as if the chess power of the two sides is too different, then his loss is certain, no doubt. Yue Yang took the status of an outsider, analyzed the developments on the battlefield quite deeply, he was also confident that he had thought of all countries, but Kwong and Hat far back said that, it was no different, told Yu Yang that the wolves had other plans to fight, but he hadn't thought of it yet, which was a big blow for him. But Yu Yang's reaction was also in the expectation of Kwong and Hat far back, he immediately comforted, don't be discouraged, after all, those wolves have been here for more than a year, and you are only a blink of an eye. The eyes immediately came up with different strategies, so that's good. Yue Yang's eyebrows are tightly knit together, his eyes widening through the binoculars looking for a sword, and at the same time pondering over and over in his head to see if there's any point that he hasn't thought of yet. After searching for a long time, there was no new discovery, finally, the guy gritted his teeth and gave up, unable to help but admit that he couldn't figure it out. At this moment, Track Mop Kwong Ba suddenly said, I see, on the opposite cliff, about a kilometer to the south of the wolves, they are moving. Yue Yang hurried to observe. Sure enough, there are four wolves on the mountainside, the mode of action of these wolves is very strange, speeding up and running fast for a part of the road and then stopping, raising their heads and looking around once, then slightly opening their mouths, like the lake seemed to be emitting low growls. I suddenly had a strange feeling, a wolf in the group seemed to unintentionally glance at me, Yue Yang jumped, and when he looked back, the other wolf had already run away. It's a patrolman, Kwong and Hat far back said, this is the subordinate of the White Eye, in charge of the outer realm. If another enemy comes to disrupt the battle plan, they will send a warning signal to the swarm. Surely there is not only a patrol like this, Trong Lap exclaimed in surprise, Uncle Kwong and Hat, do you even realize that it is the subordinate of the White Eye? Kwong and Hat far back smiled and replied, White Eye's flock arrived at the earliest, it's almost seven years since the province. That White Eye lived near my house for half a year, how could I not recognize them? Ah, living near your house for half a year. Kwong and Hat far back glanced at Track Mok Kwong Ba, then glanced at Kwong Lap again, slowly sighed and said, Ah, it's not like Vo Kwongla is still with anyone else. He lowered his voice and said, Kwong Ba, you don't know, after you left, Kwong Lap was in a very bad mood, sitting in front of the door every day, even when it was dark, he refused to come back in. It was like that for half a year, one day it suddenly pulled the white-eyed wolf back, and kept it safe on the grassy slopes of the mountain behind my house. From then on I knew that the white-eyed family had migrated to this area. At that time, the white eye was probably the loser in the challenge with the leader of the wolf, his body was full of injuries, he was thin and thin, and when he met the wind, he shivered. You also know, Kwong Lap drank wolf milk to grow up, 
between it and the walls there was always a certain emotional connection, at that time you just left it. That white eye also has no special meaning, just the pure white fur color quite similar to Kwong Lap, it is probably for this reason that Kwong Lap saved it. During the time the wolf was on the slopes recuperating, Kwong Lap often hid part of his food and brought it to him. The other wolf also knows how to be grateful, after recovering, she can also catch some wild rabbits or small animals for Kwong Lap to have a fresh meal. Sometimes when I see them together, even though the other wolf is a bit smaller, Kwong Lap seems to be very happy, not as sad as when he first left, I think he has reached that age too, so he closed his eyes and opened his eyes as if he couldn't see. Who would have thought that was not the case, although sometimes they were very intimate, but Kwong Lap basically did not let the other wolf touch him, Every time the wolf had an excess of his actions, it taught him a lesson. Once Kwong Lap did too much, the other wolf ran away and did not return. Turns out, it challenged the leader wolf again and succeeded. Between Kwong Lap and the wolves, that white eye chose the second phase. Track mocked Kwong Ba sighed and lamented, Unfortunately, why can't Kwong Lap accept that wolf? Kwong and Hat Fabo complained in a low voice, you really don't know all. Kwong Lap really loves. It's you. Track Mok Kwong Ba was slightly dumbfounded. Yu Yang and Trong Lap were also a bit surprised, but the two guys quickly exchanged glances, and at the same time thought of their female attraction theory, which is certainly not wrong at all. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak said in a low voice, Do you know how painful it was for us to let Kwong Lap choose to stay or follow you that year? After he left, he kept his head on my lap and cried so hard that my heart wanted to break. Every letter he sent me, I read it to him. Every time he finished listening, he would sit in front of the door, looking in the direction you left, and since then he's been waiting for you to come back. That one person and one dog together freely run and play in the meadow, chase rabbits, throw branches, go to the river to bathe, wherever they go, whenever Kwong Lap sits down, he immediately rushes to snuggle up in Track Mok Kwong's lap. Father, when Track Mok Kwong Ba lies on the grass holding the blue sky and white clouds, Kwong Lap will sit beside him. When he planted a small flower, it would run to the river bank to illuminate. Kwong Lap is a lingo with a rare perception ability in the world. It knows that the shadow reflected in the water is me. In a moment, the petty memories of the time living with Kwong Lap suddenly surfaced in his mind. Track Mop Kwong Ba suddenly felt bitter in his heart, the corners of his eyes filled with tears. Yui Yang and Trong Lap also stopped making jokes, turned to look at Kwong Lap, only to see him squatting with his back to them, looking up at the sophisticated equipment in the hands of Captain Ho Duong, his shoulders trembling slightly, run. Both can imagine, that year when the young master Kwong Ba left, Kwong La had to make a painful choice, one side was his family who raised him, the other side was a wise man. Love in the heart, for Kwong Lap, that is the love in the heart that cannot be put into words. To avoid mentioning this topic of sympathy, Yu Yang told Kwong and Hat far back, Uncle Kwong and Hat, I don't think they will immediately rush into a decisive battle, just tell everyone about it, listen to the third pack of wolves, how is it, where is their leader? I also want to see if that wolf has three heads and six arms. Kwong and Hat far back smiled bitterly and said, That leader, Ka, I have never seen it, but it is certainly among the wolves, from the beginning I always had the feeling that the leader wolf, knew I was secretly watching them, but it just didn't expose me. Ah, after all, it's still a piece of your food, an hour of your debt. Wah, wah, the thing that eats a piece without paying an hour, Please explain clearly. Kwong and Hat Pu Bo said, When everyone came to my house, did you see my sheep? Sheep, listening to Kwong and Hat far back say that, Yu Yang remembered, Well, your sheep's barn is empty, could it be? Kwong and Hat Pu back nodded and said, That's right, my sheep were all stolen by these wolves. Um, they've all borrowed it. Track Mok Kwong Ba was also secretly surprised, exclaiming, you said that all of your more than 100 sheep were taken away by wolves. Where's Kwong Le? 
he glanced at the Kwong Lap side, the dog pretended to ignore the distant mountain range, but his ears were clearly raised. Kwong and Hat far back helplessly replied, Kwong Le, hey, don't talk about Kwong Le anymore, even a living person like me sleeping alone in a sheep's barn, isn't it still impossible to keep it? I feel like they're testing me to see how patient I am, at first it was only my third year, and then it got bolder and bolder, until they didn't let me have any more. Yui Yang said, why don't you take precautions? Precautionary measure ha, huh? not to mention it helps, as soon as he brought up this matter, Kwong and Hat far back immediately snorted loudly, saying, put a noose, a trap, quit smoking, dig a hole. I'll tell you, all the tricks humans can think of from my own hands have already been used up, they're still unharmed. These tricks are like children's play, I and those wolves have fought and fought dozens of times. Kwong and Hat far back suddenly lowered his face, but never defeated them, they. He sighed again and continued, it's not that Kwong Lap doesn't take full responsibility, it's just that these wolves are too clever, fighting with them can meet all kinds of endless tricks, which is, the rhythm, Tiger Lee Mountain, covering the sky through the sea, borrowing the body to restore the soul, changing plums to change peaches, haunting Tran Thuong. In any case, at night, they can lead sheep through right in front of my eyes and Kwong Lap. The other sheep also came honestly, not even squealing, so obediently followed my path. Not only me, even the village of Enela has no house that is not led by them. Yui Yang said, then why don't the villagers join forces to deal with the wolves? Kwong and Hat Poo backside, you don't know how cunning they are. Sheep from other families, every time they only take five or three, they're always caught in the daytime, the villagers think that the sheep are lost on their own, moreover, they're still bad at catching this family's house. There was another house, but none of the villagers' sheep had marked the cheeks, so everyone said our sheep ran to someone else's barn, so they argued loudly. Only my sheep, they decided to borrow but not return, scavenging cleanly, not even leaving a woolen stalk for me. Yang said to himself, Uncle, an uncle lives in the middle of this desolate mountain region, before he can't see the village, then he can't see the shop, those wolves come and don't take your sheep, so they can't find anyone else here. Quote, Trong Lap said again, I really don't understand, why are the villagers' sheep only taking five or three, while his sheep are taken away so cleanly? Kwong and Hat far back said, this story must be told from the beginning. These wolves probably came here about a year ago, at first, they used barter to take my sheep away. About this same day last year, when I woke up early in the morning, I suddenly saw three more wild mules in the stable, and immediately felt something was wrong, as a result, I counted five sheep missing. I asked Kwong Lap, didn't expect him to know what happened, it was really strange. The first time I thought someone was joking with me, so I let the mules go. The other wolves were also very interesting, they thought I didn't like wild Tibetan, they sent four long-haired goats into my sheep's barn, and then took away my five sheep in exchange, this time I found out. There were traces of wolf claws climbing over the fence of the barn. I know, I've dealt with wolves, and at the same time I know, the wolves this time are different from all the wolves that have come to my house before. From then on I started to notice these wolves. Kwong Lap and I watched in the sheep shed for seven days without any movement, just relaxed a bit, then the next day we lost three more sheep, which was a mess. So the war between me and the wolves officially broke out. At first, I thought that these wolves were all state-protected animals, they ate my lamb, the government would get proper compensation, so I didn't intend to use guns, but just wanted to scare them off a bit. Get rid of that aggressive habit. So at first, they only used methods such as making people with straw, hanging bells, hiding nooses, digging holes. Unexpectedly, these methods are not effective, my sheep still lose three sheep the next day, lose five, and moreover, they can steal the sheep through Kwong Lap's eyes. The usual traps were useless, so I upgraded to use a more powerful one, got seven or eight traps that contained fresh meat, hidden in the dark. 
Can you guess what the outcome will be? Those seven or eight traps were all pulled out in front of my house. I opened the door, almost got hit. Not only that, they also eat clean the bait inside too. I really thought about it and couldn't understand it. Maybe these wolves have become stars. After all, you can probably imagine, naturally, there are many tricks I use. The traps are designed so perfectly that I myself think that even the most powerful hunter can have to hit, can't I play little wolves? Unexpectedly, they taught me a very profound lesson. I also don't remember how many times I've been trapped by my own design and made me miserable. If it weren't for Kwong Lap, there would have been many times where I would have been caught in a trap and couldn't get out. Trong Lap couldn't believe it was true, it seems a bit too magical, right? How could they do that? Kwong and Hat Fubo said angrily, who knows, if I knew I wouldn't be human. But there are a few times, they seem to be performing for me, also intentionally snatching sheep right in front of my nose, guess what they do? Without waiting for Trong Lap and the others to answer, Kwong and Hat Fubak went on to say, you absolutely can't believe it, right in the heat of my use, where they drove away about the tall, handsome rams that had just appeared and crushed them, rams in my house. You tell me, those ewes are stupid too, they don't even bother to see if there's a river behind the rams or a female that's already killed me and ran away, gone and never came back. Kwong and Hat Fa back indignantly continued, the intentions of those wolves are very clear, no matter how many evil moves you use, you will also respond with such a poisonous scheme. For example, once, I smeared chili sauce on sheep's thighs, if the wolves dared to touch my sheep, my nostrils would bloom, do you think this trick is poisonous enough? I didn't even dare to let those sheep get close to me, but unexpectedly, they even retaliated with an even more poisonous move. What is that? Kwong and Hat Fabo smiled wryly, I let them take the sheep away, and then carried out a revenge act that almost made me almost unbearable. They, they, unexpectedly, I drove the sheep of the people of N.A. La village into my sheep's barn. The next day, those villagers immediately came to ask me for guilt, it is true that they have a mouth but don't know how to say it, the misery is unspeakable. Just think about it, Kwong and Hat far back here, I wonder if I'm walking upright, I've never done anything bad, yet I was harmed by a pack of wolves, unclean my reputation, later on, whenever the villagers lose their sheep, come to see me again, really. Trong Lap and Yuyang both opened their mouths wide and almost dropped their chin to the ground. Track Mok Kwong Ba was also immersed in a state of lethargy, with only one thought in his mind, is Kwong and Hat far back talking about wolves? Is that a wolf? What kind of wolf is that? Yue Yang was the first to regain his composure and quickly asked, Wait a minute. Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, just now you said that the wolves drove the rams to seduce the sheep of your house, and also drove the sheep of the villages into your barn, perhaps they did not take the sheep away to eat meat. Star. Hearing Yue Yang say that, Trong Lap also reacted, Yes, in the words of Kwong and Hat far back, these wolves steal sheep not for food, their behavior seems to have a hidden intention to fight, kick with him. Wolves don't eat lamb, so where did they take the sheep? Kwong and Hat far back nodded in praise, this question is right to the point. That's right, those wolves don't eat lamb. He turned his head, looked down at the mountain circuit, and said to Yu Yang and the others, at the foot of this great mountain, the trees are lush and green, there are many Tibetan wild mules, long-haired goats, mongoose, and wild boars stopping to rest. Besides, although these wolves are quite numerous, the ecological system here is still more than enough to support them. Then why did they come to steal sheep? Trong Lap asked. Kwong and Hat far back said, This is a problem that no one can think of. If I had not witnessed it with my own eyes, I would not have believed it myself. They stole those sheep, unexpectedly too. Let loose. Track Mok Kwong Ba was stunned. Raising livestock, this is absolutely a behavior unique to humans, these wolves really surprised people. Kwong and Hat Fubak pointed to the front and said, right behind the opposite mountainside, 
perhaps also the remains of an ancient glacier, which has formed a topographical area like a pot. All the stolen sheep and wolves were kept in there, and there were many other wild herbivores. These wolves are better than the best sheepdogs. They herd the sheep into groups and groups, plan the range, command the sheep to graze in a planned, regular manner. Why do these wolves steal domestic sheep? Because they know domestic sheep are easy to manage, saying that if you go to the west, you will go to the west, if you go to the east, you will go to the east. Ha! Huh. The more people heard, the more fascinated they became. Yue Yang was surprised and said, They raise sheep, but they don't eat lamb, what's the purpose? Is it because you want to raise fat sheep to eat? Trong Lap said, How about sustainable development? Use renewable resources efficiently. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak shook his head, Don't say you guys, I thought about it for half a year, broke my head, and couldn't figure out why they did that until a week before the cows were heard. That yak suddenly appeared, looking at the surrounding terrain, thinking about the wild yak cows being besieged, then thinking about the actions of the wolves, Yuyang seemed to suddenly understand something, live suddenly cold, uncle, you mean. Kwong and Hat far back nodded. Now then, you know I'm not exaggerating, this pack of wolves, to be exact, started dealing with yaks a year ago. According to my calculations, a year ago these wolves followed the yak herd to come here. Those wild yak cows migrate in a regular way in this Himalayas, eating from the south to the north, and then back from the north to the south. The valley opposite us is a very large grassland, and to get there you have to cross a mountainside that is quite high above sea level, so there is not much wildlife to get there, but for yak thi cows, that place is almost a garden of bliss. Every year at this season, they come again, there is enough grass for them to eat for a few months, the whole herd can stay there to rest and recuperate, complete the mating work. Unfortunately, this time, when they climbed the mountain pass to reach that lost area, all that was left was a wasteland without branches and grass plus a few hundred fierce wolves. Every step of action is carefully thought through, every process is fully calculated, Yue Yang feels an unprecedented surge of fear, as if he is seeing, hearing about a group of conspirators, not a pack of wolves. Not to mention dealing with a herd of wild yak cows, even Kwong and Hat far back was teased by them, harassed, disrupted until tragic. They seem to have seen through human nature, just making a small trick that makes people doubt each other, doubt each other, but perhaps in their eyes, man is just an animal, normal animals, not much smarter than those yak cows. Chapter 33, Wolves Never Seed to The Wiles of the Wolves Kwong and Hat Far Back calmly said, Do you know how I felt when I first saw wolves grazing sheep, in my heart? And not, in my eyes, they were no longer a pack of wolves, but an organized, disciplined army. They assign cooperation, each one is free, the whole herd works like a machine at full capacity, any force that intends to prevent this machine from turning, when faced with them, showed complete disobedience. Is there a possibility that they are war wolves? It's the wolves that live with the Kwe Three tribesmen. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba, who hadn't said anything since a while ago, suddenly opened his mouth to speak. Kwong and Hat far back said, I also thought of this possibility, but I ruled it out myself. This pack of wolves is made up of different wolf clans, still keeping the same clan units, moreover there are many new clans joining the pack. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, if so, then there is only the second possibility. Kwong and Hat far back nodded. Trong Lap slyly asked, what is it? Kwong and Hat far back explained, among those wolves appeared a talented leader, under his guidance, the social form of the wolves had a transformation that was earth-shattering. It must be known that wolves are animals that are very good at simulation and learning. Only one wolf in the pack can learn a certain skill, in case it wants to, it can teach all other wolves skills, just like that. Yue Yang said, but you haven't discovered that leader wolf yet. Kwong and Hat far back said, this is also the point that makes me suspicious, I have been observing this pack of wolves for a while, but still can't find out which wolf is in charge of the whole pack. At times, 
it seems there are several wolves sharing different commands, the wolves at the head of the clan similarly give orders to their subordinates. When they ate, I also saw several wolves eating at the same time, did not find a single one independent of the pack. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, it seems that the leader wolf deliberately t mixed with wolves, such a brilliant commander, he probably knows how to protect himself. However, based on the attitude of the wolves different from the general, you can still see the difference. Kwong and Hat far back shook his head, this is the most bizarre point, as far as I can see, this pack of wolves is very respectful to several wolves, not one. Track Mok Kwong Ba frowned, could it be that there are many leaders at once? Kwong and Hat far back said, I also thought of this possibility, but looking at Kwong Lathi's expression, it seems that there is only one leader. At this point, he lowered his voice to a very low voice. Gang Le. Kwong and Hat far back whispered, if I'm not mistaken, Kwong Lap has met that leader wolf. What? Kwong and Hat far back said, just now when I and the other grandmaster had a duel, how did you guys see Kwong La's body? Powerful. Then let me tell you, a year ago, Kwong Lap wasn't that powerful. After my house was stolen from sheep, one day Kwong Lap sneaked out and returned home full of injuries, and had to stay in a convalescent home for three months to fully recover. Although he didn't say anything, but I know, he must be angry with the wolves, going to find people to fight. Since then, I have discovered that Kwong Lap's body is much more flexible, learning a lot of new movements and running postures. The number of times it runs and jumps every day has increased significantly. I can see it, it is holding a lump in its stomach, as if it wants to train its body to be stronger and healthy to continue looking for people, Jewel. However, to this day, I have not seen him go out in the middle of the night again. Kwong Lap is very arrogant, if it was a council fight, it would definitely return to retaliate, I think it must be alone to challenge the leader wolf and then lose, still not sure of the victory, that's why. Yue Yang said, you mean, that night, that leader wolf fought a duel with Kwong Le. Since challenging that wolf, Kwong Lap has learned new fighting skills, but with its current strength, even the courage to challenge people is not available anymore. Kwong and Hat far back almost put his mouth close to the ears of a few people, Track Mok Kwong Ba Thi whispered, don't say this in front of Kwong Le. Think about it, other than the leader wolf, can a normal wolf fight it? Track Mok Kwong Ba and others think that it is also true, although compared to other mastiffs, Kwong Lat's body is a bit smaller, but compared to wolves, it must be at least one or two sizes bigger. If he fought alone, it was really hard to imagine any wolf that could beat it and lose its courage to resist. But think in the opposite direction, so the leader wolf is too powerful. Yue Yang suddenly thought of something, and asked, Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, which one is more powerful than the purple unicorn? Kwong and Hat far back couldn't help but laugh, the unicorn is the legendary clan king, the high lamb beast, and the golden eye are all rare and precious clans, but at most they're only loyal loyalists to the king beside the king, only fake, no matter how beneficial they are, they are just servants. The light of the fireflies can't be compared to the moon above. Yue Yang was immediately speechless, unable to say a word, just staring blankly at Track Mok Kwong Ba. Very good, Captain Ho Duong, who was nearby, measuring the mountains, suddenly exclaimed with excitement, turned to say to all of them, this way can go. He pointed to the steep path where the wolves were guarding, and said, measured, this glacier eroded ravine is the safest route we've found so far. Quote. Both track Mok Kwong Ba and the others froze on the spot. When Captain Ho Duong saw this, he was surprised and asked, what's wrong? Still, doesn't it get everyone excited? Yue Yang looked at the wolves on the mountain slope, smiled bitterly, and said, and the best, ho ho, Captain Ho, you really, really know how to joke, don't you? At this moment, he suddenly noticed that Lama Allah, who had been by his side until now, kept glancing at Kwong and Hat far back. That's right, 
This Uncle Kwong and Hat Fu Bak knows a lot of things, maybe the master already knows his background. Yue Yang secretly decided in his heart, this trip must definitely ask Lama Ala for details. At this time, Trong Lap suddenly said, hurry and see, the Yak cows are starting to act. The formation of the herd had changed, the bulls concentrated on the south wing and in the rear, the cows and calves all moved to the opposite side to face dozens of skinny wolves. The chief bull raised his head and gave a cry, his four hooves knocked on the cobblestone and said, clack, clack, only to see the bulls on the south wing immediately rushed up the slope, the people in the rear could rush straight to the place, gourd's mouth, and the cows and calves rush out into the open space at the bottom of the gourd. This move is also beyond the imagination of the people track Mok Kwong Ba. Kwong and Hat far back said, it turns out that if you want to use the four-face technique to bloom, if the wolves make a mistake at some point, these yak cows will be able to break out of the encirclement. Trong Lap said, but then, wouldn't the strength of the cows be further dispersed? If it's a pack of ordinary wolves, it can be used that way, but it's a pity that they ran into these wolves. Yue Yang grabbed the binoculars and said, no, if they want to break through the siege from all four sides, then every group must have cows, calves, and bulls. Do these yaks think that the enemy has put their forces into the mouth of the gourd and the southern slopes, wanting to take advantage of the bulls to hold back the enemy, creating an opportunity to escape for the cows and calves? Quote, Trong Lap said, then why do they dare to let cows and calves rush into the midst of wolves? Aren't they afraid it's a trap? Yue Yang mused, well, the ten skinny wolves in the front to lure the enemy seem to be the weakest of the wolves, and there are no queens behind them, I think, the wolves are using a bad strategy that is real, real but bad, betting on whether the yak cows will dare to rush straight ahead or not. Could it be that the leading bull had already seen through the strategies of the wolves? But in their position, you can't see the situation behind those skinny wolves. Track Mok Kwong Ba suddenly said, stop making noise, they've changed the tactics Kia. Only saw the bulls rushing towards the mouth of the gourd suddenly stopped rushing in that direction, they both rushed up the southern slope and only climbed halfway, then both groups changed direction in the middle of the road, rushed in the direction of the flood, cows and calves. The cows and calves were standing between the bulls and the dozen skinny wolves, their bodies barely covering the wolves' sight, when the bulls darted back halfway, the group the cows and the new calves drifted aside at the same time, the bulls that had gathered in formation rushed straight into the midst of the wolves, the situation was like thunder and rain. Yue Yang exclaimed, oh, it turns out to extend the distance to gain momentum, prepare to attack, just like when people fight, you have to first withdraw your fist and then aim at the weakest part of the enemy give him a fatal blow. Not only that, but at the same time, they also disturb the enemy's vision, causing the opponent to not have time to adjust their tactics, this leading bull is no ordinary. Zhang Lap stood up again, peering into the binoculars, and said, but the wolves don't seem to be very nervous, do they? Yue Yang looked back and saw that the wolves were still lying and sitting sparsely, a brown wolf opened its mouth wide and yawned, it didn't really seem tense, the wolves ambushed in other places equally, quietly waiting, not panicking at all. On the contrary, Yue Yang above looked at him nervously, saying, don't rush, those wolves are trying to fail, there's no help behind them, of course they can't be nervous. Now they and the yak cows are fighting to see which side can hold it to the last moment, if they're already in a mess now, the other yak cows will naturally rush through, they only have a way to stay stable. Ellipsis. Let's see how far the leader of the yak can lead his herd to stop the wolves. What if the cows don't stop? Those wolves will be trampled to mincemeat. You see, cows and calves don't join the battle line, they only cautiously follow behind. That is to say, yak cows still leave me a way back, once there is an incident, he happens, they will run back. The average weight of the male yak bull is about one ton, more than twenty cows at the same time rushed forward, the ground also trembled slightly, each large pebble was trampled by the four hooves of the cows. Yes, 
The rubble on the slope also keeps rolling down. The cows were still about 80 meters away from the wolves. Sweat was already drenching Yuyang's palms. He thought to himself, these wolves are also really calm. At this moment, the wolf's eyes are no different when looking at the herd of cows rushing forward than a person who sees a herd of wild elephants rushing towards the city. The distance is only less than 60 meters away, but still leisurely drinking tea and smoking. Can I still take medicine? Chang Lap next to him pressed his hand on Yue Yang's shoulder, and when he saw Yue Yang leaning back slightly, he immediately stepped up to look. A wolf stood up, Track Mop Kwong Ba was thinking that the wolves were about to take action, but the other wolf just glanced at the yak cows with contempt, then lay down again, as if it was irrelevant, so much so. Track Mop Kwong Ba quickly adjusted his binoculars, the cows were less than 50 meters away from the wolves. According to the Kwong and Hat Pu Bak who understand these wolves, they must have that joke behind them. But he had already opened his eyes wide to search both sides of the valley, the high ground on the side had no ambus, behind dozens of wolves with no reinforcements, only a clearing, like that. Can you show any more tricks? The distance between the cows and the wolves was getting closer and closer, and Kwong and Hat Far Bak's mood was even more tense than those of the wolves, he kept asking himself incessantly, why aren't those wolves tense at all? Straight, after all, do they still have parents? Why don't they show any tension at all? Captain Ho Duong and Lama Arla smiled at the four people, too big and too small, peering into the birdwatching binoculars, both excited and excited, just like four thirsty gamblers in a race course. Ba Tang coldly looked up at the blue sky and white clouds, for him there was nothing important. Kwong Lap, at this time, cautiously glanced around, where the wind shook the grass a little, it rolled its eyes and glared in that direction. There was no billowing dust, no raging roars, only the heavy breathing and pounding footsteps of the yaks, who lowered their heads, their eyes wide with fury, staring ahead. Yak cows are the largest animals on this plateau, they have rushed forward like that, who dares to stand in the way. These little wolves, unexpectedly dared to look down on us like that. Crush them. The leading bull galloped forward, he felt his heart beat like never before, every time he strode forward, even the rocky mountains had to give way, but the four-legged animals had short tails. This makes the whole herd, her whole family have to taste all kinds of suffering, how can it not be angry? Now that group of people even dared to hover right in front of their eyes, showing contempt and disdain, they were already mad. The leading bull made up his mind and charged up, crushed them. The distance from the wolves drew back to 45 meters, 40 meters, 35 meters. Oh, suddenly, a tragic hull sounded next to the herd, causing the head yak cow, who was shocked by the fire, to wake up. When the distance between them and the wolves was about 30 meters, the first bull suddenly bent its front legs and knelt on the ground, but the momentum of the crash did not diminish, its whole body was still rolling, furrows towards the wolves. Followed by the second, the third, the cows fell to stop their fellows from behind rushing forward, creating a chain reaction, in an instant there was a whole bunch of people falling, all over the place, where there are giant bodies rolling with feathers and the sound of cows resounding throughout the mountains. When the magician revealed the secret of the performance, those present often showed disdain and contempt, loudly saying, it turns out to be so simple, it's not that good, it's just that I haven't thought of it. That's it. The mood of Track Mok Kwong Ba at this time is quite similar to the people watching the magician lift the veil of secrecy of the act, it turns out that they use animal traps, every single thing is as simple as that. It's just that none of them thought of it. Unexpectedly, the wolves had placed in front of dozens of thin and sick wolves to lure the enemy with animal traps, I wonder where they could find some grass and even mud covered on top, if not stepped on them, really hard to spot. Kwong and Hat far back shook his head and said, these traps are definitely left by poachers at the foot of the mountain. Maybe they hid traps in the rocks from last night. When it's dark, the yak's eyesight is far behind that of the wolves. Yue Yang patted his thigh and slapped him, I told you that there are definitely sequels, 
but I didn't expect them to use this move. I should have thought of it before, didn't they take advantage of this to deal with Uncle Kwong and Hat far back? Um, track Mok Kwong Bar coughed lightly. Yue Yang immediately closed his mouth and did not speak any more. Kwong and Hat far back said, those grasses are too thick, the traps don't really work, the yak cows are only clamped on their legs, it doesn't seem to hurt their tendons, they still have the fighting power. Quote. Yue Yang sighed and said, knowing how to use grass to camouflage is already good. Moreover, even though the yak cows were not injured, there was such a hostile iron clamp on their legs, their steps were limp, their fighting strength had also decreased significantly. Trong Lap said, look, they're doing something like that. When the herd of yak cows fell, dozens of thin wolves lying to lure the other enemy up, their spirits were high, and at the same time, another group of wolves in the three outer defenses also quickly changed positions and reinforced, for the wolves to lure the enemy, while the other two lines remained motionless. At this time, a bunch of yak cows rolled and rushed to each other right in front of the wolves, like bringing me into the opponent's mouth, wanting to stand up and run away, but the force couldn't help it. The wolves aimed at the leader of the herd, and this cow was also unlucky, was caught by an animal trap on its front legs, saw the wolves coming, and desperately kicked all four legs, flipping one over. Carry the animal trap and stand up straight. The wolves immediately stretched the distance, several wolves leaped in front of the leading bull to attract attention, a flower-faced wolf pounced on the enemy's back, front two limbs when the enemy was not alert, pounded hard, covering the giant bull's eyes. The leading bull did not see the cow, and in horror, roared, ooh, ooh, despite the painful wound, just like crazy, the other flower-faced wolf was unexpectedly like a light car running on a familiar road, standing on Yak Cow's back is very stable, no matter how much the opponent shakes, he will not fall. After running for a while, the leading bull was exhausted, the wound hurt, and immediately fell to his knees, the flower-faced wolf now jumped off the cow's back. As soon as the leader of the herd saw it, his soul immediately scattered, how did he run up and run right into the middle of the pack of wolves, now all around him were wolves, crowded with wolves. The yak cows lost their leader, and all of a sudden there was a commotion, the cows that were not injured soon fell back in the gourd to stand with the calves. Those who were slightly injured also limped back, leaving only the ones who could hardly walk, lying in the middle of the wolves, unable to run, unable to walk. Track Mok Kwong Ba saw three yak cows trapped among the wolves and said, the position of these wolves is also very clever, perhaps only about four or five in total, but they can take advantage of the momentum of the wolves, crawling, causing the whole herd to fall over. Yue Yang said, I still have a doubt. How much energy do these wolves spend to besiege the yak herd here? What is the intention, after all? Is yak beef better than lamb? Or is there another purpose? Trong Lap just heard Yue Yang say that the unicorn is likely born from the mating of wolves and mastiffs, and suddenly said with a very thoughtful expression, Ah, I know, the wolves saw the first bull. That herd is tall and powerful, maybe they want to act like cows and wolves, and give birth to a few oxen. Yue Yang spat, foo-foo, and said, there's also Jin Yu, what ox? Only you can figure that out. Kwong and Hat far back said, it is difficult to guess the intentions of this pack of wolves just based on true imagination, just keep watching. Asterisk those wolves were later closely associated with the success of the process of opening the door of Bak Ba La Temple and Track Mok Kwong Ba himself. Chapter 33, Words Never See Ever, 3, Clash. The leading yak cow fell into the middle of the pack of wolves, no matter how he fought the right, he couldn't get out, even if it was a little careless, the wolves would immediately use the tactic of piling up, all of them dived, on the opponent, crushing the giant yak bull to the ground. But as soon as the cow struggles, the wolves will spread out again, then the cow will stand up again, try to run a few steps, but the wolves will push her back on the ground, repeating it several times, despite her physical strength. No matter how strong the other cow is, I can't stand it. 
Speaking of which, it led the whole herd across the mountain pass, reached here, was almost exhausted, was trapped for several days without food, and now has to fight the wolves. In most cases, the situation is completely tilted to one side, which is also natural. Finally, when the leading kayak was crushed on his back for the eighth time, he was also clearly aware that struggling and resisting was only futile, so he immediately lay there and did not stand up again, nose horse suffocating suffocating wheeze. The wolves were not too close, but ran around around the leading bull, especially a few daring wolves came forward with their claws to pluck the front and hind legs of the bull, or stood on its head and shook the pair, horn, observe how the opponent reacts. I saw only the head cow that was so scared that its whole body trembled, but did not dare to move at all, its eyes exuded a profound helplessness. The wolves seemed to be aware of their victory, one thin wolf stood on the yak bull, the remaining dozen surrounded themselves in a circle, then all at once raised their heads and howled, the wolves ambushed on the trees. The mountainside also appeared, the front end cheers let out a howling sound, and suddenly the whole mountain area was filled with the sound of howling wolves. Chang Lap said quickly, Look, is that the leader of the wolves? Kwong and Hat far back shook his head, No, it was the soldiers who won. He was the first wolf to jump on top of the leader yak, so he has the right to receive this honor. The leading bull lay motionless, the wolves began to become bolder, only to see a few wolves seem to be biting a leg in front of the cow, trying to tear the wood, Tronglap said, um, what's wrong? Hey, are you ready to have a big victory party? Yuyang pushed Tronglap away, glanced at him and said immediately, what's wrong with your eyes, they want to remove the trap, Tisk. What the hell are we doing after all, huh? Seeing that all the wolves tried to open the trap, the leading bull lifted one leg and was able to get out, immediately there were other wolves coming, standing next to the cow's foot, sniffing, sniffing, next it stuck out its tongue and licked its injured leg. Track Mok Kwong Ba exclaimed, they are healing the head yak cow, in the wolf's saliva there is an anti-inflammatory component, which can prevent bacteria from multiplying, so whenever they are injured, they will be injured again. Stick out your tongue to lick the wound, what are they doing after all? Yu Yang also curiously said, capturing the enemy's leader alive, but not killing, on the contrary, he also healed the wound. What the hell do these wolves want to do? Kwong and Hat far back said, it seems we got it wrong from the beginning. The wolves covered the trap with thick grass because they didn't want these yaks to get hurt too badly, they didn't intend to cause the yaks to suffer irreversible damage. Trong Lap wondered, so what do they want to do? Not long after, a wolf came running from afar, the thing that surprised Yu Yang and the most was that in his mouth he unexpectedly held a huge bundle of grass, which was thrown right in front of the other yak cow. At this point, the leading bull was able to stand up, it widened its eyes and looked up to observe the wolves that had ruined this reputation, how was it so small, I fell for this little group of people, defeated or what? The head of the herd snorted and turned away without even taking a single bite of the bundle of grass. At the same time, cows that retreated to entrench themselves in the gourd terrain received the same treatment. On the eastern slopes, the wolves kept throwing down bundles of grass that was still covered with mud, which soon piled up in a small heap. Faced with this overwhelming attraction, the bulls formed a line, keeping the cows and calves in the back, not letting them come near the other grass. But a whole bunch of green grass for the herd of cows that have been hungry for a few days is really too attractive. The calves keep roaring, beep beep, I like crazy, the nipples of the cows are dry, dried up, couldn't eat grass, they couldn't have milk, heard the cries of tearing the intestines of the calves, finally there was a cow that couldn't help but burst out of the line of the advancing bulls about that luscious pile of grass. There was the first one, there was also the second one, the third one, at first the bulls were still watching, after seeing that there was no danger, the group also stepped in, on the contrary even pushed the cows and cows, calves aside, one mouth devoured like a hungry tiger. That pile of grass was so large that the land was so much, 
that it was only a matter of time before the cows ate it all up, fearing that not a single one of them would be satisfied. These yak cows, which relied on wool to resist the feeling of hunger and thirst, now tasted delicious, the feeling of hunger and rumbling on the contrary was even more intense than before. Not many cows could not stand the calves of calves, one by one raised their heads towards the wolves on the mountain slope, making cries as if pleading, but the wolves now did not throw green grass, down again, but they all looked in the other direction, towards the other yak cow leading the herd. The place where the leading bull and the herd were about a hundred meters apart, he could see the herd, and at the same time the cows could also see his leader, this was obviously also arranged by the other pack of wolves. At this time, the other bull still refused to eat the green grass in front of him, arrogantly and stubbornly standing in the middle of a pack of fierce wolves, his physical advantage stood out, the situation was really strange. After a while, the wolves began to rumble again with their heads and ears, as if they had a new game. Sure enough, soon, on the other side of the mountain, appeared a pack of wolves with a flock of sheep. Kwong and Hat Poo Bo was stunned and said, that's my sheep. Seeing the wolves herding the sheep as far as the yak cows could be seen, the sheep dispersed and began to graze freely on the last remaining grassland, the wolves could move freely between them, sheep. The sheep are not only not afraid of the wolves, but on the contrary sometimes lower their heads and rub their faces against the wolves' heads to show their kindness. This scene, not to mention the yak cows wide-eyed, but also track mob Kwong Ba, has anyone ever seen a wolf playing with a sheep? Yang mumbled, being honest is fighting, justice is vivacious, I'm afraid this herd of yak cows can't stand it. At the same time as Yang uttered that sentence, in the pack of wolves, it seemed that there was a signal, the wolves around all gathered in one place, forming a pyramid-shaped formation, the tip of the pyramid facing the opposite direction, faced the yak cow leading the herd. Zhang Lap said in a low voice, look quickly, the leader wolf, this must be the leader wolf, can't be wrong. It is a pity that from the position of Trak Mok Kwong Ba, looking down, can only see the back of the leader wolf, at first glance it is also a grayish brown fur, no different from other wolves, other wolf. But in the eyes of the other leader yak cow, it was obvious that the situation was completely different from what Trak Mok Kwong Ba and others saw, when he faced the leader wolf, his eyes were filled with fear. Fear, panic, insecurity, four legs staggered like drunkenness, the whole body keeps swinging in place, even standing seems to be unable to stand anymore. However, the wolves were suddenly quiet, the sheep were also suddenly quiet, the yak cows in the distance were also quiet, only the sound of the cold wind blowing in the air remained. A sense of silence spread around, both Trong Lap and Yuyang felt a strange cold rush from the soles of their feet, but absolutely not caused by the cold wind, go out. Lama Ayla also first noticed the wolves below, Kwong and Hat far back unconsciously put his hand on the hilt of the sword, Kwong La's fur also gradually revealed a light blue color even though it didn't run or jump, he, the hair on his neck is ruffled, like a male lion's mane. The whole group of people, only Track Mob Kwong Ba did not notice the change. Ba Tang stood next to him and indifferently let out a sentence, Slaughter is too strong. The corner of his mouth twitched slightly, thinking about that. The leading yak cow could not be more resilient, its front leg was bent, this time it was not in pain but still knelt down. It lowered its head, which had been held high until now, and obediently ate the grass in front of it. That oppression suddenly disappeared with the wind, Trong Lap saw this and shouted, Look, look, that cow has surrendered. It's subdued, it's surrendered, Yu Yang also exclaimed, It turns out these wolves don't want to eat yak cows, they want to conquer and conquer such a large wild yak herd. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's hand pressed on the ice-cold lava that turned red and cold, but he didn't feel any pain, only heard him mutter, Actually, it was conquest, I didn't expect it to be conquered. I really admire this pack of wolves. He pointed his finger at the wolves, said to Trak Mok Kwong Ba, Yu Yang, you know, 10,000 years ago, 
Our human ancestors also did the same things as these wolves. Trained to nurture wild animals, turn them into cattle. Only this pack of wolves is much better than our ancestors. Kwong and Hat far back was overwhelmed with emotion. Suddenly heard Kwong lap suddenly let out a low but short and urgent cry. Nudged the owner slightly, then rushed forward to bite the hem of Track Mop Kwong Ba's pants. Strong recoil. Track Mop Kwong Ba was hesitating. Suddenly heard Ba Tang frowned and said, not done. Kwong and Hat far back was also startled and quickly said, run quickly. It's been discovered. After that, he ran down the mountain slope. Yuyang pulled Trong Lap. Trong Lap ran to pull Captain Ho Duong. But this guy said, equipment, equipment has not been cleaned yet. Chang Lap urged, oh, father, when is it still necessary? Ba Tang put his hand on the handle of the knife. According to his will, he should directly talk with the wolves for a while but an instinct from deep inside made him make the right decision, run fast. At that moment, he suddenly saw Kong and Hat far back running in front, stopping like a car brake. The wolves were not behind, but in the middle of their way back. The shadows crouched upright, a total of five wolves blocking the road. Kong and Hat Poo back said, the patrolling soldiers, the subordinates of White Eye. Yui Yang said, since when were they discovered, how did they know to go around behind us? Kwong and Hat far back replied, I'm afraid that it was discovered early, but they waited for the incident on the other side to end, then officially approached us. Trong Lap said, Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, didn't you say before that the leader wolf had one eye closed and one eye open about this? Why is this time? Kwong and Hat Poo Bo smiled bitterly, didn't you bring a few strangers this time? They smell strangers. Yui Yang said, so what to do now? But luckily, they only have five children, let's go straight to kill them all. Mr. Ba Tang, how do you feel? Brother Ba Tang. Yui Yang looked back, Ba Tang would normally pull out his javelin, but now he froze as if he had been hit by that magic spell, his mouth made sounds no one could understand, or is he shaking so much that he can't speak? Kwong and Hat far back and track mob Kwong Ba cried out at the same time, don't move. Kwong and Hat far back glanced at track mob Kwong Ba, then told Yui Yang, although they only have five cubs, if only one of them opens their mouth to howl, all the wolves will be shocked. Until then, will we be able to escape? After saying this, he looked at the Lama Lama, only to see that the old monk nodded slightly, this pack of wolves is too crowded, it is really difficult to escape. Kwong and Hat far back said, however, looking at them like this, it seems that there is still a possibility of negotiation. Trong Lap immediately asked, negotiation, how to negotiate? Kwong and Hat far back forced a smile, leave it to Kwong La to handle it, after all, it saved White Eye's life, these wolves still haven't had the guts to touch it. Seeing only Kwong Lap swinging his head, walking straight ahead, the posture and posture of the oppressive spirit made the five wolves falter. At this moment, an old wolf with a tailless tail jumped forward, his throat growling in a low voice, as if saying, it's none of your business, stand aside, we won't bother you. Kwong Lap replied softly, turned his head to look at track mob Kwong Ba and the others, then nodded again to the old wolf, meaning to say, let us go, this time I owe you. The wolf took a small step back, a look of ferocity in his eyes, shook his head very firmly, the remaining four wolves lined up behind him to increase his power. Kwong Lap again, gumbled, whispered, and talked with the old wolf for a while, but no matter what Kwong Lap said, the old wolf just shook his head. Kwong Lap growled a few dull voices. The wolf tilted his head in thought, his throat let out a series of gurgling sounds, not understanding what he had said. Kwong Lap suddenly became angry, waved his leg to give it a slap. This attack made the old wolf roll on the ground four or five times in a row, and when he stood up, he was still swaying and swaying, as if he had lost his way. Yui Yang couldn't help but blurt out his praise, very good, Kwong La. Kwong Lap turned his head, squinted his eyes, and the corners of his mouth were slightly tilted to the sides, 
for Yue Yang, using the four words, beautiful smile, to describe Kuang Lap's appearance at this moment is not too much, little bit. The old wolf was furious, pouting his upper lip at Kuang Lap, revealing sharp wolf teeth, his throat trembled with menacing sounds, as if saying, don't think you have sex with the giant. I'm sorry, we don't dare to touch you. After snarling, he turned his head and cried out to the wolves behind him, then jerked his snout towards Kuang Lap, brothers, charge. But the four wolves behind just snorted, still not moving. Kuang Lap leaped forward like a tiger, dropping down next to the old wolf, scaring the wolf so much that it startled him. The other four wolves saw that the situation was not good, although they did not want to entangle with Kuang Lap, but still adjusted their tactics in time, the five wolves formed a large plum blossom and surrounded Kuang Lap in the middle. Gang and Hat Pu Bo said, It seems that the negotiation has not been successful, prepare to fight. Zhang Lap asked in a low voice, Aren't you afraid of these wolves screaming? Kuang and Hat Fu Bak said, Now let their father cry or not, just kick them to the side, run as fast as they can. Yue Yang exclaimed, We don't have time anymore. Ba Tang doesn't seem to be doing very well. I only saw Ba Tang, though his legs were still standing motionless as if rooted in the ground, but on his forehead were beads of sweat as big as peas, his eyes were glazed, obviously terrified to the extreme. Kuang and Hat far back ordered, Kuang Le, speak to win, don't mess around. Kuang Lap's front leg swings out, knocks a wolf away, shrugs forward to crush another one, his tail slams, his hind leg kicks, knocking the wolf out of the way to sneak attack, body tilted to one side, rolled, but hit the fourth wolf again. Only the old wolf remained, as soon as he saw Kuang Lap moving, he immediately rolled several times in a row, ran out for a long distance, he was about to raise his head and howl, then Kuang Lap rushed forward, butting his head, one blow, sending the breath the old wolf had just shouted into his stomach, making him unable to cry out. Kuang and Hat Fa Bak said, Run quickly. Track Mok Kuang Ba and Captain Ho Duong lifted Ba Tang's armpits, the seven quickly strode away. Lama Ala curiously looked at Kuang Lap, the movement of this mastiff was very familiar, as if he had seen it somewhere before. The two of them ran less than ten steps when suddenly a white light flashed, Yue Yang thought that Kuang Lap was running back, so he couldn't avoid it, he was hit directly, feeling like someone was holding a mace. One shot, extremely uncomfortable chest pain, had to take three steps back to regain his breath. Destined to look back, it was not Kong Lap, the thing that hit him unexpectedly was a white-haired wolf thanks. Although this wolf's fur is white, but there is a hint of gold in the white color, as if in a pile of mud, it can't be compared with Kong Lap, but under the fur, you can see the whole thing, muscular, clearly stronger than his fellows. White eyes. Kuang and Hat Fu Bak was cold and stiff, behind white eyes there were ten more wolves, each of which showed a fierce light. Kuang Lap leaned forward from afar, stood in front of everyone, saw that the leader had come, the five fallen wolves also rushed to stand up, their mouths, grr. Yue Yang said in a low voice, Uncle, the wolf's eyes are not very white. Kuang and Hat Fa Bak snarled, My family Kuang Le has the kindness to save his life, this wolf-hearted bastard, after joining the third group of wolves, the first thing he does is lead the wolves to steal the sheep, me, don't call it a white-eyed wolf asterisk, so what do you call her? White eyes bare fangs, eyes locked on track mob Kuang Ba, sixteen wolves facing six people track mob Kuang Ba, forming a closed encirclement. Their intentions are very clear, these people, do not escape even one. Track Mok Kuang Ba whispered, it seems inevitable, everyone be careful, these wolves value coordination in tactics. Yue Yang said, afraid of something, we have Kuang Le. Suddenly, Kuang Lap saw Kuang Lap quickly running to Track Mok Kuang Ba's side, rubbing his head a few times on his thigh. Track Mok Kuang Ba was not understanding why, but he saw Kong Lap facing the other white eye and barked a few words of majesty. The eyes of the white-eyed Track Mok Kong Ba immediately changed, 
which was only the eyes of the person performing the task, in an instant, it turned into a murderous scoundrel. Yuyang said to Trong Lap, It's broken, young master Kuang Ba is in an accident, it seems that he has been classified by the other white eye as the enemy. Trong Lap asked, How do you know? Yuyang said, Does this matter still have to be said? Didn't you hear what Kuang La said to that white eye just now? Baby wolf, see clearly, this is my white horse prince, you're still young. Yue Yang squeezed his throat to make a twist. Trong Lap laughed loudly and said, Since when do you understand the sound of dogs? Yue Yang glanced at Kuang Lap, and as soon as he saw that Kuang Lap seemed to be impressed, he was startled, quickly pretended to be humble and said, Use your mind to listen, use your heart to listen. Zhang Lap was still smiling, but the wolves didn't give them a chance to joke any more. White eyes raised their face to the sky and howled, rushing towards track Mok Kong Ba. The wolf pack completely acted according to the will of the leader, the whole group rushed forward in unison, their main target, naturally, was track Mok Kong Ba, not anyone else. The Chinese often use the phrase, white-eyed wolf, white-eyed wolf, to refer to an ungrateful father and a malicious mind. Chapter 33, Words Never See, 4. Mok Kuang Ba has grown up with wolves since childhood, he himself does not understand why, it seems that he and the wolves have a natural force of interaction, so this is the first time he has been attacked by wolf siege. Countless wolf mouths jagged with sharp teeth, exhaling hot breaths glimmering in front of their eyes, black noses, fringed hair growing on the edges, ferocious eyes. Everything is so clear, it really makes people feel as if hell is just that. The wolves are signed very clearly, first let the two strong wolves hold Kongla, but did not fight hard, but just kept hovering beside him, three wolves to deal with Lama Ayla, two other children deal with Kong and Hat Fa Bak, two children deal with Trong Lap, Yu Yang and Captain Hu Yang were each restrained by a wolf. As for Ba Tang at this time, he was lethargic, soon no longer able to fight, they didn't care, the remaining wolves all aimed at Track Mok Kong Ba. Track Mok Kong Ba only knows how to cry in his heart, he understands very well, wolves have a habit of attacking predators from four directions and eight directions, now among the wolves in front of him, there are suddenly two wolves. After that, the situation can be said to be extremely unfavorable. Sure enough, just a moment later, the wolves in front kept running back and forth, glaring at him, behind suddenly a sound of wind came, track Mok Kong Ba rushed to dodge, the wolf on the side rushed over, the sharp claws of the teeth were not stirred at all. Only a few times like that, scracking, a sound, his clothes were scratched, the cotton thread was exposed, it looked as if his intestines had been pulled out, Yu Yang and the others wanted to save them but they were all helpless, hard. Fortunately, Lama Arla was able to stabilize the battle, and Kong and Hat Fa Bak was able to deal with two wolves alone. But the short-lived joy was short-lived, the other white eye who took a few shots was dangerously avoided by Track Mok Kong Ba, then growled, the wolves' tactics immediately changed. The strategy after the change was very strange, Completely unlike any other hunting method Track Mok Kong Ba had ever seen, they rushed in the middle, separating Track Mok Kong Ba and the others into two. Group, the pack of wolves gathered in the middle, forming small intersecting circles. When the three wolves dealt with Lama Allah in danger, there was immediately a wolf dealing with Kong and Hat Far Back beside the reinforcement. When Kong and Hat Far Back prepared to reinforce Lama Allah, the wolves turned again started to focus on attacking him, just like that, the situation seemed to have turned into each person having to face a pack of wolves directly. White eyes are constantly moving in the middle of the battlefield, constantly roaring, only to see the position of the wolves continue to change, like a solemn opening ceremony that has been rehearsed for many days, making people dizzy, flower. Trong Lap had just aimed for a gap, was about to kick the wolf on his left side, Suddenly his eyes were empty, the other wolf had left his position, left and right, behind at the same time, a wolf came. Trong Lap did not have time to dodge, had to swing his dagger to dance, just hoping to protect himself. 
The wolf pounced on Trong Lap's back, did not open his mouth to bite, but instead took the guy's body as a borrowing point, kicked hard on his back, quickly changed direction, and rushed to Yue Guan next to him. Just like when Kwong Lap stepped on Kwong and Hat Fa back's arm, it was clear that the dog had learned this technique from the wolves. Trong Lap and Yue Yang were only close to each other, but Yue Yang was not the Ayla La Lama, such an unexpected event, how could he avoid it? Hastily raised his hand to protect his face, the wolf claw tore off a piece of his sleeve. At the same time, the second wolf also jumped up and opened his mouth to bite, lest this time, Yue Yang's hand would be difficult to hold. Next, you will encounter the same situation as the leading bull, being crushed by wolves. Yue Yang is secretly exclaiming, it's over. I suddenly saw a flash of blue light. It turns out that Kwong Lap had jumped from the air and pressed the wolf down. Yue Yang glanced back, only to see that the wolves were using everyone's bodies as borrowing points, running and jumping, flying back and forth in front of his eyes, other than Lama Allah, they couldn't get close. Everyone else becomes their springboard. Everyone looks disheveled and tattered, only Kwong Lap is sitting on one side as if a cat is clutching a butterfly, Looking closely at the opportunity to rush forward, in the air there is a wolf that is immediately attacked, thrown down. The other wolves seem to deliberately avoid Kwong Lap, the one that was knocked down then rolled away, then aimed at the others. If it weren't for Kwong Lap rushing over just now, the more Yue Yang thought about it, the more cold he felt. However, there was no time to express gratitude to Kwong Lap anymore, next to another wolf rushing in, Yue Yang turned to counter-attack and continued to join the battle. At this time, Track Mop Kwong Ba was also in constant danger, his clothes were torn like a Hawaiian dance's skirt. As for this monstrous strategy of one animal rushing to scratch once and then run, and then another leaping forward, he still hadn't grasped any loopholes from the beginning. The key is that the speed of these wolves is really too fast, even if there is an opening, it can be quickly filled in by the next move. Moreover, on this slope is full of round pebbles clinging to lichens and moss, there is obviously a chance to fight back, but when you slip, when you take a wrong step, you miss a precious opportunity. On this mountain slope, it can be said that the wolves have occupied both heaven and earth. Every time a wolf fell near Ba Tang, Lama Allah would pull him away, several times in a row, the wolves would notice that even the man who had no combat ability like Ba Tang and the others. This person also came to the rescue, they immediately changed their attack strategy, immediately two or three wolves withdrew from the main battlefield, specializing in attacking Ba Tang. Ba Tang kept retreating, Lama Elila had to protect Ba Tang, and had to deal with wolves, and immediately fell into a passive position. From then on, the position of Track Mop Kwong Ba also became chaotic, and at the same time, the large group of wolves in the distance were also running in this direction, the distance of a few kilometers for the wolves only took a few minutes, never mind. Yue Yang felt the wolves spill over the rocky slopes emitting crunching sounds, and at the same time, he saw Kwong Lap's more and more urgent dashes, he realized that the enemy's army was pressing, come closer and closer each time. The dagger in Captain Ho Duong's hand was lost, Yue Yang opened his chest and exposed his arm, looking like a llama, while Lama Ala was covered with green moss all over the world, only Ba Tang was able to enjoy the taste. The old monk protected him, but he was not injured. Suddenly hearing a bang sound, the bodies of Kwong and Hat Far Back and Track Mob Kwong Ba collided. Kwong and Hat Far Back stepped on a stone and lost his balance, Track Mop Kwong Ba hurriedly raised his hand to help, Kwong and Hat Far Back grabbed his clothes, then heard a flash sound again, the costume was already torn tassels, was torn apart in a large piece. Although wearing several layers of clothes, but at this time, Track Mop Kwong Ba had exposed his skin, the small bag hidden in the last shirt close to the body was also revealed. Kwong and Hat Fa Back just stood up and saw two wolves rushing straight in front of him. Kwong and Hat Fa Back and Track Mob Kwong Ba had a similar mind, immediately used their strength to push each other, the two separated, both sides avoid. At that moment,
The wolf claws jumped up and grabbed Track Mok Kong Ba's chest, and the small bag was pulled out. Inside the bag was full of valuables, he quickly reached out his hand to pull it back, the bag turned upside down, the contents inside fell. The sharp-eyed Kwong and Hat Fa back suddenly ignored even the wolf in the middle to stop him, turned and dived, before the object could touch the ground, he grabbed it with his hand, it turned out to be a bone flute. He clutched the flute tightly in his hand, barely able to glance at it, as expected. This thing is, before he could think further, he had to roll to the side to dodge the wolf's attack, and then keep an eye on his surroundings. There's no way, I have to take a risk. Kwong and Hat Fa back made up his mind, brought the bone flute to his mouth, used all his strength to blow hard. A. Hey, whistling. As soon as Kwong and Hat Fa back blew with all his might, the sound emitted from the bone flute started low and then gradually increased, from low dreary low to high shrill, everyone's ears were ringing only saw that the four directions and eight directions were surrounded by that crisp sound. The predicted Tin Kwong and Hat Fa back did not appear, the wolves next to him only paused for a moment, then rushed forward again, and the others were startled by his monstrous behavior. In a tug-of-war situation like this, whoever reacts faster, that person will have the upper hand, in just such an illustrious moment, Yuyang has been crushed to the ground, even Captain Ho Duong has the same fate, the tips of their tongues were bright red, and their white fangs were pointed straight at their throats. Kwong and Hat far back frustratedly said, it's over. Sound waves travel far away, as if resonating with the snowy mountain, bringing the sound over the mountain slope, spilling over to the other end of the slope. The cobblestone on the slope, clack, rolled down, the surrounding wind suddenly became crazy, the other yak cows also heard it, the whole herd trembled, the sheep heard it, and immediately ran away with their tails. In the opposite direction, the whole pack of wolves heard it, most of them did not react, but a few raised their ears and listened attentively. The sound seemed very familiar, causing the lone wolves to suddenly raise their heads high above the pack, towards the direction of the sound. At that time, unexpectedly, the other wolves all quietly bowed down to let the other wolves jump up the small slopes next to it. Wherever they went, the wolves drifted away, their heads bowed to the ground. Faced with these wolves, the whole pack of wolves showed great humility, but they can only be humble. Whist, ah, ah, whistling, the wolves turned to the direction of the sound, responding with a burst, the resounding but powerful howl was not the same as an angry growl meant to intimidate the enemy, it was just a kind of response, like the strong response of the warriors standing under the flag of war taking their vows before going to war. Hearing the wolves using all their strength to respond to that sound, the wolves prostrating below also raised their heads one by one, howling in harmony, throughout the desolate mountains echoes the howling of wolves, Compared to the hull when the wolves defeated the yak cows, there was only more, but absolutely nothing less. The howling sound is not low or high, but like a choir singing a lament, each sound is clear and crisp, this time has not stopped, the next time has resounded. The sound echoed to the battlefield of Track Mok Kwong Ba, less than ten minutes before or after, the wolves that were surrounding them suddenly stopped, both time and space seemed to stand still in that moment. The wolf on top of Captain Ho Duong raised his front paws to his eyes, the sharp claws were less than two centimeters from the irises, and suddenly stopped like that, the wolf next to Yu A Yang opened his mouth as big as a pot of blood and aimed at his throat, the wolf's teeth had already sunk into the skin, even the mouth that opened up froze in that moment, Track Mok Kwong Ba wore a total of four wolves, they bit into his shirt and pants, preparing to pull down the tall man who was about to fall suddenly stopped all too, the wolf behind Kwong and Hat far back lifted his front paw, clawed at the back of the flute player's neck, and then stopped. At that moment, time seemed to pass very slowly, Captain Ho Duong widened his eyes, not even daring to blink, Yu A Yang held his breath, feeling the saliva in the wolf's mouth dripping down his throat, first hot, then quickly cold. I don't know how much time has passed, White-eyed can't help but growl softly, the wolf's claws are retracted, 
and the wolf's mouth is also slowly released. One by one, the wolves retreated from the crowd, gathered and retreated to the other side of the mountain slope, in a moment they were nowhere to be seen, only the howls and roars carried by the wind came back. As if he had just experienced a nightmare, Yue Yang suddenly felt that his whole body was lost, and his remaining strength was barely enough to breathe. Kuang Lap stepped forward, licked his face a few times, as if praising him for fighting bravely, the result was that Yue Yang was so scared that he almost jumped up and ran away. Chuo Mok Kuang Ba stared at Kuang and Hat Fu back, stared at the bone flute in his hand, extremely surprised, and stammered, this, after all. Kuang and Hat Fu back was sitting on the ground, on the ground, pale face, one hand on the ground to support the body, one hand swinging the bone flute, do you know what this is? Track Mok Kuang Ba said, the bone flute, the secret of the tantric Buddhism. The corner of Kuang and Hat Fu back's mouth lifted, a smile that was more unsightly than crying, have you ever seen the bone flute of the Tibetan religion? Those were all holy products, they had to be inlaid with gold and inlaid with silver, but this one of yours was clearly a bone flute, without any jewelry. It is difficult for a person who does not know how to make a sound. Captain Ho Duong also approached and examined the bone flute, brooding over his beard, then said, Um, that's not real. Track Mok Kuang Ba said, So this is. Kuang and Hat Fa back struggled to get up, his whole body was in pain every time he moved. He let out a low cry and hobbled, now that the wolves have withdrawn, before they change their minds, let's hurry and go first, talking as we go. Yui Yang and Trong Lap helped each other to get up, Lama Arla stepped forward to support Captain Ho Duong, then they both went over to shake Ba Tang's armpits, Kuang Lap carried Kuang and Hat Fa back's bag, and then they all went down, mountain. However, Yui Yang saw Kuang Lap jumping up and down, swinging his body once in three years, it didn't seem like he had just escaped from the battlefield of life and death, he seemed to be very excited, it was incomprehensible. What does this dog think? This, the old nomads call it, the call of the dominant wolf. Kuang and Hat Fa back returned the bone flute to track Mob Kuang Ba, simply put, it can be called a Lang Pepper. At that moment, halfway up the mountain suddenly sounded a series of strange howls, as if in response to the howling of the wolves that had not yet dissipated, only to direct the sound to return. Everyone also looked in amazement at the mist-covered land deep in the snowy mountains. As for Kuang and Hat Fa back, he only listened for a moment, then said, don't worry, it's the night emperor. They're just responding to the wolves, I haven't heard the night emperor cry in a long time. What's that again? Yui Yang just heard something thrilling, forgot all the pain, asked. Kuang and Hat Fa back said, well, the night emperor is really a snow elf, but it's hard to say for a while, let's talk about Lang Pepper first. In ancient Tibet, there were many special professions, there were very magical professions, such as chanting the dance or letting the soul leave the body, people called them by the common name secret engineer, no I don't know if everyone here has heard of it. Track Mok Kuang Ba nodded, Kuang and Hat Fa back said, then it's easy to explain, so do you guys know what a talisman master is? Track Mok Kuang Ba glanced at the bone flute in his hand and said, could it be that this is exactly the kind of thing that the martial beast master uses too? Kuang and Hat Fa back interrupted him. That's right, this is the tool that the tamer master uses, to communicate with wolves. Legend has it that if a wolf attacks this thing, they will retreat, and if it is attacked by other beasts and blows it, the wolves will come to help. However, its range of use is limited to the Tibetan plateau, moreover, even wolves on the plateau, not every pack can hear and understand it, I just took a risk just now, while there is no other hope left. Trong Lap interjected and said, that sound doesn't sound like a wolf howl. At this time, Kuang Le put down the bag in his mouth, raised his head, a whistling, the sound it made, unexpectedly had eight parts similar to the bone flute. Kuang and Hat Fa back said, have you heard, the call of the wolf is commanding, not to kill the wolf, but 
or clam. Track Mok Kwong Ba exclaimed in horror. He remembered, the Lama Lama had told them, that the dominant wolf was another name for the war clam. Yue Yang is also very sharp, so this bone flute is not related to the army of light. Kwong and Hat far back smiled and said, the Tao Beast Master himself is a kind of engineer born in the army of light. This Lang Pepper is originally a traditional handicraft product of the Kui Ba tribe, and later was handed down to the folk by the Taoist master. When I was a kid, I had one like this in my house. The whole group returned to the village. When starting out, everyone looks like a mountain climber. When they return, they look like a bunch of beggars. Ma Bao stood at the head of the village to welcome them, who did not expect them to even recognize them. And the dogs in the village could turn towards them and bark noisily. However, they themselves did not feel ashamed at all, especially the two guys Trong Lap and Yu Yang, their walking gestures were very majestic. For them, who faced hundreds of wolves and still escaped safely as if they had just won a great battle, they should be called the heroes who are singing triumphant songs. When Ma Bao brought the group back to his home, Duang Man just saw track Mob Kwong Ba, his eyes were red, Brother Kwong Ba, you, talking here, tears just flowed. Track Mok Kwong Ba hugged her in his arms, trying to comfort her, it's okay, nothing is wrong, we are all fine, everyone is back safely. Professor Fung Tan was also surprised when he saw them, didn't he just say that he was just going to survey the terrain? Why this mess? Nyak Tuang, Trong Lap can't say, but why not even the Ailala Lama in the past were not stained with dust but also? Do you know, you, you make me, Scared to death. Why turn off the atomic clock? Why didn't come back for so long? You. Who who who? Huang Man snuggled into track Mok Kwong Ba's arms sobbing, crying, suddenly heard Captain Ho Duang behind him shouting like thunder, Hey, little girl, cry. Tang's father is not well, hurry up and lend a hand. Only saw Ba Tang's face pale green, teeth clenched, lips foamed white. Lu Kan Nam quickly walked out, glared at Track Mok Kwong Ba once and didn't say much, just told Yu Yang and Trong Lap, hurry up, find that thing for him to bite, turn sideways, hu he out. Be a little careful. Tang Man took a piece of Track Mok Kwong Ba's torn shirt to dry his tears, sobbing and said, you, you go and see, I quickly go and change my clothes. After arranging Ba Tang, changing clothes, Everyone was busy again for a while. Track Mok Kwong Ba originally intended to keep Kwong and Hat far back. He still had a lot of things to say to him, but Kwong and Hat far back insisted on leaving, and told them that in the next two or three days there was absolutely no way. Go up the mountain, then just talk to Professor Fung Tan for a while and then leave. Track Mok Kwong Ba hugged Kwong Lap's neck, invited him to talk with him for a long time, after promising that he would definitely come back to visit him, Kwong Lap left angrily. When he was about to return, Kwong Lap stared at Wang Man with wide eyes for a long time, then stared at Lu Kan Nam again, as if he had noticed something, and finally looked at Track Mok Kwong Ba intently. He felt very unnatural. Chapter 33 WORLS Never See Ever 5 The body of Kwong Lap waiting for Ba Tang's condition to stabilize, Lu Kan Nam came out. Trong Lap quickly asked, How is Mr. Ba Tang? Why suddenly? Did it turn out like that? Lu Kan Nam said, When the brain gives an order but the body refuses to obey it, the brain's nerves will be damaged like a person who is not strong enough but insists on carrying a very heavy object and then the muscle is broken, so hurt. The manifestation is that the cerebral nerve will discharge electricity, medically called epilepsy, and in folk it is still called leprosy. But everyone can rest assured, Mr. Ba Tang's condition is not as bad as we imagine, it's just that suddenly receiving a challenge that he cannot accept, the brain's first reaction is to stop, pulse, fell into a coma to protect himself, but at that time it was clear that he was not in a coma, when he reached the village the nervous system was less tense to react to the stimulus. Maybe he won't remember at all about what happened this time, no one is allowed to talk about it in front of him, you know. 
she turned her head to see that track mob Kong Ba's group was sitting across from some of Professor Fung Tan's group. Yue Yang pretended to be dead, rolled up his sleeves, and told Professor Fung Tan their heroic story. Liu Kan Nam walked over and said to Yue Yang, Let's talk about some bullshit later, let's rearrange the information we gathered in the previous day. Everyone sat around and arranged the information about the snowy mountains that each group collected. The mountains here are not very high, compared to the average height of the mountains of the central Himalayas may be much lower, but the danger level is the greatest in the whole Himalaya. For example, avalanches, ice avalanches, rolling rocks, blizzards, all of which can only be seen as common hazards, while the greatest danger is the high winds on the top of the mountain. This place is located at the intersection between the monsoons, the humid wind blowing from the Indian Ocean encounters the strongest shield of the whole Himalayas, the mountain circuit in this area is slightly curved inward, so the wind blows. It immediately forms a tornado, which is the famous gust of this mountain. The strong wind brought snowflakes to the body, just like using an ice knife to cut meat. The wind speed here changes over time, so if you start early in the morning when you reach the top of the mountain, you will encounter a somewhat lighter wind, but if you start afternoon, when you reach the top, the wind is strong. When it comes to the surface, the whole herd of yak cows can be blown away, let alone humans. The most peculiar danger is snow blindness. There was a strong wind, the snow on the mountain was blown into the sky, the scene was not much different from a sandstorm. In the mountains at that time, the two people who stood facing each other only three steps away could not see anyone. In that dusty snow, in the air, I could only hear the whistling wind, even if it rolled down right in front of me, it would be impossible to know. The natives call that snow blindness a miracle, people get lost in it and then no matter how hard they try, they can't find the correct way, sometimes they go around the whole mountain without even realizing it, no, until the strength and exhaustion will freeze into human statues, those who are lucky can still keep the whole body, unfortunately, they may be dragged back to eat by the snow goblins. The scariest thing is that the snow elves have never been seen before, no one can say what it is after all, in short, they have only heard rumors that they are terrifyingly tall, extremely strong, can tear a living person in two. Peace. Whenever there is snow blind, Seeing in it a shadow about four or five meters high, people think it is a big rock, but it could be a snow elf. Later, a scientific survey team came here, guessing that it was the snowman, but the weather was a bit bad at that time, the experts who lived in the village for half a year did not dare to enter the mountain, so they did not see it with their own eyes, ever snow elves. The most hidden danger is the crevices of ice hidden under the snow, some hundreds of meters deep, Above only a thin layer of ice, below is frozen ground harder than steel, unfortunately missed. Don't say that the injury can be cured, just falling is enough to die a hundred times. Of course, those are just the dangers that villages have passed down for generations, which can be mentioned, in addition, there are also countless other dangers that people encounter for sure, these things are new, terrifying, more dangerous than dangerous. However, the dangers in this land of death were not enough to frighten the team members, what really strained their nerves was that, according to official documents, there was no such thing as yet. Anyone can climb to the top of this not very high mountain from the Chinese side. As for the wind gusts, everyone thought it was a relatively high possibility that the villagers were exaggerating, faced with such a terrifying gust of wind, can anyone come back alive? How do they know so thoroughly, speak in such detail? As for blind snow, Captain Ho Duong has had a deep experience. The snow on the ground was blown up by the wind, depending on the amount of snow that determines the density of the fog, when it's cloudy, let alone three steps away, it can even make people raise their hands as well. Do not see the five fingers, but do not play. Stories of getting lost in the mountains and high winds and snow blindness can be found everywhere. In the midst of that blanket of snow and dust, it was impossible to distinguish the direction, and was also blown by the strong wind to fall and fall, 
the story of going in a circle was absolutely not exaggerated at all, Captain Ho Duong himself personally experienced it. Already, back then in Antarctica, once as an inexperienced surveyor, Hu Duong went out to collect water from a water source less than 200 meters from their station. It was windy at that time, but not too much. Suddenly, when he left the station, the wind suddenly accelerated. By the time he got to the water, the wind was strong enough to blow his whole body, the sky and earth were cloudy, in front of his eyes only snowflakes were flying, the research station the rescue completely disappeared from sight. Captain Ho Duong was secretly frightened, quickly guessed the direction, then risked the wind to go to the station, as a result, he went nearly 500 meters and did not see their research station. He was so panicked, he turned around and went back to the direction he thought he was originally, Calculating his steps, unexpectedly even the place to get water was nowhere to be found. Just like that, Captain Ho Duong walked back and forth for more than half an hour. Finally the wind gradually weakened, he could clearly see his surroundings, cold sweat immediately poured out all over his body. For more than half an hour, he did not know how many times he went around in a circle with a diameter of about 10 meters. Although there is no such thing as chasing footsteps like in the desert, but even more terrifying, when a strong wind blows, the footprints left will immediately be covered by a new snow, completely disappear, thinking that they are walking, straight line, the result is a detour. At that time, two other team members came to find him, unexpectedly they were also circled, the three of them drew three circles in the shape of letters pin in front of the research station. Although the three of them then smiled at each other, but in reality, everyone was scared. High winds can make people completely lose their senses, the snow is so foggy that the human eye can only see less than a meter away, so until now, every time I recall that experience, Captain Ho Duong shudders. The best way to deal with snow blindness and gusty winds is not to mess with them. At that time, if you want to save your life, you must find a cave nearby and hide in, if you stubbornly carry the wind forward, it is better to dig your own grave. With luck, the wind will stop immediately, there is still hope of survival, if I'm not lucky, I'll have to go for a few dozen kilometers and find myself frozen in the original spot, frozen into an ice cream cone. Before starting, Liu Kan Nam made it clear to the team members, because this matter is very confidential, and also involves crossing national borders, so it can only be revealed to the extreme, it people know. Guides like Ma Bao only know they want to go up the mountain. At the foot of the mountain there will be no base or headquarters, the team can only get help from a few highly respected experts. And even these professionals are divided into two groups, those who know what they are doing don't know where they are, those who know where they are, don't know what they're all going there for. So this snow climb is all alpine climbing, asterisk, with no predetermined routes, no additions along the way, no reference precedents, the wild winds of the mountains making the helicopter not can get close, so even if there is danger, there is no one to help, all can only rely on themselves. Although facing the same difficulties and dangers, the team members just laughed and laughed. Speaking of which, this group of people soon made friends with the god of death, close enough to call me calling you. Finally, Captain Hu Duong mentioned that the wolves had taken over the best possible route up the mountain. Because of the limited time, he only briefly told the problems they encountered. To the other pack of wolves, even now the whole guild still feels horrible. Yu Yang petitioned Liu Kan Nam to ask the border guards to send the wolves away. Liu Kan Nam glared at her, saying that she would figure this out herself. After summarizing the work done during the day, Liu Kan Nam led Duong Man to check the health status of team members, to see how they react to the altitude. Their training camp was located in an area more than 4,000 or 5,000 meters above sea level, so everyone's body showed no strange signs. After a while, Ba Tang also regained consciousness. Sure enough, just like Liu Kan Nam said, he did not remember at all about going to see the wolves, only remembering the story of Captain Ho Duong measuring the terrain on that mountain slope. 
Lu Kan Nam had a word before, so everyone agreed that Ba Tang lost his foot on the mountain slope, his head hit the rock hard. There was also a real bump on the back of Ba Tang's neck, which was caused by the wolves going down and hitting his head on the rock. After processing all the information in hand, it was too late, Lu Kan Nam did not agree to let everyone continue to gossip, or did all team members to immediately rest. Yu Yang and Trong Lap grumbled in displeasure, rarely having an experience that Feng Tan professors don't have, being so excited they were forced to go to sleep. These two guys shared a room with Trak Mok Kong Ba, in the middle of the night, he kept tossing and turning, and finally pulled Trak Mok Kong Ba up, harassing the morning story, insisting that Trak Mok Kong Ba tell the story to Datma, how to find Mastiffs, then how to discover Kong Lap, how to make friends with Kong Lap, how is the land and people of this region. Trak Mok Kong Ba was stuck by two guys and didn't know what to do, so he told the story of meeting and getting acquainted with Kong and Hat Fa Ba, it was just a matter of searching everywhere, following all the clues, finally found out about this area, it was very simple, and then he said, this district of Datma is like a human land, um, it's basically the same as other places, only on the grasslands around the district, the people here like to race horses. Good at riding a horse and shooting arrows. Their method of competition is different from other places, riding horses without a saddle. Well, also, training wild horses is also one of the activities that are very popular with the locals. As for the music, the bracelet dances, the lion dances here are all very unique and special, listening to Trak Mok Kong Ba tell the story, Trong Lap seemed to realize something, Kong Ba young master, that district the code you mentioned, it's probably not the district itself, is it? Trak Mok Kong Ba replied, yes, it has another name, it's a common name, it's also very old. Trong Lap said, then why do people call it Dat Ma district? Are you in the district where the Dat Ma people live? Trak Mok Kong Ba shook his head, of course not. From before the unification of the Thofan dynasty, there was a small country named Dat Ma, until after the unification of the Thofan dynasty, this place was still called Dat Ma, so in the oldest books people are all called Dat Ma district. It was not until after Master Lian Ho Shine entered Tibet that he changed the name of this place to Ao Chao. However, whenever we mention Ao Chao, we first think of Dat Ma district. Yu Yang wrapped himself in a blanket and said, Young Master Kuang Ba, I remember this morning Uncle Kuang and Hat Fa Bak said, Kuang Lap grew up with wolf milk, what's that? Track Mok Kuang Ba worriedly said, Um, actually, Kuang La's background is. Asterisk. Fifteen years ago, in the southeastern part of N.A. La village, there was a dilapidated small stone house. In the cold season, heavy snow scatters in the air, the sky is black like death's cloak covering the narrow lands, everything is silent, only the sound of the wind and snow can be heard. That stone house was cold inside and out, the stove was left with only a pile of cold ashes, Heavy dead bodies were overflowing, next to the stove there was a man sitting quietly like a statue carved from ice. If it weren't for his eyes that still blink from time to time, anyone would think this was a corpse. That's right, he's dead, the fire of life in his heart has been extinguished, what remains, which looks like that stove, is just a year of ashes. It was Kwong and Hat far back of fifteen years ago, his wife had been dead for three years, searched all over this snowy mountain but couldn't find it. He's still alive, because he doesn't believe his wife is dead. He firmly believes that one day Lap Chan will gently push the door, softly utter a sentence, I'm back. Every year, when the day when his wife went to the snowy mountain near, Kwong and Hat Far Back could not sleep. At that time, Kwong and Hat Far Back was thinking about how he would suffer tomorrow. Right at the darkest moment before dawn, Suddenly there was a knock on the door, coke cork. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak was cold all over, he was a little hesitant, no one went out in this snowy night. The sound of kink coo resounded again, very softly, but also very clearly. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak couldn't believe it, then suddenly, 
he stood up as if possessed by a ghost, rushed out the door like a whirlwind. Outside, it was pitch black, a hurricane brought snow and ice, and there was nothing else left. Kwong and Hat far back was not scared, on the contrary, he was happy, facing the endless void and loudly asked, Lap Chan, are you, Lap Chan? In response to his words, a faint faint groan in the wind, Kwong and Hat far back took out a butter oil lamp and discovered that there was an injured wolf curled up in front of his door. Its hind legs were caught in a trap, bright red blood like apricot flowers bloomed on the snow-covered ground, extending into the endless night. The female wolf curled up on the ground like a mattress, constantly sticking out the tip of her tongue to lick a small object in her lap, a hairy thing, still alive, still moving. Kwong and Hat far back carefully approached, raised the oil lamp in front. In the wolf's lap is a white animal, curled up like a snowball, trying to push all four legs, wanting to snuggle under the mother wolf's belly and suck a sip of milk. That wolf's blood has dried up, where does the milk come from? Seeing the mother wolf's wound, Kwong and Hat far back suddenly understood the intention of this late night visit, he put down the oil lamp, stretched out his trembling hands, and slowly approached the cub's body, female wolf. The wolf lay still, motionless, only looking up at Kwong and Hat far back, those eyes were so deep, considerate, loving, Kwong and Hat far back would never forget. He held the small animal in his arms, the child fidgeted and stopped, his jet black eyes blinked and stared at Kwong and Hat far back's extremely old face, examining him intently. Kwong and Hat far back looked back at it, its white fluffy fur was so lovely, it looked like a snow lotus blooming on a glacier. Suddenly, Kwong and Hat far back's hand trembled slightly, he saw on the body of this small animal that was not yet weaned off a very prominent scar, a burned scar about the size of five dimes copper, must have been the scalp. Human tobacco here, for a moment, Kwong and Hat far back seemed to have seen the misfortunes that this little animal encountered in the short time it was present in this world. Mother was killed, it was tortured by humans and thrown into the snow and ice, the other wolf discovered it, and then used her breast to feed this little life. Maybe the wolf lost her baby at that time too. At that time, the light of the mother wolf was also gradually dimming and extinguished by the traps of mankind. Regardless, this little animal was able to survive, what a miracle. Thinking of this, a feeling of impulse suddenly surged up, Kwong and Hat far back raised the small life in his hand, loudly shouted a sentence that later made track mob Kwong Ba engraved in his heart for life, hurt, abandoned, betrayed by people, and still want to believe in people. The wind howled loudly, the small animal suddenly stuck out its young tongue and licked the palm of Kwong and Hat far back. The warm feeling from the palm of his hand spread to the depths of his heart, in the early ashes that had died, a hidden fire began to ignite. Kwong and Hat far back hugged the young life tightly in his coat, he decided to protect this beautiful snow lotus like protecting his own child. The mother wolf from the beginning to the end was still watching silently, until the last minute, she turned to Kwong and Hat far back with an appreciative look, then turned her head hard to the endless darkness, where the wolves were, once stopped to think, gently closed his eyes. At the intersection of heaven and earth, a bright light of dawn appeared, in that stormy snowy night, Kwong and Hat far back had another child, named Kwong Lap. Listening to track mock Kwong Ba tell about Kwong Lap's background, Trong Lap couldn't help but sigh secretly. Yui Yang Su clenched her fists tightly, gritted her teeth and asked, Young Master Kwong Ba, isn't the High Lamb Beast a precious Tibetan clam? Why, why are those people? Track Mok Kwong Ba replied, No, you think it wrong, whether an item or an animal is precious or not, is determined by people's preference and understanding of it. Ten years ago, Tibetan clams were not the fashionable trend today, they were just friends to help Tibetans take care of their homes, and no one used money to value them. Also, when young Tibetan Mastiff looks like a normal puppy, even experienced elderly Tibetans cannot tell whether the dog will grow up to be a Tibetan Mastiff or a Tibetan Mastiff, just a normal dog, the poachers don't even notice such things. Speaking of this, 
Trag Mok Kwong Ba suddenly remembered the words Kwong and Hat Fubak had said to him many years ago, there are Tibetan clams. Do you feel that those who are locked in cages, or wear iron chains, shackled next to the sheepfolds are Tibetan mastiffs? No, they can only be called big dogs at best, only when they are free to run freely under the blue sky and white clouds, gliding through the highland grassland like the wind, will they be true Tibetan mastiffs? When Trong Lap and Yuyang were recovering their emotions, with the status of Kwong Lap, no one expected that Kwong Lap was right outside the small house. It sensitively recognized the voice of people talking in the house, as if it was recalling old memories, bowed its head to think of that word, then immediately shook its head, looked up at the grey-robed person standing behind, leading the way. Then go to the mountainous area. A man and a mastiff do not make any noises. Kwong Lap led that person to the stone house of Kwong and Hat Fubak, pushed the door open. In the house, the fireplace was burning brightly, Kwong and Hat Fubak were sitting next to him, and before he raised his head, he said, you've come. Asterisk, as a method of climbing that originated in the Alps, climbers in this style mostly have to be self-reliant to climb to the top, without any other help. Chapter 34, Glass Place 1, Silver Descendants, Asterisk, 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 Asterisk. Merkin sighed and said, unexpectedly, the map also shows the way to this place, it seems that the recollection of Western Mexico is correct, now only looking at the map is only so thorough, whatever. Hundreds of kilometers halfway down the mountain, covered in mist and snow, with only one entrance about a meter wide to go down, how could those ancient tantric followers find such a place? It's unbelievable. The man in grey entered the house, unexpectedly it was Lama Ayla. The small fire in the stove struggled and trembled for a while, the light shining on his face, old but calm. You knew I was coming. It's natural. Kwong and Hat Fabo pulled a rug on the bed and put it on his knees, then said, You must have a lot of things to ask me, just fine. I also have a lot of things to ask you. It's been a thousand years, you guys still refuse to give up, it seems that in the past, the army of light not only took away the treasures in the temples of the four quarters, but there were other things that could make you just decided to go look like that. Elas Lama asked back, what about you? The same situation, the same fate, haven't you guys never given up? A not. Kwong and Hat far back looked at the dancing fire to the point of ecstasy and lowered his voice, our family gave up a long time ago. The long knee cack, Kwong and Hat far back here, was the last of the family, becoming a descendant of Bark Nan with a real name. When my ancestors chose this land to settle in, we stopped looking for it. Perhaps it would be better to let that secret be buried in the river of time. Speaking of which, Kwong and Hat far back raised his head and smiled at Lama Ayla, then asked, It seems that the Kwong Ba and the others still don't know the true identity of you fake tantric monks. Elas Lama nodded, waiting for the right time to let them know better. Kwong and Hat far back said, This is something I can understand. However, you have let them help you find back Bala, but you don't seem to tell them much information. We don't even know what it is. Lama Ala said, most of the material we have grasped has already been given to them, the remaining problem is to see how much they can understand and interpret, never mind, as for Lang Pepper, I myself did not expect it to still be effective today, besides, there are some things that we don't know, that's why I came to see you. Um, Kwong and Hat far back seem to have realized something, said, our family, being slandered, could not swallow this hatred, so we decided to find Edquist to wash away the injustice that the family had to do, there. Of course, being able to find treasures in the Four Directions temples, restoring the clan's prestige, and restoring the former splendor is also a very important cause. How about you guys? It was late at night, Kwong Lap was completely uninterested in the story of the two, he fell asleep with his ears closed, only the fire was still dancing tirelessly. Early the next morning, Yuyang woke up very early, only to see the outside scenery ravishingly beautiful, the air was fresh, 
The mountain lake looked like a picture. He did an exercise, breathing pure air, mentally refreshed, cannot help but praise that, if you stay here, you will definitely live a few more years. Yuyang heard Trak Mob Kwon Ba tell that the Dat Ma people are very frugal and simple. Life is so simple it is hard to believe. Adult men cut firewood to forge iron, while weaving and cleaning the house is the woman's job. The elderly can sit outside the door spinning yarn, if not able to knit a net, when it is too cold, it is too late to sit by the stove. In the past, children here were still educated. Most of them were left in the pasture with cows and sheep or freely playing with friends of the same age, growing up to get married and have children. So, day after day, when I heard that ten years ago, children here did not need to read to go to school, Yu Yang and Trong Lap not only did not feel pity for them, on the contrary, they showed great admiration. Yu Yang was enjoying the scenery, seeing Trong Lap also come out, he immediately said, Good morning. Zhang Lap said, gather, assemble, the teacher calls the assembly kia. The colleagues at the Bureau of Meteorology announced that the weather would not be suitable for climbing in the near future, and Lu Kan Nam told the team members that the villages would lead them to explore the mountains in the next few days, route, hoping to find a way up the mountain other than the one already occupied by wolves. For safety reasons, Everyone was still divided into three groups led by villagers familiar with the terrain, carefully avoiding the area where the wolves gathered, and went around the snowy mountains to take measurements. After a few days of working hard, even people like Trak Mok Kwong Ba feel a bit tired, it seems that they still have to strengthen their physical training. Not only that, they don't even have time to rest. Every day I return, I have to adjust and analyze the new routes to explore, and I still have to continue researching. Save the map marked by the experts. The direction of the mountain circuit is so great that it is not wrong, but the map does not mark the way up the mountain, this is also the basic reason why they have to work so hard. Lu Kan Nam told everyone, about this place, this mountain, besides the map, there is another proof. In historical documents, there are very clear records, Buddha statues and scriptures following Princess Van Than into Tibet in the past appeared for the last time in this Datmar district, so many years ago, the house the country conducted a survey in the mountainous area recently. However, at that time, there was no map to specify which mountain, and the technical conditions were not very complete, in the end the survey team lost all in this area, was the time Ma Bao mentioned when they first came here. Lu Kan Nam said, later, the state also organized a scientific survey team to come here to explore many more times, but for many different reasons, so in the end, it was still forced to give up. Yu Yang immediately thought of the guide Kwong and Hat far back that Captain Ho Duong mentioned, and whispered privately to track mob Kwong Ba that perhaps Lama Ala knew some things related to Kwong and Hat Fa. Oh, but until now I still haven't figured out how to ask him. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba was surprised and said, how else should I ask? Just ask directly, let me go find Master. Track Mok Kwong Ba found Lama Lama, immediately asked, Master, yesterday you and I had a match, did you recognize that point from his body or not? For example, that person's identity, background, for example. To be honest, I've been with him for more than half a year, always thought he was just an ordinary Tibetan, but yesterday, from his knowledge of the army of Light and Bo Bala, it can be seen that his status does not seem trivial at all. Lama Ala was a little surprised and looked at Trak Mok Kwong Ba. Obviously he did not expect him to bring me and Kwong and Hat Fa back so quickly together. However, last night's conversation with Kwong and Hat Fa back opened a lot of questionable knots in his heart, so the master also frankly answered, yes, I know the identity of Kwong and Hat Fabo. He is a member of the Lelong Nikak family, we call them the descendants of Bark Nan. Seeing that Trak Mok Kwong Ba completely did not understand, Lama Ala showed a calm smile, telling him to find a place to sit down, slowly explaining, this matter, usually someone who knows about the history of the clans in Tufan is easy to understand. Let me talk about the family first. 
The mighty though Fon dynasty lived on the Tibetan plateau for hundreds of years. In addition to the two great families of the Nuomthi and Vaithi, there were also many families that were respected through many dynasties, they were like the Duong family, General Music, General Tiat, which everyone is familiar with these days. The dynasty changed, the aristocracy was inherited from father to son, there were many clans that shared the honor and shame with Tho Fon. This is the family, each dynasty has several strong clans, I do not mention all here, but only about the Lelong Nikak family. As you already know, the Army of Light is the strongest fighting force established by King Tung Tung Kanbo. Later the subject of the Light Army is the Kwe Ba tribe, but before defeating Tuing Hung, do you know who are the subjects of this Army of Light? Track Mok Kwong Ba had vaguely guessed, how could it be? Lama Arla nodded, that's right, it is the Lelong Nikak family. Historically, they were also called Servants of Light, they were the predecessors of the Army of Light. After the Kwe Ba tribe was recruited as the main part of the Army of Light, the Lelong Nikak clan was transferred to another army, apart from that, they still took on the same mission as the Army of Light, Morning, which is also the bodyguard of the King of Tibet. It also means that, at that time, the Lelong Nikak clan held the same position as the Army of Light, they were the people closest to the Kwe Ba tribe. Also, I still remember Yuyang mentioned something yesterday, saying why did King Tang dare to use an army that is not directly loyal to him as a bodyguard, this Lelong Nikak family is one of them, of those reasons. This family directly swore to devote their strength to the King of Tibet, compared to the number of the bodyguards at that time, they were even more numerous than the Kwe Ba clans, presumably also playing a role in countering the Kwe Ba tribe, force balance. Therefore, when the army of light suddenly disappeared, this family also faced great danger. Lama Ala stopped talking, Trakmok Kwong Ba immediately wondered, can the army of disappearing light have anything to do with them? Lama Ala said, although the army of light is a secret army of the Thofen, it is not that no one knows, at least there are two clans, Nuongthi and Vai, who know the story. Moreover, at that time, the powerful families, holding the top secrets of the country, knew a little bit more. So, the secret as to why the Army of Light could become the strongest fighting force of the Turkic dynasty was still something the great clans aspired to see. After the Army of Light disappeared, the balance of power between the great clans was broken, with no force able to suppress them anymore, these clans yearned to possess the power of the Light Army, moreover, don't you forget that, with the Army of Light disappearing, there are all the treasures of the Tho Han dynasty in its full glory. With these two points alone, it was enough to make those powerful families dig three meters deep in search of any clues related to the Army of Light. And these clues, besides the two families of Nuongthi and Vi, who will be the first to be thought of. Track Mok Kwong Ba now understands, the Long Nikak family. Lama Ayla nodded, not wrong. They used to work in the same place as the Army of Light, and are the predecessors of the Kwe Ba tribe. In the eyes of outsiders, they certainly know a lot of hidden secrets that no one else knows. So, in the later war, their fate was like the Kwe Ba abandoned by the Army of Light, becoming the first target that the great clans wanted to deal with. The clans with a bit of strength, all want to get a clue about the Army of Light from the Lelong Nikak family. After many years of fighting, although the fighting strength of the Lelong Nikak clan was extremely high, in the end, they could not escape the tragic fate. However, the truth is that they were also completely unaware of the disappearance of the Army of Light, just unconsciously becoming the key to unlocking the treasure door in the eyes of outsiders. Track Mok Kwong Ba came to his senses and said, so it is. So in order to wash away their injustice, they had to find the Army of Light, and also join the ranks of those searching for Silver Bala. No wonder, after all, their family has been searching for nearly a thousand years now. Lama Ayla nodded, well, later the descendants of the Lelong Nikak family who survived the war were forced to change the names, live in exile or in seclusion. However, 
to remember their loyalty to the royal family and the dedication to the expansion of the Thofen dynasty, later generations called them descendants of the White Silver, meaning powerful martial artists, fighting strength is second only to the Army of Light. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, Then how did the master realize his fate yesterday? The Lama Lama smiled, This is simple. First you have to know, the histories of some clans are even longer than that of the Chufan dynasty itself, these clans all have their own emblems, emblems, and decorations that are unique to the family, clan family. At that time, just by seeing these special criteria, you could immediately recognize which family this belonged to, just like now when you see the logo of the construction bank, the industrial and commercial bank, you can recognize it, just that. I recognized the Lelong Ni Kak family's inscription on the handle of Kwong and Hat far back, but in fact, to this day, people still often see them. Seeing the skepticism on track Mok Kwong Ba's face, the Ala Lama said, During war, those clans are often completely annihilated, their coats of arms scattered all over the plateau, covered in the mountains, grassy shore. Later, when the nomads found them, history was forgotten, so people could not recognize who it belonged to, at what time, they immediately considered things that fell from the sky, as objects, bestowed by heaven, so the badges of that clan were immediately considered a symbol of good luck, kept as a protective amulet. Those family badges, are the same as the theme calm that people still see today. Of course, the citadel includes not only the family coat of arms, but also the shamans used by ancient religions. In addition, among the many strange patterns on the celestial continent, there are not at least the specialized patterns of certain clans, just to this day, I'm afraid no one will recognize them anymore. Quote. At this time, Yue Yang ran over and asked, Young Master Kuang Ba, Master, you too. Alas Lama asked, The talk is over, what's the matter? Yue Yang said, Young Master Kuang Ba, Professor Fung Tan wants you to come over and talk a little bit about the situation of the wolves the other day. Track Mok Kuang Ba stood up and asked, Haven't you told? Yue Yang scratched his head. The professor told us that it's not professional at all. Track Mok Kuang Ba laughed and strode away. Yue Yang in the back said, So, what did the Lama Lama say? Back in the house, Man Man and Trong Lap were arguing about something. Obviously she didn't believe what Trong Lap told him, Professor Fung Tan was entering data into the computer. Track Mok Kwong Ba had personally experienced the encounter with the wolves, and selected the main points, so he quickly helped Professor Fung Tan understand everything they encountered the day before. After listening to Track Mok Kwong Ba's story, Professor Fung Tan said, Obviously, wolves have migrated, but there is a difference with all migratory wolf packs that we have studied, I want to visit personally, close for a while. No, 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 it can't be. Professor Fung Tan didn't finish his sentence, but was stopped by Track Mop Kwong Ba and others. The danger coefficient was too large, but Professor Fung Tan did not give up so easily. In the end, Track Mop Kwong Ba had to say that if he wanted to go, he had to wait for the weapons and equipment to arrive first, then he had to consult. Lu Kan Nam, that made Professor Fung Tan temporarily put that idea aside. Trong Lap said, Ah, I was going to ask you yesterday, young master Kwong Ba, you said the other day, only in the migratory wolves can a wolf king appear, other packs can only have the first wolf, pack, wolf in command, what's the matter? Track Mok Kwong Ba looked at Professor Fung Tan and said, This is for the teacher to explain more clearly. Professor Fung Tan said, Do you know what training is? Zhang Li and Yu Yang shook their heads at the same time. Professor Fung Tan immediately explained, See, this is where the harm of not wanting to study is. Concentration and correction are collective wisdom. The nervous system of small individuals like honeybees or ants is very simple, when they are an individual with almost no intelligence. However, when the number of individuals reaches a certain number, there will automatically arise a form of collective intelligence, which can build complex nests, follow complex social rules, can at first glance, 
it's almost like a miniature human society, even more refined than humans, why is that? Yue Yang and Trong Lap shook their heads again, and Professor Feng Tan continued to explain, there is a problem here. One is a point, an infinite number of points connected together can form a line, two intersecting lines can form a plane, an infinite number of planes superimposed on each other can combine to form the stereoscopic space we now exist, here it is precisely the degree space that scientists often talk about, the spaces and heights are made up of spaces and low degrees. At the same time, scientists also think that the intellectual aspect is similar to this dimension, why are you so dumb? Well, you still don't understand, do you? Well, I'll say it a little more simply, imagine for a moment, if a light bulb is on or off, it can only show off or on, right? If there are a thousand light bulbs arranged in a square, then when turning on or off part of the light bulbs in them, won't they appear in different shapes? So do you understand, a honeybee is really a light bulb, it has no intelligence, is an individual with only a little survival instinct, but when the whole swarm of bees gather, they immediately become social animals, they have queen bee, have male bee, have soldiers to fight, some are in charge of young bees, some collect food. Then, appearing before our eyes, is a family representative full of wisdom. Yue Yang and Trong Lap understood a little, and began to nod. Next, Professor Feng Tan said, this type of collective wisdom is suitable for the vast majority of animal species, including our human ancestors, for the same reason, including wolves. When the wolves take the family as a unit, they are mainly hunting, the main concern of the wolf pack is just protecting the clan's territory and his position as a leader, making sure his clan has can continue to exist for a long time, although in the wolves there is a relationship of high and low social status, but wisdom is very limited. When they develop into a group of wolves, social relations are not only within the clan with each other anymore, at the same time, between the clans will also arise distinctions of social status, collective hunting. They also need closer coordination, more precise command maneuvers, but they still have one problem, which is the regional problem. Areas limit their range of activities, do not dare to leave their original survival situation before and after it is difficult to break through the low limit to generate collective wisdom. The ancients have a saying, read 10,000 books, travel 10,000 miles, in this era without electronic information, if you want to increase your knowledge, you need to travel everywhere, the same goes for wolves. Only on the way of migration can they meet creatures of different species, interact with wolves in other areas, can learn special hunting techniques, on the migration route, it is necessary to adapt to different survival situations, most importantly, the migratory wolves will continue to grow, when the number of wolves in the pack increases to a limit point, the whole pack of wolves will suddenly arise, producing the collective wisdom I just talked about, arrive. Professor Feng Tan took a deep breath and said, there is no conclusion in academia about this tipping point, in short, if the number of wolves increases to a relatively large base, the whole pack will appear, show a sky-splitting change. It must be known that, in the wolves themselves, various types of body language, hunting mechanism and social class have been developed, when they arise the phenomenon of collective wisdom, the wisdom of the whole family, the swarm will have a big jump. Experts have calculated, then, the intelligence and social form of wolves will be able to reach or exceed the civilized level of human slave society. In more colloquial terms, such as the migratory wolves that appear today, their intelligence index is even higher than that of Stone Age people, possibly reaching the civilization level of our country at that time. Shia dynasty, asterisk, or possibly even higher. In fact, Ancient human society also evolved through this form of collective intelligence into what we today call civilization. As it is often said, that man got his wisdom from work, which this is not entirely accurate, strictly speaking, it should be, people have wisdom from collective labor. Asterisk, this professor studies dogs so much that he is no longer sober. Collective intelligence is just one of many historical conditions for the formation of human civilization. 
So even though wolves have a high IQ like in the story, even surpassing humans, but not having two developed front limbs to be able to make and use wolf tools is still just dog. This high school biology textbook has already talked about it. Chapter 34, Glass Royalty 2, Dawn of the Snowy Mountain Seeing Yui Yang's doubtful expression, Professor Fang Sin smiled and said, I know you want to ask me, if the wolves could have evolved to the same level. If society is so high, why don't there appear werewolves? It's also a pity, why are there no werewolves today? That's I, they were one step behind, our ancestors advanced to collective wisdom first, it is the same civilization that people say today, while the wolves want to advance to a civilization. Civilization belongs to the wolf, history has not allowed it any more. You must know that the money for the appearance of migrating wolves is the years of famine. Without humans, they could have reached the maximum evolution, but unfortunately, humans have evolved before them. Think about it, when there are difficulties and hunger, people also have to face that situation. The wolves no matter how good they are, they can't be compared to humans who are as hungry as they are. In history, there have been times when wolves have caused havoc on a large scale, our ancestors have devoted all their strength to eradicating, now we understand. So the wolves can only stop at migrating wolves, not evolve one step further. But even so, in order to control a group of many wolves, balance the work in different aspects, it is also necessary to have a leader whose strategy, knowledge, and ability to act are all superior. Far from the other wolves, he is the wolf king, recognized by all the pack. Trong Lap said, so in the pack of wolves that we see. Professor Fung Tan shook his head, there is no wolf king in the pack of wolves you see there. The first is that the wolves are not large enough to generate collective wisdom, and have not reached the point where they can break through the intellectual barrier. Then, if there is a wolf king, its status is very supernatural, no need to search hard to identify it, just one look and you can see it right away. Well, of course, I've never seen it either, but the vast majority of experts have the same opinion. I think, with the feeling that this pack of wolves gives me and Kong Ba, Maybe they are a small part of them breaking away from a group of wolves that have produced collective wisdom, led by the leading wolves, and the target. The target and their plan is that we still need to conduct further observations to draw conclusions. Kuang Ba, how do you feel? Track Mop Kuang Ba nodded, I think so too. In the process of fighting between the wolves and the yak herds, not seeing a single commander, they divided into several large groups to deploy action. Professor Fung Tan said, that's right, did you say that when the wolf pepper finally sounded, there was a night emperor on the snowy mountain that responded to the howl of a wolf? Yui Yang nodded, that emperor is a snow elf, Uncle Kong and Hat far back said. Professor Fung Tan said, well, snowmen, snow elves, wild people, night emperors, the names are all there, but only the Harbar Enna people who live in the Himalayas and the residents here pronounce it, duh, just. I once heard a theory that the pronunciation of this, day emperor, was left by the Han people, the Ha Enna Bar people translated it, later it was translated into foreign countries, then it was translated backwards, back again. Yui Yang said, how can that happen? Professor Fung Tan smiled, you don't know why, in Dat Ma district there was once an ancient road connecting Dai Duang and Tho Fan, which is said to have been planned to be built by Princess Van Than. Through this road, straight to Thien Truck, um, outside the district, there is a stele inscribed in Chinese characters. It's also possible that we Han people have a lot of names, but in the history, we can't find a separate sign. We searched on a large scale, and finally found only in a journal of the Song Dynasty there was a poem by the Song Dynasty that did not have the author's name mentioned, the peak of the snowy mountain, there are nocturnal gibbons howling, the moon has just come out, wolf joins. Whether this word, night screams, is the word, night, that the Haenabar people translate the sound into, we can't know. Ancient Dao, Fian, Yui Yang was surprised and said, where did the official and Ma Bao mention it? Professor Fung Tan said, 
Well, that's it, that road has disappeared for a long time. There is a theory that it is the road built by Princess Van Than. There are also theories that it is the Extun Road that Princess has built, went to Tibet, but to this day, apart from a stone stele with Chinese characters engraved, it is not possible to find any historical documents, nor find any traces of that ancient road anymore. I guess it's probably because this road crosses the Great Snow Mountain, it's really difficult to walk, so it's been abandoned not long after using it. We just happened to hear about it when we came to Datmar district last time, right, Kwong Ba. Track Mok Kwong Ba nodded, ah, well, that word Knight Emperor in Ha Enna Ba means. The person who lives on the cliff, his train of thought flew far, far away, the Knight Emperor, the person who lived on the cliff, lived with wolves, the Kwe Ba tribe. Is there some kind of connection? That night, Track Mok Kwong Ba had a strange dream. In his dream, he came to a place like an arc on the moon's surface, in the middle of the mountain surrounded by a mirror-like lake, the moonlight dissolved in the lake water, the stars sparkled on the lake surface. On the shore of the lake, a group of people were sitting vaguely, they sang loudly, the lyrics were generous, sounding like a call from ancient times far away, making Track Mok Kwong Ba suddenly feel nostalgic, just wanted to come, near them, singing together. Around those people were many wolves, they crouched next to everyone, raised their heads to look up at the sky, also joined in that heroic husky song and howled when high and low. The unexpected howl of the wolf is very harmonious with the song, in addition to the sounds of insects, birds, and the wind, forming a chorus between heaven and earth. In that special space, Track Mok Kwong Ba felt unprecedented freedom, removed the shackles in his heart, threw away all the afflictions of the worldly place, the spirit was liberated, almost as if he wanted to follow the song, take off and fly high. Three days later, other than the area occupied by wolves, they really couldn't find any other way to the mountain, Captain Ho Duong was annoyed, even when talking normally, his mouth it's also very heavy as if scolding people. Track Mok Kwong Ba also brought Professor Fung Tan's thoughts to Lu Kan Nam, although she thought that surveying this group of wolves was not something they should be concerned about, but the road to the mountain that Captain Ho Duong had worked hard for. It's well worth a visit to find out. The only thing is, the comrades at the Bureau of Vision have not been able to calculate when the weather on the mountain is favorable, the weapon has to wait until the time to go up the mountain is determined to be delivered, no weapon. They also know what not to disturb those walls. Another few days passed, the survey was basically over. Every day, Lu Kan Nam let everyone practice carrying heavy loads at the foot of the mountain as a training to adapt to the environment. This period is much more pleasant than when going to explore the terrain, at least in the afternoon there is still half a day to rest. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba and his friends often go to Kwong and Hak Pu Bak's house, he and Professor Fung Tan have known Kwong and Hak Pu back before, it can be said, if it weren't for the headquarters located in Nala village, the guys were staying at his house. Track Mok Kwong Ba also asked about Kwong and Hak Fa Bak's family, seeing that he knew about it, Kwong and Hak Fa Bak was also not convenient to hide it anymore, nodded to admit it, in general, he said the same thing as with Lama Ayla. Captain Ho Duong still hopes that Kwong and Hat Fa Bak can guide him up the mountain, and although the distance to the snow-covered area is not a problem, in the snow-covered area, the situation will be like how, not up there can not say. Trong Lap and Yu Yang only come to play, these two guys love to play with Kwong Lap, especially Yu Yang, he really loves the snow-white mastiff dog, moreover, he understands this person's meaning. Tang Man also loved Kwong Lap very much, immediately fell in love with him when he met her, but did not understand why. Kwong Lap didn't pay attention to her, played a few times, or played with Yu Yang and Trong Lap, causing him to make fun of her. She was so nervous that her eyes turned red. Kwong Lap's relationship with Lu Kan Nam is also not very good, sometimes even bearing his fangs and claws at her, clearly intending to compete with this girl. As for Ba Tang and Lama Arahad when they arrived, it was strange to say that, since arriving in Nala village, 
Bartang often looked at the snowy mountains and the halo of dew on the top of the mountain and froze, sometimes even a bit dull, a very long time. But since that incident, everyone tried to avoid disturbing him, both hoping that Bartang would remember that, but also afraid that his old illness would recur. In fact, Yuyang also discovered that Trong Lap also had a similar situation, even when playing with Kong Lap, he could also see the guy staring blankly at the snowy mountain, not knowing what he was thinking anymore. The results of the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast were finally sent in, so the final decision on the date to go up the mountain has been made, now it's just a matter of the route. As soon as Vu Kue arrived, Professor Fung Tan and Captain Ho Duong were both anxious to go to the area of the wolves to check. Lu Kan Nam warned three or four times, reminding the team to try not to hurt the wolves. Anyway, the number of wolves in China's territory has already reached pitiful levels, about as many as the number of wild one-humped camels, or more than raccoons. Unexpectedly, they didn't have time to start yet, they received news from Kwong and Hat far back. People don't need to carry a lot of weapons to find them anymore, bringing measuring devices is enough. Seeing track mob Kwong Ba's group preparing to leave, Kwong and Hat far back said calmly. Well, why? Zhang Lap blurted out a question. Kwong and Hat far back said, they have already left, I saw them early this morning. Gone, where to go? This time, the one who got upset was Professor Fung Tan. Kwong and Hat far back shook his head, I don't know. I just woke up today to find the sheep in the barn, they've all returned, plus a few more lambs. Kwong Lap told me that he couldn't sense the smell of wolves anymore, so I had the courage to go check it out. Sure enough, they're all gone, the yak cows are gone too, there's nothing left. Let's go, quickly take me to see. Professor Fung Tan was so flustered that he was confused. Here, the person who has studied wolves for the longest time, the person who has the most desire to observe the living behavior of the wolves must include the first professor, such a good opportunity is so ungrateful to me, try to ask how he did it, no fuss. Professor Fung Tan didn't bring anything, just put on a laptop and dragged Kwong and Hat far back away. Lu Kan Nam instructed a few sentences, then everyone still brought some light weapons to chase behind. Captain Ho Duong half believed and half doubted, carrying a whole set of measuring equipment. When Track Mop Kwong Ba returned to the place where the wolves and yak cows fought, everyone's hearts rose up with a feeling of recovery. Track Mop Kwong Ba suddenly felt empty, as if he had just lost something, in fact, although the wolves made people feel terrible, he still wanted to see them again. The wolves had gathered at the back of another mountainside, where now there were only a few dumps of both wolf and yaks left, and the wolf's leftovers, all of them had moved away in mass, steep the cobblestone mountains do not leave footprints, so it is impossible to know which direction they have gone. Thinking of the fierce battle of wolves and cows yak track Mok Kwong Ba once told me, and their wit and wisdom, Professor Fung Tan kept shaking his head. Why don't you insist on coming first to have a look? So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. He carefully collected the remaining pile of wolf droppings, not seeing wolves can bring eye of dung to study. Captain Ho Duong used the measuring equipment, carefully explaining to Lu Kan Nam the route to the mountain that he outlined, as well as the issues that needed special attention along the way. When it came to the snow-blind area, there were a few times when he glanced at the Kwong and Hat far back phase. But Kwong and Hat far back deliberately stood at a distance, only following track mob Kwong Ba and Professor Fung Tan. Lama Ala saw that, and the corner of his mouth broke into a magical smile. The group left the gathering place of the wolves, when they were about to part, Kwong and Hat far back asked them when they would go to the snowy mountain, and track mob Kwong Ba replied, tomorrow. Kwong and Hat Far Back did not ask any more questions. Kwong La heard that Track Mop Kwong Ba was about to leave, so he bit the hem of his pants tightly, not letting him go. Track Mop Kwong Ba squatted down, hugged Kwong Lap's neck and said, Hey, Kwong Lap C, I promise, I will definitely come visit you, did I do it or not? 
Kwong Lap disgruntled shook his head. Track Mok Kwong Ba said again, This time, I promise you again, when I find that place, I will quickly come back to visit you, is that okay? You won't have to wait that long this time. Maybe, I'll bring you a real friend too. Kwong Lap, look at me, you're a good girl, aren't you? You know, I won't lie to you, this time, I'm going to find your king. Just wait patiently for me to come back, okay? Kwong Lap sounded like he half understood and half didn't, feeling sorry for himself and lowering his head, his nose was hoarse. Track Mok Kwong Ba had to advise and talk to accept it. Kwong and Hat Fu Bak took Kwong Lap with him to stand on the mountain slope watching Track Mok Kwong Ba's group leave. His face was very complicated. After a long time, he heard him say to Kwong Le, the gone, we're gone. Just come back. Returning to Nalap village, Captain Ho Duong immediately narrated in detail today's measurement and observation situation to everyone, pointing out dangerous situations that may appear and how to prevent natural hazards. As for carrying weapons to the snowy mountains, he did not agree very much, first of all because the equipment required to carry when climbing the mountain was already heavy, and moreover, the possibility of enemies appearing on the mountain. The snow mountain is very low, if someone could have detected it from a very long distance, moreover carrying weapons can lead to some natural disasters. Liu Kan Nam negotiated with everyone, then decided to still choose some light weapons to bring, it's better to prevent disaster before it happened, then she again instructed the team to go to bed early, tomorrow they will have a whole team, carrying heavy loads climbing the mountain. It's been a few days in Nala village, everyone is familiar with the villages. The people here are enthusiastic and hospitable, good at singing and dancing, heard that the group is about to leave, and intend to hold a farewell party, but Liu Kan Nam and Captain Ho Duong refused. Captain Ho Duong told Ma Bao, if you want to congratulate them, it's not too late to congratulate them when they return. Ma Bao thought to himself, if he went to the snowy mountain, I don't know if he could return or not. Resting in the village for a night, the next day before dawn, the group carried heavy backpacks on their backs to the top of the snowy mountain. At first, Captain Ho Duong thought that he could hire two people from Ha Enna Bar to carry the machinery, but the Ha Enna Bar people just heard that they wanted to go to Tu Tak Kiat Mak Mountain, which was scarier than Chomalungma Mountain, so no one would go. After that, they all said that this place was a cursed place by the devil, and anyone who went there could not come back alive. The team members had to camp on the mountainside for one night, the equipment plus weapons, really not light at all. After walking for more than an hour on the way up the mountain, but the sky was still not clear, Yui Yang said, why do you have to leave so early? Captain Ho Duong replied, I have calculated it carefully, at our current speed, we need to go at full speed to be able to cross the snow line before noon, there will be a temporary camp. Let us go to the top. Up there, it would take at least half a day to recover physically. Trong Lap said, It's not that serious, we climb straight up from a height of 5,000 meters above sea level, the snow line is at an altitude of about 6,000 meters, even if the mountain road is far, it is not difficult to it doesn't take half a day to recover physically. Ba Tang looked at the night sky, the full moon had not yet set, the clouds were as thin as sand, and calmly said, in the afternoon there will be a strong wind. Liu Kan Nam also said, yes, the comrades at the Bureau of Meteorology said, the afternoon winds are very strong, if you cannot reach the predetermined temporary campsite before noon, the afternoon climb will cause we expend more stamina. Tang Min dubiously repeated, is the wind strong? They have never experienced the wind on the snowy mountain, what kind of wind can be called a high wind, they do not have a clear concept. Captain Ho Duong said, Little girl, this is not death of the west wind valley, it is called death of the west wind, the whole mountain circuit towards the northwest is several hundred kilometers long, surrounded by the wind. West, those gusts of wind over the mountains, on the other side can encounter the low pressure of the plateau, then roll back, completely different from the downhill wind on ordinary glaciers, that is absolutely the upwind. 
that slope, which we still call a tornado, is quite similar to the spinning drum in a washing machine which is a type of whirlwind in the horizontal direction. The wind blows from the bottom to the top, it is difficult to stand even if you want to stand, even if you set up a tent like a cocoon, you will not be able to resist that wind, unless you can reach the predetermined temporary camp. In time, otherwise it is very likely that right at the foot of the mountain we would have been blown to pieces. At the moment, still at the foot of the snowy mountain, the whole group is trying their best to cross the grassy slopes, the moon is still and the stars are dim, the color of the sky is getting brighter, everyone's spirit is gradually getting better. The cool morning wind blows in the face, refreshing the spirit, not especially refreshing, taking a deep breath, light mint in the mouth, cool to the waist, the sound of insects hidden in the grass does not stop, sometimes high, sometimes low, very melodious, sometimes like a warm, passionate harp, sometimes like a high-pitched zither. To the south of the mountain range, the stars are still not completely gone, the starlight is sparkling like jewels, a bright moon shows half its face in the clouds, slowly descending behind the western peak, just right. When it looks like a pearl inlaid on the top of the mountain, the gentle moonlight reflects on the snowy mountain like the light of the universal God shining on the vast earth. At that moment, white is the snow on the mountain, bright white is the moon in the cloud. Halfway through the mountain, the moon had already set to the west, and instead, brilliant clouds appeared in the eastern sky. Behind the mountain range is bright, where the horizon is separated, a clear arc of light, clouds of seven colors are extruded, concentrated on the rolling mountain range, like a hundred species of birds gathered together to worship the birds. Phoenix, those bands of light changed very unusually, sometimes like riding a dragon in the wind and in the dew, sometimes like a carp crossing the sea, sometimes like a falcon catching a rabbit, or a heavenly horse, red like a ruby, white like a goat's fat pearl, blue like the blue sky, green like a vast grassland, it is a natural work of nature, making people nostalgic and forgetting the way back, the mood is also clear, much more transparent and relaxing. In those brightly colored clouds, the pink rose slowly rose, at first like a shy little girl, raising her heart to hide half of her face, revealing only a small part of her face, the color was red, embarrassed, and didn't dare to go out. Everyone couldn't help but stop walking, standing in the middle of the mountain, waiting for the sun to rise, that mood, as if waiting for a chick to break its eggshell, was full of joy and excitement like when witnessing a new life coming into this world. The newly emerging rose is not dazzling, the light is soft and gentle like jade, the divine light is all collected inside, but it contains infinite power. It slowly tried to rise high, little by little, a tray of blood jade slowly formed among the lofty peaks, the clouds in all directions gathered to the court-like stars surrounding the moon, jubilantly rejoicing to congratulate the source of all things in heaven and earth once again appeared. Finally, that rose rose strongly, like a cucumber dropping its stalk, the young bird broke the eggshell, completely escaping the horizon formed by the undulating mountains, like a bird's wings escaping a cage, soaring high, the rising speed of the sun also gradually increased, just in the moment when the bright light had covered the vast earth, even the divine snow mountain trembled slightly at that majesty. The devout ground bowed its head in submission, the winds that were freely raging between the mountains suddenly calmed down, a warm feeling enveloped each person's body, causing a little fatigue and all the unpleasant melancholy in the body, consciousness disappears. It is the source of light that created all beings, it is the source of all forces, it is the true lord of this whole system. People can't understand, this scene of the sun on the snowy mountain is different from other places, why does it make my mood so flustered, the feeling of impulse just wants to cry and kneel down to worship where does it originate from. For a moment, the heavens and the earth were all silent, only a bright halo of light was attentively observing everything it radiates, there is no difference between right and wrong, there is no right or wrong, it has existed since time immemorial and forever. It still burns like that later on, for it, human is just a kind of being on this vast earth, also humble and small, 
just a parasite that lives on the body of its fellow human beings, it, the earth. Silence for a long time, no one said anything, everyone's mood is different, there are heroes, there are shyness, there is respect, there is low self-esteem. With an unusually complicated mood, the Ala La Lama was the first to turn, Trak Mok Kwong Ba and Duong Man were still standing there dumbfounded. Lu Kan Nam coldly issued an order, continue to advance. Asterisk, it is a pity that this time Lu Kan Nam's team missed the opportunity to shorten their journey to find back Bala. Chapter 34, Glass Place 3, the gate of hell Captain Ho Duong turned around, didn't take a few steps, but suddenly opened his eyes wide, looked up at the top of the mountain without uttering a word. Trong Lap standing next to him also looked up, only to see on the snowy cliffs, on the mountain slopes like a giant spotless white jade, suddenly appeared a red silk-like blood, no different from the upper belt. The white dress of the goddess of the snow mountain, outstanding but strangely beautiful, the red color as if it wanted to drip blood, and even covered up a few strange and mysterious parts. Trong Lap pointed to the top of the mountain and shouted, Look! In Hin Kia, what is that? Yue Yang also exclaimed in surprise, Just now, what's wrong, what's going on? Are you trying to get the clouds to pass? Tang Min shouted, So beautiful! It's so beautiful, this color, this color is really, Professor Fung Tan said, it is not possible that no matter how close the clouds, clouds and snow are. How come? How could it be? Captain Hu Duong now spoke. Blood snow, snow red like blood, that's blood snow. This time it was really bad to go out. As soon as they heard, snow blood, everyone was shocked. Blood snow and strange clouds, clouds like flags, are also strange scenes rarely seen in the high snow mountains, but the meanings are different the white veins like a harder scar for a symbol of good luck. Blood and snow implicitly refer to an accident, considered by Tibetans to be a bad omen. Sometimes in the middle of the mountain, in the middle of the white snow, suddenly a blood-red halo appeared, people called it blood snow, but they almost couldn't see it anymore, such a thing only Trak Mok Kong Ba and the others have only heard of, but have never seen it with my own eyes. Explained from a scientific point of view, this blood snow is probably like a rainbow or an illusion, belonging to the type of optical refraction phenomenon, and why does this phenomenon appear in the middle of the snow layer, and at the same time every time it appears? It is often accompanied by destructive natural phenomena such as avalanches, temporary hurricanes, and so far there is no proper explanation. Captain Ho Duong suggested, blood snow appears, the weather will change. I feel, we should return to the village at the foot of the mountain, choose another time to reach the top more secure. He turned to Lu Kan Nam, whose back was turned to him, and asked, how? Lu Kan Nam turned around, shook his head slightly, and said firmly, this time we have to reach the top, the opportunity is only once. It is impossible not to think broadly that in this area affected by the westerly winds, Every year from the beginning of May to the middle of Chon is the rainy season, the strong southeast monsoon will cause prolonged heavy rain, clouds everywhere. Ice and snow avalanches are impermanent, the climate is very harsh. Around mid-November to mid-February next year, it is controlled by the northwest cold air current, the temperature can drop to minus 60 degrees Celsius, the average temperature is about minus 40 degrees Celsius to about minus 50 degrees Celsius, the highest wind speed can reach 90 meters per second. From the beginning of March to the end of April is spring, the transitional season from the monsoon to the rainy season, and from the beginning of Chon to the end of October is autumn, the transitional season from the rainy season to the windy season. During this period, relatively good weather can appear, so that being said, if we can't get to the top this time, we'll have to wait another year, neither the state nor we ourselves can't wait that long. In addition, the information of the Bureau of Meteorology is very clear, recently the atmospheric cloud layer is very peaceful, probably will not gather near this mountain range, asterisk, this is the best opportunity and also the only opportunity, our best. Although it is said that there are strange omens, 
The way forward is not clear, but we cannot risk this. Trong Lap also voiced support. It's okay, there's not a time when we don't take risks. Captain Ho Duong looked at Liu Kan Nam's back and thought to himself, surely there is such a thing that can't last any longer. Unexpectedly, after only going for two more hours, the wind on the mountain slope suddenly became stronger, like a retaining wall in front of the team, blocking the progress of the team members. Yue Yang hurriedly shouted, Isn't it supposed to be windy until the afternoon? Why is it here now? Captain Hu Yang shook his head. Blood snow, this is blood snow. Liu Kan Nam said, If we continue to advance like this, we are afraid to reach the temporary camp. Our physical strength has already been exhausted. We cannot continue to climb to the top tomorrow. Is there any way to do it? Or not, Captain Ho. Captain Ho Duong said, The second option that we decided last night, where is the rest of the temporary garrison? Liu Kan Nam faced the strong wind, spread the map on the ground, pressed a stone over it, you see. Captain Ho Duong looked at the map and said to Liu Kan Nam, using satellite navigation, with the help of colleagues from the Department of Meteorology and the Department of Geology, we must circumvent this wind. On the snow line, climbing would be ten times more difficult than now, there's no point in wasting stamina here like this. Along the way, Liu Kan Nam used satellite navigation to guide him, and at the same time kept in touch with the outside world by mobile phone. This area near the Himalayas has such a good point, satellite coverage, cell phones with signal, can keep in touch with the outside world. Finally, with the help of satellite navigation systems, cartographers, meteorologists, and geologists, everyone was able to locate a spot with relatively weak wind potential, in a crevice to the south of the mountain. This was originally a flat piece of land, but in the middle it was like being scooped up by some giant with a spatula. The area was not very large, the whirlwind passed over the ravine, at least it could be built, stable camp, this was their second temporary garrison. Their tents are specialized silkworm tents in the polar regions, at first glance like half a silkworm lying horizontally on the ground. This type of tent has ten bolts inside, and four additional reinforcing cables on the outside, making it very firmly fixed, regardless of the wind blowing in any direction. More importantly, it uses a reinforced thin plate material consisting of two layers of air-filled honeycombs, plus a silkworm shell exterior, making the tent able to withstand normal rolling and avalanches. In the polar environment, strong winds can blow rocks as big as a cutting board to roll everywhere, the tents often hit and are immediately punctured, only this type of silkworm tent can support. In Antarctica, China's scientific survey station also has the shape of a silkworm like this, but to increase the usable area, the survey station has been built in like an iron barrel half buried under the bottom, more underground. The tent is relatively low, you have to bend over, bend your back to get in, like getting into a large sleeping bag, usually a tent can sleep four people, but want to start a fire to cook rice or do other things, must go out. They built a high pressure cooker next to the ravine, this place is very high above sea level, the air pressure is low, without using a high pressure cooker, it is impossible to cook food, even boiling water can't be boiled. After having a quick lunch, the team members began to be busy again, they had to observe the measurement of wind direction, wind speed, dissolution of the cloud layer, topographic observations, and determination of the route of the day. Then, check the melting snow, observe the surrounding environment and the vegetation growing on the land. Their squads received help from various parties, so while Liu Kan Nam was in contact with the outside, they also asked him to help monitor climate change and conditions on the field. Now that they were camping in the middle of the mountain, they had also prepared to measure and observe the weather and geographical conditions in order to fully prepare for the next day's journey to the top, so it was convenient to accept the invitation. Wind direction, southeast to west, wind uphill. The wind speed, 15 meters per second, is picking up speed. Temperature, minus 2 degrees Celsius, past noon the temperature will continue to drop. 
Depressurization, 56.466 kilopascals, 1 kilopascal equals 0 0.01 at, so depressurization there is only half the standard condition. The surface vegetation, can now see the snow lotus flower, the three flowers of the phoenix and the chrysanthemum, there are also some of the unknown jasmine plants. Currently, we are under the snow line, this location is in the frozen soil layer, the soil samples have been taken, next we'll measure the ability to escape, the catalytic activity, the amount of microorganisms, organisms, the amount of organic carbon minerals, the amount of protein, the acidity and alkalinity. Above the snow line, the naked eye can estimate about 3 kilometers into the snow cover, 5 kilometers into the snow blind coverage. It is still unclear what the situation on the top of the mountain will be like. The snow fog is constantly pushing downwards, and in the afternoon it is estimated that it may descend another 500 meters. What is the quality of water? Under the guidance of experts, the data was reported. The pictures around the body were captured by Professors Fung Tan and Yuyang using video recording devices, temporarily unable to use wireless transmission, only after descending the mountain can they be sent. Busy all day, until the sun almost set down the western mountain range, people completed the basic investigation work. At this time, the wind speed has increased to 22 meters per second, the temperature has dropped to minus 15 degrees, but this is just the vicinity below the snow line, the team members are at least mentally prepared. Ready for the next day's journey to the top. The wind in the ravine is relatively light, there is a warm fire, after dinner, the team sits around the fire. Lu Kan Nam announced to everyone, according to information from colleagues at the Bureau of Meteorology, tomorrow the weather will continue to be clear, no clouds will affect our actions this time. In the surrounding area, wind speed and wind direction are the same as today. Everyone, have a good night's rest, success or not depends on this time. However, we still do not know the situation inside the snow-covered area, which is also the biggest danger we face. Feeling a bit heavy and stuffy, Captain Ho Duong, who has a lot of experience in leading the team, exhorted everyone, it's rare for everyone to gather like this, let me wish everyone success tomorrow. Go to the top of the mountain first. Come on, everyone, let's sing a song. Everyone congratulates me. I'll catch up, I'm sure everyone knows this song. The air in the camp immediately became lively. Most of the people present today have experienced the same tribulation, coexistence and death, leading each other to crawl out of the arms of death again and again, each one clearly understands and holds firmly to the belief that, regardless of there were many dangers and hardships in the past, no matter how many obstacles they would encounter, they would time and time again crawl out of the arms of death. Captain Ho Duong opened, Duong Man was also very talented in art, singing and dancing were all very good, Track Mok Kwong Ba's voice was unexpectedly very attractive, both Trong Lap and Nyak Duong clapped their hands to praise, messed up. Even those who had never been known to the arts like Lama Ayla were mobilized to stand up, sing a Sanskrit sutra, only Ba Tang sneered coldly, standing alone at the door. The ravine looked up at the snowy mountain. Captain Ho Duong told everyone about his experiences when doing scientific surveys, his voice was inspiring, his facial expression was also very lively, to the point of attraction, everyone held their breath and listened attentively. Where is the laughter that makes everyone burst into laughter? Yui Yang had heard these stories before, and when he noticed that Ba Tang was standing alone at the mouth of the ravine, he sneaked out of the fire and asked him, what's wrong? Mr. Ba Tang, didn't you go over and talk to everyone? Ba Tang smiled coldly, I like being here alone, you don't have to worry about it. Yui Yang said, seeing the snowy mountain, do you remember something? Ba Tang shook his head, no. That year when we crossed this western wind strip, we all walked above the snow line, the wind and snow were hazy, we couldn't tell the direction, we couldn't see anything except the snow mountain. Oh, Yue Yang knew that Ba Tang was all alone, preparing to return to everyone's side by the fire, when suddenly he heard Ba Tang say, fog. 
Yuyang raised his head to look. Fog covered the mountain peak. It looked like a giant mushroom, and the two secondary peaks on either side were at least slightly obscured, so he mumbled and asked, What's wrong with the fog? Ba Tang asserted, The fog is receding. Ah, isn't it? Yue Yang said in surprise, The wind blows stronger in the evening, the fog has to be bigger, right? Ba Tang shook his head, I've been here observing for half an hour, it's true that the fog is receding. I think, by midnight tonight, there will definitely be an unexpected harvest. Yue Yang quickly reported this picture to Lu Kan Nam. Lu Kan Nam and Professor Fung Tan, Captain Ho Duong negotiated for a while, felt that this possibility was also possible, so they immediately arranged for the two young guys, Yue Yang and Trong Lap to rest, and prepare to carry out the mission. Close to midnight, even Lama Allah also entered the tent to enter Samadhi. At midnight, Lama Lama woke up the two people, then went out of the observation tent together. The bright moon hung in the middle of the sky, the mountain wind was cold, the snow mountain that was covered by the fog unexpectedly lifted the thin veil that covered its face, revealing its original face. The three of them sucked in a cold breath, the real face of that snow mountain was as fierce as a devil, indeed, not ashamed of the name of the goddess Tu Tat Mac, the two dynasties and the rectitudes merged into one. There are three slopes in total that can be peaked, the slope of each route is about 75 degrees or more, making the whole Tu Tat Mac snow mountain look like an ancient bell. In the middle of the mountain, a giant ice blade licked across, biting all three roads, and at the same time, influenced by the year-round gusts of wind, it was cut to pieces, the ice crevices were like knife marks, slashed horizontally and vertically, dark and bottomless, wanting to get to the top of the mountain, you have to cross that interlaced ice rift area. The strong wind blew the snow that was in the middle of the mountain, billowing and blowing in the sky, but the wind also caused the snow on the top of the mountain to pile up like a porch, where the thickest snow was like a high mushroom canopy that rose above, forming a mountain. The bell knob looks like a human head. Under the gloomy moonlight, the whole snow mountain was like a cloaked ghost, each pile of snow was its huge open mouth, and this mouth could be closed at any time. Between the area of interlaced ice crevices and the mushroom-like snow on the top of the mountain, there was a bare cliff, just looking at it, it was full of jagged rocks, the surface looked like a dry field, every now and then there with a large rock was blown up by the wind, it was not known from a distance where it was thrown. The three of them looked at each other in turn, no one said a word, and in the end, only Yu Yang exclaimed, Can you climb this mountain? Lama Ayla shook his head, not to mention other, just those cracked ice rifts alone, without the use of tools, it is basically impossible to cross. And all those piles that have been piled up, even the rocks are blown back and forth with a rumbling noise, how can that terrifying west wind pass? Even if we can overcome it, there is still a pile of snow like a mushroom hat on the top, let alone talking loudly, afraid that a little bit of strong footsteps will be enough to make it fall, then it is it's a snowfall, not an avalanche. Trong Lap adjusted his camera lens, bit his lip and said, all three roads have to go through the ice crevices and the westerly winds, while the snow on the other mountain top can be slightly better on the southern and northern slopes, just a little more. It's scary, it's scary, no wonder no one has ever climbed this mountain from the Chinese border. Yu Yang said, there is another very strange point, why does the snow melt so late at night? Why is the temperature too cold? Trong Lap shook his head, I don't know, I'll ask Ba Tang tomorrow. The Lama said, have you written it all down? Let's just go back to rest, tomorrow let them see these pictures again, everyone thinks the same way. Barely, oh, early the next morning, when everyone stepped out of the tent, the fog and snow on the top of the mountain had not yet gathered, and still faintly could see the crevices in the ice. Looking at the pile of photos and films taken by Trong Lap, no one could say a word. Even someone with rich polar experience like Captain Ho Duong found this to be extremely difficult, faced with such wide ice rifts as countless giant gaping mouths, he basically route cannot be determined. 
Yue Yang turned to Ba Tang and asked, Brother Ba Tang, how did you know that the snow would melt on a blind night? Ba Tang said, I don't know, I just draw conclusions based on long-term observations, why in the end I don't know. Captain Hu Duang and the others didn't say that this ability is possible, maybe they know the reason. Yue Yang looked suspiciously at Captain Ho Duang. He then nodded, we think that the snow fog is not only snow, but also real fog. Yue Yang exclaimed in surprise, impossible, on the top of the snowy mountain, it rains, and the standing water freezes into ice, where does the real mist come from? Captain Ho Duang said, we think like this, if it is a place where a group of people lived, there must be a source of water, the snow on this snowy mountain can be melted to solve the water problem, after that, there is a relatively flat ravine, the temperature in the ravine is much higher than on the surface of the snowy mountain, during the day the sun shines in to make the water vapor rise, up to the surface of the snow mountain can be encountered again, not cooled, thus forming a dense haze. In the evening, the temperature drops, no more steam rises, the fog naturally dissipates. The whirlwind of the westerly wind blew the snow into mushrooms like that, so the snow fog wasn't really visible. The official Lu Kan Nam thinks the same way as I do. Lu Kan Nam nodded, now that the previous situation is clear, the discussion here will not yield any results, we will go there and then analyze it specifically based on the specific situation. To avoid the front wind, we will climb up from the southern ridge, if we really can't get up, we will climb up from the mountain valley clinging to the ice. Early in the morning, because the pressure is not affected by the rotation of the earth, the wind is indeed much weaker during the day, but still very strong in general. The members of the team borrowed the wind to help, the speed of climbing the slope was faster than usual on the mountain road, and they barely crossed the snow line. On their way across the south side of the mountain, they discovered another ravine. This slot is much larger than the ravine where they stayed last night, the outside seems to have formed a very monstrous loop of wind, each time only a little breeze blows inside. But what made the members of the group stop to take pictures, with the two huge many legs in that ravine, the banners fluttering in the wind. Manny Mound, which is piled up with countless white rocks, can be said to be the only man-made structure on this mountain, the prayer stones at the bottom have been weathered more than half, how long does it take to make the rock was weathered by such a weak wind? The top prayer stones are still shining with new red paint, proving that there are still people here to worship. What is even more surprising is that on those prayer stones are not engraved with the usual six characters of the great mantra, but are ancient Tibetan symbols, probably not even the person who carved them. I already know what these symbols mean, but they still engrave with utmost precision. So, in the eyes of this particular climbing team, countless white rocks piled up into two huge many mounds, each of which was engraved with signs conveying the message, whoever walks through the door hey, all hope must be given up. Asterisk, reality in our country has proved that it is impossible to completely trust the Bureau of Vision. Chapter 34, Glass Place 4, Ice Rift. The person who understands Western culture, Trakmok Kwangba, immediately understood where the gate of hell that Wang Do cried out was in the end. He didn't know if this was a clever coincidence or a miracle, only that now, standing in this place, he felt it deeply. Looking up, behind the door of hell, a crack in the ice like the entrance to a dark place, countless demonic beasts opened their mouths wide, waiting for the souls to be bitten to fall, the mountain wind made noises, howling sound like a demon roaring, making people tremble in fear, turning around to look back, only seeing the undulating mountains, exuding a seductive beauty like a lady under the gentle moonlight, the landscape is iridescent with a green color mixed with silver like a jewel. All over the sky, stars mingled with the moon dancing and singing. He immediately had a feeling, how peaceful this place is, only the wind coming from heaven is caressing next to him, so gentle as to make people just want to fall into their mother's lap. Standing in front of the hell gate, facing the two ends of life and death, Trakmok Kwangba adjusted his clothes, his eyes were as steadfast as steel towards the deep hell, 
silently saying, The door of hell, here I come. Lama Allah pointed to the pattern below the many stone inscriptions. This is the typical pattern of the Lalong Nikak family. Trong Lap happily exclaimed, It also means, this is the path only Uncle Kwong and Hat Fubak knows, we are not going wrong. Professor Fung Tan said, only the rocks on the top ten floors have patterns, the rocks below, whether written or carved, are slightly different, that is to say, the La family. Long Nikak discovered this place over a hundred years ago. He glanced at the ice-filled area behind the door, and muttered, but, this road up the mountain, how to get past the broken ice area. Come over here and see, everyone thinks this is a... Yui Yang also made a surprising discovery. Captain Ho Duan quickly ran to the guy, unconsciously raised his hand to stroke his beard, uttering a voice, Oh. Professor Fung Tan also came over, immediately squatted down and said in a strange way, How is that possible, eh? Only saw where Yu Yang was squatting, also in the middle of the other hell's door, on the hard floor there were countless relatively shallow chisels, obscured by messy rocks, but a closer look will reveal it is not difficult to recognize the steps the ancients carved to go up the mountain. This is a road, a road clearly visible before everyone's eyes. Yuyang said, Could it be, we have discovered the ancient road connecting Daiduan with Tu Fan? Professor Fung Tan shook his head, No, the ancients couldn't even climb this dangerous snow mountain. Road the ancient Tao is definitely going through the mountains where the mountains meet, it is impossible to cross the mountain and go like this. However, if it has been carved into stone steps, then it proves that many people have passed through here, so it is necessary to make a road, this road goes straight to that ice crack, who would go this way? A. Hey. Captain Ho Duang also shook his head, completely not understanding. Without too much time to discuss, they only stopped for a moment in front of the doors of hell and then hurried off to the north. After passing through the doors of hell, the wind was noticeably stronger, no longer the climber, but the wind pushing people forward, pushing the whole group straight into the depths of the murky hell. Passing the area that was licked by the ice tongue, everyone had reached the bottom of the mountain, the slope suddenly increased, the wall was already standing in front of the group like a giant, Going up that 75 degree slope was amazing, different from climbing on a vertical surface at all. The high wall standing in front of them at this time is very similar to the second ladder, asterisk, on Chomolungma Peak, but the height must be several dozen times higher than that second ladder. Trong Lap whistled, oh wow, okay, now it's time to officially start climbing. Tang Min asked in a low voice, Captain Hu, why did you choose this path? Captain Ho Duong smiled, I know you are thinking, do you mean, the slope of the cliff on the other side is lower, it seems easier to climb, right? Tang Man nodded, Captain Ho Duong shook his head and said, there is a lot of ice and snow on the other side of the mountain, the settlement can be deeper than human height, and underneath there are huge cracks that can't be seen at any time. Any avalanche can happen, this Captain Lake has been playing with snow and ice for many years, he won't choose the wrong path for you. You have to know one thing, if you want to go to the snowy mountain, you can only go on the mountainside, you can't go into the valley somewhere. Captain Ho Duong took out a stone chisel and a handful of hooks and said to everyone, come on, let's go up there. Cliff climbing is a modern outdoor sport, now more and more people are familiar with this subject, but wearing 30-40 kilograms on their backs, Climbing cliffs in an undiluted environment at an altitude of 6,500 meters above sea level is not something the average rock climber can do. The members finished preparing the tools, then stretched out ten fingers to find a climbing point on the bear cliff, buried the chisel, tied the main rope, the keychain, then tightened the seat belt, opened a path, on a steep cliff at an altitude of 6,500 meters above sea level. The non-diluent environment and extremely low temperature are the biggest test for the team members. During special training they learned how to make their own breathing in this situation achieve the same effect as in the area of absolute low altitude, 
and how to take advantage of the extremely fast movements of the knuckles to promote blood circulation, resist the cold. Climbing the wall like this is not a difficult problem for track Mok Kong Ba, but everyone knows, the test that is much more difficult is still in the front, in the area of the ice slot, ice and mix after that. Death of the West Wind. Climbing up about 200 meters, the slope gradually decreased, but still had to rely on protective equipment to move forward smoothly, everyone climbed in one breath, straight to the front of the ice crack without encountering danger, too big. At this moment, a whole river of ice crisscrossed with cracks stretched out before their eyes, looking like greedy beasts, no matter how many souls could fill their bottomless stomachs. This rift is an entire glacier that has been eroded by the wind, which looks like skin cracked by the cold, first with three longitudinal grooves, then an uneven load bearing that divides the fault floor is horizontal, the cracks all form a zigzag line like the veins of a leaf, everywhere is a gaping gap. Those cracks are influenced by the mountain wind, getting wider every day, there are many places that can no longer be considered cracks. Under the influence of various forces, this place has formed countless icicles towering up into the sky, which is one of the rare sight on the snowy mountains, the forest of ice towers. Standing at the bottom edge of the glacier, looking at this huge wind-cut glacier full of scars, what was the scene that appeared before their eyes at that time? Just like a large tofu block, all four phases are complete, but the middle part is stirred up by someone using an egg beater, three main cracks are hundreds of meters wide, Below it drops into a forest of ice towers, along those main cracks, the smaller cracks reaching out in all directions like the veins of a leaf, an entire glacier is in a state that can collapse and break at any time. Although the cracks on the side of the river can be stepped through, the surface of the glacier is as smooth as glass, even if you add claws to walk on the ice, it cannot guarantee you can walk steadily, let alone walk, into the central area, the larger the cracks, the human strength cannot jump through. Some rifts also cut the glacier into ice-shaped cliffs with large heads and small feet, above the ice surface several hundred square meters wide, below it is as small as the back of a bee, the wind blowing through also makes people feel. It wants to collapse, let alone stand there. There are also icicles that have fallen, but do not stay horizontal, but put up on other icicles, like gates or like stacked dominoes. Seeing this knife-cut glass wall, Lama Lama suddenly remembered the acid lake they had to jump over on Haiyan Kong Island. As for Track Mok Kong Ba, Trong Lap and Captain Ho Duong, at the same time think of the glacier cave in Ka Ka Te Lai, two things that are extremely similar but completely different. Glacier caves connect with large cracks in the ground, and eventually go straight to the underground stream, and this size is all cracked ice, Below is a layer of soil that is harder than iron, from high altitudes. Falling down like this is like jumping off the roof of a tall building. Laser rangefinder shows, the deepest rift is about 150 meters, this is also the thickness of this ice-covered area. At first glance this area of interlaced ice fracturing is not very far, but actually there are several kilometers of road, such a distance that has to cross over countless rifts, it is really impossible to do. Standing in front of those gaps, each person secretly thought, how to overcome now. Those icicles are hard and brittle, if you use a rope to hang on to the swing, unfortunately, the icicles will break, underneath are all sharp spikes like spearheads, falling down, you will be pierced, all over people. And even if the icicles are strong enough to hold the hook, there are still sharp icicles like knives next to them, it's a strange thing if they collide head-on without being split in half. Worse still, there are some cracks the gap between the two banks is very large, exceeding the size of the hook length. This is what I think. Captain Ho Duong, who was sad, couldn't think of a way to cross this place, heard that sentence and immediately became angry, immediately opened his mouth to scold people, but turned his head. Look. It turns out that the person who just spoke up was Track Mok Kwong Ba, he had to be patient and not respond anymore. Track Mok Kwong Ba pointed to the opposite side and said, Below is the eastern layer of soil, 
but the last crack and the upper part have formed a nice slope, just find a big enough crack, you can slide directly. It's okay to go down to the east floor. First we slide down below the crack, there will be a pine path, then go through this fracture area, pass through the forest of ice towers, finally can cling to the ice cliff and go to the top, I, I think it's much safer than walking on the surface of the glacier. Professor Fung Tan protested, no, who knows what is like under the fissure. If you're stuck in the middle, you can't go up, you can't get down, it can be troublesome. Captain Ho Duong smiled bitterly and said, I know what you mean, Kuang Ba, do you think these melting ice caves are similar to the ice caves that we went into in Ka Ka Te Lai last time? Or not? It is true that Track Mok Kuang Ba had this thought, now that he heard Captain Ho Duong say that, he also guessed that he had misunderstood somewhere. Captain Ho Duong shook his head and said, the ice cave and the ice cave sound only one word apart at first, but the difference is actually huge. Ice caves are caused by many years of melting ice on the mountain body, carving out caves inside the mountain, and here is the melting ice cave on this glacier, its subject is the glacier affected by the hot air, the melting phenomenon itself occurs, the inside is full of cracks, the abyss is everywhere. With the ice wall upside down, there's basically nowhere to find the road and put your feet down, people can't walk in it. Min Min panicked and asked, so, what to do now? The Yuyang and Trong Lap groups did not make an appointment, but they turned their eyes to the Lama Lama. The old monk pondered for a long time, then said, the area of this glacier is too big, even if I cross, there is no way to bring everyone across, moreover. He looked at a large backpack full of essential thing when climbing the mountain, with a heavy face said, I'm not sure I've made it through. At this moment, Track Mop Kwong Ba exclaimed, Everyone, can you be quiet for a bit? All eyes turned to him, only seeing Track Mop Kwong Ba focusing all his attention on listening. Listen to that voice, and then say to the rest, I seem to hear Kwong La. Yang looked up and looked around all four sides, on the snowy mountain a white area, not seeing anything. In the ravine some distance away, Three tall figures also stood by the glacier, wearing a white full-body chemical protective suit, completely merging with the snowy mountain, even approaching it. I couldn't tell if it was a person or a few snow-covered rocks. Their heads, limbs are completely covered, in front of their chests there is a small stomatal tube that connects to the gas mask, and through the bulletproof lenses you can see three pairs of eyes that look like eagle hawks. The person on the right said, What's the matter? What are they receiving? How did we get discovered? The person on the left shook his head. No way, we are so far away from them, how can we be detected? Isn't that right, boss? That voice, in its familiar gentleness and flattery, in its humility, was clearly Max's. The much taller shadow standing between the two accomplices was Merkin. He lowered his binoculars and said, well, they seem to be in trouble. Behind the three of them, unexpectedly, there was also a group of people dressed in white chemical lab clothes, all holding weapons of all kinds, with fiery eyes. Everyone was silent, the sound immediately became clear. In the sound of the wind, of course, there are also dogs barking, the sound is very low, but it can be transmitted very far. Professor Fung Tan happily shouted, Gangla is here, so Kwong and Hat far back must be around here too, he finally understood. Lama Ala listened to that sound, but in his heart was terrified, no way, the sound is so close to us, there's no way we can't see it all, it's the sound after all. Where does it come from? When the sound came again, everyone was surprised, because the sound was not coming from below, but right in front of them, in the glacier. The barking got closer and closer, Yue Yang raised the spotlight to check it out, then exclaimed in surprise, Young Master Kuang Ba, look there. Only saw at the bottom of the glacier, inside that deep trench, a sparkling emerald green shadow, not Kuang Lap, who else can enter here? The lingo kept running back and forth below, showing great excitement. Track Mok Kuang Ba could not help but asked in a voice, Kuang Lap, 
Why did you go down there? Captain Ho Duong frowned and asked, Could it be, that road is really down there? Just a moment later, a man wearing a fox skin hat, a tight-fitting tunic, and a sword at his hip followed Kwong Lap out, but not Kwong and Hat Fa Back, who else? Kwong and Hat Fa Back obviously did not expect to meet Track Mok Kwong Ba and the others here, his face clearly showing surprise, and asked, You guys, why haven't you gone up the mountain yet? Lu Kan Nam turned to Captain Ho Duong and asked, Then shall we go down there first? Captain Ho Duong couldn't help but smile and nodded in agreement. If the only person who knows the way is Kwong and Hat far back already down there, then there must be a road below. It seems that he must have thought that yesterday they were going to go to the top for a day, maybe today they came to collect the bodies, but yesterday they only climbed the mountain for half a day and then rested for the night under the snow line. Meeting here today is also considered lucky. Captain Ho Duong said, It seems that young master Kwong Ba is right, there is a road below, you have to slide down there. Only I'm afraid that after going through the ice tower forest, climbing the ice cliff will be quite difficult. Lu Kan Nam instructed, slide quickly to the eastern layer, before the snow completely covers this crevice area, you must climb back up the ice slope. Team members joined hands to act, quickly finish driving rivets, steel drills, rope hooks, without bothering to use safety devices such as auxiliary ropes and lowering devices, and so on directly, always slide down. Max said, what's wrong? I didn't expect them to slide down the ice crevice. So bold, are they crazy? I've never heard of anyone who dares to cross a glacier by a passage through a rift like this. Merkin turned to the man standing to his right, what do you think, Tai Jung? This man named Iron Monk was shorter than Merkin by a head, but his shoulders were unexpectedly wider than Merkin's shoulders, his arms were also very strong, his whole body when standing still and motionless, became a shape, an inverted triangle, plus knee-length arms, looks like a chimpanzee. He sounded like a wild beast snarling, I don't think unless they have a definite target, they won't dare go down that crack. His English is also not very good. Max glanced scornfully. Merkin nodded, yeah, that's right, they have maps. At this, Merkin sighed and said, unexpectedly, the map also shows the way to this place, it seems that the memory of western Mexico is correct, now we only need to see the map in the end, to what extent? Hundreds of kilometers halfway down the mountain, covered in mist and snow, with only one entrance about a meter wide to go down, how could those ancient tantric followers find such a place? It's unbelievable. If the memory of western Mexico were a little more accurate, if that mountainside didn't have such a terrifying magnetic field, if it weren't for that damned westerly wind, if it weren't for that thick fog, just meet any of the conditions, I've already found the entrance. Ah, asterisk asterisk. Sliding to the bottom of the ice slot, Track Mok Kwong Ba walked up to Kwong and Hat Fa back, hugged Kwong Lap, turned his head and asked, Ah, why are you here? Yue Yang next to him laughed very cunningly, Uncle, are you sure you're not here waiting for us? Kwong and Hat Pu Bo angrily shouted, Stupid talk, I am just, it's just, Captain Ho Duong didn't think otherwise. Although Kwong and Hat Fa back firmly refused to guide him to the mountain, but from the moment they knew they were still determined to go up to the snowy mountain, in their hearts they kept thinking about Track Mob Kwong Ba, Professor Fung Tan and even the Ailala Lama, thinking about it again and again, in the end, he couldn't rest assured. Last night, he suddenly had a dream again, so he went to the places I knew in the mountains to check it out. Unexpectedly, Track Mob Kwong Ba took a detour around the mountain, then rested for a night under the snow line, and then started climbing the next day. Kwong and Hat Fa Back only started to climb the mountain at midnight, but he was familiar with the road, plus Kwong Lap led the way, so he went ahead of them. Kwong and Hat Fa Back only said those two sentences, then he didn't know how to explain it, so he sighed and said, Last night I dreamed of Le Chan, she blamed me, so I wanted to come here to see how it was. Track Mok Kwong Ba knew that this, 
a fruit of his mouth was as sharp as a knife, but in his heart as soft as tofu, he pressed his hands firmly on Kwong and Hat Fubak's shoulders, and did not say more, again. Captain Ho Duong looked at the deep melting ice cave and said, Actually, I know the only way to the top of the mountain, it turns out that the secret is in the giant glacier. No wonder other climbing groups have not been able to reach the summit before, so they can't make it through this glacier covered in thick fog. Professor Fung Tan happily said, Kwong and Hat, we've met here anyway, or can you guide us? Kwong and Hat far back looked away and stammered, I, I can't lead the way. If you want to go, you can find your own way, I'll just follow. Professor Fung Tan was puzzled, you must have. Kwong and Hat Poo Bo resolutely replied, I can't betray my oath. Asterisk, second ladder, only a steep cliff about 5 meters high blocking the traditional path to Chomalungma Peak on the northern slope, located at an altitude of 8,680 meters to 8,700 meters, if you want to get to the top of the mountain, you have to cross this cliff. Chapter 34, Victory Place 5, Mercury Palace 1, already at the entrance of the cave, Kwong and Hat far back still said that he didn't want to lead the way, making everyone a bit awkward. Captain Ho Duong got angry, afraid of the bitch. We find our own way, it's okay to die in Here. I say that, but this is just a word in anger. With no other choice, they had to figure it out on their own. Lu Kan Nam arranged, visibility here is very low, moreover, the ice layer above is in danger of collapsing, you must speak in a low voice, you must walk close together. The area of this glacier is very large, especially after the fog rises, if you lose your way, you will most likely not be able to get out of here. Have you installed the transmitters yet? Ba Tang nodded, so even if they lost their way in the fog, they could rely on the receiver to find this way up. Lu Kan Nam raised his head to look at the sky, the silver plate was no longer in sight, only seeing a few gloomy stars, so he said, the sun is about to rise, the fog is also rapidly forming, we have to speed up. Standing at the bottom of the glacier, looking up at the glacier, it feels like a giant cube with a hollow bottom, forming a lot of sharp ice blocks like spikes hanging upside down on the top, like each spear point ready to plunge straight into the ground at any moment. But there are also many ice caps falling from the ground, deeply embedded in the frozen ground, and there are also many large ice pillars that grow like giant bamboo shoots, at first glance this cave looks like an evil. The ancient dragon was gaping with a mouth full of sharp fangs. Captain Hu Duong went in first, and everyone also continued to enter the mouth of the evil dragon, carefully avoiding the sharp points on the surface. The wind whistled overhead, and from time to time there was a clack, sound of small pieces of ice falling, the whole group of people even dared not breathe. Visibility below the glacier is very limited, quite similar to Track Mok Kwong Bar Cave and Captain Ho Duong last year, except that the giant ice wall outside is much thicker. The light shines through, the reflection of the ice and snow creates a strange glittering light, the bottom of the ice pillars breaks to reveal streaks like fish scales, as if in the dark there are countless species of demons. Fuck. The deeper you go inside, the darker it becomes, under the light of the fog lamp, bamboo shoots completely from ice and snow rise up to two meters high, in addition, there are hawk-billed talons everywhere. When passing below them, everyone felt like their life was being held by a monster in the palm of their hand. Going forward, the frozen ground covered with snow has also cracked open, the bottom is as black as ink, I don't understand how deep it is, I listened to it, and then faintly resounded like a billowing voice, thunder. Tang Min worriedly said, what's underneath? Yue Yang shrugged and said, who knows, maybe it's just an iceberg, anyone who falls down there will have a hard time climbing up. Underground flow, Trong Lap pretended to be very experienced and explained, it's an underground flow that goes straight to the ground, a very strange natural phenomenon, the water is cold below zero degrees Celsius, but it doesn't freeze, on the contrary. After leaving the stream, it quickly turns into ice. If you fall there, 
you will be frozen into ice, with absolutely no chance of survival. Seeing the guy's appearance, both Track Mob Kwong Ba and Ho Duong felt a little funny. The crack grew, making the whole group feel like returning to the big underground ravine with Hyan Kong Island, only now, the solid stone road has turned into a scattered pile of snow, walking on on a road like this, the risk of landslides is always hanging over everyone's head. At this time, Captain Ho Duong's experience helped Ig a lot, every time a turn appeared, he immediately relied on small changes in wind direction and snow thickness to guide everyone on the correct path, not to the point of entering a dead end can not move forward anymore. However, in the later part, the roads turned more and more, and the Captain Ho Duong also began to refuse to obey. At that time, Kwong and Hat Fa Bak still followed his promise, always following the group, but he let Kwong Lap go first. However, when Yui Yang and Trong Lap joked, Kwong and Hat Fa Bak replied very seriously, I don't lead the way. Looking at his serious face, it seems that there is a hidden secret that is difficult to say, and Yu Yang and the others are not convenient to ask more questions. The group followed Kuang Le, closer to the center of the glacier one by one. The cracks were more and more numerous, the places where they could put their feet were getting narrower and narrower, the team members had to squeeze their stomachs to cling to the ice wall like lizards, moving their legs little by little with great care, however, everyone believes that Kuang Lap will bring them out of this dangerous place. Ten minutes later, the whole group fell into a dilemma, there was no way forward. The small path created by the snow on the ice wall was only a few dozen centimeters wide, now, in front of them, the snow had dropped to only a few centimeters thick layer, basically impossible to walk. But Kwong Lap still bouncing and jumping, his body agile like on flat ground. Yue Yang looked at Kwong Lap's shadow and exclaimed, Kwong Lap is really powerful. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, of course, the High Lamb Beast is the Snow Mountain Divine Beast, it's no different in this snowy mountain area than a fish in the water. Captain Ho Duong said, see, this place is only about 7 or 8 meters wide, we can still pass. Everyone tries their best, don't let Kwong Lap look down on you. Kwong and Hat Pu Bo curiously asked, how's it going? Lama Ala went first his backpack still on his back, he ran for more than 10 meters, then Kwong and Hat far back saw a figure suddenly running up, reaching for the iron hook on his hand to click on it, the ice surface, the whole person rushed up and down the steep ice wall. One step, two steps, three steps, one step at a time, running as fast as six or seven paces, so that the old monk's body began to gradually decrease in height, ran for more than 10 steps, and then safely descended to the ground snow-covered road on the other side. The crack was about seven or eight meters wide, and it was unexpected to pass so smoothly. Then, in front of Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's surprised eyes, each other member ran on the vertical ice wall one by one, their bodies gliding beautifully, as agile as apes. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak looked and was completely dumbfounded, and finally discovered that only one person was left standing alone on this side. However, he also had his own way, only saw that Kwong and Hat Fa Bak's wrist was slightly loosened, in the palm of his hand he held a non-string hook, twisted it twice and then bounced, the hook immediately attached, cut into a crevice in the ice, then he also swings along the ice wall, stepping on it a few more steps, only not as fast as the track mob Kwong Ba. Kwong and Hat Fa Bak caught up with everyone, still couldn't believe what his eyes had just seen, and asked, everyone, what's wrong? Yui Yang smiled and replied, this is called wall running, making a technique in parkour running, an extreme sport that is very popular abroad, we have been practicing this for more than half a year. The average person who steps on the wall can run about three to five steps, just mastering the technique can be able to run on the wall in succession for about seven or eight steps, adding the grip of the claws, naturally possible running ten steps on the ice like that. Your technique isn't bad at all, just like our hooks. After Yu Yang finished speaking, thinking about it carefully, he suddenly realized that in addition to the rope throwing movement, which was different from their hook technique, where were the techniques such as swinging rope, foot pedaling, tossing, 
and landing of Kwong and Had far back. They were all exactly like the ones they were trained in, it felt like they were studying with the same master. Everywhere there is a drop of snow, as short as 5 or 3 meters, as long as 7 or 8 meters, in addition, the terrain here is full of interlaced passages like the dens of some beast from ancient times, so walking in this fissure is also very difficult. This is also the reason why so many people would rather risk their lives crossing this land above the ice crevice than dare to go deep below. After walking for a while, Lama Allah said hoarsely, the road ahead is not easy. Tang Min poked his head up and whispered, this fault is too wide. Captain Ho Duong said, there are several types of faults, the former phase is a complete fault band. Track Mok Kwong Ba stood up to observe, the front was two intersecting caves, the ice wall stood upright with no place to place his feet, he had to go around the intersection and then walk a few more tens of meters to see a new place to put his feet. Kwong and Hat Pu Bo smiled and said, how did it go this time? Trong Lap smiled confidently, uncle, look here. This time, Lama Ayla used a hook rope, shot straight up to the ice layer suspended overhead, swinging to the opposite shore like a rope swing, the snow clinging to the ice was very thin, the hook line penetrated deeply. He couldn't hold on for a few meters, but in addition to the heavy backpack that was too heavy to carry on his back, the Lama could only swing halfway and the hook would come off, but he did not panic, promptly used the hook rope, Second, the body sways gently over the area of the complete fault. The team members immediately clung to the safety rope carried by the Lama Lama, punched the protective points on the ice wall, and climbed the rope step by step. Kwong and Hat far back looked at the figure of Lama Ala on the other side and muttered, as expected, the fake tantric monk also knows this Carter game. In addition, the snow beams and ice mounds are also very dangerous, in some places you have to overcome cracks in the frozen ground, above the cracks are snow beams, which at first glance look like cotton. There are even places where there are completely patches of snow interwoven together to form a snow bridge, just looking at it, I feel like it is swinging to fall, let alone stepping on it. Only Kwong Lap dared to jump back and forth on it, I really don't know why its liver is so big, it seems that it is completely fearless of the thousands of miles below. There are other places, where the ice and the cliff are separated, but not completely separated, turning into, forks, that do not come out of the cliffs, some of those, forks, are cut off, eventually forming forming mounds of ice floating in the air. The ice mounds are about a meter or two apart, and track mob Kwong Ba and the others have to jump over the ice mounds above the bottomless abyss like when they were children, they played the square jump game. Thu bears uneven force, so it is very easy to happen that the ice pier suddenly tilts, in a short moment that is not enough to turn him around, all team members have to use all their bodies more than people with the same reaction speed. Only his extremely fast response can pass peacefully. In the blink of an eye when the ice dock collapses, the hook can shoot into the cliff, shoot up the ice hanging on the top, shoot at another ice mound, in addition, can also use the batwing coat to glide down the lower ice mound, or use a bat-winged blouse to swing a little. Then shot the hook rope at a firm fixed point, the team members all performed their best, showing great training results. For Kwong and Hat far back, this is definitely the most unique, the most terrifying, the most exciting variety show he has ever seen in his life, only to see him nod his head again and again, and then feel like a deep voice. With that thought in mind, he used the small rope hook in his hand to follow closely behind everyone without being outdone. They kept walking like that underneath the rift for a long time, everyone was a bit tired, the cold wind started making it hard for the members to breathe, fortunately the rift was gradually narrowing, seems to be showing signs of closing. Only now did Kwong and Hat far back raise his voice and ask Yu Yang who was walking in front of him, this technique of throwing ropes of everyone, is it learned from that magician? Yu Yang said, no, the teacher taught us. Kwong and Hat far back glanced at Lu Kan Nam's side, thinking in his heart, I thought there was only one fake tantric monk, but so is this kid. Yu Yang said again, why do you ask? Ah, 
That's right. Your crochet technique is very similar to ours. Where did you learn it? Kwong and Hat far back smiled and replied, You don't know. This rope throwing technique is one of the most secret techniques of us Tibetans. My techniques are all handed down from my ancestors. Oh, Yu Yang exclaimed in surprise, Me, I thought this was also a technique developed from parkour running, why? Yu Yang threw the hook rope, bobbing a few times, and then stood on another snowy road. Kwong and Hat far back followed closely behind, saying, This rope throwing technique has been around since ancient times, we call it Carter, now I'm afraid not many people know it anymore. At first, it was just a slide from a height of 100 meters down on a rope. At the same time, the performer had to perform a series of other high difficulty movements such as somersaults, inversions, turns. Among them, the most difficult type is tying a rope between the 10,000 foot high cliffs, which is a bit like today's rope walking game, but back then people still poured water on the rope the mountain wind blew over it. It freezes the water on it. Performers are not allowed to use any tools, but must slide from one side of the cliff to the other. In addition, when sliding the rope, they must put both hands in their belts, the body as if dancing in the wind, so this sport is also known as dancing on the ice rope. According to legend, this technique was brought to Tibet by Master Padmasambhava, but after a Dehite's life, no one knew how to dance on ice ropes anymore. Walk on the ice. Yu Yang heard that his eyes wanted to pop out. I never knew that Tibet had this subject. Kwong and Hat far back smiled and said, The ancient secret techniques of Tibet are unspeakable, but most of them later were lost in the war. Today only less than 1% can be preserved. Like this rope throwing, it was at first just a game performed by impoverished serfs in the annual sacrifice, then gradually evolved into a special profession, using it to earn a living like other people. Wanderer, forever making a living, by the end of the Ming and early Qing dynasties, some rope throwers were not satisfied with using their craft in festivals anymore, they wrapped ropes around their bodies, regardless anytime, anywhere, you can tie the ropes to perform. Later, it gradually evolved in the direction of becoming a slingshot. Until this sport is developed into a kind of almost extended arm, when you reach out, you can throw the rope, in any situation can fly up. To survive in the snowy mountains, this is a necessary technique. After a few more minutes, the place where they were standing was no longer windy, but still very cold. Trong Lap was so cold that he snorted all the time, Captain Ho Duong's beard was covered with ice mites, and his nose was frozen red like a clown's. In the cave is not only cold, but also has an echo that makes the sound resound many times, every step you put down can be heard clearly, even the sound of ice crumbs falling into the sound of the footsteps intertwine, people in a very clear way. Tang Min felt a little scared, Captain Ho Duong led the way forward and comforted, there's no need to be so tense, we've already passed the fault area, now here is a fortress of snow. The glacier in the Himalayas is different from the glacier in the Karkar Talai area. Keep going forward, maybe you will see the glass palace in that legend, as beautiful as the wonder in the ice cave at Karkar where's Talai. Huang Man has always regretted that he could not see the wonder in the Karkar Talai ice cave that Trak Mok Kwong Bar told. Now it is said that he can see the wonder of the glass palace equally beautiful, in my heart immediately reduced a few parts of fear added a few parts of new feeling and anticipation. Going deep into the glacier bed, the surrounding ice layer gradually changed. The white snow-like ice walls piled up became transparent, showing a faint blue color of sea water, as expected. It's like glass, brilliant like a dream like a virtual reality. That blue color spread everywhere, ice bells, icicles, icicles, ice flowers, icicles, ice dew. One thing after another appeared in the ice, making the whole group of people who randomly trespassed here could not see it all. Tang Min dumbfoundedly exclaimed, Glass Palace, is it already in Glass Palace? Captain Ho Duong shook his shaggy beard and said, Not yet, it's still early, this is just the way. If there is a glass palace, it's called a palace, at least there should be a big palace room. 
the upper part could no longer see the sun, they had completely entered the bottom of the glacier. The sound of the wind is getting smaller, the temperature is also slowly warming up, the lights are shining everywhere, a green patch appears, which means that this passage is completely made of quartz stone, no one doubts it anymore. Track Mok Kwong Ba and Trong Lap had seen the strange scene inside the ice cave at Ka Lai. They understood what would happen in the future if there was really a glass palace in this place. The feeling in front of her eyes suddenly lit up. It will make people so excited that they want to cry. Passing a turning point, Captain Ho Duong discovered that the light in front was dim. He immediately told everyone to stop, first stabilize the boiling emotions, then said, are you ready? Everyone, the emotional moment is coming, follow me. Outside the rift, the west wind whistled, the cold came to shiver, the breath also froze, even inside the tunnel, there was still a slight breeze that made everyone's scalp shiver from time to time, all the thorns up. At this place, the wind suddenly stopped, the real estate space became wider, the temperature increased significantly, a warm feeling gently enveloped each person. It is such a spacious and quiet space, as if everyone's inner self is also expanding with the surrounding space. Getting out of the narrow passageway, everyone immediately saw that hemispherical giant ice cave, nature's creation is truly infinitely magical, standing in front of that sublime beauty, no one is helpless, sobbing face. Although Captain Ho Duong also knew that the glass palace was a great wonder, it was unbelievable that the glass palace here was so beautiful. Appearing in front of their eyes, was an entire dreamlike quartz kingdom, the places visible to the naked eye were all ancient glaciers, looked like they were carved from blue quartz, the ice crystals were shining with the stars, beautiful halo, as if there were countless blue spirits dancing around. In front is a row of pillars made of quartz, reaching out to two sides in the shape of a bow, as if the goddess stretched out her arms, gently and gently hugging the whole palace in her lap. The diameter of these quartz pillars is more than 5 meters, the height is also over 20 meters, next to it are scattered quartz sprouts and smaller quartz flowers. Looking through the wall made up of those giant pillars, in the middle of the palace is a lake. A lake hidden deep in the ice layer. The lake's water is milky white, a contrasting solution like rhubarb gives off a delicate and attractive scent, the whole lake surface ripples and ripples, those waves leave dynamic features that captivate people's hearts, on the walls and dome of the ice palace. Legend has it that the young Dao in the Kunlun mountain was filled with jade and jade, at this moment, isn't the lake of that celestial being appearing in front of them. It was not yet morning, but here there were faint rays of light shining down from the top of the dome, the light shining from the ripples that adorned the entire palace glass building became extremely splendid. Looking up at the top of the quartz dome, only the flickering light flickered like a golden snake dancing. When shifting his gaze to the wall, the ice waterfall poured down on the surface of the quartz wall like a lake like a broken silver pot filled with water, asterisk. But the most moving people, the main thing is the milky white lake in the heart of the other glacier. In the middle of the lake stood three ice mountains, looking like Bong Lai Fairy Island, Beside there were many ice mushrooms up to one or two meters high, the surface was smooth, forming natural ice arenas. Above the surface of the lake are irregular high and low ice bridges, connecting directly to the gloomy place where the fairy mountain is, the milky white solution gently pats the bridge pedestal below, emitting sounds like waves crashing on the shore. On the top of the ice bow, the frozen ice turned to dew, condensing into pure iridescent pearls, each one falling down, listening to the sound of flowing water on the strings, the sound of morning was like fairy music from heaven, foreign fly-in. In the slightly hazy lake, every time a pearl falls, inside the mist, it turns into a graceful and graceful fairy or a phoenix ball dancing to the tune, until the end. Together, they dissipated into clouds of smoke, drifting back to the fairy mountain, but the echo was still heard in the ears, the image seemed to be etched into the bottom of their eyes, causing their minds to sink into an area of confusion. I don't know what's going on around the world. 
asterisk, this is probably a metaphorical method of the author only. Quartz, silic dioxide, CO2, is a mineral of lava origin that cannot appear in such quantity and scale in the glacier bed. The chemical composition is. Everyone knows, mixed in with a piece is only with an extremely small probability. On the other hand, it may also be due to a translation error, or due to a duplication of terminology, and the hand people use the word, ice crystal, to mean, quartz stone, so in many other Chinese stories, such as Ma blowing the lamp, there are large quartz deposits in the permafrost. Asterisk, a sentence from Bark Siu Dai's article on Pai Ba Han, translated by Fan Wei Vin. The broken silver pot overflows with water the iron horse makes the sound, the sound of the knives clashing. The bow and the lute choose the elegant song the bow tearing the silk, picking the four strings, chapter 35, extremely. South temperature, one, ice labyrinth. Lama Ala seemed to turn a blind ear, continued to say, the southern pole temple, also known as the Tuye Sun Glass Temple, is built entirely from snow mountain quartz, which is the epitome of Dan Than, divided into two parts, three floors, upper, middle and lower. The upper floor is the Fap Ki Chao Bao Kak, the middle floor is the Sutras, the lower floor is the Buddha Hall, on the roof and the outer wall of the floors are carved and painted four circles of reincarnation map, going around the temple once, total plus 108 ice crystal dharma wheel, three zhang hai, weighing 110,000 pounds. If it is possible to use human strength to push this dharma wheel once, it is equal to turning the ordinary dharma wheel a thousand times, attaining the true dharmakaya, one who turns 108 dharma wheels, can make all sentient beings in the six paths of samsara enjoy peace. People can't understand, not sure what they see in the end is real or virtual. Tang's father took off his gloves, walked quickly to the lakeside, knelt down, scooped up a handful of water, the milky white liquid bobbing in his hand, unexpectedly felt the warmth on his hand. Memories from childhood and the feeling of being in her mother's arms made Ba Tang's whole body vibrate, involuntarily exclaiming, no, this is not real. Tang Min was as dreamy as a drunkard, her small face flushed with two pink halos, leaning slightly against track mob Kwong Ba whispering, is this real? This is real, isn't it? Kwong Ba, aren't we dreaming? For the first time, track mob Kwong Ba's eyes did not focus all of his attention on Duong Man, but just blankly observed everything in the glass palace. Everything is so enchanting and magical, everything here is so beautiful that it seems that they should not be the property of the world, people can't even dream of such a landscape, that's okay. He was a little surprised and replied, no, I don't know, it's probably not a dream. Have you ever dreamed of such a beautiful sight? Perhaps Captain Ho Duong knew a little more, he immediately turned his gaze to that bearded guy. Captain Ho Duong is also immersed in a daze, unexpectedly inside the glass palace there is a lake, he has been doing scientific survey work on glaciers for half his life, but this beautiful scene is so beautiful. This is the first time he's seen it, when his eyes met the glass bow, he knew that, from this moment on, in the indelible memories of his life, apart from the wonder in the ice cave at Ka Ka Te Lai, now was there's another lake below this glacier. Although this is the deepest part of the ice cube, there is no shortage of light, even if you look up, you can see the morning star shining on the horizon, why is that? Because the inside of that cube is empty. Above the glass dome, there are countless large openings, they are like smoke bubbles, allowing light to penetrate through the ice cube, bringing the sun down to the deepest part of the ice giant, only then, what the picture of that fairyland will be like no one can imagine any more. Quite a lot of dry foam still has water inside, but it's not milky white but blue, so when people stand in the glass palace, step on the ice bridge, look up at the water's silk ribbons. The blue color flows on the top of the head, and there is a fog around, it feels like being inside the glass dragon palace in the deep sea. Kwong Lap first ran around a circle, did not see anyone following, turned back to see, it kept curiously staring at the group of people track mob Kwong Ba. 
Kuang and Hat far back who followed behind also sighed silently thinking, Oh, people from the outside world. Isn't it so exciting just seeing the scenes here? So then, next, everyone. How will it be? He thought for a moment, suddenly called Kuang the close, whispered a few words into its ear. Kuang Lap looked at Kuang and Hat far back with doubtful eyes, but then nodded slightly. Despite being infatuated, even though she couldn't bear to leave, in the end Liu Kannam still managed to hold back, she regretfully reminded everyone, let's go, time is running out. She clearly understood, great nature never regrets showing off her beauty, just waiting for those who have the heart to search and discover. However, this time they were just passes by rushing through this place, really daring not to dream of possessing this wonderful beauty forever. Captain Ho Duong also said, let's go, if the area of the ice tower forest is covered by fog, we won't be able to go through. Just consider this as one of the few most beautiful moments in everyone's life to keep in memory, that's enough. Rounding the lake, Kuang Lap led everyone into another ice channel, the cracks below the ice once again turned from small to large. This path was unexpectedly more difficult than the one they passed earlier. Kuang Lap also has to keep an extremely fast speed to run on the edge of the ice cliff without falling down. What makes it even more confusing is that the ice wall here is clearly different from the road just now, suddenly becomes extremely solid, the drill bit of the hook wire shot into the ice wall but couldn't hold it, the rope hook falls out, immediately below is the abyss of 10,000 feet. Just a few steps, Trong Lap's hook rope was pulled off the ice wall, the person in front, Ba Tang Th, swung to another foothold, fortunately there was Yue Yang in the back reaching out to grab it, he. Yue Yang held a hook rope with one hand, and held Trong Lap's hand in one hand, standing leaning on the ice wall, unfortunately both of them were wearing gloves, the weight of the body plus the large backpack on Trong Lap's back made him not stop sliding down. Yue Duong struggled to hold on to Trong Lap's hand, but could not stop the slip, suddenly panicked and frantically shouted, Uncle Kwong and Hat Fa back, quickly, quickly give a hand. Kwong and Hat Fa Bo unexpectedly showed a cold smile and replied, This path is for you to choose, you must know that life and death are always decided in a blink of an eye. Yue Yang was confused. Uncle Gong and Hat Fa Silver, Uncle, Uncle. Kwong and Hat Fa back said again, If you want to know the truth, you can't be afraid of death, you should be prepared. The comrades by my side, maybe in the next moment they will forever leave us, just like now. Trong Lap's gloves slipped off, the whole person immediately floated, only had time to shout, Yu Duan. Yue Yang also shouted, No. A. Trong Lap slipped out of his hand, but did not fall down as quickly as imagined, but. Which is, hovering in the air, like a magician performing. Trong Lap closed his eyes, stood still for a while, couldn't hear the sound of the wind in his ears, and did not feel like falling down at his feet, so he opened his eyes to take a look and saw Yu Yang right above him, Min, the distance between the two remains the same. At this time, the people walking in front heard Yu Yang shouting and turned their heads, and saw the scene of Trong Lap standing in midair. Trong Lap knew that he had stepped on that thing, but this thing transparent, recalling the experience of walking on the ice bridge at Ka Ka Te Lai, he immediately stooped down, knocked a few times, in the middle of nowhere, there was indeed a plank floor. Chang Lap said, it's ice, the ice layer in this rift is very thick. But, it's completely transparent, it's unbelievable, how did it happen? Kwong and Hat far back laughed, jumped down and said to Trong Lap, remember, this is the path everyone has chosen. No matter what happens, you can't regret it. Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, you already knew it would be like this, right, scared me to death. Yue Yang still hasn't stopped shivering, and then jumped down as well. Tang Min was about to go down too, but Captain Ho Duong stopped him. Don't be in a hurry, I'm afraid the ice layer can't bear the weight of so many people. Kwong and Hat far back shook his head, don't worry, there were hundreds of people passing by here in the past. After all, 
how thick this ice layer is. Everyone can just take a flashlight and try it out. Yue Yang turned on the light. The light beam was clearly reflected in the ice layer. Amazing, this thickness must be at least 2 meters or more. But it is as transparent as a crystal mirror. Standing above it is basically unnoticeable. Yue Yang stuck out his tongue and said, How can that be? Kuang and Hat far back shook his head. I don't know, it's been like this since my ancestors discovered this place. Captain Ho Duong said, This absolutely cannot be a natural ice layer. The purity of natural ice cannot be this high. It looks like a crystal without any impurities. Track Mok Kuang Ba said, Ah indeed, this is the secret in the glacier, and also the only way to the mountain, isn't it? Kuang and Hat far back shook his head, No, the secret that my ancestors kept in the front, you will soon notice. I hope this time, people don't provoke to tears anymore, it's better. He paused for a moment, then he added, It's not me who leads the way, it's everyone who finds out for themselves. Walking on that extremely thick ice, there are also specialized claws, which should be very stable, but everyone is very cautious, not for any other reason, but precisely, because it's so transparent, at first glance it's like walking on space, who knows the next step will fall into the abyss or not. Rounding a few turning points, Kuang Lap slowed down, no longer running and jumping, looking at its dragon flying tiger-like posture, as if exuding a regal look. Kuang and Hat far back also stopped smiling, his eyes became very serious, making track mob Kuang Ba all suspicious, what was the phase in front? Taking a few more steps, Kuang Lap suddenly did not advance in a straight line, but switched to walking in the shape of the zigzag G. Captain Ho Duong walked behind, didn't understand what was going on, so he kept going straight, only hearing a pop sound, as if he had hit something. Next, I heard Captain Ho Duong say, Oi, with one hand rubbing his forehead, the other hand raised to the air in front of him to touch it, a very funny look. A wall, just like the ice layer under their feet, in front of Captain Ho Duong is a transparent wall of ice, which is extremely difficult to detect if not carefully observed. Kuang and Hat far back said, This is an ice maze. Everyone be careful, follow Kuang Le closely. If you stray into the turn, the ice layer under your feet may suddenly turn into that bottomless abyss. The Labyrinth of Ice Professor Fung Tan was startled, without Kuang Lap leading the way, I am afraid that they will not be able to go through this ice maze, the computer will not help, because the ice here is completely transparent. Camera lenses can't really tell what's a wall of ice and what's not. I don't understand who came up with this game. After all, who would build an ice labyrinth in this place? Everyone followed those almost completely invisible walls of ice, followed Kuang Lap forward. At the turn, Yue Yang measured the thickness of the ice wall with his hand, it was about 50 centimeters, so he kept on groping, only to see that the ice surface was as smooth as a mirror, as flat as a knife, this behavior is amazing. The object cannot be a product of nature, plus the complicated path of the labyrinth, it can be almost certain that this is man-made. This place is in the depths of the glacier, let alone ordinary people. Even adventurers don't dare to go deep into the cracks. Why is there an artificial wall? Why build a labyrinth? Again, behind this maze, what is hidden after all? Thinking of Kuang and Hat far back's words just now, Yue Yang couldn't hold back the wave of his heart rising and falling. After walking a few rounds, Captain Ho Duong recognized a few clues, I'm afraid this is not a maze. But perhaps to insulate the cold wind inside this glacier bed, in front of the Eskimos ice houses there is also a folding wall of ice, just to keep the cold wind out. After following Kuang Lap, he got out of the ice maze in just a moment, when Kuang Lap raised his head to look up, everyone did not make an appointment but looked up at the same time. The fog has not completely covered this vast glacier, the newly emerging sun has shone down, the unexpected sun shines through the entire surface of the glacier, straight to where Track Mop Kuang Ba and the others are standing. Only then did they know, it turned out that this whole area had been hollowed out, 
the other dome pulled straight up to the surface of the glacier above. Sunlight refracted through the ice, instantly turning into seven brilliant rainbow colors. The sun rises high, those seven rainbow colors that shine down here turn into moving clouds, like colored silk bands loosely wrapped around the transparent crystal layer, revealing the inherent appearance of this place, in front of the track mob Kwong Bar. In the center of this ice labyrinth, which is also the center of the glacier, there was unexpectedly a palace built entirely of ice. Those seven colored roofs, those twenty-three dozen meters high icicles, the patterns joined by magical symbols on the walls, the steps of ice, the corridors sculpted with ice, now, along with the rising sun, all of them emitted brilliant halos of all colors. In the eyes of Trak Mok Kwong Ba, this is completely a palace that can only appear in dreams, a true palace of glass. Chapter 35, South-South Temperature 2, Mercury Palace 2. If it is said that the lake in the glacier before is the beauty that nature has bestowed, then what they see now, is another miracle in the history of human architecture, the ancients have hollowed out the bed of the glacier, and then used the ice to build a giant palace. I don't know who built it, when it was built, but only saw the whole palace exuding dignified holiness, standing in the middle of the snowy mountains, under the glacier, waiting for those who came to witness the miracle. Now that those witnesses have arrived, everyone is shocked and terrified, completely immersed in that sudden joy and joy, the hearts of each person in the climbing team are filled with surprised, happy, and even bewildered. Track Mok Kwong Ba secretly said, feeling, is it waiting for me? That quiet waiting, has it been over a thousand years? Are we seeing the palace of the gods? The large door of this majestic and majestic ice palace was already more than ten meters high, looking like a giant's residence, standing in front of that door, the feeling of waiting for it to open suddenly arose. Min Min tightly grasped the hem of his shirt, so excited that tears fell, unable to utter a word. Captain Ho Duong thought to himself, what civilization created this palace? It is built right above the abyss, hiding a thousand-year-old glacier, just choosing the location to build this palace is a genius idea. Where Captain Ho Duong is standing now, Looking down can see the dark abyss below, looking up is a new bright light rising, feeling as if separated from the world, clear mind unusually relaxed. Trong Lap pondered, with the seemingly remote nothingness of the hanging gardens of Babylon, the heroic aura of the Great Wall, and the noble elegance of the Pantheon, we can only use the word, weird, to picture it, it's so weak. Professor Fung Tan looked around at the four sides, his stomach told him, this structure is probably the palace of Tibetan Buddhism. The whole ice palace is surrounded by an arc of pillars, symbolizing Tiat Vai Sun. One, all four phases have doors, taking the east as the square. The palace is divided into three floors. Each floor is different, clearly distinguished, forming a strange landscape under the rainbow light. On the palace there is a palace, in the upper floors there are pavilions. Yuyang pondered. The monument is so glorious, it's almost impossible for humans to do it, who built it after all. Besides, the museum inside this hall has already been emptied out, was it because of his ancestors? No, seeing that form, it's almost impossible for humans to do. Right inside the door is a five-year pedestal, in the center is the two die sitting, under the sun, the lotus flower, the oxen, the horse, the giant gorilla, the lion, all of them are alive, act like the real thing, really worthy of the four words, demon government canon. The only thing is that the Buddha statues on the seven colored ice pedestals have all disappeared without a trace. On the ice shrines, ice frames, and icicles on the second floor, the classics of French literature that had to be placed there also disappeared completely. Just by looking at the size of the pedestal of the Buddha statue, and also the other shelves of ice books, we can confirm that these Buddha statues are definitely not small, the number of scriptures is definitely not it. Has it all been taken away? Or is it melted, rotten to ashes? This could not be known to Yuyang. Lama Lama looked at the three-story structure of the palace, 
each four after being decorated with colorful clouds of seven colors, creating a different shape. The bottom four is a Tibetan style structure, the middle four is the structure of the Han style pagoda and temple, the top four is the shape of an ancient Indian temple. An agitation suddenly rose in his heart. This is, this is the typical three form structure. This ice palace was probably started construction in the early period of the Thofan dynasty, the period. Tang King Tung Kan Bo ruled the king, ice bow, ice bow. Could it be, thinking of this, his arm trembled slightly. Others were immersed in that dreamlike color, almost forgetting everything in the world. Seeing their reaction, Kuang and Hat far back also suddenly remembered the first time when his grandfather took him to this place. Grandpa spread his arms wide, stood under the giant lotus, loudly said, look, look at him, they have been standing here quietly for hundreds of years, even more than a thousand years, here it is, is the treasure of the snow mountain God bestowed upon our family. Kuang and Hat far back, I want you to swear, this is an oath that every person who knows this secret in our family must swear, looking at the ice palace like the palace of the gods in front of him, Lu Kanna mutters, this is the only way to the mountain, isn't it? Kuang and Hat far back raised his voice, yes, this is the secret that my ancestors discovered and protected for many generations, and it is also the only way to cross the great ice. No one knows who this palace was built by, when was it built? Our ancestors only marveled at its sublime sophistication and thought that this was a gift from heaven to our family. Therefore, the family must be protected forever, must have been built for hundreds or thousands of years, eh? Yuyang looked at the majestic and majestic palace, suddenly turned to ask Captain Hu Yang, Captain Hu, didn't you say that the glacier was moving? How did this palace stay in the glacier for so long? Captain Ho Duong said, um, first of all because of its architectural structure, did you notice, these pillars are all slightly slanted in the middle, in addition the palace also uses the pattern of large and small bottoms, the whole palace is like a pyramid in the bed of a glacier, when the glacier has very small changes, the whole pyramid will move but not be broken. The second is the type of glacier, when the glacier clings to the snowy mountainside, gravity will make it slowly move like fruit jelly. However, if halfway through that snowy mountain is invaded by a glacier or nature forms a valley in the shape of a sack, then the glacier will become a piece of fruit jelly inside the pot, just in the form of a spa. That doesn't change, so the bottom of the glacier won't move either. Very clearly, in front of us is the second form of glacier. This also explains why a palace over a thousand years old is preserved in the bed of the glacier. There is also a third reason, added Professor Fung Tan, the ice that built this palace. He took the ice chisel, and used all his strength to knock on the wall, only to see the ice chisel. The specialized equipment was knocked out, there was not a single scratch on the wall. Professor Fung Tan said, see, this ice cannot be ice that formed naturally inside a glacier. The ancients who built this palace added some other material to the ice, making these walls appear more transparent than crystal, in fact harder than iron. Isn't that right, Mr. Kwong and Hat far back? Well, our ancestors thought so too. Kwong and Hat far back stepped forward, on the ice wall the multicolored light was as brilliant as lapis lazuli, Next to a row of ice law wheels about three feet high, the side of the wheel had the symbol Ung Trong, however, the magic of this ice palace is not only in the structure itself, not knowing where he had touched, those three foot high Dharma wheels were slowly moving. Um, um, following the slow motion of the Dharma wheel, the entire bow suddenly emitted the sound of the Mangdong, a kind of Buddhist musical instrument used in rituals, followed by a loud clang sounding like a cymbal, and then the drum, dumpling, also sounded. Those sounds seemed to blend in with the wind, as if near but as far away, drifting aimlessly, as if in a faraway place a Dharma school of the Buddha school or a ritual of Theravada Buddhism was being conducted. In harmony with the music of the religious ceremony coming from that place, the four doors of the bow also opened at the same time. Not only that, 
the inside of the ice palace also happened to change the sky and the earth, the flatland slowly rose, and the stairs went up and down, some pedestals of Buddha statues slant down, so that other larger pedestals protrude. At this moment, the ice bow looks like the inside of an ice factory, countless machines work continuously, emitting all kinds of sounds of different types of music, and at the same time adjusting the transformation of the whole body, exterior appearance. 1. There are other names, namely Tiet Luan Vai Sun, Luan Vai Sun, Kim Kwong Sun, and Diamond Vai Sun. In the Buddhist worldview, Tu Dai Sun is the center, surrounded by eight mountains and eight seas, the outermost is an iron mountain called Thiet Vai Sun, that is, the mountain surrounds all four seas around Tu Dai. Paint. 2. Chinese staff equals 3.33 meters. Chapter 35. Huge. Nam Mu, 3, South Pole Temple. When all was completed, an even more glorious, more majestic palace appeared before everyone's eyes. If the ice palace they saw earlier could be considered a miracle of human architecture, then at this moment, what they saw could only be a miracle created by the DreamWork Animation Studio. Professor Fung Tan suddenly felt dizzy, human wisdom is infinite, the changes in front of him alone have made him unable to imagine it. And Yu Yang could only utter a little surprised voice, Oh my! Oh my! Oh well! Oh my! The ice bow immediately magnified Yu Yang's cry several times, countless echoes resounded at the same time. Kuang and Hat far back hastily pulled Yu Yang aside and warned him, where you are standing or just standing is the reply position at the southeast door, here you can only speak softly. In fact, this thousand-year-old palace is almost unstoppable. As soon as the big door opened, Kuang Lap immediately ran inside and jumped on the lotus seat, which was clearly where it liked to lie the most. On the high platform, the sun is bright, the seven-colored halo is like a spotlight shining on its body, making its silver-white fur also shine with many brilliant colors. Everyone with a reverent mood stepped into the divine palace, when getting closer to the magical sculptures made from ice and snow, the seven-color brilliant light made people feel a surge of emotions, unreal. The colors in the dream, the palace in the dream, all of it is just like a dream. Looking up at the enchanting colors, hearing the sound of Sanskrit coming from afar, Everyone stood facing the ice wall, an illusion appeared before their eyes. Track Mok Kwong Ba saw him and his sister sitting on the green grass playing happily. Captain Ho Duong found himself holding his wife's hands when she was about to give birth. Professor Fung Tan recalls the moment his son got on the plane to leave the country. Trong Lap saw himself and his mother and a tall and vague figure leaning on each other full of happiness. Yu Yang saw that his uncle was running out of water and coaxed a boy who refused to eat rice, Ba Tang saw the old comrades reorganizing the team to start. Everyone laughs and jokes, Tang Min saw the small fishing boat moored by the seashore and the dew-haired girl and the boy sitting at the head of the boat pushing the oars, and Lu Kan Nam saw the majestic palace towering, with the majestic elders and even the picture of the young man, only Lama Ala whose heart is as bright as a mirror, is not disturbed by hallucinations. The music of the sky dissipated, the sunlight was gradually blocked by the fog, the seven-colored halo slowly disappeared, leaving only a circle of glittering ice sculptures. People then woke up from the hallucinations. At that moment, everyone looked back on the most unforgettable moments in their life, the mood was extremely agitated. At this time, hearing a shrill, you you, sound again, Yu Yang immediately asked, what's the sound like? Kuang and Hat far back raised his head, looked at the arch and said, I told you, this palace will collapse at any time. Lama Ala heard that his heart was tight, and quickly asked, why is that? Hasn't it been standing here for thousands of years? Kuang and Hat far back forced a smile and replied, yes, although the ancients added some special substances to the ice to make it solid and durable, it is still just ice, now the whole stream. These glaciers are all about to melt, how can they survive alone? He pointed to the line of icicles outside and continued, Remember when I was a kid, these pillars should have been twice as big now, but now they can't support the glacier on the top anymore, then, 
the sound just now, was due to the collision between them and the glacier above. There are also ice crevices, we just went through them, before they all had a layer of ice on top, only now they have all melted, especially about nearly 20 years ago, glaciers melted terribly. It is said that when our ancestors discovered this ice palace, the glacier even reached down a few dozen miles below the mountain, the entrance of the palace extended to the outside of the glacier, there was a big road, through to the carriage, and now they've all disappeared with the glacier. After lamenting for a while, Kwong and Hat far back suddenly called out loudly, Kwong Lap, come down, I told you not to go up there. I only saw Kwong Lap curled up on the lotus, biting his tail, stopping from time to time to look down at the ice, using his tongue to fix his white fur, as if he was enjoying his beauty. Lu Kan Nam said, this palace is strange and majestic, but it is not the place where we stop, let's keep going. Kwong and Hat far back said, through this step, go straight to the front, you can go out from the west main gate, this road can go through the glacier. I've only come to this point, I can't help you guys no matter what the next step is. The Ala Lama said again, wait, wait a little longer, let me watch a little more. Lu Kan Nam was puzzled, Master Ala. Lama Ala said, if I am not mistaken, this place is one of the four Fung temples, the southernmost temple. Wow, whoa, what did Grandmaster say? Screams of terror were heard. Lama Ala seemed to turn a blind ear, continued to say, the southern pole temple, also known as the snow mountain glass temple, is built entirely from snow mountain quartz, which is the epitome of the Dan Citadel, divided into two parts, three floors, upper, middle and lower. The upper floor is the Fap Ka Chao Bao Kak, the middle floor is the Sutras, the lower floor is the Hall of Worshipping the Buddha Image, the roof and the outer wall of the floors are carved with four circles of samsara, respectively, going around the temple. A total of 108 ice crystals, three zhang hai, weighing over 100 pounds. If it is possible to use human strength to push this dharma wheel once, it is equal to turning the ordinary dharma wheel a thousand times, attaining the true dharmakaya. One who turns 108 dharma wheels, can make all sentient beings in the six paths of samsara enjoy peace. South Pole Temple. This place is the South Pole Temple. Track Mok Kwong Ba bewilderedly looked around, the palace beyond this man's imagination, in the end, still hides a secret. He asked, why, why is it so different from what my father and I know? Lama Lama said, the four temples are inherently very secret places, after construction, People only know the names, but do not know where these four works are located. Moreover, this temple not only symbolizes the wealth of the Thofon dynasty, but also represents the highest level of architecture of the whole dynasty. It can be said that in the past, the construction of this temple was built, even more arduous than building a Bodhisattva palace. Later, after experiencing constant wars, it was even more impossible to trace it back, Later people remembered the old story, some people could infer the four directions temples based on the age of the ancient temples, others based on the scale, architecture and historical value as a basis for judgment. Therefore, the four directions temples have many different names and addresses, but among them it can be said that there is no real four factory temple. Don't forget that the four directions are the four Tran Bian shrines built by the Tibetan king Tung Tan Kanbo after the unification of the plateau. They were not in the central highland area, but at the Tho Phong border that year. If you want to find the temples of the four directions, you must first clarify where the Tho Phan border was in the Song Tan Kanbo period, which is difficult for today's expert scholars to accurately map out. Trong Lap immediately spoke up, speaking of which, in front of our eyes this is the South Pole Temple that has been cleaned out. This place is high and dangerous, how can they move the Buddha statue and so many treasures here, and then how can they move it again? Yuyang walked up the steps of ice, if we say this is the South Pole Temple, then the trail we discovered halfway up the mountain is not the ancient Tao of Tang and Fian, but it must be the old road leading straight to the South Pole Temple, didn't Uncle Kwong and Hat Fubak just say, in the past, 
There was a big road that could be used by horse-drawn carriages. There must have been a carriageway in ancient times that went directly to this place. It's just that now the mountain has changed its shape, so we just can't find it. Ah, that's right. This temple is probably guarded by the Army of Light. There doesn't seem to be a monk here. No wonder there's so much lava in the middle of the mountain. Professor Feng Tan nodded. So that also explains why Dat Ma district is called Ao Chao. In the past, there was a wing of the Army of Light that guarded here. Of course they would bring the war geese, the bravest mastiffs, the most loyal to protect their owners, that is the descendant of the war geese, but... Track Mok Kwong Ba said, there are wolves as well, they can understand the wolf, I'm afraid it's the same reason. They are the wolves left by the people of Goa, Trong Lap said, the possibility of this is not great, is it, a thousand years have passed, can they still remember? Track Mok Kwong Ba said, you don't understand, the knowledge of wolves is inherited in the family, as long as their family is not killed, they will bring the knowledge they have learned to all generations, after, after life. Lu Kan Nam said, so then, history books record teeth, dowry treasures and Buddha statues of Princess Van Than who last appeared in front of people in that Ma district, after all because of Dao. Army of Light brought here from elsewhere, or take the treasure in the South Pole Temple and move it somewhere else. Yuyang took it one step further. So what if the map in our hands ends up leading us to Bakbala, or just to this entire South Pole Temple? Probably not the Southern Pole Temple, said Lu Kan Nam, shaking his head. It is necessary to clarify the historical order. First the Army of Light takes away all the treasures of Buddha statues in the South Pole Temple, and then only later, built Silver Bala Temple. After the construction of Bak Bala was completed, the war ended, and the new messenger returned to Tibet, bringing with him the legend of the temple of Bak Bala, and leaving behind this map. At that time, the emissary obviously knew that the South Pole had been plundered, so why draw a map that brought us here? So, the inferences of experts are more likely. Behind these mountains there is another ravine, like Nala village, Bo Bala, which is hidden in that place. Walking inside this unpredictable changing ice palace as if going through a space corridor, Yuyang and Trong Lap held flashlights to illuminate the whole phase, admiring and whispering at the change of light as well as the ending, ice sculpture. Professor Fung Tan can look at the computer screen dejectedly. The glass building that the camera lens records is just a mottled mass of colors, unable to capture all of this architectural wonder. Okay. The ice steps were both long and slippery, and Tang Min wondered, why do we have to build such a high steppy? Captain Ho Duong said, little girl, this is the perfect place in the architectural industry of the ancients, these steps can either enhance the majesty and solemnity of the Buddha image, or secondly, to enhance the Buddha image. The devotees who come to the court to worship the Buddha image have sincerity in their hearts, do not experience difficulties, how can they obtain the true scriptures? You see, even the ribbons next to the steps are very noticeable. Think about it, when you put the shaman on these ribbons, it doesn't look like it's floating in the air at first. Yuyang suddenly said, Captain Ho, it doesn't seem like it is floating at first glance, you see that, isn't that floating, what is it? Everyone looked up, where Yuyang's light pointed, an ice lotus with a diameter of two meters was floating in the air, slowly moving. Zhang Lap opened his mouth and exclaimed, Here, this, where's the motivation? Kuang and Hat far back immediately explained to everyone, Wind, is wind power. Exactly how, but I don't know, I just know that the ancients did a lot of things outside the glacier to lead the wind on the snowy mountain inside, transform and store them. Lifting giant Buddha statues, opening large ice bows, moving the wheel of Dharma, all thanks to the force of the wind. Not only that, there are many other organs here, our ancestors had to spend a lot of lives to clarify the origin and effects of those latches. Trong Lap was surprised and said, Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, isn't your family very powerful, these agencies, logically? Kwong and Hat far back shook his head, you don't know people. 
how good is the design of that agency, it can be said that each agency is designed by a genius. We haven't talked about anything else for a while, just the material alone, listen to the elders tell, the ghosts here all made of ice, basically impossible to detect with the naked eye, many of my ancestors I still don't understand what happened. He forced a smile, then continued, if it's true what this shaman says, this South Pole Temple is where the Army of Light is guarding, then maybe it's possible. Died by the legitimacy of the Army of Light I think those ancestors might as well close their eyes. Professor Fung Tan said, isn't this place very dangerous? Kuang and Hat far back smiled and said briefly, rest assured, under the influence of nature, these organs have been destroyed long ago. Everyone clearly understood what Kuang and Hat far back means. Tang Min muttered, still a human. At this time, Yui Yang and Trong Lap discovered another strange place. In front of a throne, there was a huge ice mirror, even taller than Trong Lap. Stepping closer, I discovered that inside that ice mirror there was another small round mirror. The distance between the two mirrors was about 50 centimeters. I don't know if it was made of wood. Being curious, suddenly in the mirror appeared a large ferocious beast, with a mouth as big as a pot of blood. Even if he swallowed all three Yu Yang in one shot, he wouldn't mind, making the guy scared and jump, frantically jerking, backward. That giant beast came out from behind the mirror again, Yu Yang now saw clearly, there is no such thing as a monster, it is clearly Kuang Lap. Kuang Lap eyes curved like a moon, laughed, coughed, a few times. Yu Yang flashed a flashlight and said, Gangla, you're a pervert. Kuang Lap hid his head behind the ice mirror again, and immediately turned into a giant beast bearing his fangs and dancing claws to scare Yu Yang. Professor Fung Tan said, Um, the ancients made perfect use of the reflection and refraction properties of light, just placing a small Buddha statue between two mirrors, looking at the four frontal Buddhas will be a wonderful image. Giant statue several feet high. The wisdom of the ancients is amazing. Captain Ho Duong told Kuang and Hat Fa back, everything in this place is the crystallization of human wisdom that should be known to the whole world. Kuang and Hat Fa back, why didn't you tell the government? Why do you have to bury this secret? Kuang and Hat Fa back looked at Captain Ho Duong, then looked at Track Mok Kuang Ba's face again, sighing, in our family, anyone who knows this place, must swear poison, the curse will be invincible. It's scary, People can't understand it. In short, any family member, if he leads or tells someone who is not a family member about this secret, he will lose the most precious thing in his life, Captain Hu Duong advised, you shouldn't believe such oaths. Enough, Kuang and Hat Fa back said seriously, ten years ago, I also thought so, so Lap Chan led the state's scientific investigation team into the Great Snow Mountain, so... I have lost the most important thing in my life. Kuang and Hat Far Back's voice suddenly became choked, unable to continue. Track Mok Kuang Ba said, Ah indeed, we understand your suffering, no one here can blame you. Tang Man also said melancholy, no wonder Uncle Kuang and Hat Far Back said he wouldn't accept it no matter what. Admit it, he brought us here, he loves his wife so much. Saying that, she looked up at Track Mok Kuang Ba again, her face mixed with many complicated emotions. In the main hall, there are five low pedestals, Track Mok Kuang Ba is now observing the snake with wings wrapped tightly around the two die sitting in the middle, this snake is full of scales, its body is medium all wrapped around. A circle around the seat represents the world of Sumeru, which looks lifelike, as if it is slowly moving. Kakulkan Track Mok Kuang Ba burst out loud. Wow, are you talking about this snake? Kuang and Hat Far Back said, No, this is probably a flying snake in the Jain religion, and in Hinduism, it symbolizes the birth of the universe. Look, this snake has scales, probably after Princess Van Than brought the image of a dragon in Trung Nguyen and introduced it to Tibet, its appearance changed. As everyone has seen, this ice palace is not only the formal structure of the Tibetan tradition of Buddhism, but also preserves many things of the original teaching, proving that, in the early stage when the Tibetan king Tung Khan, 
I carried out the reform of religion and belief, not at all, but in a gradual way. Zhang Lap besides said, Yu e Yang, come and see, the tape here is different from other places. Yu e Yang looked again, only to see that the ice layer at that seat was shining with a golden color, shined a flashlight, and became more and more brilliant, he immediately blurted out, probably not. Is that gold? Professor Feng Tan said, it is gold. Haven't you learned about the diffusion of molecules? When the golden Buddha image is placed on the ice pedestal for a long time, the golden ice molecules will penetrate each other, leaving a pale yellow color on the surface of the ice. Wait a minute, Yu Yang, don't move. Direct the light over here. Trong Lap tightly grasped Yu Yang's hand holding the spotlight, rolled his eyes, looked closely at the ice wall behind the pedestal, and said, Professor, do you think someone in this ice looks like someone? Only when Yu Yang shines like this will it appear, if you move a little it will disappear. As soon as Professor Feng Tan saw it, he excitedly exclaimed, Very good, this is probably the same phenomenon as stereoscopic laser images. Trong Lap was surprised and said, Stereoscopic laser image, here. Did the ancients also have this technique? No, no, said Professor Feng Tan, shaking his head, no, stereoscopic laser imaging technique is through the phenomenon of light diffraction changing the arrangement of extremely small molecules, storing images onto some medium is an extremely complicated process. But pure ice like here can completely act as a transmitter, and at the same time, the layer of gold molecules on the surface of the treasure is actually microparticles, if suddenly strong light shines on it and changes their position, can create coincidences, printing images into the ice layer. This is not an ancient technique, but a random optical phenomenon that occurs in the natural world, just like the, long sea god, very rare. Move the spotlight a little lower, slowly, maybe, we will see the stereoscopic image of this place a few hundred years ago or even a few thousand years ago. When the image in the ice layer gradually became clear, it certainly looked like a stereoscopic laser image. But Yu Yang only felt a sharp pain in his wrist, and quickly shouted, What are you doing? My wrist is about to burst. Trong Lap squeezed Yu Yang's wrist, pointed at the figure in the ice and said, This is. This is. This is murder. Chapter 35. Extreme South Temple for Despair. Professor Feng Tan was also completely stunned. There were three people in the stereoscopic image in the ice layer, the optical phenomenon that made everyone's facial expressions completely preserved, it was hard to imagine. A man with three eyes, ragged clothes lying on the ground, with a scary scar on his face, looks like this person was rescued by the other two people and brought to this ice palace. In that hologram, he was rolling his eyes and laughing hysterically, propping himself up with one hand, the other trying to quickly stab the thing into the back of the woman in front of him. Underneath the woman's climbing outfit was a Tibetan collar, she turned her back to the killer, rummaging through the bag of her first aid kit, her face full of concern. It was clear that in this moment of being saved into the ice, she still did not feel any pain. Next to the girl is another member of the climbing team, the height and facial features also look a lot like Trong Lap, the costume is also printed with the Chinese national flag, he is reaching out to grab the wrist of the arrow, killer, mouth slightly open, as if shouting a warning. Looking at the clothes and backpacks on these three people's backs, it can be seen that the time of this stereoscopic image is not far from the present, Yu Yang seems to have remembered something, he trembled and said, Uncle. Uncle Kuang and Hat Fa Silver. Kuang and Hat Fa back turned his head and saw the three of Yu Yang and the others staring blankly at the ice wall, he doubtfully stepped up a few more steps, and saw something strange in the wall. He immediately stopped walking, stood dumbfounded for about two seconds, then took a few more steps, his face began to change, took another step or two, his hands and feet were cold and shivering, then suddenly rushed forward. Like an arrow, it seems that no one can stop it. Kwong and Hat Fa back rushed to the front of the ice wall, his throat shouted, Lap Chan, could only call that one name, and then could not utter any more words. Unexpectedly, 
It turned out to be like that. Yui Yang heard Kuang and Hat far back roaring, suddenly felt a pain in his heart and didn't understand why, if it wasn't for Trong Lap still holding his arm, he almost I couldn't hold the lamp steady. As for Trong Lap, as well as being possessed by a ghost, he kept clutching Yu Yang's wrist, motionless. Kuang and Hat far back's trembling hand groped on the ice wall, Le Zhen's facial expression was so clear, as if right in front of her eyes, she was still beautiful, still cheerful, always thinking about it, for someone else, the guy in the back, he wants to kill you. Those evil eyes made Kuang and Hat far back's heart bleed, suddenly, he could no longer distinguish between illusions and reality anymore, he wanted to rush in to save Lap Chan, wanted to stop the bad guy, brutal it back. He raised his fist high, punching hard into the ice, he had to break this obstacle, to be able to reach Lap Chan again. That wall of ice has not melted for nearly a thousand years, harder than steel and concrete, how can a fist be broken? After a few punches, there were blood flowers on the ice surface, Track Mok Kwong Ba and the others saw it and all changed in horror, only Kwong and Hat Fa Bak did not feel it at all, just waved his fist, punched, one punched, then another hit the wall of ice. He has to break this obstacle, he has to save Lap Chan from here. Track Mok Kwong Ba rushed up to stop Kwong and Hat Fa Bak, saying, Ah, it's useless, ah. Don't hurt yourself anymore, Lap Chan will be very sad, Yui Yang, Shine the light somewhere else. Yu Yang's wrist is being held by Trong Lap. He can't do it anymore. You let me go. Lap Chan is inside. You let me go. Kuang and Hat far back struggled, then suddenly cried out, crying like a child, injured but weak, helpless, lonely but still, so many days and nights of waiting. So many sorrowful nostalgia, all turned into tears flowing like a stream in this one moment. Kwong Lap approached, gently licking tears for Kwong and Hat far back, feeling salty, he turned his head to look, inside that ice layer was the female owner that he had never met. Aren't they saving that man? What is that guy doing with the mistress? It can read people's hearts, but can't understand, human to human relationships, why is it so complicated? Kwong and Hat far back tiredly leaned on the ice wall, his fox fur hat fell to the ground, like a seriously ill person who was barely breathing, his eyes blank and blank. Faced with this unexpected situation, Track Mok Kwong Ba and others couldn't figure out what the intention was, so they tried to dissuade Kwong and Hat far back, Yu Yang also whispered, Uncle, don't. The words had not been finished yet, Kwong and Hat far back suddenly got angry. He jumped up, rushed to the side of the statue's pedestal, grabbed Yu Yang by the collar, and lifted him up. Why are you shining the lights so wildly? Kwong and Hat far back gritted his teeth again, his face muscles twitched, and he shouted like a heart attack, Why are you calling my name? Seventeen years, seventeen years of waiting, alone on a lonely snowy mountain, he still believes and perseveres, now, those seventeen years of hope have been shattered. All his anger was poured into Yuyang. Yuyang also remained silent, letting Kwong and Hat far back sway back and forth. Looking at the pitiful man in front of him, like a wounded wolf on the wild prairie, howling angrily at the deep blue sky, Yu Yang could understand, because he had also lost a loved one. During that shaking, he suddenly realized, Kwong and Hat far back's silver gray hair was unexpectedly falling down in large pieces, in an instant he had aged several decades, the flame of life was rapidly dying out, with it. Bing, Kwong and Hat far back forcefully pressed Yue Yang against the ice wall. Track Mok Kwong Ba hurriedly intervened, ah indeed. Kwong and Hat far back was startled awake, let go of Yue Yang, turned his face towards the ice wall, and said softly, sorry. Yue Yang shook his head, I'm fine, Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, I understand your feelings, Uncle. Kwong and Hat far back waved his hand, you guys go away, leave me here alone. Going through this ice palace is to get out of the big glacier, the way I know it is only here, can't help you anymore. Uncle Kwong and Hat far back, go away. At this time, Ba Tang suddenly said, I know the killer. 
Kuang and Hat far back did not seem to have heard, on the contrary, only Trong Lap excitedly exclaimed, What did you say? Mr. Ba Tang, do you really know the killer's name? Who is he? Where is he? Ba Tang looked at Kuang and Hat far back and said, His name is Tay Mi, like me, he is a spider. Trong Lap said quickly, I remember that Ba Tang said that, when the whole blue spider team went with you to the snowy mountain, only you alone came out alive. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw Yue Yang beside him, his eyes fluttering. Father Tang said, well, that last time, I was actually the only one who came back alive, but that guy, he didn't participate in that time. Trong Lap stared blankly at Ba Tang's face, still cold and indifferent, unable to recognize anything strange. But who would have guessed, in Ba Tang's head at this moment, there was a wave of waves. Western Mexico, it's you, you've done it after all. Captain, I, I, I am just out of the way. It was you who brought them here, we've been killed by you. If I don't do that, I, I will be eaten by them. If you want me to help you, fine, find someone to help me. If he's dead, dig his bones up here, give it to me, I want to deal with it myself. Sorry, Zhang Lap, this person can only be handled by myself. Father Tang whispered in his heart. Zhang Lap asked again, where is he now? Ba Tang forced a smile and said, it's been ten years, how would I know? Kuang and Hat Pu back quietly listened, and said lazily, okay, everyone. Need to say, go, go away. Seeing that Kuang and Hat Fa back was chasing guests again, Track Mop Kuang Ba's group all understood that his heart was as cold as ashes at this time, so it would be better to stay here for him to be alone. The light on the glacier gradually dimmed, it was clear that the fog had begun to fall, Time did not wait for people, so we all had to say goodbye to Kwong and Hat Fa back and continue on our way. Track Mok Kwong Ba lifted Kwong Lap's chin and advised, Take good care of him, then I'll come back. Kwong Lap still lingered on, swallowed his tears, nodded, turned back to lie quietly in Kwong and Hat Fa back's hand, kept looking up and watching Track Mok Kwong Ba's back gradually fade away. After the shadow of Kwong and Hat Fa back, Trong Lap asked again, are you telling the truth? Ba Tang, that green spider, Ba Tang lowered his face and nodded. Yue Yang said, young master Kuang Ba, uncle Kuang and Hat Pu back, will something happen? Track Mok Kuang Ba shook his head, no, no, I know Kuang and Hat far back, he is a very rational person, although he misses Lap Chan very much, but he has always lived a resilient and optimistic life. What's more, he has Kongla, Kongla will take care of him. Leaving the glass palace, influenced by the mood of Kwong and Hat Fa back, the whole group quietly said no. The road was easier to walk than before, but the strange landscape below the ice rift grew worse and worse, leaving the glass of the warm palace, the cold air began to come slowly again, the winds wriggled everywhere, following the cracks that spilled down, at first, it was only evil around people, but the closer they got to the main fracture area, the cracks became ferocious beasts, making everyone feel like just got out of heaven and suddenly fell straight into the hell of Abbey. From time to time, a gust of wind came like a ghostly shadow, bringing with it a feeling of cold but not cold, but making people's skin stretch, gliding next to them one by one, sometimes the wind will go away, sometimes the wind will hang around for a while, use my cold body to rub the exposed faces of the members of the group, and then leave after a long time. The wind rubbing against the ice poles emits sounds like ghosts crying and wolf howling, like mourning and mourning, and like unjust souls, causing people to listen without getting goosebumps. They walked among the icicles, flanked by all sorts of monstrous beasts carved out of ice bearing their fierce fangs, icicles hanging overhead, like a thousand pounds hanging by a hair, capable of collapsing at any moment, any time. Every time the wind blows, the ice mites fall down, there are even large chunks of ice, although everyone is wearing safety helmets, 
but who can guarantee that the next time what falls on the head is not of these giant icebergs up to 10 meters long and several meters thick? Chang Lap, who was in charge of the high safety side, suddenly said in a low voice, there seems to be something up there. He raised his binoculars, suddenly opened his mouth to take a deep breath, and for a long time did not speak a word. Yue Yang saw this and quickly asked, what's wrong? Did you see the wood? Everyone raised their heads to look up, only to see that on the top of their heads, covered with ice and snow, cracks like lines, forming a net spread around, in these cracks, faint points could be seen, black as sesame seeds. Chang Lap lowered his binoculars, regained his composure after Yue Yang's pat, his face was full of horror, it's a human. I saw a person stuck in that crevice, alive or dead. Yue Yang took the binoculars, just glanced at him, he couldn't say a word. When he put the binoculars in the hand of Trak Mok Kong Ba, he only said one sentence, dead, the corpse looks so scary. Trak Mok Kong Ba raised binoculars, heaven and earth, he saw a foreigner with blonde hair and blue eyes, his body was fixed in ice, his posture, like a wounded warrior dragging his dead legs crippled, crawling on his stomach with his bare hands in the trenches. His eyes widened, his teeth clenched, every strand of hair stood up, not wanting to fall, but those empty, emotionless eyes said one thing very clearly, he was soon gone, life, it was just ice and snow that fixed his expression in the moment before his death. I don't know how many years have passed, he still uses that expression to tell people how he fought. The binoculars slowly moved, not only that one corpse, but one more, another, more and more corpses appeared, each corpse made track Mok Kong Ba's nerves shake strongly. Among those corpses, there are both Chinese and foreigners, they wear yellow and purple mountaineering costumes, each face is carved with bones, some are desperate, some are indomitable, some are invincible, angry, pitiful, but they all have one thing in common. All eyes widened. The glacier seems to be capturing each historical photo, perfectly preserving the moments before each person's death. Looking at their faces, it seems that they can still hear their curses, each gust of wind is blowing, it's like the spirits of the dead are gliding away, the sound of the wind howling, making people's hearts also scared. In total, Track Mok Kwong Ba discovered six corpses, with extremely strange postures, some horizontal, some crawling, some hanging upside down, some lying face down, and the facial expressions before death of those people were real. I can't use language that I can't imagine. It was absolutely a sight that one would never forget for the rest of their lives. Track Mok Kwong Ba understands that all of these people are losers who have chosen the path to walk on the surface of the glacier. Perhaps they have other companions, but even those people can only helplessly watch you fall into the crevice, bewildered and confused as to what to do. It seems that these people did not die instantly, but were stuck in a crevice that was tens or even hundreds of meters deep, they struggled and struggled, but could not move. They screamed without reply, eventually, they were exhausted and exhausted, their bodies were paralyzed by the cold, lost all consciousness, lost consciousness. So their corpses were turned into desperate sculptures, their screams turned into the spearheads of a terrifying gust of wind. Chuo Mok Kwong Ba was secretly terrified, if they didn't choose to take the path below the glacier just now, but crossed from above the rift, then among these comrades of his, it was very likely that someone would have to staying here becomes the artwork of the glacier, even the soul is imprisoned inside this snowy world. He had heard Captain Hu Duong say, this huge glacier has always been moving slowly, unfortunate people will fall into the crevices, the body will move with the glacier, usually one or two decades or more to move out of the glacier and be discovered, so in the Himalayas still hide countless remains of adventurers. So what about these people? These people trapped in the middle of this glacier, how many years have they been here? Ten years, twenty years, afraid that even a hundred years from now, they will not be able to see the sun again, forever can only be a toy of the great glacier. When Tang Man saw that Track Mob Kwong Ba kept refusing to put down his binoculars, he reached out his hand to try to grab it. 
Chuo Mok Kwong Ba carefully avoided Tang Man, whispering in a low voice, Min Man, don't watch. Saying that, he immediately gave the binoculars to Captain Ho Duong. The facial expressions of Captain Ho Duong and the others were first shocked and surprised, then stunned, the hand holding the binoculars couldn't help but tremble slightly, Track Mok Kwong Ba briefly told the troubles, saw it for Tang Min, and explained why he didn't let her see it, ah, it's him. Captain Ho Duong suddenly cried out softly, unable to hold on to the binoculars, his whole arm was tired and drooping, the corners of his eyes flickered with tears. He immediately raised his hand to dry, otherwise the tears would freeze into ice on his face. Track Mok Kwong Ba all understood in their hearts, meeting my old friends in this state, even if everyone was absolutely not comfortable at all. They whispered to comfort Ho Duong, the binoculars were handed over to others one after another, each one of them lowered their heads after watching, as if they were participating in a solemn memorial ceremony, their mood was heavy with sadness, tragic. Regardless of the nationality, the common face of all makes people shiver with fear. Captain Ho Duong said in a low voice, Ten years ago, he even pretended to be a god and told me that he was going to participate in an extremely important activity, and as a result, he only left but never returned. For many years now, every year I have spent some time going to his house, telling his wife and children that he is still, still, Yang said, why didn't his teammates bring the news? Back A, eh? did he come here alone? Captain Hu Yang shook his head and said, at that time, all of them did not return. Space in silence, let's go, this is not where we should stop. Lu Kan Nam could not help but fulfill his role of commander, where the bodies of the forerunners fell, they still had to keep moving forward. When no one noticed, Ba Tang surreptitiously raised his hand to rub the corner of his eye, the grief in the heart of Captain Ho Duong for his comrades reminded him of his old teammates. Unexpectedly, going further, there are still floating corpses, under the influence of the glacier's movement, there are corpses that have left the crevice, with their heads down to the ground, their feet on the sky hanging upside down above all of them. Mok Kwong Ba, as if it could fall at any time. Those desperate faces even made the insides of the team members vibrate more than the fierce ghost faces. To the left there are two collapsed ice cliffs on top of each other, the heads of the corpses hanging upside down inside are almost at everyone's eye level, the national flags and symbols on their clothes can be clearly distinguished. Track Mok Kwong Ba recognized there were Russians, British, Americans, and a body without the sign of G, but based on the location where he fell and the clothes and equipment, it can be speculated that this person fell, down the rift a long time ago. When Ba Tang passed that corpse, he was attracted by that person's indifferent expression, and involuntarily saw it again. It was a blonde-haired middle-aged man with a resolute face, straight body, eyes only slightly open, under the thin clothes showing solid lines. The corpse's gloves were completely torn, the bare hands were exposed, the flesh and blood was slimy, it looked like this person was trying to climb the ice, the index finger of the right hand and the edge of the palm had very thick calluses. Stemming from professional sensibilities, Ba Tang knows that this is the hand that uses a gun. Looking back at the man's outfit, which was completely ordinary Tibetan clothes of old, among the many corpses dressed in mountaineering clothes suddenly became very prominent, but the backpack slung behind his back faltered, very special, although it has changed a bit, it still can't escape the appearance of a military backpack. Tang's father approached the frozen body that had been exposed, lightly touched, a cross medal fell out, at this time, even Trak Mok Kwong Ba and the others also noticed. Nazi Germany, Yui Yang couldn't help but uttered it out loud, it is very clear that the medal is a close-fitting object, only the corpse was hung upside down, so it fell, the other costumes of this person are all disguises, it is very likely that this is one of the members was sent by Hitler to Tibet to search for the Silver Bala Temple in the past. Chapter 35, The South South Pole, 5, The Steep Ice Slope Recalling the Historical Documents Lu Kan Nam Mentioned, 
This great discovery is very likely to bring them important clues. The team members were no longer afraid of anything. Ba Tang, Trong Lap, Yue Yang and Track Mob Kwong Ba joined forces, cut the ice wall to pull the frozen corpse out, searching all the way from the beginning to the foot. Inside the clothes, there was nothing to prove identity, only found a pack of cigarettes with the letter R6, a lighter shaped like a bullet, in the backpack there were many things needed when climbing the mountain, there is only one obsolete military weapon. Trong Lap picked up that gun and said, oh, FG-42, the special weapon of the Nazi paratroopers, FJ, 7.92 millimeters in diameter, 4.5 kilograms in weight, 20 rounds, tape, bullet speed 762 meters per second, rate of fire 750 rounds per second, gunnery 550 meters, less than a thousand guns now. You know, this was the first weapon the Germans made with magnesium alloy during World War II, and due to lack of raw materials, the total production was only 7,000. Captain Ho Duong picked up the pack of cigarettes, flipped it over and looked at it, brought it up to his nose to smell it, his face was strange. Unfortunately, on this Nazi leader, apart from the medal symbolizing the glory of the empire, he could not find any valuable objects. Despite this, everyone still felt a great cheer, at least this also proved that the path they took was correct, the German special team had also passed through this place. Only Professor Fung Tan is secretly worried, must know that all those who went to find back Bala Temple in the past are failures, without exception, this road, after all, is a failure, correct or incorrect. He really did not dare to think more deeply. Elas Lama said, we've lost too much time, let's move on. Lu Kan Nam also said, leave this corpse there, let's go. Yu Yang kept turning his head and looking back again, thinking that he had discovered someone who could provide important clues, but unexpectedly couldn't get anything. While thinking, he suddenly heard Captain Ho Duong ask, does anyone know German? Everyone looked at each other, no one knew German, only saw Captain Ho Duong pointing to the inside of the pack of cigarettes, saying, there are words here, in German. Sure enough, the inside wall of the cigarette pack had some slanted lines written in pens. Ba Tang said, I know, when the special forces receive temporary orders from their superiors, in order not to make mistakes, soldiers often write that order on the personal belongings. Yue Yang clicked his tongue, unfortunately, we don't know any German, so we have to bring it back to study. Saying that, he carefully put the pack away. Reaching the right rift, the number of corpses also gradually dwindles, after walking hundreds of steps, one randomly finds one, these corpses are even more terrifying and terrifying, most of them have lost their amputated arms, legs, otherwise the chest can't be broken, the intestines protrude out, as if being bitten by that thing. Suddenly, there was a corpse that loosened from the crack, sliding down a few meters, but the legs were still stuck in the crack so the person could not fall to the ground, the head was just right in front of Tang Min. That scary face looked like a crushed red apple, eyes, nose and mouth were all stuck together, blood and flesh were frozen into ice, patches of blood ice were glued together, like a sheet of glass, industry is broken. Tang Min's eyes widened, and almost fainted. Track Mok Kwong Ba had to block her body in front of her to escort her around the corpse. However, everyone wondered and speculated, not understanding what ultimately made that face become like that. Here, the glacier used the undeniable truth, to tell these adventurers, this place, it was. Death of the West Tropics. Finally, the sky ahead opened up, they were out of the area below the rift, in front of them were the collapsed icicles, continuously stretching into a white slope, under the dim light, blurred, the adjacent ice towers are like a white tomb spreading out as far as the eye can see. The graves, covered in a light mist, the mountain wind is iron, the cold is terrible, making people doubtless, this place is the forest of ice towers known as one of the wonders of the snowy mountains, is that or what? Although it is said that the ice tower forest looks both desolate and cold at the moment, just like the deserted graves in ghost novels, 
but everyone feels that this place is much better than underneath the glacier, at least there's no danger hanging overhead. But not far from everyone in the area of the ice tower, Track Mok Kwong Ba and Ba Tang almost stopped at the same time, and then shouted in unison, wait a minute. The people in front also stopped, Track Mok Kwong Ba and Ba Tang looked at each other, both reading the two words, dangerous, on each other's faces. Ba Tang has trained to react extremely well in countless times through life and death experiences, and Track Mok Kwong Ba, almost since he was born, has this instinctive consciousness, the subconscious of both of them, are constantly reminding them. Forehead is dangerous. Hearing the call of Track Mok Kwong Ba and Ba Tang, Lu Kan Nam immediately gathered everyone. Track Mok Kwong Ba said, There's something near us, I can only feel it, but I can't detect it. Ba Tang also said the same thing, everyone's already tense mood immediately became more tense, Tang Man quickly hugged Track Mok Kwong Ba's arm. The three sides and four sides could only hear the wild whistling sound of the wind, the deformed beast shadows formed by the forest of the ice towers were blurred, the reality was difficult to distinguish, the breath of each person stopped into a white smoke around, body, more and more intense, the distant mountain mist was almost like a giant beast slowly swallowing this whole forest of ice towers into its stomach. But there was no movement around here, everyone tilted their ears to listen, even the sound of the wind seemed to be much quieter, the ice towers in the fog in the distance like a revived beast, moving forward, beat them in a very monstrous way but when he was determined to look carefully, there was no movement at all. Listening more closely, there was only the sound of falling ice mites, the howling of the wind, and other than that, only the sound of their own breathing could be heard. It was like that for more than a minute, but that time was so long, when sliding down the crack and going quickly through the forest of ice towers, no one could do anything, but now everyone is sweating. Plate. Min Min asked in a low voice, is there really such a thing? Are we trying to scare ourselves or not? Suddenly the ground under their feet shook slightly, the top of the ice tower next to them shook for a moment, and countless ice faces fell down, as if something had just passed right in front of them. Tang's father glared at Tang Min, then said, looks like we're gone, let's go over there and see. The procession continued to advance, when they reached the place where they should have been a minute ago, only to find on the ground left a row of footprints, very similar to human feet, but much larger. Track Mok Kwong Ba tried to set foot in it, did not expect that the footprint was twice as big as his, the distance between the two footprints was even more amazing, at least equal to the five steps of Track Mok Kwong Ba and the others. Tang Min stood at the back, poked his head up, and as soon as he saw the footprints, his face turned pale, just like the colors of the surrounding ice towers. Captain Ho Duong forced a smile and said, Looks like we're all so lucky. The scientific survey team couldn't find the snowman for many years, unexpectedly let us run into it. Professor Fung Tan muttered, Why? Why appear here? Track Mok Kwong Ba immediately thought of the corpses without arms and legs, and exclaimed in horror, Find food. This glacier is a giant natural refrigerator, the countless corpses of those explorers are kept frozen here, all of which are delicious for it. When Tang Min heard this, she let out a low cry of terror. Yui Yang said, It is possible to leave faint footprints on this hard frozen ground, proving its weight and physique are very scary. Fortunately, it seems to be aware of the threat from us, and has no intention of treating us as its food. Captain Ho Duong reminded, this could be its territory, we should hurry up and go. It's still unknown how many more there are, hopefully only one. Lu Kan Nam saw the fog on the mountain getting thicker and thicker, so he impatiently urged, hurry, the fog is about to spread, if the fog covers this ice tower forest, we won't be able to find the direction anymore. Quote, there have been traces of the forerunner, the team members are on high alert, the outsiders like Ba Tang and Yu Yang all took out their weapons in precaution, and so on until the whole team arrived safely, below an ice slope. This ice slope is up to a hundred feet high, looks like a giant piece of cheese that has been cut off, seen from a distance, 
It looks like a steep slope at first, but when you look closely to see it, it is indeed a mountain. The slope is inclined, but is inclined in. Inside, big top, small bottom. The almost vertical slope of the ice slopes inward like that, making people feel fear in their hearts just by looking at it. Track Mok Kwong Ba and the others slid down an ice slope halfway up the mountain to cross the glacier, and now naturally had to climb another slope in the upper area. Standing under the towering ice cliff, looking up at the high mountain peak, only seeing a hazy block that can't see the mountain peak, if this ice slope is like an ordinary piece of cheese, then the track Mok Kwong Ba and the others standing below would not buy an ant. In the climbing regulations of any country, Ice climbing is always listed at the highest level, level 7, only the most professional of the professionals can do it. Even a professional mountaineer who has climbed 14 mountains over 8,000 meters around the world, still no one dares to take this ice climbing sport lightly. Yet these people don't need to think about choosing this path. For them, however, it was at least much safer than jumping back and forth over those criss-crossed ice crevices. Thousand-year-old ice is stronger than steel, chiseling ice only leaves a shallow hole, it takes several people in succession to punch many times to fix a steel nail into that upside-down ice wall. The key problem is, this whole slope is like a glass, or a flat steel plate, not even a crevice, or a groove, can't find a grip point to move like other models, other normal climbing stick, which can only punch the ice and fasten the steel pins in. Normally. When athletes climb the ice cliff, they use ice chisels step by step to create a safe point, like building a stone path suspended on the cliff, first punching holes, then burying stakes, just right. It takes time and effort, sometimes climbing all day can not reach the 100 meter high ice cliff, but the slope they have to climb here, is more than 300 meters high. Captain Ho Duong took a deep breath and said, I didn't expect it to be like this it would be very difficult to climb up. Yu Yang said, if it is like in the novel, the Condor heroes must be like that in the novel. Closing parenthesis dot, Lu Kan Nam said, don't worry, we have our own way of climbing, or already. Master Ayla, Lama Ayla nodded, he put on iron claws, on the outside of his gloves he wore a strange iron sheath, oval iron rings nested through four fingers, then folded in the middle of the palm, not at all, affect the handshake movement. Only saw Lama Ayla the swinging his wrist, the hook rope shot out, pinned to a point 15 meters high on the ice slope. He tried to pull it, feeling that he could withstand the force, his hands alternated, and so he pulled the cable that was only as big as a few hairs and climbed up. Captain Ho Duong repeatedly exclaimed, Excellent, powerful, Yu Yang smiled and said, Is this worth it? Captain Ho hasn't seen the true strength of the master yet. While talking, Lama Ala was about to climb up to the place where the hook was shot, suddenly felt his hand was lost, and his body fell back down. The people below were all terrified. Speaking slowly, reality happened extremely fast. When Lama Ala Le was less than five meters above the ground, his body froze slightly in the air, his arms outstretched, his feet kicked hard, boom, an hour, the wings of the bat immediately spread, the body glided through the air like a flying squirrel, pressed close to the ground and slid for a few more tens of meters, the old monk turned upside down, retracted the bat's wings, stood firmly on the frozen ground. Lu Kan Nam quickly ran over and asked, what's the matter? The Lama replied, sure enough, the ice is very hard, the rope is not strong enough, and it slips off. He picked up the rope he had just shot, raised the end of the hook to look at it, and then said again, it's less than 15 centimeters in, no wonder it came off. Lu Kan Nam looked at the rope hook in Lama Lama's hand, then said, use two ropes. Lama Ayla nodded, put on his hand again a box of hooks, two hands together. Every